I clearly awakened as the strongest dragon tamer in the SSS level profession, however, the principal announced in front of everyone that my career was over, because not only are dragons extremely rare, they are also the most powerful creatures in this world, not to mention successfully capturing a giant dragon. Even records of a fallen giant dragon have never been heard of in human history. However, knowing all of this, I burst out laughing on the spot, because when I awakened, I obtained the strongest dragon taming system. Not only did it give me a random dragon egg, but it also activated the divine level talent. Dragon God, this made me naturally have an extreme affinity for any dragon species, whether it's the unstoppable steel dragon or the sky obscuring starry dragon, I can even successfully tame almost all of the ancient fire dragons, and today happens to be the annual awakening day for professions. As the principal announced the start of the awakening ceremony, all the students became nervous, afraid of transitioning into useless life professions. Unexpectedly, the first one to go for awakening was my most loyal brother during my university years, Yang Chi. As he placed his hand on the awakening crystal, a burst of golden light suddenly radiated. I didn't expect him to awaken as the extremely rare hidden combat profession, Fu Daoist, which instantly attracted the envy and jealousy of the crowd. Just as I was about to congratulate him, another student on the awakening platform suddenly burst into tears. I have some impression of this student, his grades have always been good, but I didn't expect him to fail in awakening at this moment, not even obtaining a life profession. Many people on the playground looked at him with sympathetic eyes, but that's just the nature of awakening professions. While I was contemplating, I suddenly heard the principal mention my name. Upon hearing this, I walked straight towards the awakening platform. As I placed my hand on the crystal ball, a dazzling golden light instantly swept through the scene, so blinding that everyone couldn't help but raise their hands to shield their eyes. In a moment, the golden light formed a magnificent picture of countless beasts running in the sky. Among them were various rare and exotic creatures such as the galloping unicorn demon horse, the ethereal sea monster fish, and the soaring flame-winged war eagle. Accompanied by a stunning roar, a giant dragon that covered the sky and blocked the sun suddenly appeared in the awakening square. This scene stunned everyone, including the teachers, who were now in a state of confusion. Just based on the grandeur of this awakening phenomenon, they could determine that this was definitely a profession with great potential, at least an A-level, or even an S-level. Just as the teachers were filled with anticipation, Principal Chi Chuansong's gaze suddenly froze, as if he remembered something. A special hidden main combat profession, SSS level Beast Tamer. Upon hearing this name, the excited teachers were all stunned. It was the Beast Tamer who was known for simultaneously encompassing the strongest and most unreliable hidden profession. Meanwhile, on the platform, my consciousness had already entered another space. What's going on? I didn't hear that I had to choose my own profession during the awakening ceremony. I gaze at the magnificent spectacle of countless animals running wild before me, each unique creature representing a different choice, dog trainers, pig trainers, falcon trainers, I quickly understand this, recalling the comprehensive list of professions I once read, I remember a particular occupation that left a deep impression on me, the SSS ranked beast tamer, they possess an extremely high potential, and if they can reach the pinnacle and become a dragon tamer, then the beast tamer need not fear any other SSS ranked profession, and may even surpass them, however, in the 300 years of history of the awakening profession of humans, no beast tamer has ever reached this limit. The reason is simple, dragons are the most powerful creatures in this world, surpassing the food chain. Don't talk about capturing dragons. There has never been a record of dragons falling in the history of the human race. It's not too bad if you can't reach the limit, but the problem with beast tamers is that their lower limit is extremely low. Each beast tamer must choose a type of beast when awakening, and once chosen, they cannot change it. They can only tame beasts of this type in the future. The final level of professionalism they can achieve is greatly influenced by the chosen type of beast. For example, if you choose a pig, then you can only control pigs in the future, and you will be called a pig handler, which is the most trashy D-level. Only by choosing the dragon clan and becoming a dragon tamer can one truly be an SSS level profession. But if one directly chooses a powerful beast to tame, but later cannot find any that can be tamed, then they will become a beast tamer without any beasts and will directly become the lowest of the low. At this moment, I was caught in hesitation, unsure of how to make a choice. Just then, a mysterious voice echoed in my mind, the strongest dragon taming system has been successfully bound. Congratulations to the host for receiving a randomly awarded dragon egg, a divine level talent dragon god, and the evolution of a young dragon. At first, I was stunned, but then overwhelming joy filled my heart. A dragon egg, what else is there to hesitate about? I choose to become a dragon tamer. As my words fell, the dragon in the sky spread its wings and roared. All the animals stopped in their tracks, trembling in fear. With a flap of its wings, 
the dragon instantly swooped down from the sky, bringing with it a terrifying aura. The people on the playground felt a suffocating sensation, including the strong teachers. The dragon has swooped down to the top of my head, transforming into a roaring dragon pattern with spread wings, which also represents the success of my awakening. The whole venue fell silent, so quiet that it felt somewhat eerie. Not even a single person felt excited about my choice. Dragon Master is indeed powerful, representing the upper limit of Beast Tamer, representing the pinnacle of the profession, a true SSS level occupation. But the premise is that this Dragon Master must truly possess a giant dragon. Senior, I reminded them, and the staff finally came to their senses and announced the success of my awakening. Awakening successful, special hidden main combat profession SSS level Dragon Tamer. As the staff announced, the silent playground suddenly erupted with harsh discussions. Many people's gazes towards me were filled with mockery. I completely ignored it and went straight back to where I was just now. Tian Gu. At this moment, Yang Qi also looked at me with a complicated expression. He is truly blaming me in his heart. If I had chosen another powerful beast tamer, even if I couldn't obtain it, he would still be an A-level professional now and could help me figure out a solution in the future. Maybe he could even get me one. But now, I have chosen a dragon tamer. And even if he wants to help, he feels powerless. I saw through Yang Qi's thoughts at a glance, and I had no intention of explaining. I couldn't wait to return home, closed the doors and windows, drew the curtains, and immediately headed straight to the system backpack. I took out a dragon egg the size of a human head. This dragon egg is white on the upper half and red on the lower half, with patterns that resemble raging flames spreading upwards. It is a fire dragon egg, capable of hatching into a young dragon of flames. Only then did I breathe a sigh of relief and immediately turned my gaze towards the other two rewards. God level talent, dragon god, born with an unparalleled affinity for any dragon race. The power of the dragon god is enough to subdue the divine authority of any dragon race, with the effectiveness increasing according to one's strength. Currently, it is possible to tame dragon eggs. Dragon speakers can understand the language of dragons and can learn dragon language magic. I was stunned when I saw the first line, which has an extraordinary affinity for any dragon. It is well known that dragons are proud creatures and do not show kindness to any beings, including other dragons, but this gift allows me to have an affinity for dragons, which is simply unbelievable. What surprised me even more is that the dragon god talent has more than one effect. It also comes with a skill. As for the power of the dragon god skill, it is exactly what I urgently need. Although I am already a dragon tamer, taming beasts is not as simple as it seems. Each different beast requires a different method of taming. This skill solves my current urgent problem. Otherwise, if I were to figure out how to tame a young dragon on my own, there's a chance that as soon as the young dragon hatches, it could burn me, the dragon tamer, to ashes with a single breath of fire. I was thinking when suddenly I felt a wave of warm goodwill coming from my hand. This thought seemed to have an inexplicable dependence on me. It seems that the power of the dragon god's gift has already manifested. After rubbing the dragon egg with my hand, I looked at my profession panel and saw dragon tamer, 1 slash 1. There is no doubt that I now have a dragon. I am now the first dragon tamer in the history of dragon tamers, and even in the history of the human race, to possess and tame a dragon. Then I looked at the last reward, dragon evolution. It can allow the young dragon to evolve into a higher level dragon of the same attribute. Without hesitation, I directly used the dragon evolution on the dragon egg in my arms. Suddenly, a halo appeared around the dragon egg. Congratulations, host, for using dragon evolution for the first time triggering a hundredfold amplification, without giving me time to react. I saw 99 halos suddenly appear on the dragon egg. All the halos began to merge into the dragon egg, and after a long time, the final halo finally merged into the dragon egg. Congratulations, host, evolution successful. It is now the ancestral fire dragon egg. At the same time, there was a tremor coming from the eggshell. I could feel the young dragon continuously hitting the eggshell from inside. Soon, with a cracking sound, a bright red little head emerged from the broken shell, looking around as if searching for something. The moment it saw me, the young dragon let out its first cry, as it finished eating its own eggshell. The full appearance of the young dragon was revealed before my eyes. At this moment, the young dragon has grown much larger than before, standing at about half the height of a person. Its surface is covered with coarse scales resembling rocks, and its four claws, shimmering with a cold light, naturally hang beneath its body. Its fiery red eyes are carefully observing me. After watching for a while, the young dragon stretches its neck around me, sniffing and exploring my body. Finally, it burrows into my arms, rubbing its head affectionately against me. I pat the young dragon's head, knowing that it is now my dragon pet, and I can directly view its pet panel. I have only heard about the power of the dragon clan in the past, but I have never witnessed it with my own eyes. 
Despite being mentally prepared, I was still stunned by the appearance of the young dragon for a long time. No wonder the giant dragons are known as beings that surpass the food chain. No wonder there is no record in human history of a giant dragon falling. How could such a monster be defeated? The dragon race deserved to be the strongest creatures in this world. Even the attributes of a young dragon were simply heaven-defying. Ancestral Fire Dragon Level 1 Strength 793 Agility 528 Physique 829 Spirit 791 Patriarchal Fire Dragon Bloodline Passive as the Patriarchal Fire Dragon The Source of Flames Immune to all fire attribute damage and can learn all fire attribute skills. Dragon Bloodline, Passive. LV1 Dragon Bloodline Born for Battle. Gains 200% Recovery Ability. Gains 50% Debuff Resistance. Dragon Stone Skin, Passive. LV1 The Dragon Race's naturally hard stone skin resists much damage. Gaining 20% Full Attribute Damage Resistance. Beginning Fire Dragon's Breath, Active. LV1 Spits Flames and Magma. Dealing huge amounts of damage. Dragon Seal, Active. LV1 swoops down sharply from a high altitude, dealing huge amounts of damage. Lin Tian rubbed his eyes and looked again. He really thought that he had misread it. The attribute panel of the young dragon could no longer be described as strong. It was simply unbelievable. All four attributes were frighteningly high. The lowest agility was over 500. The highest physique even surpassed 800. What kind of concept is this? If Lin Tian compared himself, his attributes weren't even close to a fraction of the young dragon. His four dimensional attributes, on average, exceeded 15 points, and this wasn't because he was too weak. Instead, it was because he was strong enough. You have to know that he had bagged the number one spot in the third form for three whole years. This wasn't something that could be achieved by just relying on his written test scores. His combined four-dimensional attributes were number one in the entire school. Lin Tian, as the number one in the whole school, his four-dimensional attributes combined were only enough to fill in a fraction for the young dragon, and that was just the strength in the four-dimensional attributes. Coupled with the young dragon's terrifying skills, it was easy to imagine how powerful the young dragon was, even though Lin Tian had heard about it, even though Lin Tian had already prepared himself, but he was still shocked speechless by the young dragon's strength, it was completely beyond his imagination. In regards to the dragon race's power, Lin Tian could only describe it as heaven-defying. If this world was an online game, Lin Tian had to say that the numerical balance of this online game was simply done too garbage, but this was reality there was no balance to speak of. The power of the young dragon allowed Lin Tian to completely breathe a sigh of relief. With the existence of the young dragon, his future achievements were immeasurable. What SSS level professions? In front of the young dragon, they were nothing. You don't even need to talk about skill strength. If you're even a strong SSS ranked profession, could level 1 still have such heaven-defying attributes? Even if you drive a young dragon as a dump truck, you can kill a bunch of SSS level professions. Now Lin Tian was completely convinced that a dragon master with a dragon was definitely the strongest profession. There wasn't one. One month later, Lin Tian was determined to win the national exam, Divine Clearance University or Longjing University. In Lin Tian's opinion, all of them were just probing, without any difficulty to speak of. Aang. As Lin Tian was thinking, a chirp came out and the young dragon rubbed its head against Lin Tian. With his mind connected, Lin Tian was able to understand what the young dragon meant. It was wanting Lin Tian to name it. Okay, let me think. What name should I give you? Since you're a little male dragon and an originator fire dragon, why don't we just call you? Little Amazing. Aang Dash. Little Amazing chirped, clearly very satisfied with the name Lin Tian had obtained for him. Goo 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 goo. A gurgling sound came from Little Amazing's stomach. It seemed like he still wasn't full from just eating eggshells. Goo 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 goo. Lin Tian's stomach also rumbled. He had been guarding Little Amazing's evolution and had also not eaten for a day. Lin Tian rummaged through the freezer and pulled out dozens of pounds of frozen meat. This had been his habit for three years. For the sake of his daily study and bitter cultivation, he hardly went out. So the freezer was usually stocked with regular food. Little Yen looked at the frozen meat on the ground and revealed a very disgusted expression. Obviously not very keen on eating this frozen meat. Lin Tian laughed lightly as he looked at this little guy who didn't have low requirements for the quality of life. Let's bring it to fill your stomach first. Lin Tian was about to thaw and cook these frozen meats for a bit when he saw Little Yen open his mouth and blow. A flame crossed over and instantly thawed these frozen meats and they were even roasted. Lin Tian took out a roasted chicken from it and ate it. Little amazing. On the other hand, was at the side and directly threw the roasted meat into the air, then opened his mouth wide and swallowed the roasted meat. One person and one dragon quickly finished the dozens of pounds of roasted meat. A roasted chicken was enough for Lin Tian to eat. But the remaining dozens of pounds of roasted meat still couldn't fill Little Yan's stomach. Aang Dash. 
Little Amazing chirped to show his dissatisfaction with this master who didn't even prepare the rations. All right, I'll go out and get you some more. Lin Tian smiled sarcastically. He really didn't think that this little guy had such an ability to eat. The meat that Little Amazing had just eaten was almost catching up with his own size, but his stomach hadn't changed at all. Ang Dash hearing Lin Tian's words, Little Amazing immediately chirped with joy. Little kids are really good at coaxing. Although Little Amazing was a young dragon, it gave Lin Tian the same feeling of raising a child. Lin Tian left Little Amazing at home and went out alone to buy another hundred pounds of fresh meat. When he returned to the front door of his house, he met the neighbor lady across the street. Little Lin Ah, what kind of pet do you have at home? I heard barking twice earlier. The barking was quite strange. Oh, a friend's dog. Fostered at my house for two days. Didn't I just go and buy some meat for him to eat? This child of yours is still so caring. Okay, auntie won't bother you anymore. You get busy. Okay, then I'll go back first. Returning home, he closed the door. Lin Tian poured out all the more than a hundred pounds of fresh meat, and little Yan immediately began to devour it in a big mouthful, recalling what had just happened. Lin Tian pondered. The matter that he had a dragon. He didn't want to expose it just yet. After all, in the history of the human race, there had never been a precedent of a person taming a dragon. If people with bad intentions were to learn that he had a young dragon, what kind of consequences it would cause? Lin Tian had no difficulty imagining. Although it was impossible for him to keep the young amazing hidden all the time, now was not the time to expose it. Lin Tian had already thought clearly about this matter. If he wanted to make other people not dare to make a move against him, there were only two ways to do so. Either he was strong enough on his own to be able to deter everyone, but this point was definitely not realistic in the short term if he wanted to do it. Besides, he was a dragon master. If he had to hide his small amazement on every public occasion, his strength could be said to be 1 out of 10, and if he could only show such a small amount of strength, then it would be almost impossible for him to obtain more resources and get into the Divine Clearance University. Fortunately, Lin Tian had a second way. That was to show his potential and attract enough attention to have the Dragon Kingdom help him deter those with bad intentions. This method was more realistic and feasible for Lin Tian. His value as the first dragon master with a dragon pet was immeasurable. As long as he showed potential worthy of cultivation, the dragon kingdom would definitely not be stingy with resources and protection. After all, normal SSS-ranked professions, or even SS-ranked professions would have preferential treatment from the country, as well as specialized protection. It was just that they didn't have it because dragon masters were special. As for the specific timing and method, Lin Tian had already thought of it. It would be at the National Grand Examination. As long as he made a splash at the National Grand Examination, he would definitely attract everyone's attention. Although there would be few people with bad intentions among them, there would likewise be people who wanted to draw him in or cultivate him. In this way, at least on the surface, no one would dare to make a move against him. As for the dark side, on the one hand, when he arrived as an outstanding candidate of the Dragon Kingdom and an unprecedented Dragon Master, the Dragon Kingdom's protection would certainly be unavoidable. On the other hand, he would have to raise his strength as soon as possible to deal with all sorts of troubles. Thinking about this, Lin Genius realized that he was patronizing Little Yan's panel, his own occupation panel, he hadn't paid attention to it yet. Lin Tian, Dragon Master, SSS Level First Turn, Level, 1, Strength, 17, Agility, 15, Physique, 16, Spirit, 21, Dragon Pet, 1 Slash 1 Ancestor Fire Dragon Level 1, Little Amazing, Skills, Available Skill Points Asterisk 3, after looking at Xia Yan's unrivaled panel, Lin Tian didn't know what to say when he saw his own shabby panel. However, it wasn't that he really couldn't do it. The average four-dimensional attributes of an ordinary person was 10 points, but he had 15 points in the lowest one. Otherwise it would not have been possible for him to take the first place for three years. It was just that the young dragon attributes were too terrifying, making him look shabby. After he awakened his profession, he hadn't tapped his skills yet, so the skills column was empty with only three available skill points. Lin Tian tapped on his skill tree. With just one glance, Lin Tian was shocked. The skill tree of a dragon master had hundreds of skills. He had never heard of any profession that had such a luxurious skill tree. It was worthy of being the strongest SSS level profession. Lin Tian looked towards those skills high up in the skill tree. Those skills were hidden in pitch blackness. He couldn't see exactly what the effects were, but how powerful those skills would be. Lin Tian could imagine without looking. But as of right now, there were only three skills that he could order. Dragon Harnessing Contract When taming a dragon and making it happy with you, you can establish a contract to turn it. Dance with the dragon The dragon master can share 10% of the dragon pet's attributes and gain some of the effects of the dragon pet's skills. 
and the injuries suffered by the Dragon Master are borne by the Dragon Pet. Harnessing the Dragon Ranch, a space where the Dragon Pet can be included. Extremely comfortable for dragons. Boosts the recovery speed of the Dragon Pet. These three skills were the most basic skills that all Beast Masters had to order. But not for Lin Tian. The Dragon Harnessing Contract did not serve any purpose for Lin Tian. He already had the Dragon God's Might which was much better used. With a normal Beast Harnessing Contract, one would still have to find a way to tame the harnessed beast before the contract could be established. Lin Tian's Dragon God's Might, on the other hand, could be used as a one-stop service, directly taming and accepting it as a dragon pet. Moreover, the two skills, Dragon Harness Contract and Dragon Harness Ranch, were not related to the subsequent skill tree. So Lin Tian didn't need to click on the Dragon Harnessing Contract skill and could save a skill point. The other two skills, both had to be ordered. Harnessing Dragon Ranch was both beneficial to dragon pets and could hide them, so it had to be ordered. Dance with the Dragon is not to mention. This skill is the root skill of all Beast Masters, and is the prerequisite to point out the subsequent skills. Without this skill subsequent skill tree cannot be unfolded. If you want to learn other skills, you have to learn this skill first, and after learning this skill, you must bind a dragon in order to take effect. Otherwise, you still can't learn other skills. This is also the fundamental reason why dragon masters without dragons can only be reduced to waste. Without a dragon pet, there were no skills. Without skills, attributes 10 times higher than the average professional were still equivalent to waste. Otherwise, just based on the high amount of attributes provided by the dragon master as a SSS level profession every level up, coupled with even the most common skills, even without a dragon, it could still be considered a profession with decent strength. Lin Tian made a decision. He directly tapped out the two skills. In an instant, Lin Tian's body felt a wave of lightness. A powerful force exploded in his body, and his mind became incredibly clear. All five senses sharpened. A mosquito was waving its wings underneath the table. The fallen leaves outside the house fell into the water, and the fresh meat that Little Yen had swallowed was being digested in his stomach. Lin Tian clearly felt these changes. He hurriedly looked at his four-dimensional attributes. Strength, 96. Agility, 67. Physique, 114. Spirit, 100. Lin Tian only had surprise in his heart. This boost was just too much. Although he only shared 10% of the little amazing, 10% of the dragon race was a several times increase for the human race. Even the two attributes, physique and spirit, had broken through 100. Lin Tian had never heard of anyone that could have such a terrifying attribute at level 1. For normal professionals, if they wanted to exceed this attribute, they would at least have to do so after their second turn, which meant that just by looking at the attributes, Lin Tian's level 1 had already surpassed many professions at level 19. The enhancement brought about by dancing with the dragon was more than that. In addition to his attributes, Lin Tian had also gained Lil Yan's skills, both passive and active skills, although it was only partially effective, and Lin Tian estimated that it was only 10% of the original. It was still an extremely heaven-defying ability. After all, it was important to realize that Lin Tian was only a level 1 professional right now. Until now. Lin Tian only realized that he had still greatly underestimated the strength of the SSS ranked profession of Dragon Master. Even if he didn't summon Little Amazing, he was now able to crush the vast majority of same level, or even higher level than him, professionals just by himself, even without considering Little Amazing. I'm afraid that if a professional of the same level wanted to defeat him, he would need to be at least an S ranked professional or above to do so. Of course, this was all just Lin Tian's estimation. After all, he didn't know what the situation was with other S rank or above professions. In reality, an S rank or even SS rank professional probably wouldn't be able to win against him. It would have to be an SS rank professional. But that was only if he was by himself. If Xiao Yan was counted, then there was no doubt that any professional of the same level would never be able to win against him. The current Lin Tian had this confidence. Having a dragon was just so bold. Ding bell dash. A phone rang and Lin Tian closed the panel. Hey, brother Tian, what do you say today? Yang Qi's voice came from the other end of the phone. Lin Tian knew what he was talking about. After the awakening ceremony, it was time for professionals to practice. A month or so later, it was the national exam. All the seniors who had awakened their main combat professions and auxiliary professions were now practicing in a hurry to get a good score in the national exam and get into a university of their choice. The two of them, he and Yang Qi, were naturally no exception. Leveling required traveling to the wilderness outside the city to kill foreign beasts which was extremely dangerous for newly awakened professionals. That was why the school would directly organize students to practice leveling, and it would be much safer to practice in a low-level area under the protection of a teacher. But Yang Qi would definitely not participate. With his family's condition, 
he must have already found a private team to protect him to practice leveling and upgrade much faster than the school organization. At this moment, when Young Chi called, he must have wanted him to come along. Old Young, go by yourself. Could it be that you want to participate in the school organization's leveling? That's too slow. Why don't you just join me? I'm going to go alone. Hearing that Lin Tian was preparing to go to the wilderness alone, if it was an ordinary person, they would definitely think that Lin Tian was crazy. However, Yang Chi knew Lin Tian too well and knew that he couldn't possibly do something that would send him to his death, and if he dared to head to the wilderness alone to practice, he must be sure of himself. Alright, I won't advise you if you have your own plans, but if you feel that leveling up is too slow call me. Don't worry, I'll be polite with you. Putting down his cell phone, Lin Tian didn't intend to dilly-dally and directly pulled out a large bag of things from under the bed. Now that the big exam was just over a month away, one had to scramble to upgrade. The things he needed to head to the wilderness to practice had long been prepared in advance. Aang, Little Yen finished eating the fresh meat and chirped again, indicating that he was still not full. Lin Tian helplessly rubbed his forehead. According to Little Amazing's appetite, if he were to put it in the past, he could have eaten him poor. Little Amazing. Do you want to go outside and eat something fresh? Aang Dash Little Amazing nodded his big head excitedly. Have you grown up again? I don't know if it was an illusion. Lin Tian always felt that Little Yen had grown up quite a bit again. Alright, let's get going. Lin Tian put Little Amazing into the dragon harnessing ranch and felt Little Amazing's activities in that space. He was originally worried that Little Amazing would not like entering the dragon harnessing ranch, but now it seemed that his worries were redundant. Little Amazing could completely enjoy himself in the ranch. Lin Tian touched a long dusty car key from under the table where Lin Genoa was sacrificed. This was Lin Genoa's previous ride when he went out to the outskirts of the city, a large pickup truck. It hadn't been driven for three years. But fortunately, this big pickup truck was leathery enough and still worked well. Lin Tian drove the big pickup truck, and then drove towards the city gates leading to the wilderness. Halfway through, he also filled up the gas, and additionally prepared a few more barrels. After all, this time he went out to practice not for a day or two arrived at the city gates. There were extremely many people here, and most of them were professionals. Level 20 squad heading to the wilderness. One mage is missing. Level 15 or above required. Leveling squad to help you level. Half a million a day. Heading to the wilderness. One mage, one knight, one priest, and one archer are missing. Dude, you're five short of four. Professionals of all colors were shouting at the city gates, but Lin Tian wasn't interested in any of this. Everyone needed to register to enter and exit the city, so that if you couldn't come back, you could at least let people know that you were dead outside. Lin Tian also drove his car to the city guard's registration office at the city gates and started the registration. Show your driver's license. No driver's license. Only this. Lin Tian had only reached the age where he could take a driver's license this year, but he didn't have the time to take a driver's license. He took out his student license. The city guard personnel took a look at it. And the occupation column had the words that had just been printed on it not even a day ago, Dragon Master. This meant that it had already become a professional. The city guards looked at the student ID and then at Lin Tian. Professionals have the privilege of not needing a driver's license. But you're alone? The city guard obviously saw that Lin Tian was going to practice. Yes, just me. The wilderness outside the city isn't as safe as inside the city. To practice you can pay to find a practice team to protect you. You can have the practice team come along and register. You don't have to worry about what they'll do to you outside the city. If you don't have the money, you can also join the school organized leveling. The city guards persuaded up Lin Tian, clearly not wanting him to just get killed for nothing. At this time, a scarred head also came up. Sir, is this a senior student who needs to practice? It was obviously someone from a leveling squad as well. The city guards also looked at Lin Tian, seemingly hoping that he would come back to his senses. Lin Tian shook his head and said, I'm enough on my own. Seeing that Lin Tian had eaten his words and was determined to send himself to his death, the city guards didn't try to persuade him any further and took out the small book of proof of exit from the city, stamped a seal on it and handed it to Lin Tian. Lin Tian took the small book and drove directly to the outskirts of the city. The voices coming from behind him were getting farther and farther away, gradually disappearing. Another brat who doesn't know how to die, if he doesn't look for our practice squad, he'll probably die outside in a few days. In the endless wilderness. A large black pickup truck was racing across the horizon. On his way out of the city, Lin Tian took another look at the few skills that could be ordered on the skill tree. In the end, he decided to keep the remaining one point of skill points and not use them for the time being. Right now, with a little bit of skill points, he couldn't point any skills that boosted a lot, so he simply kept it and waited until after he upgraded to use it. It didn't take long. 
Lin Tian had already driven to the first low-level area outside of the city, Wild Boar Forest. According to the markings on the map, the Wild Boar Forest was populated by level 1 to 5 Greenskin Boars and Greentust Boars, which had low combat power and danger, and were the first choice of the students practicing leveling, so Lin Tian directly passed this place. He estimated that 90% of the students in Jiang Chang who had just awakened their professions would choose to level here. The Wild Boar Forest had been overcrowded for a long time, so for him to go there to practice leveling would be like exposing his strength in advance. What's more, there was nothing dangerous there the level of the beasts was low and naturally the returns were not high. With his current strength, he definitely needed to go to a more advanced area. Soon, he sailed past the wild boar forest. After some more time, Lin Tian arrived at his target area, the third foreign beast area outside the city, the demonic vine demon forest. This was still a low level area, but the blood-sucking demon vines and misty demon trees that lived in it were generally above level 10 and the strength of the fey beasts and the experience that they provided had almost caught up with the low and medium level areas. It was just that these plant-type exotic beasts generally had defective mobility, and that was why they were rated as low-level zones. But even so, for level 10 or so alien beasts, for a newly awakened level 1 professional, going in alone would still be a death sentence. Even a level 10 squad of 5 would have to be cautious when facing the demon vine demon forest, but that was for ordinary professionals. For Lin Tian, none of these rules applied. Instead of following the usual practice of parking the pickup truck at the outskirts of the forest, Lin Tian went straight to the center of the forest with a kick of the gas pedal. One hour later, at the lakeside in the center of the forest, there was an extra black pickup truck. Lin Tian looked up into the sky and couldn't see it at all. It was almost completely blocked by the dense trees, and their tall canopies, and there were only a few gaps that let in a little bit of shimmering light. However, this made this forest even more eerie, and the atmosphere was also very weird. For this reason, there weren't many people here at all. Lin Tian hadn't seen a single person along the way he drove in. Even the higher leveled squads were not willing to come to such a weird place to practice. However, this was a boon for Lin Tian. He wanted this kind of spooky place where people were rare. Come out, Little Yen, Aang. Lin Tian summoned Little Amazing from the Dragon Harnessing Ranch. With a chirp, Little Amazing spread its wings and flew up, landing on Lin Tian's arm again, rubbing his head affectionately against Lin Tian's face. Lin Tian blocked Little Amazing with his hand. Now that he was sure, Little Amazing had definitely grown up quite a bit and was dead heavy in his arms. If it wasn't for the fact that he had shared his attributes, which allowed Lin Tian to increase his strength greatly, he wouldn't have been able to hold Little Amazing. Aang dash Little Amazing, who was blocked, screamed in dissatisfaction. Lin Tian stroked his head, feeling the rock-like touch. It couldn't be helped. Now that Little Amazing had grown up, rubbing his face with his head was like a rock scraping across his face. However, it was good that Little Amazing was still a small child, so Lin Tian coaxed him after some petting. When he arrived in his new environment, Little Amazing was obviously very curious and looked around. He sniffed with his nose, seemingly looking for the smell of food. Soon, he found it. Little Amazing flew into midair with a spread of his wings, and then swooped down towards the surface of the lake to the side. He had just dipped into the water, and the heat from his body caused a small piece of lake water to boil. It didn't take long for Little Amazing to fly out of the lake with a strange fish twice as big as him in his mouth. Lin Tian looked at it with the appraisal technique that all professionals naturally came with. Demon Lake Piranha. Level, 5. The level 5 piranha was defenseless in front of the level 1 Little Amazing. With a lift of his head, Little Amazing threw the piranha into midair, followed by a streak of flame, and the piranha became a roasted fish. As soon as the piranha died, Lin Tian opened his profession panel. The experience bar in the level column had risen by about one-tenth at this point, so it seemed that upgrading was really not easy. He was a level 1 professional, killing level 5 beasts, and surprisingly, his experience had only increased by 10%. Granted, this was also because he had shared half of his experience with Little Amazing, but even if he didn't share the experience it would still be 20%. If he were a normal level 1 professional, if he wanted to kill a level 5 fey beast, not only would he have to spend a lot of time, he would have to take a huge risk, and in order to ensure his safety, if he found someone else to team up and share the experience, then the upgrade would be even slower, and I'm afraid that he wouldn't be able to level up to level 2 if he spent a day on it. However, he had little yen with him, so there was no need to worry about the upgrade speed. Upgrading to level 2 was just a matter of 10 piranhas. Little Amazing took a bite of the roasted fish and carried it to the shore. Aang dash little yen signaled for Lin Tian to eat first. You eat, I'm not hungry. Aang Aang dash. Little Amazing didn't seem to believe that Lin Tian wasn't hungry, thinking that no one could go without eating for so long, and seeing that Lin Tian didn't want to eat, 
he chirped twice very unhappily, indicating that he was very worried about Lin Tian's body, and that he had to let Lin Tian eat first, or else he wouldn't eat either. Lin Tian let out a bitter smile, not knowing what to say. The little guy had just broken out of his shell in less than a day, and he had learned to care about people. This rather made Lin Tian feel a sense of relief in his heart. All right, then I'll eat first. Aang. After Lin Tian meant to take two bites, little amazing saw Lin Tian eat, so he started eating as well. His stomach had been rumbling with hunger for a long time. Little Amazing's appetite was astonishingly large. After a roasted fish that was twice his own size went down, Little Amazing's stomach didn't bulge in the slightest. It only grew a little bit in size that was visible to the naked eye. Obviously, a roasted fish is not enough to let the little yen eat enough. He once again drilled into the lake. It didn't take long. Lin Tian's experience rose a few times one after another. At this time, a few piranhas also surfaced and the blood that flowed out dyed the surface of the lake red. After another moment, as a few more piranhas surfaced, Lin Tian's experience continued to rise, and within a few minutes of work, he had risen to level 2 in one breath. If Lin Tian's classmates, who were currently struggling to fight monsters, saw this scene, they would probably have to cry to death. They had to work hard for a few people to team up and fight monsters for half a day, in order to kill a level 4 or 5 green boar, and share a little bit of insignificant experience. This more or less still have to suffer a bit of trauma, a bit of bad luck or even suffer a serious injury as possible. And Lin Tian? He didn't have to move himself to upgrade, he relied on Little Amazing to fully automate the process. In a few minutes, he had already reached level 2. In Lin Tian's opinion, the real leveling hadn't even started yet. Right now was merely Little Amazing's buffet time. After eating 10 grilled fish in a row, Little Amazing's bottomless pit-like appetite was finally sort of filled up. Lin Tian also didn't rush to start practicing immediately. Instead, he let Little Yin continue to start catching and roasting fish, and it was only after roasting nearly a hundred piranhas, and Little Yin already had a hard time seeing piranhas at the bottom of the lake, that Lin Tian let him stop. These nearly 100 roasted fish were Little Amazing's rations that were prepared in advance. Otherwise, if Little Yin had such a big appetite, if he was hungry in the middle of nowhere, he really wouldn't be able to find food right away. Lin Tian put all these roasted fish into the system backpack. The system backpack was very convenient. If it wasn't the system backpack, Lin Tian really couldn't bring so many roasted fish with him. And in the future, it would be much easier to store the drops of the foreign beasts, generally used by high-level professionals to store items. The kind of storage space contains the ring, bracelet and other jewelry, Lin Tian once also considered, but saw the price he gave up. All are sky-high prices. The space is not much far less than the system backpack. Lin Tian looked at the panel, the experience bar in the level column. Every time a professional went up a level, the experience required would go up drastically. He only needed 10 piranhas to rise from level 1 to level 2. But now, with nearly a 100 piranhas, it only took him to level 3, with only half of the experience bar passed. If he wanted to get into a good university, he would basically have to rise to level 10. And as for Xinqing and Longjing, two of the top schools in the Dragon Kingdom, According to past practice, he would need to be level 15 to get in securely. With such high requirements, the difficulty for ordinary professionals could be imagined. However, for Lin Tian, this was not a problem. Roar dash. A high dragon roar swept through the forest, proclaiming the majesty of the dragon race. After eating 10 roasted fishes in a row, Little Amazing had grown a lot more in size and was already able to let out a true dragon roar. Now that Little Amazing was standing on the ground with his two hind legs, he was already a bit taller than Lin Tian when he stood upright. Aang dash Little Amazing chirped proudly at Lin Tian when he saw that he was taller than Lin Tian. Little Amazing had grown not only in size, but also in rank and strength. As a dragon, he needed more experience to level up than Lin Tian, and he was only up to level 2 now. However, the boost from him leveling up one level could be greater than Lin Tian's two levels. As a SSS level profession, upgrading a dragon master gave a lot of attributes. Increasing the full attributes by 10 points for every level up. It was important to know that the most common D-ranked professions only added 1 point to their full attributes when upgraded 1 level. But even though Lin Tian's attributes had increased by so much, it still wasn't comparable to Little Amazing's increase. Little Amazing's full attributes had increased by an average of 50 points when he leveled up. It was really too exaggerated. One could only say that this was the dragon race. Just when one person and one dragon were comparing their heights. A thick. Thorny blood-sucking devil vine was circling around behind Lin Tian without saying a word and had already reached Lin Tian's heels. If it was an ordinary level 3 professional, I'm afraid that he would have to drink it on the spot. But with Lin Tian's current strength, he had already detected the movement. 
Lin Tian took a step back and stepped on top of the vine. The blood-sucking devil vine sensed that it had been discovered and stopped pretending, trying to pull out the vines under Lin Tian's feet, but found that it couldn't move in the slightest. It simply broke the small section of vine directly, and then the thick vine waved like a long whip, straight towards the back of Lin Tian's head. Little Yen, do it, roar dash, hearing the order. Little Amazing spat out a mouthful of flame and hit the vine. In an instant, the thick blood-sucking demon vine was burned by this blazing flame, and it directly carbonized, turning into a twisted and pitch-black charcoal. This charcoal was blown by the breeze and immediately turned into powder that floated away with the wind. This cut-off vine was not the blood-sucking devil vine's body, but it was still enough to severely injure it. Not far away, the blood-sucking devil vine, which looked like a large mass of vines entwined together with its own body, was already writhing in pain. Lin Tian used an appraisal technique on it. Blood-sucking devil vine. Level, 13. Strength, 38. Agility, 2. Physique, 29. Spirit, 1. The various attributes were very crotch-pulling. Little Yen looked at the blood-sucking devil vine with contempt. This kind of lowly existential beast, how dare it make a move against its master? Few dash a crimson flame slashed through. The twisted body of the blood-sucking devil vine was turned into charcoal and dispersed in the wind. After killing the blood-sucking devil vine, Lin Tian was pleasantly surprised to find that both his and Little Yan's experience bars had risen by a large margin. He had even directly risen to level 4. Low-level professionals were able to gain more experience by killing high-level foreign beasts. This was something Lin Tian knew. However, he did not expect it to be this much. Originally, after going through the actual battle and discovering the true difficulty of upgrading, he didn't hold much hope for this. It turned out to be something that greatly exceeded his expectations. There was too much experience gained from killing foreign beasts that had a level difference. According to the current situation, the speed at which he upgraded would be much faster than originally expected. It might be possible that by the time the big exam came around, he would be able to directly rise to level 20 and perform a second turn. Having just awakened for over a month, he had reached the second turn of a Dragon Master, debuting at the national exam. I wonder how much ripples and attention it could cause. Lin Tian felt anyway that it was enough to shake the higher-ups and cause attention. The large amount of experience gained from killing high-level foreign beasts made both the man and the dragon excited. Little Amazing, give me free play, roar dash. Having received Lin Tian's order, Little Amazing no longer suppressed his nature as a giant dragon. The place where the giant dragon was located did not have any room for any other creatures to survive. Sensing so many low-grade foreign beasts around him, it made Little Amazing feel very uncomfortable. And if it wasn't for the fact that Lin Tian hadn't ordered him to do so, he would have wanted to harden this surrounding area. At this moment, Little Amazing no longer suppressed his nature. Under a dragon roar, a huge dragon might swept out. These lower plant-type beasts had no spiritual intelligence to speak of, but their instincts still allowed them to feel the gulf between the layers of life. A large number of blood-sucking demon vines twisted their bodies and lumbered around, wanting to escape from the area. The more misty demon trees around them, on the other hand, had the heart to do nothing, they were rooted here and had no mobility at all. Now they wanted to escape but couldn't. They just instinctively trembled their branches and shook off many leaves. It looked as if they were trembling out of fear. Roar dash. The little amazing opened its jaws and a pillar of fire mixed with blazing magma gushed out from it. Lin Tian's gaze coalesced as he stared intently at this strike from the little amazing. He knew that this wasn't one of those ordinary spouts of fire from before, but was one of little amazing skills breath of the beginning fire dragon. Lin Tian wanted to see just how powerful little amazing skill was. Instantly, only where the pillar of fire passed through. Even the air was set ablaze. Those demonic vines and demonic trees that were struck by the pillar of fire were even more defenseless. They weren't even set ablaze but instead disappeared into the sea of fire in an instant. Under the breath of the beginning fire dragon. These foreign beasts. Not even ashes were left. It was as if they had never existed. Lin Tian had been dumbstruck as he looked at the successive rises in experience on the panel. Strong. Too strong. Simply strong to the point of being heaven defying. This strike had cleared all the foreign beasts on the path of the fire pillar, directly allowing Lin Tian, who had just risen to level 4, to upgrade again to level 5 before even a minute had passed. Little Yen had also managed to level up to level 3 through this. The various attributes had once again skyrocketed by an average of 50 points. In this way, Lin Tian's desire to go all the way up to level 20 before the big exam was not a delusion, and it wasn't even considered difficult. Good job. Little Yen. Roar dash. Little Yen who had received Lin Tian's praise, worked even harder to clear up the surrounding foreign beasts. Lin Tian, on the other hand, gathered up the drops after killing the beasts. These drops were all brought back to the city where they could be traded, and the foreign beast items were worth a lot of money. After half a day, 
The center of the forest was cleared of a large blank area. The sky that was originally covered by the tall crowns of the many demonic trees was revealed. Lin Tian looked up as the sky had completely darkened. It was already afternoon when he left the city itself, and it was getting late when he looked at his watch. Little amazing. Let's call it a day. Aang. Clearing out so many foreign beasts had also allowed Lin Tian to rise to level 9, and his experience bar was already mostly full. Little Yen had also risen to level 5. However, as the level skyrocketed, the experience required to upgrade was also skyrocketing. Although he had risen all the way to level 9 in the Devil Vine Demon Forest, Lin Tian wasn't going to continue. Tomorrow, he was going to change places. The reasons were also simple. For one thing, after his level had risen, the level difference between him and the foreign beasts here had become smaller, and the experience gained from killing these devil vines and demon trees had basically no bonus, so if he continued to stay here, he wouldn't be able to level up as fast as he did today. Secondly, the beasts here are all plants, usually do not move, and now in just half a day's work, Little Yen cleared out a large area of vacuum. This kind of unusual situation, easy to attract attention, and this kind of attention was not what Lin Tian wanted, now was not the time for him to be exposed. Lin Tian took out from the pickup truck, the large bag he had prepared in advance. Inside were the living supplies he needed for this period of time. This time when he left the city, he would have to stay for at least half a month, so he couldn't do without these supplies. After setting up the tent, Lin Tian prepared to rest. Lin Tian had just gone in and started to clean up the interior when the tent tumbled to the ground, and Lin Tian came out to take a look, only to see that it was Little Yen who had toppled the tent with his head. Ang Dash Little Amazing chirped, very aggravated. Lin Tian heard what he meant. He was trying to follow Lin Tian into the tent and didn't realize that he had toppled the top of the tent. This little guy didn't seem to realize how big he had grown now. After ascending to level 3, Little Yen's size was already a bit bigger than Lin Tian's pickup truck. Little amazing. You can go back to the dragon ranch first. Aang Dash. You've grown up now. You can't live in such a small tent. Aang. After half a day of explaining, but Little Amazing still said that he didn't want to go back to the ranch space. He insisted that on the first day of his birth, he must sleep next to Lin Tian. Lin Tian couldn't argue. He didn't want to forcefully order Little Amazing. After all, the child had only been born for less than a day, so it was understandable to be a bit capricious. Just this once, not in the future. Ang Dash Little Amazing shouted excitedly, agreeing to the request. Lin Tian opened the tent door, allowing Little Amazing's head to barely be able to stick in. Little Amazing thus slept with his head inside the tent and his body perched outside the tent but he himself was very satisfied with this. As long as he could stay by Lin Tian's side, Lin Tian looked at the tent space that was only half left. He could only smile bitterly and helplessly touched Little Amazing's big head. There was no way. The baby he raised could only be spoiled by himself. One night passed. Perhaps it was because of Little Amazing's presence that the foreign beasts in this forest didn't dare to approach. Nothing happened this night, allowing Lin Tian to have a peaceful sleep even in the wild. After Lin Tian woke up, he realized that Little Amazing had already woken up and was looking at him with a pair of big eyes open. After Lin Tian briefly washed up, he took out the grilled fish to fill his stomach. He realized that Little Yen's meal size was much smaller today and only ate a few baked fish that were two people high. It seemed that the large amount of meals Little Yen had yesterday was only because he was just born and was in dire need of nutrients for his development. This was good news. Otherwise with such a large meal, he would have to make several trips a day with his pickup truck just to buy food for Little Yen. After eating, the one person and one dragon continued to start the firmament. Lin Tian planned to level up to level 10 here first before moving on to another place. Little Yen played freely and when he saw where there were still foreign beasts, he rushed up and resolved them in three hits. The deaths of the devil vines and demon trees in large swathes seemed to have made all of these unintelligent fey beasts start to become alert. Lin Tian realized that there were already some foreign beasts that had started sneak attacks on him. He was picking up the fallen items of these devil vines and demon trees. Lin Tian only heard a whoosh sound and a vine that looked like a long whip came straight from behind. Lin Tian didn't even raise his head, and raised his hand in anticipation. The vine, which was waving at high speed with only shadows remaining, was grabbed by him and stopped in midair. The vine still wanted to resist, but it couldn't move the vine that was held in Lin Tian's hand in the slightest. Then, Lin Tian's hand yanked. The blood-sucking devil vine's body, which was twisted into a ball, was then yanked over by his hand. Lin Tian grabbed it with both hands and yanked hard. The vines of the blood-sucking devil vine, which were tougher than steel cables, snapped apart in Lin Tian's hands like leather tendons. With just one strike, Lin Tian had torn the blood-sucking devil vine's body into two halves. The experience bar also jumped imperceptibly by a tiny bit. Although Lin Tian was a dragon master, 99% of his strength was in his dragon pet. 
However, he was now level 9 and all 4 attributes had exceeded 100, even based on attributes alone. It wasn't something that these low-grade foreign beasts could touch. The panel alone had already crushed it. It wasn't even to the point of needing skills. Subsequently, the Fey Beasts looked like they could see that Lin Tian was the key, and as if they were worried about being wiped out by the group, they remained undeterred and went forward and back to sneak attack Lin Tian. Lin Tian did not resist this. Even if his profession was a dragon tamer, he still wanted to have some combat power of his own. Not to say how strong, but at least to be able to defend himself, so that he could let his dragon pet completely loose. And these low-grade foreign beasts were the best whetstone for him. After a few battles, Lin Tian suddenly felt that he should get a handy weapon. Fighting with his bare hands was just too inefficient. He could tear these low-grade foreign beasts apart with his hands, but if it was a foreign beast with a level 10 higher, he would have to put in a lot of effort if he wanted to kill it with his bare hands. After a period of time, Lin Tian's experience bar had finally risen from most of the way up to filling up. He had successfully risen to level 10. It had been less than 24 hours since he left the city. He had managed to soar from level 1 to level 10. If this news spread out, I'm afraid that it would cause an uproar. Lin Tian estimated that this upgrading speed of his was enough to make human history. Even if he returned to the city right now, this less than a day's effort would be enough for him to enroll in a decent university. Little Yen, let's go. Hearing Lin Tian's call, Little Amazing breathed out the last of his flames and returned to Lin Tian's side. One person and one dragon were just about to leave. Rumble dash. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise coming from the dense forest not far away. Lin Tian looked towards the dense forest, only to see an unusually tall canopy that was moving through the dense forest like a crane. The direction happened to be straight towards him. Lin Tian cast appraisal to look over. Boss, Demon Vine Demon Tree King, level, 29. So lucky, letting me run into it on my first visit? Lin Tian said this. It was because in the wild, bosses were very hard to see. Bosses only existed in fey areas that were over level 10. And the bosses were hidden in the hidden boundaries of the area, which was another separate piece of space. This was also the reason why Lin Tian had driven all the way in and hadn't seen the Demon Vine Demon Tree King. If the Demon Tree King lived in the forest, with such a tall canopy, there was no way Lin Tian wouldn't have seen it. Moreover, this hidden boundary, instead of being a fixed location, would move randomly. Unless he had a treasure map of this area, he could always pinpoint the location of the hidden boundary. Otherwise, just by relying on luck, there was no way to find the boss. Lin Tian didn't expect that he would be so lucky and encounter a boss on his first outing. He knew that a lot of ordinary professionals, who had been working in the field for most of their lives, had never seen a boss. Of course, the strength of all bosses far exceeded the level of the area they were in. If an ordinary professional didn't actively search for a boss, but came across one by chance, they wouldn't even be able to run in time. However, since Lin Tian had come across one, he naturally wouldn't let it go. It was important to realize that all bosses were very precious. The drops from killing bosses were not the same as normal fey beasts. Bosses could drop anything. The ones with a darker face might not drop anything. The normal ones were boss cores, or various precious materials, or even treasure maps for finding other bosses. Or it could also drop something that Lin Tian was in need of right now, equipment of a not so low grade. As for why the Demon Vine Demon Tree King had appeared by itself, Lin Tian thought about it carefully. He guessed that it was still because of Little Amazing. Little Amazing's speed in clearing out the foreign beasts was so fast that he had already created a large vacuum area in the center of the forest, even forcing these spiritless plant-like foreign beasts to start sneaking up on him. The culprit. This time, the Demon Vine Demon Tree King took the initiative to appear, and I'm afraid that this was also the reason. The Demon Tree King was worried that if he didn't come out to eliminate the culprits, this forest of his would only be untenable. However, this time, the Demon Vine Tree King's plans were going to come to nothing. He, Lin Tian, was not an ordinary level 10 professional. Little Amazing wasn't an ordinary beast handler either. Even if he was facing a level 29 boss, Lin Tian had absolute confidence in Little Amazing. Lin Tian was just thinking. The Demon Vine Demon Tree King had already moved into the vacuum created by Little Amazing from the dense forest. This also allowed Lin Tian to see the Demon Tree King's face. It was a combination of an extremely tall misty demon tree, plus blood-sucking demon vines. Many thick vines stretched out from its trunk and roots, and it was also thanks to these vines that it was able to move around. On the constantly twisting vines, there were also many dried corpses of foreign beasts hanging, and a few of the foreign beasts weren't even dead yet, and were being continuously sucked of blood by it with its vines. The scene was extremely bizarre. Boss, Demon Vine Demon Tree King, Level, 29. Strength, 392. Agility, 101. Physique, 318. Spirit, 96. Vine Slam, Active. 
LV3 swing vines to deal damage. Blood sucking, active. LV2 use vines to suck the target's blood to restore life. Misty pollen, active. LV2 shake off pollen to form a hallucinogenic area. After reading the Demon Tree King's panel, Lin Tian shook his head. This boss was a life-saving monster to normal professionals, but to him it was nothing more than an experienced baby. This four-dimensional attribute wasn't as good as the little amazing that had just broken its shell. The Demon Tree King came straight at Lin Tian, without the need for Lin Tian's order. Little Amazing took the initiative to protect his master and charged towards the Demon Tree King with a shock of its wings. As the two sides crossed paths, Little Amazing's sharp claws left several deep claw marks on the thick trunk of the Demon Tree King, from which bright red sap-like blood flowed out. The Demon Tree King seemed to have suffered great pain, the vines and branches all over his body twisted. The vines grew exponentially to bind Little Amazing in a smooth manner, strangling Little Amazing like a giant python, wanting to suffocate him. Xiao Yan did not panic at all. In the crevices of the rock-like scale armor on his body surface, as if it was magma, a fiery aura emanated from the light that flowed with his breath. The thick and tough vines of the Demon Tree King were unable to resist in the slightest under this fiery breath. In an instant, they were ignited and turned into ashes. Seeing this scene, Lin Tian immediately shouted, Little amazing, don't burn it to ashes. Bosses weren't like normal beasts. Only the drops were worth money. Boss corpses were equally expensive. Just the Demon Vine Demon Tree King carcass alone was worth at least 10 million dollars or more when placed on the market. 10 million ah. Lin Tian had never seen so much money in his life. No wonder professionals had so many privileges. Even the most common main combat profession was a human being. Powerful professionals were even more honored. This was the reason. He had only just awakened less than two days ago and had come to the wilderness for less than a day. He had already earned a fortune that ordinary people could never hope to achieve in a lifetime. The same wealth that was unimaginable even in his first 18 years. There had never been a time when Lin Tian was as thankful for his perseverance over the past three years as he was at this moment. The battlefield ahead. The Demon Tree King's spiritual intelligence was clearly much higher than that of an ordinary foreign beast. It could see that Lin Tian regarded it as a bag of tricks and instantly became furious. Dozens of steel whip-like vines danced wildly, and many pollen shook off the tall tree crown, creating a misty area. However, Little Amazing did not spoil it. Upon hearing Lin Tian's order, he gave up spitting fire and instead dispelled the Demon Tree King's mist with a wave of his wings. Then he danced his wings and flew towards high altitude. His figure, which was a bit bigger than a big pickup truck, gradually turned into a small black dot in the air. The next second, Little Amazing's figure rapidly expanded in the field of vision. He was swooping down sharply, a golden pattern of a giant dragon spreading its wings and roaring coalesced underneath him. Lin Tian could see that this was another of Little Yan's skills, Dragon Seal. The dragon seal wrapped a terrifying might and fell straight down towards the demonic vine demon tree king. Boom dash. Cutching cutching cutching. Accompanied by the smoke and dust that rose in all directions. Obscuring the figures of both sides. After a loud bang, Lin Tian heard a series of sounds of wood breaking. Without looking, Lin Tian knew the result. It was because he had upgraded. The level 29 demon tree king had a level difference of almost 20 levels from him. Plus the experience given by the boss was already extremely high. These two added up. Even if the experience was split in half, it all allowed Lin Tian to rise two levels in a row. In one fell swoop, he reached level 12. Little Yen had also risen to level 6. This exceeded Lin Tian's original goal of rising to level 10, making him very satisfied. When the smoke cleared, Little Amazing was standing on top of the Demon Tree King's corpse, proudly raising his head. Well done, Little Amazing. When we get back, we'll reward you with a full feast of exotic beasts. Eat whatever you want. Aang. Little Amazing, who received a compliment and a full banquet of foreign beasts, showed extreme excitement and circled around the trophies with his small broken steps. Little Amazing was smart enough not to injure the tree trunk and only smashed some branches, not affecting the price. Lin Tian put the Demon Tree King carcass into his system backpack. Then, he looked at the drops from killing the boss. Fortunately, he didn't have a black face. The Demon Tree King still dropped him one thing. Demon Vine Demon Tree King Core, Gold Grade. Although it didn't drop the equipment Lin Tian wanted the most, the core wasn't bad all the same. A gold grade material, or a boss core. There was a market without a price on the market. The exact price would have to depend on the auction, but at the very least it was worth a small target. This time could be said to be a bumper harvest. Lin Tian collected the loot and had Little Yan enter the Dragon Ranch again, driving the big pickup truck, heading to the next leveling area, the center of the Demon Vine Demon Forest. Several professionals were racking up a novice professional who looked like a 17 or 18 year old student like. Are you sure that the hidden boundary where the demon vine demon tree king is located is at this location right now? 
A bald man with a long diagonal scar on his head opened his mouth and asked the youngster, if Lin Tian was here, he would be able to tell that this scarred head was the same person who had taken the initiative to come up and ask if he needed a practicing squad when he left the city. If it's here, why isn't it, you dare to bluff us? Scarhead's brows furrowed, his face full of horizontal flesh piled together, and his eyes asked sinisterly. The juniors under Scarhead, with one hand, put their long knives on the youngster's neck, feeling the cold coolness on his neck. The little youth was about to pee in fear. He hurriedly spoke. I don't dare to dare. How dare I bluff you guys? It's really here. How had the little youth ever seen such a scene? He was merely a collateral member of a large family in Jung City. At the awakening ceremony the day before yesterday, he had awakened a good B-rank profession and felt that he had a bright future ahead of him. So he wanted to take some money out from his family by himself and was going to find a leveling squad to help him with his leveling. As a result, when he took the money, he rummaged through his dad's safe and found the treasure map marked with the location of the boss. He guessed at that time that the search for the treasure map must be a task ordered by the main family of their extended family. Now that his dad had found the treasure map, he definitely had to submit it to the main family. But as soon as he saw the treasure maps, he couldn't take his eyes off them. He got carried away for a moment, thinking that as long as he could finish off these bosses and bring back the drops, he would surely be able to be rewarded by the main family. And maybe in time, this side clan of theirs would be able to enter the main family as well. The large amount of experience from killing the bosses would also allow him to upgrade quickly, and perhaps wrestle his way into the two top tier academies of Divine Clearance and Dragon King. So he found Scarhead's leveling squad at the city gates and hired them to go out of the city. But what he didn't expect was that when he revealed the news of the treasure map, the Scarhead squad tore up the contract and directly hijacked him. He originally thought that after registering at the city gates, the practicing squad wouldn't dare to do this kind of murderous thing. But he had still underestimated the greed of human nature and overestimated the binding nature of the rules of the professional world. Just when the youngster had already cried in fear and was really about to pee his pants, Scarhead's team members brought back a broken branch. Boss, this seems to be the branch of the demon vine demon tree king. Scarhead took the branch from his junior's hands, looked at it carefully, and finally nodded. It's this one. It's the same as the ones I've seen when I was young. Boss, could it be that the boss was intercepted by someone else? At this time, Scarhead was already enraged as he grabbed the youngster by the neck and picked him up. There is only one treasure map for each boss. If it's in your hands, how could the boss be found by someone else? The little youth was dumbfounded by the battle. Stuttering, he said, I I I, I don't know. The little brother at the side whispered to Scarhead, Boss, I think the treasure map should really be in his hands, or else he wouldn't be able to know such a precise location. It might really be a coincidence that the boss was intercepted and someone got lucky and happened to stumble upon it. Oomph. Scarhead let go of his hand and threw the little youth to the ground. Before the little youth could breathe a sigh of relief, he heard Scarhead's words. Once the boss dies, it'll take a month for it to reappear. Now we can't wait that long. There's no use keeping him. Dispose of him. Don't, big brother. I'm still useful. The youngster hugged Scarhead's thighs, snot and tears flowing all over the place. Scarhead kicked him away and signaled his little brothers to do away with him. Big brother. I still have two treasure maps, the youngster could no longer care much about surviving, and hurriedly told him about the fact that he still had two treasure maps, as he said that, three bundles of scrolls appeared out of thin air in his hands, he didn't have storage props, the scrolls were hidden in the storage space unique to his profession, seeing this scene, Scarhead grabbed the scrolls and opened them one by one, the more he looked at them, the more excited he became, after confirming that there was no mistake, he quickly changed his face and said with a smile on his face, little brother, we only seek wealth and do not harm lives. What other good things do you have all come out? All come out we will let you go. The little youth who was already scared silly. How could he still have any thinking ability? A brain took out all the things in his storage space. Is this all? Big brother. Really just these. I took it all out. Oh oh right. My family still has money. As long as you guys let me go. I'll give it all to you after I go back. Scar had sniffed and changed his face again. Signaling his little brother to do it. The newly joined minions were still a bit hesitant. Scarhead laughed and said, What's the point of hesitating? After you finish this job, you won't have to worry for the rest of your life. Hearing this, the little brother also stopped hesitating. The youngster just disappeared into the world with remorse. He thought, if he could do it all over again, he would never take those three treasure maps, even if he could live as an ordinary person for the rest of his life. But there was no medicine for regret in the world. Scarhead picked up a scroll, swept it and said, Let's go. To the Tarantula Valley. In the Tarantula Valley, Lin Tian had already arrived by now and was ready to start a new round of leveling. The alien beasts in the Tarantula Valley were all at level 15 to 20. 
which was already considered an intermediate zone, and shouldn't have been a place for a novice professional like Lin Tian to come to. In fact, it was also true. Other than Lin Tian, no novice professional would come here to practice leveling. Lin Tian drove all the way into the valley, and none of the people he encountered were novice professionals. Lin Tian had chosen this place because, aside from the higher level of the foreign beasts, it was because there weren't many people here either. However, compared to the demon vine demon forest where not a single living person could be seen in the entire forest, there were still many more people in the tarantula valley. Lin Tian still spent a bit of time before he found this place where no one was. He had just gotten out of the car and summoned Little Amazing. Lin Tian then heard the cell phone in the car ring twice, taking it out and looking at it. It was a message from Yen Qi. Lin Tian was actually wondering. This place was already some distance away from Jiang Chang, and there were no signal towers in the wild. So how could he receive the message? Brother Tian, how's your situation? How many levels? I'm but level 3 already. I feel like level 13 is expected before the big exam. This leveling squad my dad found for me is really something. How about it? Do you want to come? Seeing Yang Qi's message, Lin Tian casually replied. Not bad. Level 12. Just after the message was sent, Yang Qi replied back in seconds. Level 12? Really? You can't tease me. Why are you teasing me? It's really level 12. I still think it's a bit slow. Lin Tian didn't forget to Versailles a bit. If Gong doesn't give up, I would like to be worshipped as a righteous father. Speak human. Take me. Father, Yang Qi didn't have the slightest doubt and immediately recognized the time. Okay, but there's no rush. You practice first. I'll go back to Jiang City in half a month at most. I'll bring you then. It's definitely not a problem to bring you to level 15 in a month's time. Lin Tian agreed without much consideration. He wasn't going to expose Little Yen, but he wouldn't deliberately hide it from Yang Qi, his brother. Sooner or later, he would know anyway. He trusted both Yang Qi and his own level of knowledge. Many thanks. Righteous father, seeing Yang Qi's last message, Lin Tian didn't reply anymore and threw his cell phone back into the car, then prepared to start clearing out the foreign beasts in this neighborhood. Fierce Poisonous Tarantula, Level, 19, Strength, 52, Agility, 71, Physique, 50, Spirit, 41, Poison Stinger, Active, LV1 shoots venom at the target, causing hallucinogenic effects and sustained damage. Lin Tian looked at the several fierce venomous tarantulas that were not far away charging towards Little Amazing, and in his heart, he had already mourned for them in advance. Little Amazing couldn't be interested in the two or three cats of this size and didn't even want to spit fire. With a flick of his tail and the spiky bulging skin of his tail, he dismantled these several tarantulas and killed them. The levels of these tarantulas were several levels higher than Lin Tian. The bonus wasn't low, providing much more experience than the foreign beasts of the demonic vine demon forest, but for the experience Lin Tian needed to upgrade right now, it was just a drop in the bucket. It was just mosquito meat. Moreover, the fey beasts in the wolf spider valley were not as dense as the demon vine demon forest. Coupled with the fact that there were other occupiers present in the valley after all, Lin Tian didn't clear it as recklessly. Instead, the speed of upgrading slowed down. However, this slowdown was only relative to himself. Compared to the other students in Jiang Cheng who were practicing leveling, the speed at which he was gaining experience right now was still ridiculously fast. At this time, a few more mighty venomous tarantulas gathered around. These mighty poison wolf spiders were not like the blood-sucking demon vine in the misty demon tree. Their spiritual intelligence was already not low. They saw that they could not possibly be a match for the behemoth in front of them in melee combat. Having learned their lesson, they began to maintain a distance. Then they raised their heads and extended the sharp fangs in their mouthpieces, instantly spewing out several streams of venom towards Little Amazing. Little Amazing did not react in the slightest. Before the several channels of venom could even get close to Little Yen, they were vaporized by the high temperature emitted from his body and disappeared in midair. The fierce venomous tarantula seemed to be undaunted and repeated the same trick for a while, but what it got was still the same result. Seeing this scene, the several mighty venomous tarantulas were a bit dumbfounded. They couldn't get closer, they couldn't keep their distance, and they didn't know what to do. Little Yen saw that these few low-level beasts were at their wit's end, so he didn't play with them any longer. He opened his mouth and sprayed out a flame, and roasted them into dried spiders. Little Amazing went over to smell them and shook his big head in disgust. Looking at Lin Tian, he felt a burst of amusement. Lin Tian walked forward. Venomous fangs, poison glands, tarantula seedy, picked up all of the fierce venomous tarantula's drops and threw them into the system backpack. The price of these ordinary exotic beasts drops was not high. The cheap ones were a couple thousand, and the expensive ones were no more than a hundred thousand. However, they were large in quantity, and collecting them was also a lot of money. 
Lin Tian estimated that at this point in time, in the system backpack, the accumulated ordinary drops should add up to tens of millions of dollars in value. It was really easy for professionals to make money. The money earned from killing a few alien beasts was more than the annual salary of many people who worked hard for a year. Otherwise, everyone wouldn't be breaking their heads trying to become a professional. Lin Tian no longer thought much about it. While leading Little Yen to advance deeper into the valley, he killed the constant stream of incoming beasts, and from time to time, he would get off the bus and take on a few of them himself to sharpen his fighting sense, upgrading and earning money at the same time. It was so enjoyable. Just like this, Lin Tian swept through the valley for a small half day. This is only level 13. So much slower. If Lin Tian's classmates who had only risen to level 2 and 3 by now, or even still at level 1, heard Lin Tian's words, they would have to be furious. Aang, hearing Lin Tian's words, little amazing chirped, indicating that he could sweep 10 times faster. Lin Tian waved his hand and stopped little amazing. He was just casually complaining, like the demon vine demon forest before, where the level was higher than him. The foreign beasts were dense, and there weren't many people. It wasn't easy to find a place so suitable for him to practice. In this valley, there were still other people present, and if he accelerated his sweeping speed even more, Little Yen would be at risk of being exposed early. This was not worth it for Lin Tian. What's more, this upgrade speed was already completely sufficient. After all, his goal was just to get to level 20 before the big exam in a month or so. One person and one dragon slowly cleared the foreign beasts like this. Suddenly, Little Yen directly burrowed into the dragon harnessing ranch. Lin Tian knew that this was little amazing hearing the sound of other people approaching in the distance and took the initiative to hide as requested. After a few moments of effort, Lin Tian also heard the sound of cars running. He looked down towards the valley and saw that a brown pickup truck was driving towards the depths of the valley. With Lin Tian's eyesight, he was able to see the condition of the pickup truck. There were a total of six people, and the bald guy on the passenger side still looked a bit familiar. Lin Tian quickly remembered. This was the scar head from that practice squad when he left the city. But what made him a little strange was, none of the six people looked like seniors who had come to practice leveling. Lin Tian estimated that they should have failed to find customers and simply come out on their own to make some money. When the pickup truck was far away, Lin Tian released Little Amazing and continued sweeping up. Lin Tian brought Little Amazing with him as he swept all the way into the night. After rising to level 13, the required experience had once again risen drastically. Right now, he was still a little bit short of experience from even getting to level 14. Lin Tian wasn't in a hurry. It was already dark, so let's find a place to station himself first. Lin Tian let Little Yen enter the Dragon Ranch while he drove his pickup truck deeper into the valley. Sometime later, Lin Tian saw Scarhead's brown pickup truck again. He ignored it and was about to move on. However, he was suddenly stopped by a person. Lin Tian looked at the person in front of the car and spoke. What is it? Turn around. This place has been commandeered by us, the man said. And a few more professionals came over behind him seemingly trying to scare Lin Tian off. Lin Tian silently cast appraisal on a few people. No matter what, let's find out the strength of the other party first. The appraisal technique could appraise any professional whose occupational level was lower than his own, even if the other party was of a higher level, as long as the level difference did not exceed 20 levels. And since the Dragon Master was a SSS-ranked profession, as long as it wasn't the same SSS rank, he could appraise it. After looking at it, these people were all in the mid-twenties, and posed no threat to him. You guys requisition? I don't look at you guys like city guards. Where did you get the authority to commandeer the alien beast area? After figuring out the other party's strength, Lin Tian didn't want to pay any attention to them and started the pickup truck just as he was about to move on. Boom! Among the several people, one of them walked up and slapped on the front of Lin Tian's pickup truck. Don't talk to us about the law. Get lost if you don't want to die. Little kid cares so much. If it wasn't for the fact that you look like a student, I would have pulled you down and beat you up. The man cursed with a fierce face. Lin Tian's face was expressionless, but he had already moved to kill these people. In the world of professionals, things that led to death at the drop of a hat would have been the norm. These few people dared to block him three times. If their strength was not good, they would only die. Lin Tian hadn't made a move yet. He walked up to another person, and it was Scarhead. Scarhead seemed to recognize Lin Tian. Little friend. Hello again. You're lucky. You went out of the city by yourself and managed to survive until now? Saying that, Scarhead winked at a few more juniors. This valley isn't ours. Others want to enter you guys still want to drive people away? It's so late. Why don't you go in with us, little brother? And we can take care of you as well. The little brother who was fierce just now immediately understood. Yes, come in. Lin Tian watched them perform. Inwardly he only felt like laughing. 
he knew exactly what this scar had wanted to do. It was nothing more than a few people doing something bad here. Having his little brother stop some people, and now that he had crashed into it, he was afraid that if he left, something would leak out, and wanted to trick him into doing away with him. But Lin Tian didn't mind, cooperating with them in a play. He wanted to see what kind of drugs this scarhead was selling. Lin Tian put on a look of sudden reaction. Then he revealed a horrified expression and said, Forget it, I remember there's something else. I'll just go back. With that, he was ready to drive away. Scarhead's face instantly turned grim, and with one reach, he pulled out the car keys of Lin Tian's pickup truck. Go, it's too late to leave now. It's your bad luck to meet us. Take him in. Lin Tian was already sitting on the passenger side, and there were two people behind him staring at him. He was forced to follow a few people into the deep valley where they were stationed. Kid, you're lucky to have met us. Seemingly out of boredom, one of the people in the back row took the initiative to talk to Lin Tian. Do you know what we're here for? Stop it. What are you afraid of? What's the point of talking to someone who's going to die, so he can die with a clear understanding? That's right. You're not afraid this kid will run away, are you? As if we're all dry? Ha ha ha. The somewhat cautious one was met with ridicule from the other two. The man in the back row spoke to himself. Kid, you haven't seen the boss, have you? You're going to see it today. Do you know how many professionals have never seen a boss in their entire lives? That person looked at Lin Tian smugly. Hearing this, Lin Tian understood their intentions. It turned out that this group of people had a treasure map and were preparing to crusade against the boss. It was better to come early than coincidentally, and since he was allowed to meet them, he definitely couldn't miss this boss. I didn't expect to have such good luck. In the morning, he had just encountered a boss that had been actively sending people's heads, and this evening, he had encountered a group of people who were actively sending bosses. It was really polite. Thinking about this, Lin Tian was excited in his heart. His mood was also pleasant, and his gaze towards the three-person party became much kinder. Lin Tian smiled lightly at the trio. I've met them, just today. Not only have I seen it, I even slaughtered one. Hearing Lin Tian's words, the trio burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, you kid is quite open-minded, and you still have a bit of a sense of humor when you're on the verge of death. Don't believe it? I'm not joking with you guys. The three of them were also interested in Lin Tian, a guy whose words were hardened when he was about to die. They asked. Then tell me, what was the boss that you killed? And how come I didn't see any of your drops? We really saw a dead boss today. Could it be that you killed it? Ha ha ha. They were saying so much to Lin Tian at this point purely because they had already treated Lin Tian as a dead person. Coincidentally, Lin Tian was saying so much to them for the same reason. The drops are of course in the storage space. Was saying, the pickup truck had already driven deep into the valley, to an extremely remote and hidden place. Alright, we're at the place. Get off. Too bad. Kid, if you hadn't met us today, I would have quite appreciated your sense of humor. Saying that, the three of them got out of Lin Tian's pickup truck, and Lin Tian followed a piece of the car, only to see Scarhead in the front, who was currently holding a scroll in his hand, constantly searching for the precise positioning of the hidden boundary. Very quickly, he then found the hidden boundary. Deep in the dense forest, Scarhead stretched out his hand and tapped twice on a stone, then a spatial rift emerged from the stone into midair constantly flickering with purple light. Seeing this scene, Scarhead's group all became excited. Boss, we're rich. Hurry up, I'll take the lead. After this job, I'll treat my brothers to roast chicken. Ha 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 ha. Several people excitedly wanted to rush inside, but were stopped by Scarhead. Don't rush. What kind of inside is still uncertain? Let this kid go in first. Scarhead said and turned his head to look at Lin Tian who was being held up by the two men. Lin Tian had to say that this Scarhead was still a bit experienced and cautious enough. Otherwise, after mixing for so long and having done I don't know how many dirty deeds, it would be impossible to live until now. Lin Tian didn't say much and walked straight in. After seeing Lin Tian go in, Scarhead waited for a few more moments and saw that there was nothing out of the ordinary before he let his men in. In the hidden boundary, the environment was very different from the outside world. The surroundings were a fog that was so thick that it couldn't be melted and it was impossible to see anything beyond a few meters. Lin Tian was still at the entrance at this moment. Some of the hidden boundaries were very large inside, and without a treasure map in his hand, he wouldn't necessarily be able to find the boss. Take the antidote. This mist is poisonous. Scarhead shouted to a few of his men as soon as he entered. Lin Tian also felt this, but he had Little Yan's dragon bloodline, which was able to resist a certain level of debuffs, and this bit of toxicity from this poisonous fog didn't affect him in the slightest. Boss. Let's do this kid, someone suggested. Scarhead shook his head and said, There's no rush. Some bosses require a living blood sacrifice to summon them. 
keep him for now. Then boss, should we give this kid an antidote? Stupid. This bit of poisonous fog can't poison anyone. At most it's just crippling. All follow me. The group of people just advanced through the mist, and Scarhead would take out the treasure map from time to time to take a look. In the hidden boundary, not only did bosses exist, but there were also ordinary foreign beasts. However, the difference was that the level and strength of the fey beasts here were quite a bit stronger than the outside world. Even these five professionals who were all in the 20s, plus the level 34 warrior Scarhead, had some difficulty dealing with them. Keep an eye on this kid, don't let him run away, and even more so, don't let him die early, or I'll take your blood sacrifices. The closer he got to the boss, the happier Lin Tian's mood became, and his words became more numerous. Don't worry, I can't die and won't run. If I leave, won't I not be able to see the boss? Two bosses a day. This luck, if it wasn't for his personal experience, Lin Tian himself wouldn't dare to think about it. You brat is sensible. I'll give you a hard time when the time comes. The man who had originally escorted Lin Tian laughed. Scar had reacted differently when he heard Lin Tian's words. He glanced at Lin Tian with some suspicion. With a wave of his hand, he recruited that little brother to ask questions. It was not without reason that Scarhead had been able to mix for so many years. In his opinion, in this situation, there were only two kinds of people who would be this reaction from Lin Tian. Either they were already lifeless, and it was the same if they died early or late. But this kind of person's death was written on his face. And Lin Tian's so relaxed appearance didn't seem like this kind of situation by any stretch of the imagination. Then there was only one other situation. This person decided that the situation at hand was such that he was winning and didn't put them in his eyes at all. That was why he could be so calm. Scarhead was almost certain that this was the case. If it were in the past, he would already be thinking of ways to get out. But this time, he couldn't decide. Because Lin Tian looked too young. Moreover, he clearly remembered that Lin Tian had only left the city yesterday afternoon to practice leveling. And he was clearly a senior student who had just awakened. How could he possibly counter kill the six of them? Even if he was a genius with an SS ranked profession, it was impossible for him to reach the strength to defy the six of them in a single day. Plus, this time, the boss was at stake and the stakes were high. It was the biggest deal in his career, and it was impossible to give it up so easily. Under the lust for profit, Scarhead did not practice the principle of caution that has allowed him to survive for so many years. He chose to ask a clear question first, to see the situation. He said so, but in fact, Scarhead only wanted to convince himself that Lin Tian was not a threat, and that this operation could go on as usual. Unfortunately, the heavens did not agree with him. After the little brother finished talking about the exchange with Lin Tian in the pickup truck, the alarm bells in Scarhead's heart rang even louder. Just met the boss today, and took out one, he couldn't help but recall the situation of the devil vine demon forest. Was it nonsense or was there really a connection? Scarhead was pondering in his mind with annoyance. Boss, we're here, before the group. The fog finally dispersed here. In front of them was a huge altar with a spell formation engraved on it. It was obvious that this was where the boss was summoned. Scar had really guessed it too. To summon this boss, it really needed a blood sacrifice. Boss, you're really predictable. The five minions all touted Scar head. Two of them set up Lin Tian and said, Kid, cooperate. We'll give you a good time and make sure you walk away without pain. At this time, Scar had stopped the two. He was still a bit uneasy. Even though he didn't think that Lin Tian had really finished off the boss, much less that Lin Tian had the ability to finish off the six of them. But what if? These two things were too coincidental. If Lin Tian really had something to do with the demon vine demon forest, there might still be something to talk about before it was too late. Scar had looked at Lin Tian and asked, You said that you just met the boss today and even finished it off? Scar had's alertness surprised Lin Tian a bit. An old fart who could live for so long really did have something. The five minions were all unimpressed and thought that Scarhead was joking. Boss, this kid is going to die. Why are you still teasing him? Shut up, it's not your turn to teach me what to do. Scarhead shouted angrily, causing several people to be dumbfounded, secretly wondering if the boss was stupid. Lin Tian had accompanied them for so long, and now that he saw that he had already found the boss and these few people had lost their use, he simply stopped pretending. He nodded and said, not bad, could it be that the boss you took out was? Scarhead said halfway through his sentence. Lin Tian continued. Demonic Vine Demon Tree King. The words fell. The entire room fell silent. A few juniors remembered the events of this morning. But how could they not connect this young man in front of them, who had just awakened, with taking out the boss? Their minds didn't turn around for a while. When Scarhead heard this, his mind, which had originally been swept away by profiteering, completely sobered up. Alarm bells went off in his heart. Although he didn't know what this kid was from. 
but he was definitely not some freshly awakened senior, this was just his disguise, his experience was right, the person in front of him just viewed them as fish and meat on a plate, which was why he didn't panic in the slightest, Scarface instantly broke out in a cold sweat, frantically pondering what to do, what boss, what interests, all were thrown out of his mind, even more money, one had to be alive to have the life to spend it, Scarhead swallowed his saliva and looked at Lin Tian with vigilant eyes, brothers, people die for money and birds die for food, in the end it's all about profit, profit can be divided, there's no need to fight to the death, what do you think, hearing Scarhead's words, Lin Tian smiled, this Scarhead was indeed smart, just by mere words, he was able to surmise what was going on, even smarter was knowing to act cautiously, he hadn't even made a move yet, this scarred head had taken the initiative to make peace and was willing to give up a portion of his benefits to save his life when he wasn't even sure what exactly his strength was, it really wasn't luck that he had survived for so many years, unfortunately, he met him today, Lin Tian said with a smiling face, what, are you willing to share half of it with me, Scarhead was slightly relieved in his heart, as long as he could talk then it was fine, brother, it's a bit too much for you to take half alone, we're splitting it among six people, he first bargained, then his words changed, but as long as you're willing to make peace, brother, we'll all make friends, half is half, Scarhead was being pleased with his words and looked at Lin Tian with a smile on his face, Lin Tian, however, laughed, I didn't think that you were really willing to share, but, then he also turned his words around, and the smile on his face was put away as he looked at the several people expressionlessly, in an icy tone, he said, I don't want to share, Scarhead's smile instantly froze on his face, and the cold sweat on his bald head flowed uncontrollably, Scarhead kept recalling in his mind, the situations he had encountered before, trying to figure out a way to get out of it, as for making a move with Lin Tian, he hadn't even thought about it, in his opinion, only a fool would fight for his life, what's more, Lin Tian was so confident that if he really wanted to fight for his life, he was afraid that he would only die, a few of the juniors were still confused and didn't understand what was going on, why was the boss suddenly talking nonsense, why is this kid so arrogant, but no matter what, they are now outlaws, dare to pretend with them, then let you fly, kid, I see that you don't want to die a painful death, don't beg me to kill you later, a little brother was full of ferocity as he walked towards Lin Tian, how dare you bluff, I think you've really never seen an outlaw before, Scarhead had already seen the end of this little brother, he could tell that Lin Tian wasn't bluffing, otherwise, there was no way Lin Tian would have refused when he offered to split half of it just now, the little brother walked up to Lin Tian and had just brought out the long knife on his waist and was about to make a move. Boom. Bang. ka -ching. Only two loud bangs, and a scalp-numbing sound passed. The junior brother had already disappeared in place. A few people looked at Lin Tian, and at this moment, one of his raised fists was already stained with a bright red color, and the blood kept dripping down, right onto the half-broken knife on the ground. The remaining four juniors froze, turning their heads to look at the altar as if they were demented only to see that the junior brother who had just stepped forward, had now smashed on top of the altar, his limbs twisted into weird angles, his bones were obviously all broken, and the half-broken knife he was holding in his hand was also twisted out of shape, and then look at his chest, a big hole through the front and back, it was continuously gushing a large amount of bright red toward the altar, the four little brothers were no longer stupid, but now they also understood the situation, and immediately retreated backward, shrinking behind Scar Head, Scarred Head was sweating coldly, still wanting to negotiate, brother, how about this, all the things will be returned to you, I only ask for a way to live, Lin Tian sneered, since ancient times, there's only the saying of chopping off the roots, how can there be a reason to let a tiger return to the mountain, Scarhead and the four minions behind him were so anxious that they were about to cry at this point, boss, why don't we fight him, Scarhead was still hesitating, he had never fought anyone in his life, he really couldn't be ruthless, he didn't have the certainty, yeah boss, we can only fight now, he won't let us go, Scarhead listened to his little brother's three words of persuasion, in his heart, he also understood that he could only fight now, Scarhead, who had been sinister all his life, gradually made up his mind to fight for his life, a few people did not notice, behind them, the dead man has now turned into a dry corpse, his body's blood was drawn clean by the altar, on the altar, the inscribed spell formation flowed with blood, gradually emitting a blood-red glow, hiss, a hissing sound startled a few people. Scarhead looked back. It was the boss that had appeared. Shadow Evil Spider King, rank, 40. Seeing the boss level, Scarhead's heart went cold. He didn't expect the boss to be level 40. This was the level of the third turn. The strength was completely different. Even without Lin Tian, 
it would be difficult for them to defeat the boss. Now there was a wolf in front of them and a tiger behind them. It was only difficult to escape death. The boss didn't pay attention to a few people after it appeared, but went straight to Lin Tian who summoned it. Seeing this scene, Scarhead's heart immediately rejoiced and immediately made up his mind. Lin Tian was stronger than him, but he was also limited and might not be able to beat this boss. If he added a few of them, Lin Tian would definitely die. Quick, surround him with the boss. Get him killed and run. However, the joy of survival from the dead didn't last long. The next second, roar dash. A roar that a few people had never heard before came out. The behemoth that suddenly appeared in front of Lin Tian made the few people freeze in place. That's a giant dragon. At this moment, the sudden appearance of the giant dragon directly caused the brains of the scarhead several people to go down. Although they hadn't seen a giant dragon with their own eyes, a giant dragon is the most powerful creature in this world might not be one of them. They had still heard descriptions and seen pictures. Now that they had seen a giant dragon with their own eyes, they simply couldn't figure out what was going on. Why would a giant dragon appear in a tiny tarantula valley boss secret realm? The few people didn't have to wonder for long before Lin Tian answered for them. They only saw the giant dragon glance at the several people, then turn its head to look at the shadow evil spider king, and finally look at Lin Tian. Shadow evil spider king. Level, 40. Strength, 617. Agility, 682. Physique, 422. Spirit, 563. Escape into shadow, active. LV1 blend into the shadow for 1 second. Immune to 50% damage. Evil Venom, shoots out Venom, causing massive sustained damage and sustained stun effect. Looking at the Shadow Evil Spider King's panel, even though it was already level 40 and had reached the second turn of the boss, it was still not a match for Little Yen. Little Amazing. Finish it off. Lin Tian pointed towards the Evil Spider King. Roar Dash Little Amazing received the order and spread his wings and rushed towards the boss. Scarhead's few people, seeing this scene, instantly understood. Although they couldn't believe it, the fact was right in front of them, so they couldn't afford to disbelieve it. This giant dragon was a dragon pet summoned by Lin Tian. Scarhead saw that the chance of life that had just appeared slipped away once again in the blink of an eye. His heart was burning with anxiety, but he was tearless. How could such a small place make him meet this great Buddha? Lin Tian? Brother? Oh no! Big brother! It's my little brother who has eyes and doesn't recognize him. Tai. Tai. Please let my little brother off as a fart. I will definitely not say anything about what happened today. Scarhead once again started begging for mercy, saying that he even fell on his knees and crawled towards Lin Tian step by step. The four little brothers behind him also followed suit. Lin Tian ignored him. He hadn't planned on letting the few people go, and now the few people had seen Little Amazing's presence. It was even more unlikely that he would let a few people go out alive. Big brother, feel free to ask for anything, even if it means making me work for you as a cow or a horse. Scar had knelt on the ground and crawled to Lin Tian's feet step by step, seeing that Lin Tian was still ignoring him. Scar had still wanted to make a final fight to the death. He quietly gestured behind him. Lin Tian saw the scene but didn't stop it. Just then, Scar had suddenly rose up with his four minions. He pulled out the huge sword that was behind his back, and with all his strength, he ruthlessly slashed down towards Lin Tian's shoulder. Heavy sword chop. This was his strongest single skill after he turned two and became a heavy sword warrior. As long as this strike hit it was bound to be able to severely injure or even kill Lin Tian. And once Lin Tian died, his dragon pet would die along with him. If they killed Lin Tian, they could slip away. If they could even get the corpse of this dragon, they would have endless glory and riches in their 10 lifetimes. Scar had watched as the heavy sword fell and Lin Tian didn't block it. The image of Lin Tian being cut in two by his sword and having his head cut off seemed to appear in front of his eyes. Kid, you're still a bit young to fight me. The joy of surviving another desperate attack caused a smile to appear on Scarhead's face. Bang! A muffled sound passed. Scarhead's smile froze. The imagined image did not appear. His heavy sword landed on Lin Tian's shoulder. But he couldn't advance a single bit. And the situation of the four minions was the same. Lin Tian just looked at the several people with coal eyes. This strike from a few people was indeed enough to heavily injure or even kill him. But to little Yen, this kind of attack was nothing more than scratching an itch and he happened to have the ability to deflect damage. As a dragon master, Lin Tian would not suffer any damage until his dragon pet died. In the distance, Little Amazing, who was still fighting with the evil Spider King, felt a sudden tickling sensation coming from his body, turned his head towards the side, and then continued to play. Seeing this scene, Scarhead was completely desperate. He was at his wit's end and could no longer think of any way to survive. Scarhead, who had completely collapsed inside, disheveledly knelt on the ground hugged Lin Tian's thighs, and bawled his eyes out. Big brother, 
I'm really possessed. Please spare me. I'll give you all my possessions. While pleading, Scarhead pulled out three bundles of scrolls from his body and shoved them all into Lin Tian's hands. Lin Tian opened the scrolls and was overjoyed. One of them was the treasure map of the Devil Vine Demon Forest, and the other was the current treasure map. However, he hadn't expected that Scarhead had even hidden a scroll of treasure maps. Three bosses ah, how much money would this be worth? Lin Tian was delighted in his heart, but his face was expressionless. He said in an icy tone, any more? Scarhead, who had already lost the ability to think, couldn't care less and hurriedly pulled out all the valuable and worthless things on his body. The little brothers behind him also hurriedly pulled out all sorts of messy things. This made Lin Tian very disappointed. Is this all? Oh, there's more. I still have over a hundred thousand dollars in my car. Lin Tian shook his head and put all the valuable things into his system backpack. He sighed and said, All right, since you all confessed, I won't make things difficult for you. The scarheads were ecstatic in their hearts and were about to thank them. However, they heard Lin Tian continue to speak. I'll give you guys a pain in the ass. Scarhead instantly cried with constant streams of snot and tears, hugging Lin Tian's thighs and begging for mercy uncontrollably. If he still had the ability to think, he would have realized that he had just experienced such a scene once this morning. Only this time, the roles of both sides were switched. Lin Tian no longer opened his mouth as he kicked Scarhead away. Then, he raised the palm of his right hand and aimed it at the several people. A crimson glow converged in his palm, and the blazing heat ignited the air, looking as if his palm was burning. This was precisely one of Little Amazing's skills, the breath of the beginning fire dragon. This was the first time Lin Tian had used Little Amazing skill. He was nowhere near as powerful as Little Amazing when he used it, but it was still terrifying enough. A flame mixed with magma erupted from his palm and smashed onto the scarhead several people like a torrent. In an instant, the scarhead several people went quiet. When the flames ended, the upper half of the several people's bodies that were touched directly by the flames no longer existed. Only half of their legs that had turned into charcoal remained kneeling on the ground. Lin Tian had accompanied these people for half a day, and the time had not been spent in vain. The harvest was great. On the other side, Little Yen had also resolved the shadow evil Spider King. Lin Tian turned his head to look, but he immediately shouted out, Oops, Little Amazing, how did you scorch it too? Lin Tian hadn't noticed for a moment, and Little Amazing had already burned the evil Spider King's body into charcoal. This had to be a loss of at least 20 million dollars. Lin Tian had a flesh pain. Little Amazing was originally still proudly waiting for Lin Tian to praise him, but now he was screaming in aggravation. Aang dash. Lin Tian couldn't refute Little Yan's words. It was indeed him who hadn't said anything beforehand. However, he wouldn't blame Little Yan for a mere 20 to 30 million dollars. All right, I'll just say it casually. Just pay attention next time. You did a great job. And dash. Little Amazing was like a small child immediately forgetting about the aggravation he had just experienced and chirped in delight. Lin Tian walked over to the evil Spider King's corpse. It was good that there were still drop items. Seeing the drops, Lin Tian's eyes lit up. Flame Dragon Lizard Lance. Flame Dragon Lizard Lance, Gold Artifact. Level Requirement, Level 10. Occupation Requirement, Dragon Blood Warrior. Dragon Blood Knight. Dragon Grammarian. Dragon Master. Dragon Master. Sub Dragon Master. Earth Dragon Master. Dragon Lizard Master. The Dragon Lizard is a foreign beast that possesses an extremely thin dragon bloodline. The career requirements were all related to the dragon race and were expected by Lin Tian. It was the Dragon Grammarian that surprised Lin Tian a little. However, although the Dragon Lizard had the word dragon in its name, it was essentially a lizard. On the dragon bloodline from low to high, are dragon lizards, earth dragons, sub dragons, giant dragons. The thinnest dragon bloodline is the Dragon Lizard and a little less is a pure pure lizard. Lin Tian continued to look. Equipment effect, strength attribute plus 20, agility attribute plus 20, physical attribute plus 20, spiritual attribute plus 20, flame lance, passive attack with fire attribute damage, flame increase, passive fire attribute attacks and skills increased by 20%. Crap, Lin Tian was overjoyed. The shadow evil spider king was too generous. The equipment that dropped for him completely exceeded Lin Tian's expectations. All four dimensional attributes had increased by 20 points. That's a total of 80 points. One would have to know that many D-ranked professions that had risen to level 10 only had a total of around 80 attributes. The Flame Dragon Lizard Gun directly increased 80 points. Even if there was no active skill, it wasn't considered a passive skill. When this lance was placed inside a golden artifact, it was definitely considered a superb product. Not to mention the passive effect of this lance. It also suited Lin Tian. To him, the Flame Dragon Lizard Lance was simply the best of the best. 
This kind of extreme gold artifact could definitely fetch around a billion dollars when placed on the market. To say that the only drawback was probably the harsh career requirements. But for Lin Tian, this wasn't a matter. Lin Tian, who was in need of equipment, couldn't help but be happy in his heart when he got the extreme gold artifact. He was a bit thankful to the Shadow Evil Spider King and reached out to pat the charred body of the Evil Spider King. The result was that the Evil Spider King was directly turned into a field of carbon ash. As the Evil Spider King turned into ashes, this secret realm gradually disappeared. Lin Tian retrieved Little Amazing and returned to the outside world. He equipped his Flame Dragon Lizard Gun and practiced with the nearby fierce poisonous tarantula, and also cleaned up the surroundings in the process. After having the weapon, Lin Tian was like a tiger with wings. Killing these level 10 to 20 beasts was easier than cutting leeks. A few moments later, Lin Tian set up his tent and rested in place. Now he had gotten another windfall, a treasure map. He was going to go there tomorrow. And after the boss fight, he was going to start concentrating on leveling. But instead of helping himself, he was going to help Little Yin practice leveling. Originally, he was already level 13 with full experience. And after killing Scarhead's guys, he directly broke through to level 14. The level 40 Shadow Evil Spider King provided him with another large amount of experience. In one fell swoop, he had risen to level 15. He had originally prepared to spend the better part of a month to rise to around level 15 on this trip out. But he didn't expect that in just two days, he would have reached his goal. Now he wasn't going to level up for the time being. He was going to share all of the experience he gained from practicing for the past half a month with Little Yen, who was having a much harder time leveling up than he was. He was going to let Little Yen level up to level 15 the same level as him, first, however, half a month was not necessarily enough, Lin Tian thought, regardless, Lin Tian decided to return to Jiang Chang in half a month, at that time, he would first dispose of these things on his hands and then bring old Yang along to level up, he would rush to level 20, and then bring Lao Yang to at least level 15, after making his plans, Lin Tian fell asleep, nothing happened in the night, the next day, the secret realm where the third boss was located was also found and swept by Lin Tian, to Lin Tian, this boss wasn't as generous as the Shadow Evil Spider King. Only an ordinary boss core was popped out for him. Together with the boss carcass, Lin Tian estimated the total combined value to be around 200 million. After sweeping the secret realm, Lin Tian didn't stay in this area of foreign beasts. The level of the foreign beasts here was the same as the Tarantula Valley. For the quest he was giving Little Yen to practice leveling, a lower level wasn't quite appropriate. Thus, he directly left this place searching for an area that was a bit higher in rank. What Lin Tian didn't know was, just half a day after he left, the demonic vine demon forest, the wolf spider valley, and here, a group of people looking for traces of the secret realm had appeared. Looks like we're too late. There's no way. Without a treasure map, we can only search little by little, and by the time we find the place, the people will be long gone. Dad, what then? The treasure map is lost. How can we explain to the main family? It's all because of that bastard son of yours. Forget it, I'm afraid the people have long gone, so it's pointless to keep looking. An old man with a white beard and hair was reprimanding a middle-aged man. It was obvious, they were the father and grandfather of the young man that Scarhead had killed that day. They were also the leaders of the side families of the great families of Jiangcheng. Now that they had discovered that the three treasure maps were missing, they had rushed out to search for them. Dad, what should we do next? First, send people to the city gates to keep watch and see if we can find that group of practicing squads and then have people keep a constant eye on all the trading places in Jung City, including the black market. The white-haired old man thought for a moment and continued, there are also several other warring cities around, send some people to spy on them as well, no matter who took the treasure map, he always has to sell the stolen goods, it's impossible to not show any traces at all. The middle-aged man hurriedly nodded his head in agreement and instructed his men to go on. Just at this moment, a henchman wearing a suit and sunglasses walked up, whispering in the middle-aged man's ear. He said a few words. After hearing this, the middle-aged man let out a loud cry and directly fell down with a black eye. Seeing this scene, the white-haired old man remained calm, first letting his son take him back for medical treatment. Only then did he start asking about the situation. What happened? What did you say to him? Master, I was talking to the family head he said. Don't be abrasive. Just say it. Master, news just came from the demon vine demon forest side, saying that the remains of your grandson have been found. Hearing this news, the white-haired old man was instantly enraged. Both of his eyes became red, and his body was a little unsteady, and he was about to fall to the ground. However, he still managed to stabilize his body. All the searching programs I mentioned just now, give me more effort. Yes, my lord, no matter who did this, 
I will make him pay. The white-haired old man indignantly squeezed a few words out of his mouth, almost crushing his teeth. Wait. The white-haired old man called out to his men, then hesitated for a moment, seemingly pondering whether or not to do so, but he quickly made up his mind. Inform the main family of this matter, as well as my grandson's death as well. Even if his grandson had gotten into even more trouble, he was still his only grandson after all, and now he had died for no apparent reason. No matter what, he had to avenge his grandson. As long as that group was still in Jiancheng and the main family took action, not a single mosquito would be able to escape. Even if it required revealing the news of the missing treasure map in advance, even if it would cause their entire sideline to be chastised by the main family, he would not hesitate to do so. Half a month later, Jiang Chang, outside the city gates, a large black pickup truck appeared on the horizon. After killing the boss that day, Lin Tian had been practicing until now. He had to say that upgrading for dragons was just too much harder than for professionals. He had divided all of his experience to Little Yen, and he had only just managed to accomplish his goal allowing Little Yen to level up to level 15. However, this half month, he counted it as a great harvest. The collected drops from the ordinary fey beasts had piled up in the system backpack. Lin Tian estimated that the value was no less than what the bosses brought him. Of course, the flame dragon lizard gun didn't count. In order not to draw attention to himself, he had also taken out a little bit of it, stuffing the loading space in the back of the pickup truck to the brim. At this time, a message came from his cell phone. He had spoken to Yang Chi about his return to the city. Brother Tian, I'll be right back as well. Lin Tian put down his cell phone and didn't return. Soon, he drove to the city gates. Registration was required just like entering the city. Lin Tian took out his proof of leaving the city, and the city guards released him after stamping it. However, when he entered the city gates, he saw that there were quite a few guys dressed in black suits with black sunglasses who were stopping the vehicles entering the city one by one. They were also coming towards Lin Tian's pickup truck. Young man, have you seen a practicing squad outside the city? Six people in total. The leader is a bald guy with a long diagonal scar above him, driving a big brown pickup truck. Of course Lin Tian knew who they were talking about. It was the group of scarred heads that he had been reunited with. Hearing these people's inquiries, Lin Tian basically guessed the general situation. The original owner of Scarhead's three treasure maps must have been one of the big families, and it was only obtained by Scarhead after it had been strayed out for some reason. Never seen it. Lin Tian shook his head. The black suit continued to pursue. Then have you ever been to the demon vine demon forest? Lin Tian shook his head once again. Who would go to that kind of hellish place to practice? Seeing that no useful information could be asked. The black suit then stopped pursuing the question and turned towards another car. Lin Tian drove away and drove in the direction of his home. He was originally prepared to go directly to the trading market to get rid of all his goods after he came back. But now it seemed that it was not possible. This big family had arranged so many people even at the city gates. The trading market and the black market must have eyes placed on them as well. Even if he didn't produce boss drops and only produce drops from other ordinary beasts, he would be able to produce such a large amount of goods by himself. For him to be able to ship such a large amount of goods by himself, it would definitely arouse suspicion. For now, he could only go home first. The matter of the shipments. It seems that we have to wait for old John to come back and then ask, to see if he has any ideas. His family? in Jiang Cheng, was equally powerful. Thinking of this, he sent another message to Yang Qi. I'll wait for you at home. Yang Qi didn't let him wait too long. Half a day later, he arrived at Lin Tian's home. As soon as Yang Qi saw Lin Tian, he immediately became excited. Brother Tian, how many levels are you? Lin Tian didn't hide it from him and directly showed him his panel level. The words level 15 were clearly displayed on it. Crap, seeing the level on the panel, Yang Qi was directly dumbfounded and cried out in shock but he hastily reached out and covered his mouth. How much? Level 15? You're level 15 at this? It's all enough to enroll in Divine Clearance and Dragon King. I've been working for half a month with a large group of people to get to level 9. This level 15 of yours is too much. Where exactly did you go to upgrade? You wouldn't have gone to some high level zone to fight for your life, right? Yang Chi lowered his voice and asked Lin Tian several times in a row. The only way he could think of to upgrade so fast was to go to a high level zone with a high level difference and rely on a large amount of experience bonus to do so, but that was no different from sending himself to death. Lin Tian nodded and said, almost, but it's not too high, it's a level 30 zone. Level 30? Yang Chi was completely dumbfounded, and his gaze towards Lin Tian became worshipful. How did you do it? He suddenly remembered something, then calmed down and asked, that's not right, brother Tian. I remember that you rose to level 12 on the second day. How could you have only risen to level 15 after half a month in a level 30 alien beast area? Lin Tian smiled faintly and didn't answer directly. 
don't be anxious, you'll know everything when I take you on a trip, but this matter, only you can know. Yang Shi nodded his head and said with a serious face, don't worry, brother Tian, I know what this matter means, and I also know that the stakes are high, I'm tight-lipped, I haven't said anything to anyone, even the chat logs I've read and burned. After saying that, Yang Chi heatedly smiled again. Hey, brother Tian, when are we going to practice? You have to bring me to level 15, otherwise I won't be able to get into divine clearance, and then the two of us will have to live in separate places. Lin Tian was also amused by him. Don't worry, I'm going to rush to level 20 before the big exam. It'll be easy to bring you to level 15. Hearing Lin Tian say that he was going to rush to level 20, Yang Chi was once again shocked. He had never heard of anyone rising to level 20 before the national exam. Brother Tian, you're making history? Lin Tian nodded. You could say that, but there's no hurry about practicing leveling. We'll go back in a couple of days. I'm looking for you for something. Yang Chi clasped his hands and said with a righteous face, but at the behest of righteous father, Lin Tian explained the details to him. Yang Chi was once again dumbfounded. How could he have never imagined that Lin Tian would be able to harvest hundreds of millions of foreign beast drops the first time he left the city? There was even the strange encounter of three treasure maps, but when he thought about it, Lin Tian had leveled up 15 in half a month, and even tried to create an unprecedented level 20 before the big exam. Compared to that, Lin Tian's hundreds of millions of foreign beast drop items were nothing. After listening to Lin Tian's situation, Yang Chi first made a call, then he spoke with a slight frown on his brow. Brother Tian, those three treasure maps of yours originally belonged to the Ling family. Having lost three treasure maps, originally, the Ling family should have only sent a little bit of people to secretly investigate. But the Ling family's sideline, a grandson died, and the Ling family has gone all out to investigate the matter. So now it's a bit of a problem. Hearing the news that a grandchild of the Ling family had died, Lin Tian probably knew what was going on. That grandson of the Ling family should have been killed by Scarhead's group. Forget it if it's not handled well. I'll think of another way. Lin Tian didn't care. It was certainly best to be able to make a move now. But if not, he would leave it for now. Instead, Yang Qi became anxious. Am I such an insufficient person? The Ling family's power in Jiangcheng is not small, but my Yang family won't be afraid of him either. When I said it's a bit troublesome, what I meant was that such a big deal. The Ling family is determined to find out about it. It's something that can't be hidden for sure. It's not good for them to do it while you're in the city, but you're always going to the wilderness. But don't worry, this deal will be handled by me. Even if he, the Ling family, finds out, they won't dare to do anything to me. Hearing this, Lin Tian was relieved. He laughed. You don't have to fight the black pot. Just don't have any trouble within the city. We'll leave the city tomorrow. To Lin Tian, it was not good for Little Amazing to make a move within the city. But when he waited until he was in the wilderness, he was not afraid of anyone. A decision was made. Yan Qi then ordered someone to drive the two to the trading market. In the trading market, Yang Qi brought Lin Tian to the VIP room. This was his own trading market. So naturally, he gave the highest level of treatment. Soon, there was a waiter who served two cups of tens of thousands of dollars of good tea. The treasure appraiser also walked through the door at that moment. And just as he stepped in, he looked at Yang Qi. Young master, the treasure appraiser addressed respectfully. Yang Qi waved his hand and gestured. Uncle Lu, don't be polite. Sit down first. Brother Tian, Uncle Lu is a B-level life profession universal treasure appraiser. He has been in our family for more than 20 years. Absolutely reliable. This one is? Uncle Lu looked at Lin Tian and asked. This is my brother. Lin Tian. Then I guess young master Lin is today's guest? Since he is a friend of young master, we will definitely give him preferential treatment. Uncle Lu said politely. Lin Tian shook his head. Yang Chi had already helped him. He didn't want to take advantage of this again. Just follow the market price. Uncle Lu looked at Yang Chi, who understood Lin Tian's temperament and didn't try to persuade him any further, saying bluntly, just do as brother Tian says. Okay, according to young master and young Lin's wishes, Uncle Lu nodded and then said, then please ask young master Lin to take out something. Hearing these words, Lin Tian turned his head around and surveyed this VIP room. Uncle Lu immediately understood and explained, don't worry, Xiao Lin. The VIP rooms are all arranged with spell formations to block prying eyes. Definitely enough to keep it secret. No, I am thinking that this place is too small to put things in. Lin Tian shook his head. Uncle Lu was stunned and sized up Lin Tian, seeing that he didn't have any storage props on him. But he didn't ask any more questions and got up to take the two of them to another room. A few moments later, the three of them arrived at another VIP room. It was said to be a VIP room, but inside the room was an extremely wide plant. 
which was specially prepared by the trading market for large items. Lin Tian surveyed the place and felt that it was about right. He reached out and waved his hand, and it was like it was raining in the entire plant, and all sorts of foreign beasts fallen items appeared out of thin air and fell to the ground from midair. After a ding ding dang ding sound, the wide factory building was almost filled with piles. Seeing this scene, even the experienced Uncle Lu was shocked and dumbfounded. This plant is usually not used less, but this is the first time in his career that he has encountered a situation where the plant was piled up. What is this Lin Xiao in the end? Uncle Lu's curiosity had reached its peak, but curiosity aside, he still maintained his professionalism, not to mention that this was still the young master's brother, and his identity was not something he should ask about. Uncle Lu's curiosity didn't last long, he was soon attracted to the several things at the front of the small mountain in front of him. This is, boss core, and the boss's body? Uncle Lu's 20 years of career allowed him to immediately recognize the things in front of him, and with a universal treasure appraisal technique thrown over, he was able to see the specific information of a few things, he then began to calculate, and in no time at all, he calculated the price and wrote out a price breakdown. The market price of the two boss cores was over 100 million and 200 million respectively, adding up to a total of 400 million. The other two well-preserved boss bodies, on the other hand, totaled 100 million. Seeing this price, Lin Tian was a bit surprised. It was even higher than he originally expected. Uncle Lu used the scope treasure appraisal technique on the mountainous pile of fiend drops, and soon gave a price breakdown based on the appraisal results. The price of the alien beast drops was generally not high, but it was good in terms of quantity totaling 300 million. After showing it to Lin Tian again and getting agreement, Uncle Lu then waved his hand and put all the beast drops into his storage ring. Even one ring was not enough, forcing him to pull out another storage bracelet from his pocket. After collecting the things, the boss core and body were still in the same place. At this point, Uncle Lu spoke up. Young Lin, the market price of these items is the price on the breakdown, but if you want to sell them for a higher price, you can absolutely go to the auction house to conduct an auction and for rare treasures like these, the auction transaction price is definitely higher than the market price. Together, these few things can be sold for at least 100 million more. The advice given by Uncle Lu was not in line with the interests of their trading market, but since it was someone brought by the young master, he definitely still had to give advice. Hearing this proposal, Lin Tian thought for a moment and prepared to reject it. A hundred million more or less didn't mean much to him, he needed to get the item out as soon as possible more than anything else, but before he could refuse, Yan Chi opened his mouth to advise, Brother Tian, going to the auction house is just right. We can still take a look and see if we can stumble upon what we need. Uncle Lu also said, In the afternoon in the south of the city, there will be an auction that will start in a while. It's not far away. It's not too late to go now. Hearing the words of the two, Lin Tian then nodded. He also really needed a piece of equipment. He couldn't see the street goods inside the trading market. Only at the auction could he come across suitable equipment or high-level materials to build equipment. Since the auction was just a little while later, it wouldn't affect his ability to put something up for sale today. Then there was no reason to refuse. After finalizing everything, the 300 million payment that Uncle Lu had ordered to be called over quickly arrived in Lin Tian's account, and the trading market's handling fees were also waived. Afterwards, Lin Tian and Yang Chi headed to the auction house together. Yang Chi also brought along Uncle Lu. With his 20 years of experience in treasure appraisal, he was able to help the two avoid pits when they encountered them. It didn't take long. The three arrived at the auction house. Yang Chi's family did not operate in the auction industry, but Uncle Lu, as a senior treasure connoisseur, was very familiar with the person in charge of the auction house and would occasionally help appraise the lots, so he directly led the two into the high-level box, the four things that Lin Tian needed to auction. Uncle Lu also let the person in charge do a favor and temporarily cut in to join this auction. After the three of them sat down, the auction started on point. After the auctioneer briefly warmed up, he presented the first lot and started the formal auction. The grade of this auction was obviously not low. The first lot was a silver longsword of very good quality. The equipment grades of professionals, from low to high, were white, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, epic, legendary, and the highest grade, divine weapons, which only existed in legends. Although silverware was in the lower third of the equipment grade, the price was already going to start at 10 million. The first appetizer was silverware, with a starting price of 10 million, which was enough to see the gold content of this auction. This silver longsword was warrior equipment. Warriors as the most main combat profession, equipment is naturally also very sought after. After a few rounds of bidding, the silver weapon was finally taken at a price of 25 million dollars. 
Lin Tian felt a pang of flesh pain as he watched the field raise the price like it didn't want money. He had only just become a tycoon and was still not too comfortable with spending money like this like running water. The auction was still continuing. Another 10 or so lots were taken by buyers. As the auction continued, the quality of the lots was becoming higher and higher. The professional equipment also gradually elevated from the silver ware at the beginning to gold ware. Yang Chi also took down a gold weapon equipment. The equipment was a peachwood sword. And the occupation requirement was a Taoist type occupation. It fit right in with Yang Chi's profession. Taoist master of talismans. The quality of the mahogany sword was quite good. And the starting bid was as high as $120 million. This is still because the Taoist class occupation is very rare. So the same quality of equipment. The price is slightly lower. Otherwise the starting price of this mahogany sword at least 150 million. But what Lin Tian didn't expect was that there was actually another professional of the Dao master class occupation in this auction, bidding up with Yang Qi after he made his bid. However, this person's wealth was obviously far inferior to Yang Qi's, and gave up bidding after Yang Qi boldly raised the price by 100 million at once. Soon, the peachwood sword was sent into the three people's high-level box. Yang Qi looked extremely fond of holding the peachwood sword worth 300 million and couldn't help but show it off to Lin Tian for a while. Brother Tian, this exorcism peachwood sword is not bad, right? It adds 10 points of agility and 15 points of spirit. There's also an active skill. Indeed it can be. You're lucky. Lin Tian smiled in his heart without saying anything. If it wasn't for the fear of Yang Qi getting hit, he would have wanted to take out the flame dragon lizard gun and show Yang Qi the world, to see what was meant by an extreme golden weapon that added 80 points of attributes. Unfortunately, Lin Tian himself didn't see any suitable lots and had to continue waiting up. In the high-level box on the other side of the auction, a girl with a cool temperament, tall figure, and a very perfect figure that looked 17 or 18 years old was looking at the lots on the field with a lack of interest. This girl's appearance was even more extremely outstanding than her figure. The five senses on her face blended to the extreme, as if she was born to grow where she was, and even if she moved a single point or a single millimeter, it would not be as good as it is now. On the face value, one in a million is far more than one. If she were to sit on an ordinary seat at this moment, she would definitely be able to attract a crowd of males at the auction who would not be able to move their gaze. However, if Lin Tian and Yang Qi were here, they would be able to recognize that this girl was none other than a classmate of the two. It was also the second in the entire school who had been suppressed by Lin Tian for three whole years. The only princess of the Ling family, Ling Qingran, Uncle Fu. Does this auction really have the equipment I want? The white-bearded old man known as Uncle Fu said respectfully. Missy, the person in charge of the auction house has a great relationship with old me. The information is absolutely accurate. In this auction, there will be two lots that are related to your profession. One is a gold artifact weapon, and the other is a gold artifact suit. That's good. I put down my leveling practice and came back specifically for these two pieces of equipment. Receiving Fu Bo's reply back, Ling Qing Ran nodded, still lacking interest. She still had her heart set on practicing leveling as well as that person. Uncle Fu couldn't help but sigh in his heart when he saw Missy in this state. Missy had always been a high achiever. There was no time when she wasn't the first in the whole school, but ever since she was promoted to high school, she had been dealt blows one after another, and for the first time in her life, she had gotten the second in her initial exams. Instead of being discouraged, Missy was so excited that she was ready to take back the top spot the next time, but then came another second. Then came the third and the fourth. It would have been fine if it was just that. But the point was that the first place of these times was the same person, being consecutively defeated by a single person. Missy was both frustrated and at the same time raised her fighting spirit, redoubling her efforts more and more. But no matter how hard Missy tried, she could never surpass that person. In this way, Missy, who had never won second place, was suppressed by that person for three whole years. Three years of being second. Even at the awakening ceremony, Missy had awakened to an s rank profession, and he still had to suppress Missy. The more frustrated she was, the more she worked hard, and under time and time again, Missy had worked so hard that she couldn't wait to stay awake. Fu Bo, who watched Missy grow up, was extremely heartbroken these three years, but there was nothing he could do. But fortunately, it all came to an end. After three years, Uncle Fu had long known what that person's name was. That person's name had even become hot news amongst the higher-ups of Jiang Cheng a few days after the awakening ceremony due to his awakened profession. The SSS rank occupation had made all the big clans in Jiang Chang, as well as a bunch of high-level executives, notice him, and had also intended to draw him in. After all, a SSS level occupation, future achievements were immeasurable. This was the first time in the history of Jiang Chang, that person was no one else, it was none other than Lin Tian. However, 
After learning that Lin Tian's profession was a dragon master, everyone dismissed the idea of pulling him in. No one didn't know that it was a waste of a profession. Uncle Fu also had mixed feelings when he learned the news. On the one hand, Lin Tian had been number one for three years, and was definitely a young man who worked extremely hard and had a good character. A person with this kind of heart at such a young age, even if he awakened to an ordinary profession, his future achievements wouldn't be too low, and it was indeed an extreme pity that he had fallen so sadly now. On the other hand, he was also relieved for Missy. Even if Lin Tian's heart was strong and he had awakened the waste profession, he was still powerless. There was no need for Missy to waste her sleep and efforts in order to surpass him anymore. However it was obvious. Ling Qingran didn't think so. Everyone said that Dragon Master was a waste occupation, and anyone who became a Dragon Master could be said to be immortal. Rationally, Ling Qingran thought so as well. But no matter whoever was suppressed by a person for three whole years and could not surpass them no matter how hard they tried, it was impossible for him to have any more rational evaluation of that person. Ling Qingran was like that. The world had already sentenced Lin Tian to death. However, this was not the case in her heart. She always had a premonition. Lin Tian would take the national exam this time and would still crush her. Lin Tian would once again shatter her illusions of wanting to surpass. Ling Qingran herself couldn't believe this premonition. She herself wondered if it was because she had been suppressed by Lin Tian for three years that she now had a psychological shadow, regardless of the truth. Even if it was really a psychological shadow, she couldn't break it for the time being. She could only continue to work hard and practice desperately. She wanted to hit the ground running on the national exam. Zhang Chang was in Jiangzhou. She was going to take the number one spot in Jiangzhou. When that time came, she would be able to get rid of Lin Tian's shadow. Ling Qingran was thinking. The auctioneer had already introduced the new lot. It was none other than the gold artifact equipment that was related to her profession. Fellow buyers, allow me to proudly introduce this piece of equipment. Gold weapon level. Seeing the golden weapon appear. The crowd of buyers were once again excited. After all, they were all professionals and it was impossible for them not to be interested in gold wear equipment. With the auctioneer's introduction, the crowd's interest grew higher and higher. The various attributes as well as the abilities of this equipment were extremely good. The interest of the buyers was raised to the highest point by the auctioneer's skillful words. However, when the auctioneer introduced the career requirements of this equipment, the crowd's interest was like being doused with cold water. The occupation requirements for this golden artifact were all various occupations related to the dragon race. Isn't this a joke? Where could there be so many professions related to the dragon race? Dragon Blood Warrior, Dragon Blood Knight, Dragon Grammarian. These were all s rank professions, and even in a single state. There were not many of them in a year, let alone in this tiny Jiang city. Even if there were, it would be impossible for them to gather at this tiny auction house today. It must have been a runoff from some auction house, and now it's here to try again. The crowd was instantly uninterested. After the auctioneer tried his best to publicize, Seeing that the crowd was not interested, he did not say any more and gave the starting price. The starting price, 100 million. For such a very outstanding golden tool, this price can be said to be very low. The reason is naturally that this equipment is extremely harsh professional requirements. Good equipment cannot be used. Buy is also dry eyes. Otherwise this equipment at least have to be about 300 million. The auctioneer is obviously aware of this. The publicity of this equipment is just a process, but also afford their own wages. Even if he is more eloquent, the occupation is not suitable. No one will spend 100 million to shoot a decorative item. The auctioneer finished the process and was ready to directly auction. Right at this moment, a clear and cold voice spread throughout the room. 100 million. The crowd looked towards the high level box that had placed the bid. The person who bid was Ling Qingran. Her awakened occupation was none other than an S rank dragon grammarian. It met the occupational requirements for this equipment. On the other side, Brother Tian. This great sword is just right for you, Yang Qi said excitedly from the side. But how come there are other people bidding? This is too much of a coincidence. The small auction house was able to gather two professions related to the dragon race. Hurry up and bid brother Tian, or else the hammer will fall in a moment. Lin Tian was a bit hesitant. It wasn't that he didn't want it. Although he already had the flame dragon lizard gun, which was a more powerful piece of equipment. It was normal to bring an extra backup weapon. The attributes and abilities of this great sword were quite good in all aspects. To spend 100 million dollars on just a spare weapon, Lin Tian felt that it was a bit unworthy. While Lin Tian was hesitating, Yang Qi was a bit anxious. Seeing that the auctioneer had already shouted twice, if he didn't bid, the hammer would fall. 110 million dollars. Just as the auctioneer was about to drop the hammer, Yang Qi shouted, Brother Tian, I'll give it to you. Yang Qi said triumphantly, 
he was afraid that Lin Tian wouldn't accept it and added, consider it as the practicing fee I paid. Lin Tian wanted to say something else, but Yang Qi said bluntly, no need to say anything, brother Tian, it's not like I'm losing anything, level 15 is enough to go to divine clearance and Longjing university, if I could go to divine clearance and Longjing with over 100 million, how many people would break their heads to grab a spot, the words were already there, so Lin Tian had no choice but to nod his head and accept it, this scene directly shocked uncle Lu, this was more than a hundred million dollars, in fact, if Lin Tian was a dragon master who really had a giant dragon, this news was released. There were plenty of people who were willing to spend a few hundred million dollars to climb into a relationship with him. However, Lin Tian didn't like this kind of interest, and neither did Yang Qi. The relationship between the two couldn't be measured in terms of benefits either. Yang Qi sent Lin Tian the equipment purely out of brotherly feelings. Even if Lin Tian didn't have the strength he had now and couldn't take him upgrading, he knew about this equipment and would find a way to help Lin Tian take it. Someone bidding was already unexpected. Someone bidding even more so that the auction house never expected. When the auctioneer saw someone bidding, he immediately started performing his eloquence, wanting to get the two to start bidding. However, Ling Qingran decisively chose to give up. This piece of equipment was a large sword, which she, as a dragon grammarian, could use, but it wasn't appropriate. Spending 100 million to buy it as a backup equipment was fine, but if someone else bid on it, it would be unnecessary. Seeing that no one made a sound after a delay, the auctioneer then reluctantly dropped the hammer. The greatsword was quickly sent into Lin Tian's box for the three of them. Lin Tian received the greatsword and observed it up close. It was indeed good, perfect as a backup weapon. The auction was still continuing and there were no more than a few lots left. The boss core that Lin Tian had auctioned off, as well as the boss carcass were also sent to the auction table. These were all high-level props with a wide range of uses, and they immediately caused a flurry of enthusiastic bidding in the high-level box. Missy, these items seem to be related to those three treasure maps that were lost by my Ling family sidekick. Uncle Fu spoke up. Ling Qingran clearly did not care about this. Seeing that Missy didn't care, Uncle Fu didn't say anything more. He was just mentioning it in passing. This kind of thing didn't need him to be in charge of it. There were people keeping an eye on it. The two boss cores, as well as the two bodies, were all bought after some head-scratching bidding. The total price was as high as $700 million a full 200 million higher than the market price, Lin Tian was delighted in his heart, this trip really wasn't a mistake, directly allowing him to earn an extra 200 million, within a day, Lin Tian had gone from an ordinary family to a billionaire with a billion dollar fortune, this was the world of professionals, as long as one had strength, they could do anything, very quickly, the auction came to an end, the last lot was also sent up, it was also a golden weapon, but it was different from the previous lot, this time it was a whole set of golden weapon sets. Once an equipment was able to form a set, its effect could increase greatly. Likewise, the price would also increase greatly. The auctioneer introduced this golden weapon set in an impassioned tone. This golden weapon set was composed of five pieces of equipment. Namely the shin armor and leg armor worn on the lower body. The armor worn on the upper body. The hand armor that wrapped around the hands and arms. And the helmet. Each of these five pieces of equipment added 10 points of attributes and the five pieces together totaled 50 points, and with the set increase, it directly reached a total of 75 points of attributes, in addition to the attributes, this armor set, there was also the effect of damage reduction, although there was only 5% damage reduction, but damage reduction was an extremely counterintuitive effect, and 5% was already very much, this set of earth dragon battle armor, has the same requirements for the occupation, but it is not harsh, in addition to the occupations related to the dragon race, the warrior and knight class occupations, can also be equipped, the auctioneer's introduction directly caused the entire room to boil over, originally, the crowd was still worried that it would be another equipment with harsh occupation requirements, now that their worries were dispelled, many people rubbed their fists together, the fact that warrior type and knight type professions were able to use it meant that the number of bidders would definitely not be small, the starting bid for this set of earth dragon battle armor is, 300 million, the auctioneer had just burst out the price, Someone on the field immediately raised his card to make an offer, but before his voice could dissipate, someone immediately raised the price. This set of equipment was simply too strong, and the starting price was not high. It directly led to a succession of offers rising and falling, one wave after another. Yang Qi was a little disappointed that such a good equipment could not be used by a Taoist type profession, otherwise he would have taken it. Lin Tian similarly looked at this suit, however, he hadn't opened his mouth yet. Those who were truly able to auction this suit knew in their hearts that it was not yet time for them to bid. In the midst of all the bidding sounds, 
The price of the Earth Dragon battle armor had already come to a record high. The price of the Earth Dragon battle armor had already reached 500 million. At this price, the continuous bidding sounds from earlier had pretty much disappeared. It could be said that the previous bidding was nothing more than a hilarious scene. The real bidding had only just begun. Ling Qingran similarly wanted this set of battle armor. And seeing that the bidding had stopped, she opened her mouth. 550 million dollars. A clear and cold voice spread throughout the room. Isn't this the same woman who bid 100 million dollars earlier wanting to buy the great sword? Yang Qi heard the voice and then said. Why do I feel that this icy cold voice is a bit familiar? Lin Tian didn't pay any attention to the voice at all. His eyes were all on the earth dragon battle armor. 560 million dollars. Once again, someone bid. Ling Qingran was determined to get this set of battle armor and without the slightest hesitation said. 570 million. That person tentatively quoted again. 580 million. 590 million dollars. Ling Qingran added again. This time the man stopped speaking out. But there were others who participated in the bidding. 600 million. 611 million dollars. 620 million. Obviously, with such a powerful gold artifact battle armor, coupled with the warrior class and knight class, such a large class of professions were able to use it. And even though it had already gone up to 600 million, there were still a few more people bidding on it. Ling Qingran simply raised the offer to 700 million in one breath. 700 million. Ling Qingran wanted the others to back off. In fact, this was almost close to her mental maximum offer. Sure enough, her strategy worked. The few people who had originally offered were persuaded back by her offer. No one else made a sound. The auctioneer also started the countdown. Seeing this scene, Ling Qingran also thought that she had successfully pocketed the Earth Dragon battle armor. However, just as the auctioneer was about to drop the hammer, a voice rang out. $711 million. The person bidding was none other than Lin Tian. Seeing that all the competitors had already withdrawn. Hearing this voice, Ling Qingran froze. It wasn't because someone had made an offer, but because of the owner of this voice. This voice, she was simply too familiar with it. The one that she had exhausted herself over the past three years. Working to the limit, but still unable to surpass. Lin Tian. At this moment, a huge shadow rose in Ling Qingran's heart. Sure enough, her premonition was right. Lin Tian had not given up. Everyone said that Lin Tian, having awakened the Dragon Master, was completely ruined and would never be able to turn over a new leaf. But if that was true, how could Lin Tian appear here? Would a ruined professional, or one could even say an ordinary person, bid 700 million for a set of golden weapon battle armor? It was clearly impossible. Moreover, according to Ling Qingran's understanding, Lin Tian's parents had both died, leaving behind an average family. So even if he smashed the pots and pans, it was impossible for him to come up with 700 million. Even though Lin Tian had a brother who was a prince of the Yang family, Ling Qingran knew that even if Yang Qi was willing to give the money, Lin Tian's pride wouldn't allow him to accept this kind of unearned reward. So there was only one possibility. Not only was Lin Tian not wasted, he was instead countless times stronger than he was. The 700 million was exactly what he had gained from breaking into the wilderness with his own strength. Thinking about this, Ling Qingran's heart trembled. The gazes that looked towards the high-level box that Lin Tian was in became complicated. There was unwillingness, fighting spirit, envy, some admiration for her opponent, and even some admiration that she herself hadn't realized. Lin Tian, even awakening a wasteful profession like Dragon Master can't stop you? Could it be that you're going to make history? How in the world did you do that? Ling Qingren couldn't figure it out. However, the figure of Lin Tian that was deep inside her suddenly became obscured from the sky, leaving behind only a huge shadow that did not see the light of day. Missy, still bidding? Uncle Fu opened his mouth to remind. Only then did Ling Qingren come back to her senses, and she immediately raised her fighting spirit, recovering from Lin Tian's shadow. $750 million. Ling Qingren's voice this time was no longer cold, but contained some competitiveness. She was bidding both for the Earth Dragon battle armor and also to compete with Lin Tian once more. You can't pass the exam, but you can't win by smashing money, even if it was an auction. Winning once was still winning. However, Ling Qingran's heart was in turmoil. She had obviously forgotten about this price, which had already reached the highest price in her psyche. 800 million. That voice came once again. Ling Qingran was about to open her mouth when she was stopped by Uncle Fu. Eldest Miss. This time the family head has only given this much budget. Ling Qingran, who suddenly remembered this matter, froze, then she hesitated with a face full of unwillingness and gritted her teeth. This look on her face was clearly out of Fubo's expectation, not understanding what was wrong with the young miss. After pondering for a moment, Uncle Fu suggested, Missy, 
Why don't I make a call to the master? Hearing this, Ling Qingran completely deflated and waved her hand. Forget it, don't let grandpa worry about me anymore. Missy, what's wrong with you? Uncle Fu asked with some concern. In his opinion, Missy had never been a capricious person, nor was she someone who would be annoyed by a failed bid. Ling Qingran pointed to a high-level box, and Uncle Fu's gaze followed it, still puzzled. Lin Tian, hearing this name, the old man Fu Bo suddenly came to his senses. His eyes widened in disbelief. Even though he was shocked at this news even though he was claiming to have seen a lot of things at his age. You mean? Ling Qingran nodded and said. Yes, the person bidding is Lin Tian. Not only did he not turn into a waste, instead it looks like he has encountered a considerable opportunity. Uncle Fu still couldn't believe it and opened his mouth. Would you? Before he could finish his sentence, he was interrupted by Ling Qingran. Impossible, this guy's voice. I wouldn't mishear it even if I turned into ashes. Uncle Fu nodded and asked. Then do you want me to investigate? No way. Ling Qingran immediately refused. Uttering these words also allowed her to temporarily clear the shadows within her heart. She once again raised her fighting spirit. I'm going to win him once in the national exam. Fair and square. Uncle Fu's words also reminded her. There were an unknown number of people amongst the Ling family's collateral line who wanted to flatter her. So it was not guaranteed that someone would make an issue out of this matter of Lin Tian. Uncle Fu, keep an eye on it. Absolutely no one is allowed to play dirty tricks behind the scenes. Uncle Fu immediately said seriously. Yes, Missy. At this time, the auctioneer also dropped the hammer in his hand. The last transaction of this auction was completed. In the high-level box, Lin Tian had taken the Earth Dragon battle armor with 800 million. And the first time he spent money like this, it really made him a little uncomfortable. However, he didn't feel bad about it. This 800 million could enhance his strength, so it wasn't a bad spend. For professionals, as long as they have the strength, money is just a number. The Earth Dragon battle armor was soon delivered to the box. All right, let's go. Lin Tian and Yang Chi drove away from the place after the three of them got what they wanted. Just as the three of them were leaving, outside the main door of the auction house, a figure hidden in the shadows revealed itself and dialed a phone. Family head, a drop regarding a boss has appeared at the Jialong auction house. After leaving the auction house, Lin Tian then left with Yang Chi on their own. Before parting, Lin Tian and Yang Chi said the time to leave the city, which would be tomorrow morning. As for today, Lin Tian still had some things to do. The auction of the Earth Dragon battle armor had cost a total of 800 million, leaving 200 million left over. In fact, originally, there wasn't that much left. After all, the auction house had helped him auction off the boss core and carcass for a high price of 700 million, so it was impossible not to charge a handling fee, which was the auction house's main way of making a profit. According to the usual practice, the handling fee was 10%, which was $70 million. But the auction house took the initiative to exempt Lin Tian from the handling fee, which left him with 200 million. The reason was also very simple. The person who could take out the boss core was bound to have a treasure map and be able to repeatedly brush the monsters, and wouldn't just come to the auction this once. The auction house waived the handling fee in order to befriend Lin Tian and let him come to their own auction house to bid in the future as well. Auction items like boss drops were often the most popular. Even if they didn't charge a handling fee, they were still able to earn popularity. A seller who was able to steadily auction off boss drops, with the exemption of handling fees as a condition of goodwill, the auction house would definitely be able to make a steady profit. For Lin Tian, there was even less reason to reject an auction house that was able to steadily ship out items and didn't require a handling fee. Soon, Lin Tian drove to a food city. In this half month in the wilderness, he had been eating alien beasts, eating alien beast meat, although it had benefits, but it was difficult to cook. In order to save time, Lin Tian had never cooked it properly or added seasoning, often letting little amazing bake it with a mouthful of fire, and subsequently eating it in one gulp. Eating too much of it was simply as tasty as chewing wax, and he was going to be in the wilderness for almost a month after tomorrow. He didn't want to repeat the same tragedy once more. Lin Tian swept through the entire food city and prepared enough rations for three to four months. These rations were all put into Lin Tian's system backpack. He had to say that the system backpack was really good. There was no time passing internally and these foods would still be as good as they were when they were first made when he took them out. After preparing his and Yang Chi's rations, Lin Tian drove to the other side of the food city. This was the place where all sorts of live exotic beasts were sold. The natural reason for coming here was to prepare a big meal for Lin Lien. Lin Tian hadn't forgotten the full banquet of foreign beasts that he had promised Lin Lien. Lin Tian spent more than 10 million dollars and bought more than two dozen foreign beasts. These foreign beasts weren't ordinary foreign beasts either. All of them were the most delicious and precious meat that the human race had discovered over the years. However, 
Buying these foreign beasts also allowed Lin Tian to discover one thing. These beasts Gourmet City promised to deliver to the door, but he did not have an address to leave. Cannot send these two dozen beasts to their own ordinary residential building? Even if the neighbors agree, the small room cannot be put. Lin Tian had to leave his phone number. Find a suitable house first, and then let the food city deliver to his door. The process of finding a house was extremely smooth. Lin Tian casually found an agent. After explaining his needs and that he wasn't short of money, the agent helped him find a suitable place in less than 10 minutes. One could only say that the saying that money could make the devil work was not nonsense. The house he found was a vacant factory building on the outskirts of the city. Lin Tian had looked at it before realizing that it was the only kind of factory building that had enough space and at the same time didn't have many people around it to be able to let the current little amazing let loose and have a good meal. Considering that he would be leaving Jiancheng after the big exam, Lin Tian didn't choose to buy a house, but rented it, after paying a month's rent of over a million dollars. The agent cheerfully helped Lin Tian with all the formalities and handed over the keys to the plant. Afterwards, Lin Tian had the people from Gourmet City send over all 20 or so foreign beasts, after everything was ready. Looking at the two dozen or so alien beasts running around in the plant, Lin Tian released Little Yen, Aang Dash, seeing the foreign beasts running around all over the room. Little Amazing chirped thankfully at Lin Tian and immediately rushed up to feast on them. Lin Tian smiled and looked at Little Amazing. Then he opened his panel. Lin Tian, Dragon Master, SSS level first turn, level, 15, strength, 320 plus 35, agility, 249 plus 50, physique, 322 plus 35, spirit, 310 plus 35, dragon pet, 1 slash 1 beginning fire dragon level 15, small amazing. Dance with the dragon, passive the dragon master can share 10% of the dragon pet's attributes and gain some of the effects of the dragon pet skills, and the injuries suffered by the dragon master are borne by the dragon pet. Harnessing the dragon ranch, a space where the dragon pet can be included. Extremely comfortable for dragons. Boosts the recovery speed of the dragon pet. Available skill points asterisk 15. Lin Tian looked at his panel. His attributes were now comparable to a mini boss. Part of such high attributes came from upgrading himself. As a SSS level profession, his four dimensional attributes would increase by 10 points for every level he upgraded. The most common E ranked life professions, as well as D ranked professions, only increased by one point. While the gains gained from each level of an SSS ranked profession was equal to 10 times that of these bottom end professions, other than the attributes that he had increased by upgrading himself, it was the attributes that Little Yen had brought to him. Dancing with the Dragon, the core skill of the Dragon Master, allowed him to share 10% of Little Amazing's attributes. Don't underestimate this 10%. The attributes of dragons were terrifying. And Little Amazing, as an originator fire dragon, was even more terrifying, increasing his attributes by 50 points every time he leveled up. Right now, almost half of Lin Tian's attributes came from Little Amazing. Other than those two points, the extra attributes added to the panel were all from the equipment. The flame dragon lizard gun that Lin Tian was currently equipped with, as well as the earth dragon battle armor added a total of 155 points of attributes to him, the power of his own profession, coupled with the little amazing, these two points directly created, Lin Tian's current strong panel attributes, Lin Tian recalled that the first boss he encountered half a month ago, the demon vine demon tree king's panel attributes were not as good as his current one, if he did it again, he could even single brush the demon vine demon tree king without using skills, after looking at the attributes, Lin Tian looked at his skills again, when level 1 there were only 3 skill points, but he had only used 2 at that time and still had 1 left, plus every level up now gave 1 skill point, the current him had accumulated 15 skill points, this was also the power of SSS level professions, normal D level professions only had 1 skill point for every 5 levels, during the half month in the wilderness, Lin Tian had only focused on upgrading and had no time to study skills at all, this was also because he and Little Yen were already strong enough to flat out sweep without the need for more skill boosts, now that he was free, he just had the time to research skills. Lin Tian tapped on the Dragon Master skill tree. The originally dark skill tree had lit up with quite a few skills that could be learned. Lin Tian swept over with a glance. The effects of each skill were very good, but the higher up the skill tree the more skill points were needed. He had no way to learn them all for the time being. Suddenly, a skill caught Lin Tian's eye. Dragon's Joy, active joyfully encourages Dragon Masters and Dragon Pets. For a period of time, all attributes increase by 10%. This skill immediately attracted Lin Tian's attention. 10% increase in all attributes. Don't look at 10% as if it's very little. You have to know that many priest professions, as a novice, can only increase their teammates by so much, but it mustn't be forgotten how high Lin Tian's own attributes were. A 10% increase was equivalent to adding more than 100 points of attributes to him. 
which was already close to the bonus brought by his two pieces of gold equipment. For Little Amazing, the effect was even more powerful. A 10% increase in Little Amazing's terrifying attributes. That was several hundred attributes. And the several hundred points of attributes that Little Amazing had increased would in turn share several dozen points to Lin Tian. With this skill, the gains from the attributes alone would be equivalent to Lin Tian's two pieces of equipment worth over a billion dollars combined. With just one look, Lin Tian decided. This skill must be learned. Without the slightest hesitation, Lin Tian used two skill points to learn the skill dragon's joy. Another skill appeared on Lin Tian's skill bar. Lin Tian immediately noticed that the dragon's delight skill was at level 1, meaning that it could still be upgraded. Upgrading this skill again required 4 skill points, so Lin Tian didn't hesitate and chose to upgrade. After dragon's delight reached level 2, the effect was directly increased from a 10% increase to a 20% increase. Seeing such a large increase, Lin Tian once again used 6 skill points to upgrade the skill to level 3, and the effect was also increased to a 30% increase in all attributes. The dragon's joy skill alone had used Lin Tian 12 skill points. However, Lin Tian felt that it wasn't a loss in the slightest. It was even a blood profit. The effect of this skill was just too cost effective and too strong for him and Little Yen. If many novice priests were to see the skill of Lin Tian, they would have to cry out in envy. With the remaining 3 skill points, Lin Tian scanned the other skills and decided to save them first. Within the remaining skills that could be learned, the increased skills were not as good as Dragon's Joy, and then the remaining few were basically damaging active skills, which Lin Tian didn't really need. Injurious active skills, it was fine to click on Little Yan's skill tree. After all, he could share Little Amazing skills, although only a portion of the effect, but even if it was a portion of the effect, Lin Tian didn't think that the skills of a Dragon Master could be compared to a giant dragon. Thinking about this, Lin Tian closed his panel and opened Little Amazing's Dragon Pet Panel. Beginning Fire Dragon. Level, 15. Strength, 1633. Agility, 948. Physique, 1669. Spirit, 1491. Patriarchal Fire Dragon Bloodline, passive as the Patriarchal Fire Dragon. The Source of Flames, immune to all fire attribute damage and can learn all fire attribute skills. Dragon Bloodline, passive. LV1 Dragon Bloodline born for battle. Gains 200% recovery ability. Gains 50% debuff resistance. Dragon Stone Skin, Passive. LV1 The Dragon Race's naturally hard stone skin resists much damage. Gaining 20% full attribute damage resistance. Beginning Fire Dragon's Breath, Active. LV1 Spits Flames and Magma, dealing huge amounts of damage. Dragon Seal, Active. LV1 Swoops down sharply from high altitude, dealing huge amounts of damage. Available Skill Points Asterisk 28. Although Lin Tian often looked at Little Amazing's panel, but now that he saw it once again, he still couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. The panel attributes of a giant dragon were truly terrifying. Little Amazing's initial panel attributes were very high, plus every time he ascended a level, his strength and physique attributes were each increased by 60 points, his spirit attribute was increased by 50 points, and his agility was increased by 30 points. The four dimensional attributes added up to a total of 200 points of attributes equivalent to a level up. Lin Tian really couldn't imagine, other than dragons, what other kind of creatures could have such terrifying attributes at level 15, it totaled close to 6000, even Lin Tian, as a SSS ranked profession, couldn't afford this attribute, Lin Tian estimated that this was also because Little Amazing had gone through a hundred evolutions and had become an ancestral fire dragon, if it was an ordinary dragon, it definitely wasn't this heaven defying, Little Amazing, as an originator fire dragon, was also stronger than a SSS level profession, not just in terms of attributes, but also in terms of skill points. Each level up could gain two skill points. However, in the same way, Little Amazing skills required more skill points to learn and upgrade due to being very powerful. Compared to his own skill tree, Lin Tian was more interested in Little Yan's skill tree. The first time he clicked on Little Yan's skill tree, Lin Tian was shocked by the wide array of skills on it. His skill tree with hundreds of skills was already luxurious enough. Little Yan's skill tree was even more extravagant, and without even having to count them, he could see more than a thousand skills when he casually swept through it. The vast majority of them were hidden in the darkness just like Lin Tian, but there were also quite a few skills that were lit up. More than 30 of them, twice as many as Lin Tian. Little Yan's skills, there were no increased skills, they were all damage active skills. In that case, Lin Tian felt that the giant dragon was naturally complementary to a dragon master. It was just that there was no one else but him who could know about this. Lin Tian looked through Little Yan's skills one by one, more carefully than he looked at his own. Soon, Lin Tian had a clear understanding of Little Amazing's skill tree. As an originator fire dragon, 
Little Yen balanced both magic level and physical level attacks, both of which were extremely powerful. This was very rare. Usually, whether it was a professional or other exotic beasts, usually, they could only specialize in one of them, either focusing on magical damage or physical attacks. Little amazing, however, had no shortcomings and was all about strengths. In fact, this was reflected in Little Amazing's first two skills. The breath of the beginning fire dragon was elemental and magical damage, while dragon seal was complete physical damage. After looking at all the skills that Little Amazing could learn, Lin Tian made a decision. First, he would learn two skills. Ancestor Fire Dragon's Wrath, active. LV1 condenses the fire elements in his entire body as well as in the surroundings and explodes in all directions, causing devastating damage. Earthshaking Heavenly Dragon, active. LV1 gathering the entire body's chi for a violent impact, while destroying the surrounding environment, causing devastating blows. These two skills, one was magic damage and the other was physical damage. The reason why Lin Tian picked these two skills to learn, on the one hand, it was to allow Little Amazing to develop in all aspects, and on the other hand, it was because these two skills were both full range damage skills. It was equivalent to a strengthened AoE version of Little Yan's two initial skills. The two skills used a total of 10 skill points. There were still 18 points left. Lin Tian used them all on upgrading his skills. First, he upgraded the two passive skills to level 2. Dragon Bloodline, Passive. LV2 The bloodline of the dragon race is born for battle, gaining 300% recovery ability and 60% debuff resistance. Dragon Clan Stone Skin, Passive. LV2 The dragon clan's natural hard stone skin resists much damage, gaining 30% full attribute damage resistance. The upgrades of these two skills each used 5 skill points. And after Lin Tian looked at it, the skill points needed to upgrade to level 3 again had risen in price to 10 points. The remaining 8 points, Lin Tian used on the two initial skills. 6 of those points were given to the Ancestor Fire Dragon's Wrath, raising it to level 3. There were also 2 points to raise Dragon Seal to level 2. This also increased Little Yan's strength by a huge step. At this time, Little Amazing also finished eating the Fei Whole Feast and burped. He felt the changes in his body and the new skills he had learned. Roar Dash Little Amazing roared in excitement. It was fortunate that Lin Tian had specially picked this plant in the middle of nowhere. Otherwise this dragon roar would have scared the people passing by to death. Little Amazing also wanted to try out his new skills, as well as the changes to his old skills. However, after Lin Tian stopped it, Little Yen gave up this idea. If he let this kid try out his skills here, he would have to blow up the plant and attract the eyes of the whole city. Over the past half a month, Little Yen had grown not only physically, but also internally. He was no longer the somewhat capricious baby dragon he was half a month ago. Now he had grown into a warrior. He would carry out Lin Tian's words without any objections. Inside the Ling family residence, Ling Qingran was planning her trip for tomorrow. The loss of the auction house didn't affect her too much. She had gotten the desired golden artifact equipment again from another source. The bigger reason that made her work so hard was still the news that Lin Tian was still working hard. She had wasted three years of effort and hadn't been able to beat Lin Tian even once. Now that she had awakened the powerful S-rank profession dragon grammarian, it was naturally impossible for her to just give up. The national examination was probably her last chance. She had to grasp it. This last month's time, she had to work hard to the extreme. Fubo walked in at this time. Eldest miss, got the news, just as you expected. That person from the auction house is none other than Lin Tian. He went back to Gourmet City after he left and purchased more than two dozen exotic beasts. The exact reason is unknown. Ling Qingran nodded. She knew very well that she couldn't have heard it wrong. This news did not touch her. No matter what the reason is, it proves that he hasn't given up and has made a lot of money killing foreign beasts in the wild by relying on his own strength. I don't know exactly what methods he used, but his strength is definitely not weak. Not at all the wasteful profession the world talks about. The always cool Missy rarely said so much at once. However, Uncle Fu was not surprised by this. He had seen this scene many times before. And it was only that Lin Tian that could make the eldest miss take it so seriously. Uncle Fu went on to report. Eldest miss, there's one more thing. The person who sold the boss core at the auction house today was none other than Lin Tian. Ling Qingran was not amused. Uncle Fu explained to her the circumstances leading up to the loss of the three treasure maps by the side clan. Missy, the family head of that sideline. Ling Fu, your seventh uncle, his only son, your cousin also died in the wild because of this incident and is seeking our main family's help to find the culprit to help him avenge his death. Right now, Ling Fu was waiting with his father, Ling Qi, in the hall for the family head to come back and report. After hearing this, Ling Qinran didn't even think about it and said, the culprit can't be Lin Tian. Even if it's really Lin Tian, 
It's definitely because that guy himself took the initiative to provoke Lin Tian. I still say that Lin Tian must be defeated by me in a fair and open manner. No one is allowed to interfere. Seeing the great lady's determination, Uncle Fu nodded and ordered Ling Fu to be sent away. It didn't take long. In the main floor hall of the Ling family mansion, a fierce quarrel was heard. Afterwards, a sound of footsteps filled with anger came towards the side building. The room where Ling Qing ran was, Ling Fu and the white-haired old man, Ling Qi, upon hearing the news, directly found their way here to Ling Qing ran. However, upon meeting, Ling Fu and Ling Qi were devoid of the anger they felt just now, and explained to Ling Qing ran with smiles on their faces, Eldest Miss, you don't know, this Lin Tian he. The two of them described to Ling Qing ran in graphic detail how vicious and hateful Lin Tian was, did you guys see it with your own eyes? Ling Qing ran interrupted the two, this, although I didn't see it with my own eyes, I can imagine that all the evidence points to the murderer being Lin Tian, since you didn't see it, put these lies of yours away. Ling Qing Ran continued, Lin Tian can only be defeated by me fair and square, don't go near Lin Tian, understand? Hearing this, the smile on Ling Fu's face disappeared and he said with an ugly expression, Ling Qing Ran, my son is your cousin, are you that heartless? Before Ling Qing Ran could say anything, Uncle Fu from the side stood in front of the two, at this moment, Uncle Fu had changed his kind brows from the past. Uncle Fu's eyes were cold as he stared at the two, his gaze causing the two to feel a tremor. You're just a cousin uncle from a sideline. Missy has already given you enough face. Don't be ungrateful. If you understand what Missy said, leave by yourself. If you didn't understand, I can still explain it to you all individually. The threatening implication in Fu Bo's words was naturally self-evident. Ling Fu and Ling Qi were already extremely angry at this point. But they didn't dare say anything else in the face of Uncle Fu's unkind gaze. As the Ling family's collateral lineage, they were well aware of how strong this old housekeeper was. A level 42 shield sword knight who had already completed the third turn. Even if it was placed in the entire Jung city, it was considered an upstream powerhouse. It was simply not something that the two of them could resist. Even if the two of them were resentful in their hearts, it wouldn't help. They were only a sideline of the Ling family. The entire Ling family had 30 sidelines without 50. And the life of a sideline was not as important as the words of Ling Qingran, the eldest young lady. Two people can only hang their heads in shame and leave. On the way back, the more they thought about it, the more angry they became. This trip not only did not borrow the power of the main family, but instead, they were strictly forbidden to approach the murderer of their son and grandson. However, it was good that this trip, they hadn't come for nothing. At least the main family had previously investigated the name Lin Tian. Knowing this name, it wouldn't be too difficult to find this person again. The only problem was that Ling Qingran's strict order forbade it. As a collateral line of the Ling family, all their glory and wealth were all given to them by the Ling family. And if they dared to openly disobey Ling Qingran's words, the consequence would inevitably be losing some of it. Both father and son fell into silence. One of them wanted to avenge their grandson. The other wanted to avenge their son. Either one of them could not possibly give up because of Ling Qingran's words. Not to mention the fact that this was the only one in their family. Now that he had died in the wilderness, how could they possibly swallow this? The father and son were silent for a long time. Only in the end did Ling Fu break the silence. Father, I have another way. When Ling Qi heard this, his eyes immediately lit up. Father, I have a classmate. But as Ling Fu spoke out his solution, the more Ling Qi heard, the more his heart jumped. By the time Ling Fu finished speaking, Ling Qi had already broken out into a cold sweat. This plan was just too bold. Son, if this plan of yours comes to fruition, Although you can get rid of Lin Tian without being swept away by the Ling family, but if it fails, it will be more than just sweeping out of the house. By then, none of us in this sideline will have a good ending. You and I are even more bound to die. Ling Fu had already made up his mind in order to avenge his son. He would kill Lin Tian no matter what. Father, so what do you say? Is it a gamble according to my plan? Or just kill Lin Tian and then we get swept away by the Ling family and lose everything? Ling Qi was also caught in hesitation. A moment later. He also made up his mind. All right, let's do as you say. Ling Chi had also thought clearly. Lin Tian had to be killed. And even if he didn't take the risk and killed Lin Tian directly, when they were swept away by the Ling family, they didn't know how many of their large family would still be alive. Losing the shelter of the Ling family, they would inevitably be approached by enemies from all walks of life. The father and son who had made up their minds immediately began to take action. Ling Qing ran, don't blame cousin uncle me for being unrighteous even if you're heartless. If you want to protect Lin Tian, then you'll all die together. Early the next morning, Lin Tian and Yang Qi were then both ready to leave the city. After registering at the city gates, the two of them drove towards the wilderness. Just as the two had left, 
A person in the shadows dialed the phone. Family head, Lin Tian has already left the city. This person thought he was hiding well, but Lin Tian had noticed him a long time ago. The attributes that were comparable to a boss, as well as the ability to share little amazing, had strengthened Lin Tian's five senses to a very exaggerated level. Even a third turn professional might not have his five senses as sensitive. Only Lin Tian did not put it in his eyes. He could almost guess what was going on, and it was bound to be unrelated to the original owner of the three treasure maps. Lin Tian wasn't the least bit afraid of this. In the city, he had concerns, but when he left the city and went to the wilderness, the sea was wide enough for fish to jump, the sky was high enough for birds to fly, and with the presence of Little Amazing, the other side would be sending in as many people as they could. After all, who would have thought that he had such a terrifying dragon? Not long after Lin Tian and Yang Qi left the city, Ling Qingran also brought a group of people and sailed out of the city. When the two of them had all left the city, the person hidden in the shadows dialed the phone again. Shortly after, a car also drove out of the city, with several cars following behind. If Ling Qingran was there, she would be able to recognize that these were none other than the two people she had scolded yesterday, Ling Fu and Ling Qi. Behind the two, there was also a person sitting peacefully in the back seat. And from the respectful manner in which the two treated him, one could get a glimpse of his strength. Wilderness, an armored car that was speeding. Old Young, you even managed to get an armored car? Lin Tian was very interested in this extremely sturdy armored car. Yang Chi said smugly, handsome, isn't it? But it's actually not that hard. With channels and money, not to mention armored cars, even tanks can be gotten. It's just that I think the tanks are a bit too flashy and not low key enough. Right, brother Tian. Where are we going first? The zombie cemetery. This is just right ah, I am also a talisman Taoist master. It is just right to restrain. Yang Qi said halfway through his words, and suddenly realized what the words blocked. He suspected that he had heard wrongly in general. Pulled out his ears and asked tentatively, Zombie graveyard? Brother Tian, you can't be joking. Lin Tian nodded, also somewhat puzzled. What happened to the zombie graveyard? Yang Qi was directly frozen by Lin Tian's rhetorical question. How else could it be? The zombie graveyard was a level 40 to level 50 alien beast area. It had already reached the third turn level. It properly belonged to an intermediate to advanced level area. How could a newbie like them go there? He was only level 9 and Lin Tian was only level 15. He believed that Lin Tian was super strong. Otherwise he wouldn't have been able to reach level 15. But that was a level 40 or 50 area. Not to mention the two of them. Even if they tied up the students of the three middle schools and threw them in. It wouldn't be enough for the beasts there to stuff their teeth. The zombie graveyard is a level 40 or 50 area. Yang Qi said with a trembling voice, hearing this, Lin Tian was instantly relieved. Harm, I thought something new had come out of the zombie graveyard that I didn't know about. That's the reason why? Yang Qi could naturally understand what Lin Tian meant. This was not putting a level 40 or 50 fey beast in his eyes at all. Yang Qi only felt that his worldview was about to collapse. For a level 15 professional to enter the zombie graveyard alone to practice leveling was simply unheard of and he couldn't believe it. He didn't even count himself in the team because he knew that when he entered the zombie graveyard, he would be considered a bully if he could not drag his feet. However, Lin Tian's words also reassured him a bit. Since Lin Tian knew the situation and still took it so lightly, then he must have a plan. Although he didn't know what kind of cards Lin Tian actually had, he still believed it after Lin Tian had said so. At the same time, his curiosity also climbed to the top. He wanted to know too much. What kind of undercard did Lin Tian rely on to be able to rise to level 15 in half a month, and still not be afraid of a level 40 or 50 fey beast area in the slightest? But along the way, no matter how much he asked, Lin Tian would only give a mysterious smile and proceed to give the same answer. When we get to the place, you'll know. Yang Qi simply didn't ask, and while guessing up in his heart, he stepped on the gas pedal under his feet to the point of fire just wanting to hurry up and arrive at the zombie graveyard, under his speeding, after half a day, finally arrived at the zombie cemetery, the closer he got to the zombie cemetery, the denser the cloudiness around him became, Yang Qi looked towards the zombie cemetery, only to see a mound of graves and wordless tombstones standing there, the atmosphere is extremely eerie and weird, the center of the cemetery cloud is even more dense, a little bit of sunlight cannot be spread into, not floating in the midair of a little ghost fire illumination, it is going to become pitch black. Yang Qi was instantly by this oozing feeling, agitated body sweat hairs upside down, goosebumps rose all over. He looked towards the zombie graveyard, his heart beating a drum of retreat. Only then did he realize that Lin Tian had already gotten out of the car at an unknown time and was walking alone towards the cemetery. Crap, brother Tian, don't. Yang Qi screamed strangely in fear and hesitated for a moment, 
Still worried about Lin Tian's safety, he simply clenched his teeth and stomped his foot, pulled out the evil expelling Peachwood sword from his storage ring, opened the car door and quickly chased after him. Seeing this, Lin Tian couldn't help but laugh. Look at this point of yours, are you so scared? He added with a twist of words, but daring to follow up. It's still considered that you have a bit of conscience and a bit of courage. Yang Chi held the Peachwood sword tightly in his hand, and while looking around, he stared at the zombies that might jump out at any time. While speaking, he said, it's not that I'm a wimp, it's that you're too brave. Who isn't afraid of this scene when they see it? Not to mention that I'm only level 9 and you're only level 15. Brother Tian, what means do you have to really hurry up and show them? But don't let any zombie that jumps out from any corner directly kill us single-handedly. It's only then that we won't have anywhere to cry even if we want to. Lin Tian thought about this. Level 9 dared to follow him. A level 15. Into a level 40 or 50 alien beast area. Or an area as eerie as the zombie graveyard. Only Yang Chi would have the guts to do so. Thinking about this, Lin Tian also stopped scaring him and sent him a group request. He was indifferent to sneak attacks, but Yang Chi would be really cold if he was sneak attacked. Yang Chi quickly accepted the invitation on his career panel. Brother Tian, I really want to break my head. What kind of underhandedness is it that gives you this kind of backbone? Want to know? Watch this. Finished speaking to Yang Chi. Lin Tian whispered again. Come out. Little Yen. Yang Chi was confused and wanted to ask what little amazing was when he felt his eyes suddenly light up and something emitting a red light appeared. At the same time, the bone-piercing coolness from the graveyard just now disappeared. In its place, an extremely hot heat wave came crashing down on his face. Yang Chi turned his head to look. He instantly froze, only to see a 15 or 16 meter long monster appear out of thin air in front of his eyes, covered with scales like rocky scales, wrapped with muscles that possessed explosive strength. There was magma flowing between the cracks of the scales, and the heat wave that dispelled the coolness was coming from it. Behind the monster there is also a huge wings, once stretched out like a burned hot iron curtain in general, raising his head again. The eyes on the monster's huge head were staring at himself. The monster slightly lowered his head, and the heat wave formed by the airflow of his breath made him smell the odor of his eyebrows burning. Monster ah! Yang Chi's stunned appearance made Lin Tian laugh half-heartedly. It was only after a long time that Yang Chi calmed down and figured out the situation. Brother Tian, this shouldn't be. Yang Chi wasn't stupid. Looking at the behemoth in front of him and then associating it with Lin Tian's occupation, he instantly figured everything out. Looking at Lin Tian who was still laughing at him, Yang Chi didn't feel embarrassed at all. After all, the creature in front of him was something that no one who saw it would be able to remain calm. Not to mention that other people just wanted to be startled, but they didn't have the chance yet. Any ordinary professional who could have the chance to take a look at this creature in front of him, not to mention being startled, even if they were scared to the point of peeing their pants, they would have to blow it off for the rest of their lives. Lin Tian stopped laughing and nodded. That's right, a giant dragon. Although he had already guessed it, he heard Lin Tian admit it. Yang Chi still sucked in a breath of cool air. No wonder, no wonder Lin Tian had awakened the dragon master. And after being sentenced to death, he was still able to rise to level 15 in half a month just by himself. No wonder Lin Tian dared to take him and enter the level 40 to 50 zombie graveyard. It was only because Lin Tian had a giant dragon. A real dragon. It was standing right in front of him. This is a dragon. What's the point of leveling up 15 in half a month? What's a level 40 or 50 zombie graveyard? In front of a giant dragon. It was just a small karamundi. Thinking about this, Yang Chi was proud. Maybe he was the second person in this world who had observed a giant dragon up close. And Lin Tian, this first dragon master in the history of the human race to harness a giant dragon, was his Yang Chi's good brother. But he hadn't fooled around for two seconds. Little Yan gasped and his blazing nostrils caused Yang Chi to wimp out again and hide behind Lin Tian. Wanting to see the giant dragon again, he only had to peek from behind Lin Tian. Lin Tian let out a light laugh and said, Little Yan, this is your uncle Yang, don't scare him anymore. Aang, little amazing chirped, indicating that he knew, but as soon as he turned his head, he looked at Yang Chi with a disdainful look on his face, just as they were talking. Around them, the zombies in the zombie graveyard had broken out from the graves and jumped over towards them step by step. Graveyard jumping zombie. Level, 47. Strength, 412. Agility, 173. Physique, 511. Spirit, 117. Corpse hardening, passive. LV2 hardening of the corpse after death, which can resist some physical attacks and increase one's own physical attacks. Yang Chi was still shivering in fear when he saw the scene. It's just that now that he had seen the giant dragon that was little amazing, he wasn't so scared anymore. Little amazing. Destroy them. Roar. 
After saying that, Lin Tian took out two folding recliners from his system backpack. He leisurely laid down on them. Seeing this scene, Yang Chi shook his head like a rattle drum. Forget it, brother Tian. You sit down. I can't sit still in this scene. Yang Chi gripped the peach with sword in his hand tightly and looked around at his surroundings. Hearing this, Lin Tian didn't persuade him and took out the food he had prepared in advance and ate it enjoyably. Eat when you're hungry. On the other side, Little Yen had already started to make his move. At only level 15, he caused a general effect of a descending blow against the zombies that averaged over 40 levels and had already reached the third turn. Only Little Yen raised a giant claw, then ruthlessly fell towards a zombie. The zombie's body, which was as hard as a silverware, was instantly dismantled by Little Yan's sharp claw. Seeing this scene, Yen Shi was directly shocked beyond words. He had already tried his best to imagine how powerful the giant dragon was, but this was still far beyond his imagination. In just one strike, he had resolved a level 47 zombie with an extremely hard carapace. What surprised him even more was that he, who had already teamed up with Lin Tian and shared his experience, had instantly risen a level. After he had risen to level 9, his experience bar hadn't moved much. Now it had instantly risen to level 10. The experience bar was also mostly full. This kind of upgrading speed, when placed before, he wouldn't even dare to think about it. Yang Chi only wanted to say that it felt good to have a big leg to hold. After thinking for a while, Yang Chi then took the initiative to set the group experience to 5%, which meant that he only shared 5% of the experience provided by the foreign beasts, and the remaining 95% was still Lin Tian's. Being able to set the experience so low was still because it didn't require him to make a move. If he dealt more than 5% of the team's damage, then the experience received would follow suit. This eliminated the matter of a high-leveled professional making a move and taking a newbie flying. Yang Chi didn't have high requirements for himself, as long as he rose to level 15. At this rate, 5% experience to rise to level 15 in a month was completely more than enough, but Lin Tian needed to rise from level 15 to level 20, which was more than 10 times more difficult and required even more experience. Not to mention, his role in the team. It could be said that he was hiding under the bed from Lei Gong, not useful. With 5% experience, he was already smiling, looking at not far away, Xiao Yan who was playing with a group of zombies. It was a lie to say that Yan Shi was not curious in his heart. Anyone who saw it would want to ask Lin Tian, how exactly did he obtain the giant dragon? But Yang Chi had a measure in his heart. This was a question he would never ask. Even if Lin Tian wanted to tell him, he wouldn't listen. Hearing this kind of secret was like carrying a time bomb in his arms. Maybe one day someone would try to pry his mouth open. He didn't have Lin Tian's self-preservation strength anymore. And knowing this kind of secret would only be asking for trouble. Yang Chi looked at Lin Tian who was happily enjoying his food and couldn't help but admire him in his heart. Brother Tian, how is this you entering the wilderness? It's simply a clubhouse. Who's a good person who goes into the wilderness and has to bring a recliner with him? If this scene were to be seen by other professionals, they would suspect that they had misread it. And if the group of students from the third middle school were to see it, they would even shed tears of envy. At this time, Xiao Yan was already tired of playing with these zombies. A mouthful of fire sprayed out directly incinerating several zombies. Yang Qi, who saw this scene, was even more shocked. He didn't expect that in addition to the powerful physical attacks brought about by the gargoyle's strength, even its magical attacks were so powerful. Even if it was a higher mage-type profession that used fire magic, the power could never be compared to the flames spewed out by Little Amazing. Watching Little Amazing slaughter as if a tiger had entered a flock of sheep. Suddenly, Yang Chi felt that level 40 or 50 zombies didn't seem to be as strong as he had imagined. His profession was also a talisman Taoist master. It could be said that he just happened to restrain these zombies. Maybe he could also spar with these zombies. Thinking of this, Yang Chi still felt that he needed to discuss this with Lin Tian to save himself from dragging his feet. Brother Tian, I want to go up and try. Lin Tian lazily lay on the recliner, finishing the food in his hands, and returned without lifting his head. You go, call for help if you can't hold it. Little Yen will keep an eye on it. Hearing Lin Tian's agreement, Yen Chi thought even more that the zombie wasn't really that powerful. With his self-confidence soaring, he carried his evil expelling peachwood sword and charged towards a zombie. It hadn't even reached five seconds. A trembling and hissing sound of help rang out. Help! Yang Chi went up and lined up with the zombie for a bit before he realized how morose the gap between levels was. He went up and used a skill that only dealt two points of damage to the zombie. Not enough to kill a chicken. This was still because of his professional restraints, plus the bonus of the exorcism peachwood sword. Otherwise, I'm afraid he wouldn't even be able to deal one point of damage. Not everyone can be compared to a giant dragon ah. Lin Tian looked towards Yang Qi. Little Yen had already swept away the zombies chasing him with a tail. Looking at Yang Qi's chicken flying around, 
Lin Tian laid down again and enjoyed his leisurely upgrade time. In the wilderness, a convoy of several vehicles was heading in a certain direction. Sitting in the vehicle at the very front was none other than Ling Fu and Ling Qi, and behind them, sitting in the back row, was a very grim-looking person. Chairman Cho Charm, which one are we going to kill first? Ling Fu asked to the person behind him, his tone very respectful. Cho Charm was none other than his old classmate, and an important part of his plan to implement. He still remembered Cho Charm now, back when he was in school. His temperament was so eerie that no classmates were willing to come into contact with him at all. But Cho Charm was lucky enough to have awakened an A-ranked profession, Ghost Shadow Killer. At the awakening ceremony, A-class professionals, naturally, can go to a good university. However, there was an accident in college. Cho Charm accidentally killed a classmate and was expelled from the school. After his strength was already quite good, he returned to Jiangcheng to form a guild called Black Shadow. After 20 years of development, the Black Shadow Guild has become one of the top few guilds in Jiangcheng. When Ling Fu and Cho Charm went to school, they didn't have much contact and didn't have much friendship. This time, he had asked him to come out, but he had spent a lot of money, almost using up most of his fortune. Although Ling Fu's heart had cursed this old classmate for 10, 000 times, if he didn't have Cho Charm, his plan couldn't be implemented and he could only obediently hand over the money. There was no way. When Ling Qingran went out into the wilderness, he was bound to be escorted by a not-so-weak practicing squad. There was also that old thing, Fu Bo, who was even more beyond their ability to deal with. Only Cho Charm, the ghost shadow killer who had already reached level 49, was able to deal with Uncle Fu. Cho Charm, who was sitting in the back row, said in a gloomy tone, How can you ask such a stupid question? Which one is the same? Ling Fu cursed in his heart. Dogs, charging me so much money, with this service attitude? However, he still nodded his head yes on his mouth. Look at my brain. With President Vengeance Charm's strength, it's not like he can kill whoever he wants. Then go ahead and get rid of Ling Qinran. As long as we get rid of Uncle Fu, the rest of Ling Qinran, and that Lin Tian, it won't be hard to kill them whenever you want. The group drove towards the direction of Ling Qinran's convoy. At this moment, in the Wolf Spider Valley, Ling Qinran was practicing peacefully under the protection of a large team of leveling squads, as well as Fu Bo. She was only just level 10 now. Logically, she shouldn't be in the Tarantula Valley in the level 15 to 20 area. But this was the benefit of having a large family. The leveling squad of a dozen or so people, coupled with Fu Bo, protected Ling Qing ran so tightly that the fierce tarantulas around her couldn't get in at all. In the encirclement, Ling Qing ran was solving a fierce poison tarantula one-on-one. -on -one. She didn't team up with anyone. She was enjoying the experience alone. Only then could she steadily rise to level 15 before the big exam. Similarly, Without a group, she could only deal with the fierce venomous tarantula alone, and no one could help her. Even as an S-rank profession dragon grammarian, Ling Qingran was only at level 10, and she was still struggling to deal with the level 17 fierce tarantula in front of her, and several times she was in danger. Still, the set of equipment on her body helped her barely get through it. After a period of grinding blood, fire dragon's breath, Ling Qingran waved her staff in her hand and launched a ball of fire which ran straight towards the bloodied mighty venomous tarantula, clearing out the last bit of blood remaining in it as well. Fubo looked at Ling Qing Ran's spell and sighed in his heart that the future generations were formidable. The S-rank profession dragon grammarian was really powerful. To be able to single-handedly take on a level 17 fierce venomous tarantula at level 10 was something he couldn't believe when he was younger. Ling Qing Ran's performance made his heart happy. There was a successor to the Ling family. Ling Qing Ran was also quite satisfied with himself. Looking at the staff in his hand, he thought that he still had to have fire dragon's breath. This was considered to be the most important skill in the early stages of a dragon grammar mage. As the dragon in charge of flames, the fire dragon's initial skill, fire dragon's breath, was the most prioritized skill for all dragon languages mages to learn, and was also the strongest attack skill they could obtain in the early stages. Fire dragon's breath was able to be so powerful in the hands of even a level 10 novice dragon grammarian like her. Ling Qingren couldn't help but be curious if it was in the mouth of a real fire dragon. What kind of power would the fire dragon's breath have? Missy, with such a fast upgrading speed, that Lin Tian is definitely going to lose to you. Missy, this time, Uncle Fu complimented. Originally, he wanted to encourage Ling Qingran, but as soon as he heard this, Ling Qingran, who was still somewhat satisfied with herself just a moment ago, immediately became strict with herself once again. Next one, seeing this scene, Fu Bo was momentarily speechless. Just as the dozen or so people of the practicing squad were about to release the next tarantula into the encirclement, slow down, Uncle Fu suddenly stopped them with a wave of his hand. 
He turned his head to look in a direction and frowned slightly. There was the sound of a caravan traveling in that direction. How could they have encountered a caravan when they had specifically picked this remote place? And as he listened to the sound, it was clear that it was coming straight at their position. The practicing squad didn't know the situation. Still, it immediately contracted and surrounded Ling Qingran in the center. What's wrong, Uncle Fu? Ling Qingran asked suspiciously. Before Uncle Fu could say anything, a voice came from closer and closer. Uncle Fu, Missy, hello again. A convoy of cars directly surrounded Uncle Fu and the others. The people who spoke also stepped down from the car. The two people at the front were none other than Ling Fu and Ling Qi, who were sent away yesterday. Seeing these two, Ling Qingran's brows also furrowed. Ling Fu and Ling Qi, you think that you can force me to change my words by bringing people here to pressure me? Hearing this, Ling Fu directly laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha, protect Missy, Fubo said to the practicing squad. He did not look at both Ling Fu and Ling Qi. His gaze was firmly locked on the black cloth man with an eerie aura behind the two. Uncle Fu glanced at Ling Qingran with his afterglow. Although the eldest young miss was gifted and intelligent, she was still a flower in a greenhouse after all, and had not truly seen the perils of the human heart, and had not figured out the current situation. At his age, however, he wouldn't be able to fail to see it. Ling Fu and Ling Qi dared to bring people to surround them with such fanfare. Obviously, they were not here to exert pressure. The real purpose of the two men, I'm afraid, was that they held a grudge over yesterday's incident and wanted to get rid of them all. Once they were dead, the two would then get rid of Lin Tian. It was a way to get revenge without being swept away by the Ling family. As for whether or not the Ling family would suspect the two, that was impossible. The wilderness was inherently dangerous, and it was not uncommon to encounter people who had gotten up to no good in the heat of the moment. What's more, the Ling family has developed to the present. I don't know how many enemies, the people who hold a grudge against the Ling family, can't even be counted, and no one will be able to find out the two men's heads without any evidence. Seeing Ling Fu laughing, Ling Qingran also realized that things were not right. Uncle Fu, are you sure? Uncle Fu looked at Ling Qingran and nodded. Don't worry Missy, I am indebted to the master for taking care of me for so many years. I will definitely protect you. Ha ha ha, protect her well? Ling Fu laughed out loud. I dared to come, would I not be sure? Of course, Uncle Fu knew that Ling Fu and Ling Qi must be certain if they dared to do this. Fu Bo did not look at the two, but instead looked directly at the man in black behind the two. Obviously, this man in black was what the two were relying on. There was no doubt that the strength of the man in black was above him. However, he was already determined to protect the eldest young lady. Having watched Ling Qingran grow up, he had already treated Ling Qingran as if she was his own granddaughter. Today, even if he had to give up his old life, he would still have to protect Missy. Thinking of this, Uncle Fu's gaze towards the black cloth man became one of death. The two of them, Ling Fu and Ling Qi, turned to the black cloth man behind them and arched their hands. Please ask President Vengeance Charm to make a move. Hearing this name, Uncle Fu's gaze flinched. Of course he had heard this name before. This was none other than the president of the Black Shadow Guild, which ranked in the top few in Jiang City, and Chiu Charm, who was notoriously famous in Jiang City. Uncle Fu's heart sank. He knew that the two would invite an expert, but he really didn't expect this person to be Chiu Charm. If it was Chiu Charm, then he was afraid that he would die this time. He was mentally prepared for this, but his only worry was Missy's safety. The respectful attitude of Ling Fu and Ling Qi clearly made Cho Charm very happy. Cho Charm lightly said, Do it. A group of guild juniors under him immediately stepped forward to surround the crowd more tightly. Right at this moment, a man walked up to Cho Charm's side, with a lowered head and a smile on his face. He said, Chairman. Cho Charm glanced at this person. This was the younger brother of his beloved subordinate, who had just graduated from his senior year of high school this year. He had only joined the guild not long ago but he was very good at kissing ass as a licking dog. So Cho Charm had a very good impression of him and was ready to focus on cultivating him. What's the matter? Cho Charm asked. The man pointed to Ling Qingran, who was surrounded by the crowd, and spoke. Chairman, Ling Qingran is my high school classmate, and is also the school flower of our school. Cho Charm looked down at him, and his gaze suddenly became gloomy. At this moment, his beloved henchman, Lai ZZ, who was also the man's brother, immediately walked up closer. Boss, my brother was wrong. They don't know each other. Lai Zizi's face was covered in cold sweat as he said with a snort. Cho Charm glared at him and told him to roll to the side. Cho Charm asked with a gloomy gaze, You want to plead for her? Although he had a good impression of this person, if this person thought that this would allow him to talk to him as an equal, then he was very wrong. To him, a little brother was nothing more than raising a dog, and a dog that didn't listen or even tried to teach him things would only end up dead. 
Lai Zizi looked at this scene, the atmosphere did not dare to come out, and had even closed his eyes not daring to look again, that little brother wasn't the least bit scared by the gloomy atmosphere, his face was full of smiles as he complimented, President, you are the only one who has the final say in the Black Shadow Guild, what am I in front of you, and am I worthy of pleading for mercy? Zhou Charm nodded in satisfaction, still recognizing the time, he looked towards Ling Qingran, his gaze filled with lust as he said, I was going to say that I'm going to kill her anyway, then can you let me, before she dies, or it's okay after death, hearing this, Zhou Charm burst out laughing, the gaze that looked at his little brother again was no longer gloomy but very satisfied, this little brother was really to his liking, good, I'll fulfill you this time, getting agreement, the little brother was extremely excited, and in the future, don't call me chairman, call me boss, these words made the little brother even happier, calling the boss meant becoming a beloved, he had only just awakened for half a month, and he could become the beloved henchman of the top few guild presidents in Jiang City, he could say that he had a great future in the future, yes, boss, thank you for your appreciation, boss, after that little brother thanked him, he looked at Ling Qingran and his gaze became even more lustful, he looked at Ling Qingran and said, Ling Qingran, I don't think you've come into contact with a man yet, right? Ling Qingran looked at this man with great disgust in her heart, with great disgust, she cursed, what does it have to do with you, you sewer toad, hearing these words, that little brother's face instantly turned ugly, oomph, remember, the first man to touch you is called Lai Zidong, Ling Qingran looked at him with extreme disgust and said disdainfully, what a toad, even if I die without a body, I won't cheapen a beast like you, Uncle Fu shielded her behind him, Missy, don't talk nonsense with this kind of trash, Lai Zedong's face was ugly to the extreme, he did not expect to be humiliated like this at a time like this, just keep your mouth shut, he said through gritted teeth, do it, Cho Charm gave the order again, a group of juniors rushed forward and fought with the practicing squad that was protecting Ling Qingran, Fu Bo immediately struck, holding a large square shield in his left hand and a large sword in his right hand, while opening his bow left and right at the same time, knocking one person out with a swing of his left hand, while his right hand dropped down with a sword in the right hand, chopping off one person's right arm along with his shoulder, he wasn't happy about getting the better of him, he knew that the real showstopper was still hatred charm, I'll break the back, you guys quickly take Missy away, Fubo shouted and charged towards the crowd, oomph, bullying a few juniors is nothing, let me meet you, Show charm didn't give him the chance again and immediately jumped into the crowd, stopping Uncle Fu, Fubo made a ranged skill and swept across the surrounding area within a few meters, his strike did not result in a kill, but it was enough to open up an opening in the encirclement, allowing the practicing squad to leave first with Missy. Seeing this, the practicing squad immediately escorted Ling Qingran as they fled outwards. Ling Qingran looked worriedly at Uncle Fu and shouted, Uncle Fu, hurry up. Uncle Fu looked back at Ling Qingran, only leaving behind a smile. It's time for this old bone of mine to give an account. Qingran, don't mind me, just run. Ling Qingran was being carried by the practicing squad desperately fleeing towards the outside, she couldn't even try to look back, she had always been very indifferent in her appearance, but at this moment, she couldn't stop the tears from flowing in her eyes, seeing this, Chiu Charm also immediately ordered, I'll stop him alone, Lai Zizi you take everyone and go after him, yes, boss, Uncle Fu coldly laughed, Chiu Charm, you wouldn't be unaware of what happens when you make a move against the Ling family's eldest miss, would you, hearing this, Chiu Charm also frowned slightly, his face unsightly, of course he knew, even though the Black Shadow Guild was among the top few guilds in Jun City, compared to the Ling family's power, it was still not enough to look at, however, he didn't worry much about it, it's hard to believe that you really think that any of you can escape back, this place is at least half a day's journey from Jiang Chang, when I kill you, none of them will be able to escape, Uncle Fu knew he was right and was about to continue saying something, but he was interrupted by Cho Charm, don't stall for time, they can't send a message, do you really think I'm a fool? Dare to take a shot at you without cutting off your communications? Hearing this, Fubo's heart sank. If they couldn't send a message, there would be no rescue, and it would be too difficult to escape back. Whether or not he could survive depended on his life. It was no longer in his control. All he could do now was to delay Charmaine as long as possible. Without a word, Fubo once again rushed towards Cho Charm, and the two of them fought to a standstill, outside the Tarantula Valley. A group of people were in the midst of frantically fleeing, and not far behind them, another group of people were chasing after them with a death bite. Ling Qingran was being protected by a leveling team. This leveling team was not hired at a temporary cost, but was the Ling family's full-time bodyguards, and their loyalty was unquestionable. Otherwise, 
they would have already left Ling Qinran behind and fled for their own lives. Although it was the first time Ling Qinran had actually faced a life and death crisis head on, she quickly recognized the reality and understood the situation at hand. In her heart, she grieved for Uncle Fu, but she still held back, forcing herself to be rational. She must escape alive. Only then could she avenge Uncle Fu. Missy, the message can't be sent out. I'm afraid they've already used the machine to destroy our communication equipment in advance. Hearing this news, Ling Qingran's heart sank. The situation was now extremely unfavorable for them. It was yet to be seen how long Fu Bo could hold off Chiu Charm. By the time Chiu Charm caught up with them, their group would surely die. The junior captain on the side made a suggestion and said, Big Miss, why don't we look for help from the passersby? Ling Qingran shook her head. She was not a fool. On the contrary, she was also very smart. And this encounter with a life and death crisis had already made her understand the true situation of the wilderness. In the wilderness, I'm afraid that it was common for even family and friends to turn against each other. Not to mention passers-by, seeing how they were now being hunted down. Others were afraid to avoid them. Even if they wanted to borrow a cell phone like in the city, they couldn't even do it. So how could they talk about letting people help? In fact, it was true. They hadn't even seen a single person on their way out. Obviously, when they heard something, they all hid and hid away. Eldest miss, what should we do now? The junior captain anxiously inquired. In their current situation, they didn't know how much longer they could escape. Ling Qingran was also anxiously thinking about this. In the current situation, it was no longer realistic to escape back to Jiang Chang. It would take at least half a day to return to Jiang Chang, and it was simply impossible for them to escape for so long. Junior Captain, what are the alien beast zones that are closer to the Wolf Spider Valley? The junior captain heard the question and didn't know what Ling Qingran was asking for, but answered anyway. Missy, the foreign beast zones that are relatively close by are the Demon Pecking Ant Mountain Range, the Evil Wind Horse Riverbank, the Blood Bat Cave, and the Zombie Graveyard. Ling Qinran then asked, which area has the highest level of foreign beasts? The Zombie Graveyard, the level is at 40 to 50. After a slight hesitation, Ling Qinran clenched his teeth and resolved, let's go to the Zombie Graveyard. Hearing this, the young captain was startled. Missy, the zombies there can be level 40 or 50. With our strength, we will be eaten clean by the zombies before they catch up. Upon hearing this, Ling Qingran did not waver in the slightest. Firmly, she said, if we continue to escape, when the hate charms catch up, we'll be dead as well. Only by going to the zombie graveyard and relying on the foreign beasts there to block show charm a bit, will we be able to escape. If we can't deal with the zombies, they can't deal with them as well. Hearing the explanation, the junior captain and a group of teammates immediately understood. It was indeed so. Only by turning to the dead could they fight their way out. Otherwise, if they continued to escape, none of them would survive. At this time, the pursuers behind them were getting closer and closer. A few people had already caught up and fought with a few members at the back of the team. Seeing this scene, the crowd clenched their teeth and decided to fight. Escort Missy and head to the zombie graveyard. Even if we lay down our lives, we'll let Missy escape. Their loyalty wasn't like Uncle Fu's, but at this moment, they also decided to give up their lives. There was no other reason. The current ones were already half dead, and there was almost no possibility of escaping. But as long as Ling Qingran could go back alive, someone would avenge them. Moreover, if Ling Qingran went back, the Ling family would never treat their family members in the city badly. The only thing they could do now was to protect Ling Qingran and use their lives to exchange for a better life for their families. A decision was made. The crowd reversed their direction and ran in the direction of the zombie graveyard. In the zombie graveyard, after a small half day, Yang Chi finally adapted to the eeriness of this place, and also followed Lin Tian's example and lay down on a recliner, holding a cup of milk tea that Lin Tian had just taken out and was still hot. However, he still couldn't do what Lin Tian did to enjoy himself so much. As soon as something blew in the wind, he would still immediately catapult up from the recliner like it was a stressful situation. Not far away. Little Yen was in the pile of zombies, massacring the various zombies that kept crawling out from the graves. Brother Tian, will we be too sorry for little amazing like this? Yang Chi looked to the side, mimicking Lin Tian who was extremely enjoying himself on the recliner. He opened his mouth and asked. He looked at Little Yen's efforts to sweep away the zombies, and then he thought about him and Lin Tian enjoying themselves here. He was really a bit too sorry. Lin Tian shook his head. What do you know? Little amazing is a giant dragon. A giant dragon lives to fight. Little amazing needs to fight just like a person needs to eat. It's all just a necessity. These words were not just nonsense from Lin Tian. Gargoyles were indeed a born fighting race. From the moment a gargoyle was able to survive on its own and break away from its mother's shelter, its entire life would be spent in conquest. 
it would either be fighting or killing. Lin Tian looked at Lilian. When it first broke its shell, it might not have been visible, but as it grew, little Amazing's ferocity swelled more and more, other than towards him. To him, his master, little Amazing was instead less capricious and became more obedient and well-behaved due to his gradual maturity. But towards these foreign beasts, little Amazing became much more ferocious. The broken limbs and arms of the zombies that he had decapitated had already piled up a small mountain in the graveyard. Lin Tian watched as Little Amazing was having fun in the field. Suddenly, Little Amazing sprayed out a mouthful of flames, clearing out all the nearby zombies. Then, with a turn of his head, he flew towards Lin Tian and drilled into the dragon harnessing ranch. Seeing this, Yen Qi immediately lost his sense of security and ejected from his recliner as if his tail had been stepped on. Brother Tian, what happened? Why did Little Yen run back? Lin Tian naturally knew what was going on. The fact that Little Amazing had taken the initiative to hide meant that someone was coming their way. Someone is coming, Lin Tian said. Yang Qi looked around and scratched his head. I don't see anyone, Brother Tian. Lin Tian was amused by him and said, Nonsense. If you can see people, then isn't Xiao Yan also seen by the other party? How can a human's five senses be compared to the dragons? After a few moments of effort, Lin Tian also heard movement. It's coming. Yang Qi was a little surprised. He couldn't hear any movement at all. However, it was normal to think about it. Lin Tian's strength was far above his. He wasn't worried about the incoming person. Having seen Little Yan's strength, he had already looked down on all the dangers of the wilderness quite a bit. There's more than one person. A person is running in front. It should be a woman. And there are a bunch of people chasing after them. About two dozen. Awesome. Brother Tian. Quick, dodge these zombies. These zombies are all level 40 or 50. We're no match. Ah 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 dash. Hurry up, grab Ling Qingran, then we'll go out immediately. If we delay any longer, we'll all die here. Ling Qingran ran with all her might in the direction of the center of the zombie graveyard. Looking back towards the back as she did so, her plan had succeeded. The high-level zombies of the zombie graveyard had indeed pestered the Black Shadow Guild's people. However, she couldn't be happy. The dozen or so people in the leveling squad had lost a lot of people along the way when they were entangled with each other. Until just now. The team leader who survived to the end also died under the zombies in order to protect her, choosing to attract zombies to block the Black Shadow Guild. Even though the sacrifice was so great, she still wasn't safe yet. The Black Shadow Guild wouldn't be able to catch up for a while. However, the zombies that were gradually crawling out of the graves in this graveyard were a much greater threat to her. Whether or not she would be able to escape was yet to be seen. Ling Qinran made up her mind. This time, as long as she could escape, she would definitely avenge the practicing squad their families, she would also provide the best treatment. Boss, boss is here. As she was thinking, cheers came from behind her. Ling Qingran turned around and her heart went cold. Xiao Charm had already caught up. That means that Uncle Fu has. Ling Qingran's heart was sad, but his feet didn't dare to pause for a second, running even more desperately towards the depths of the graveyard. Although Xiao Charm was a level 49 professional, or an A-ranked professional, but being surrounded by several zombies at the same time, it would still take a bit of effort to get rid of them. Lai Zedong. Boss, I'm here. Lai Zedong dodged the zombies around. Xiao Charm fended off the zombies for him while saying, Don't you want that chick? I'll give you the chance now. Take a few people in and grab her. Lai Zedong glanced at the direction Ling Qingran escaped from, which was the center of the graveyard, and looked at the darkness inside. With only a little bit of light from the ghostly flames wafting about, and the eerie atmosphere, which made him shiver. Boss, this eye. Lai Zedong wanted to say something, but sensing Chiu Chan's unkind gaze, he swallowed his words back, looking at the charming silhouette that gradually disappeared in the center of the graveyard. The lust in Lai Zedong's gaze bubbled up again. He clenched his teeth and said, Boss, I will definitely accomplish this. After saying that, he waved his hand and led a few people to chase after him towards the center of the cemetery. Ling Qingran originally thought that she would be eaten by more and more zombies even if she wasn't caught by the Black Shadow Guild this time. However, she found that for some unknown reason, the closer she got to the center of the graveyard, the fewer zombies there were instead. Regardless, this was good news for her. It was much easier for her to not attract the attention of the zombies alone than it was for that large group of people from the Black Shadow Guild. Ling Qingran looked back and vaguely saw her pursuers who were following her in the distance. She continued to go deeper towards the center of the graveyard. It didn't take long. Two silhouettes suddenly appeared in her field of vision. These two people still seemed to be lying on their recliners. The urgency of the situation did not allow her to be distracted from thinking about what would bring two recliners into the center of the zombie graveyard. She immediately reversed her direction and ran towards those two people. This was the first time she had seen people along the way. 
regardless of why the other person hadn't dodged the trouble that had followed her here. This could be her only chance. If only she could borrow a cell phone and send a message, there would be reinforcements arriving, and her chances of being able to escape would be greatly increased. Even if she still couldn't escape, there would be someone to avenge her for Uncle Fu, as well as those members of the practice squad. The center of the cemetery was pitch black, with only the faint glow of ghost flames. Ling Qingran ran furiously all the way there, just as she was about to reach the two of them. In the darkness, she inadvertently stepped on a foot and fell straight to the ground, collapsing in front of the two recliners. Ling Qingran was about to climb up when she heard a most familiar voice ring out, directly causing her to freeze in place. Want to help? That voice that she wouldn't miss here even if she turned into ashes. Ling Qingran's heart was desolate, thinking that she was at the end of her rope to the point where she was experiencing hallucinations. The fall also cleared Ling Qingran's mind a bit. It was only then that she realized something was wrong. In the center of the zombie graveyard, if there were people, how could it look like there would only be two people? Two people practicing in a place like this was no different than looking for death. And even if there really was, who would put down two recliners and even lie on them in such a dangerous place? I'm afraid that this was also an illusion she was having. Why didn't she think of this just now? What she didn't expect was that the hallucination that appeared in her ears at the end of her rope was actually Lin Tian's voice. Could it be because Lin Tian had suppressed her for three years, and the feelings she had for Lin Tian deep down had long since turned into worship instead of rivalry? Is that why one would fantasize about Lin Tian incarnating as a hero and coming out to save himself at times like this? People sometimes weren't afraid of being sad, they were afraid of having empty joy. After the illusion just now, Ling Qingran decided that it was impossible for her to escape anymore. Her hopes were completely dashed. At this critical juncture of life and death, the last person she thought of was Lin Tian, which also made the feelings Ling Qingran had in her heart towards Lin Tian become extremely complicated. Did she herself like Lin Tian? She herself could not be sure. After all, as she recalled now, it seemed like she had never liked anyone, nor did she know what it felt like to like someone. Perhaps it was this feeling that she had towards Lin Tian. Otherwise, how could she have hallucinated Lin Tian's voice before she died? I didn't expect to find out who the first person she liked was just before she died. It was still someone she had been secretly competing with for three years. Only now did she realize how meaningless it was to secretly compete with Lin Tian for three years. If she could do it all over again, she would rather that during these three years, instead of secretly competing with Lin Tian, she had fallen in love with him. At least this way, she would have less regrets and more memories now that she was dead. A moment of falling awake. These things were like running lights, crossing through Ling Qingran's mind in an instant, and she had already thought about it. Even if she used the breath of the fire dragon and burnt herself to ashes, she wouldn't let someone that disgusting get her. Thinking of this, ha ha ha, Lin Tian, how come it's you again? Ling Qingran couldn't help but let out a self-deprecating laugh. She didn't expect that after being suppressed by Lin Tian for three years while she was alive, she would have to have her mind occupied by him before she died. As she was thinking, another voice came from the front. Ling Qingran? Eh, brother Tian. This seems to be Ling Qingran. What is she suddenly laughing at? Could it be madness? Still calling your name. Brother Tian. I think it's because you were number one for three years and gave her too much pressure. Driving a nice little girl crazy. Ling Qingran froze. This voice that owed her a beating, she also had a bit of an impression. It seemed to be the good brother who always followed Lin Tian around? The Yang family's crown prince Yang Qi? Ling Qingran looked up blankly. She only saw two people lying on the recliner staring back at her suspiciously. It wasn't the other people. It was none other than Lin Tian and Yang Qi. Ling Qingran looked up and saw the two. She was immediately pleasantly surprised, realizing that the sound she had just heard, and the scene in front of her now, were not illusions. On the verge of death, seeing Lin Tian's illusion, she didn't find it strange. But Yang Qi's hallucination was never possible. Lin Tian? It's really you. Ling Qingran spoke out in surprise. And me. Yang Qi muttered in dissatisfaction. Ling Qingran directly ignored him. Seeing the two of them also made her despairing heart rekindle hope once again. The feeling of coming back from the brink of extinction made her ability to think come to a standstill. And under the surprise, she couldn't care too much and stood up and went forward to hug Lin Tian. Lin Tian froze for a moment. Yang Qi on the side saw the scene and was simply filled with question marks. What is this situation? He couldn't help but ask out. Lin Tian was also dumbfounded, barely spreading out his two hands that were being held by Ling Qingran in a death grip indicating that he didn't know what was going on either. Wasn't he being chased and running for his life? Before the two saw clearly, they also did not think that the one being chased would be their classmate. But what kind of play was this one? The two naturally couldn't possibly know how many strange thoughts flashed through Ling Qingran's mind as he fell. Brother Tian, 
You're too unkind to hide the fact that you've taken care of the big schoolgirl from me? Yang Chi spat out a sentence, turned his head and said with a smug face, but I actually saw that Ling Qingren liked you a long time ago. It's just that I didn't expect that you, with your thick eyebrows, would also defect from our brotherly love. This is something that you didn't even tell me. Lin Tian was speechless and helpless. What is it? How come I didn't know about this? Hearing the conversation between the two, it was only then that Ling Qingren came back to her senses in shock, realizing that there were still people chasing after her. Realizing this, she once again became anxious, thinking that not only would she be hunted down, but she would also involve her two classmates. It even included Lin Tian whose position in her heart had now become very strange. Ling Qingran let go of Lin Tian and hurriedly said, Which one of you has a cell phone with you? Give it to me quickly. Lin Tian and Yang Qi both took out their cell phones when they heard this. Ling Qingran took Lin Tian's cell phone and edited a message in just a few seconds, clicking send on a number. However, what came to her eyes was the word sending failed. Why can't it be sent? She anxiously asked. Yang Qi opened his mouth and explained, It should be that it's too far away from Jiang Cheng out of range, hearing this answer. The hope that had just flared up in Ling Qingran's heart was once again doused by a pot of cold water. It's over. Ling Qingran despaired once again. All she could do now was not to involve these two classmates. There's no time to explain. You guys run. I'll distract them. Ling Qingran explained, then pushed the two, wanting them to hurry and escape. However, the two were standing still, not moving at all. Yang Qi said with a beaten face, Hey Gu, what's the explanation? Isn't it just being chased? Who hasn't been chased? What are you afraid of? With us here? No. With brother Tian here. No one can harm you. Ling Qingran only felt a wave of powerlessness. What a time to be playing the hero. Ling Qingran despaired in her heart, and also blamed herself for involving her classmates after involving Uncle Fu and the practicing squad, and now her classmates. However, caught up in extreme anxiety, she had already lost the ability to think. There was no thought as to why the two were able to appear in the center of the zombie graveyard and were even able to lie peacefully on the recliner. Just as she was about to explain two more sentences to persuade the two away, a voice rang out from not far away. Oh, isn't this my old classmates, Lin Tian and Yang Qi? The person who spoke was none other than Lai Zidong, who had brought his men after them. Seeing the two, his face was filled with joy. Lai Zidong? How dare a commodity like you come to the zombie graveyard? I really underestimated you. Yang Qi scoffed. Lai Zidong, who was once again ridiculed recklessly turned extremely ugly. Every time he tried to act like a bully, he had to be ridiculed severely, and the key was that he couldn't talk his way out of it. Ling Qingran hurriedly shielded the two of them behind her. Opening his mouth, he said, Lai Zidong, the person you want to kill is me. It has nothing to do with the two of them. As long as you let them go, I'll take my life with my own hands. Hearing these words, Lai Zidong became even angrier, willing to die for Lin Tian and Yang Qi, but couldn't take a cheap shot at him before he died? Was he really that disgusting? Lai Zidong gritted his teeth and said, Fine, fine, what a great show of beauty saving the heroes. Since you want to save them, I'll give you this chance. But what I want is not your life, but your person. As long as you're willing to obey me before you die, I'll let them go. Of course Lai Zidong knew that the purpose of this operation was to kill Ling Qingran and Lin Tian. It was because he knew this that he took the initiative to join this operation. It was for these two people. One was the big school beauty that he had been coveting for a long time. One was Lin Tian who he envied and was jealous of his talented face value, and at the same time, he held a grudge against him because he had beaten him up. He also didn't expect there to be such a coincidence that he would be able to catch both of them in one place, and even attached Yang Qi, who had kicked him off half a month ago. Lai Zidong only felt that this was the most gratifying moment in the 18 years of his life. Three classmates that he couldn't reach in the past, now their fate was in his hands. As for the guarantee he just made, of course it was pure bullshit just to trick Ling Qingran into giving in. Hearing the blackmail, Ling Qingran fell into a tangle. After struggling and hesitating for a moment, she still made a decision. She had already implicated too many people. She couldn't implicate these two classmates anymore. In particular, she didn't want to involve Lin Tian. She wanted Lin Tian to live. Ling Qingran was about to open her mouth. A hand reached out from behind her, traced across her cheek and finally covered her mouth. She looked sideways and it was none other than Lin Tian. At this moment, Lin Tian had already stood beside her. His right hand wrapped around her head and covered her mouth, preventing her from opening her mouth, and it looked as if he had wrapped his arms around her neck. Ling Qingran's cheeks instantly climbed into a blush. She hadn't paid much attention to it before. It wasn't until now that she realized how handsome this man who covered her mouth with his hand to prevent her from speaking against her will was. Lin Tian hadn't actually thought about whether or not to make a move before. 
He could hear that the person in the distance was not weak, not below him. If he were to make a move to save him, then he would inevitably have to expose Little Yan's existence. But if he exposed Little Yan, he wasn't sure if Ling Qingren could be trusted. After all, the two of them were just ordinary classmates before, and did not have the kind of friendship that he and Yan Qi had. It couldn't be that he could save someone and then silence them himself because he couldn't trust them, right? But now, Lin Tian decided, he would save Ling Qingren, not for any other reason, just for the goodwill of Ling Qingren, who would rather sacrifice herself than involve him in Yang Qi. For someone with this kind of goodwill, Lin Tian believed that she was absolutely trustworthy. After all, something like divulging the secrets of one savior, that was not something that an ordinary beast could do. At least someone who was willing to sacrifice himself for the sake of others could not possibly do so. Ling Qingren was touched but still pushed Lin Tian away. You guys hurry up and run, she shouted with some urgency. The current situation was critical. The enemy was strong and we were weak. This kind of insurmountable gap in strength could not be erased by any kind of touching, friendship, or love. This kind of thing could only be established in a fictional story. However, no matter how much Ling Qingren pushed Lin Tian, Lin Tian remained unmoved. Yang Qi, hurry up and take Lin Tian away. Ling Qingren turned to Yang Qi for help. Yang Qi, on the other hand, had a bad smile on his face and said indifferently, What's a Lai Zidong afraid of? I was able to give him a kick in the ass before. I can still give him another kick in the ass now. Besides, with Brother Tian here, they won't be able to turn over the sky. Seeing this scene, Lai Zidong's lungs were about to explode. Were they always this brave? At a time like this, they still dared to chat here like they were flirting in front of him. This was completely not putting him in his eyes. Lai Zidong, who was holding his face red, couldn't pretend anymore. Smiling coldly, he said to the three, Humph, since you guys aren't leaving, then I'll simply tell you that Lin Tian is also our target this time. None of you will be able to leave. Yang Qi scoffed disdainfully. We don't want to leave either. You, Lai Zidong was so choked up by him that he couldn't speak. Hearing this, Lin Tian Quan understood. It turned out that when he left the city at that time, the people he heard spying on him from the shadows as he left the city were the group of people in front of him. As for why the other party wanted to kill both him and Lin Qingran, he had also guessed. The reason for killing him was obvious. The root cause was still those three treasure maps. It was estimated that the other party regarded him as the murderer of his son. Killing Ling Qingran was probably also caused by this matter. After all, the original owner of those three treasure maps was the Ling family. At this time, Ling Qingran on the side also became angry when she heard Lai Zidong's words. Lai Zidong was completely lying to her. Luckily Lin Tian had stopped himself and that was why he didn't fall for it. Unfortunately, now Lin Tian and Yang Qi just didn't have a chance to leave even if they wanted to. But things had already come to this. It was useless to think about this anymore. The only thing she could do now was to try to get the two of them a chance to escape. Thinking of this, Ling Qingran suddenly raised the staff in her hand, which lit up with a fiery red glow, and a ball of fire instantly shot rapidly towards Lai Zidong. This was her most powerful spell, Fire Dragon's Breath. As long as it hit, Lai Zidong would be severely injured without dying. The fire in front of him caused Lai Zidong to be directly dumbfounded. He did not expect Ling Qingran to suddenly storm in and sneak attack. There was no way he could block this strike. Although he had become Chiu Charm's beloved henchman. After all, he had only been awakened for half a month, and was now only just level 6. So where would he be able to block this kind of attack? A few of the surrounding minions were all over level 20, and a few of them immediately rushed up, wanting to block for Lai Zidong. But it was already too late. Lai Zidong, who was also facing a life and death crisis for the first time, froze in place, seeing that the fireball was about to hit him. Ling Qingran seemed to have seen the scene of him wailing in the flames. Just then, the silhouette under Lai Zidong's feet that was being reflected by the ghost fire suddenly moved, only to see Lai Zidong's shadow, like a piece of paper, suddenly stand up from the ground, still holding two daggers in front of him. With a boom, the fireball burst into flames. Lai Zidong was unharmed. The fireballs were blocked by the sudden ghostly shadows. Seeing that the sneak attack failed, disappointment flashed in Ling Qingran's eyes. There was nothing more she could do. The two of them, Lin Tian and Yang Qi, also looked towards the ghostly shadow standing in front of Lai Zidong. The next second, the ghostly shadow suddenly swelled up from a piece of paper and turned into a human-shaped black shadow that possessed thickness. Then the black shadow revealed its color, and eventually turned completely into an extremely eerie-looking person. Boss, Lai Zidong cried out in surprise at the sight of the visitor, and immediately came up to him and patted him on the back. Many thanks for saving my life. Boss, boss, your entrance is just too handsome and imposing. Cho Charm glanced at him, this time not paying attention to his ass-kissing. 
He was not satisfied with Lai Zedong's efficiency. Lai Zedong, who was good at reading people, realized this. He hurriedly came forward and spoke. Boss, it's not that I'm procrastinating. I've got two targets in one. Saying that, Lai Zedong pointed at Lin Tian. Oh, he's Lin Tian? That saves a lot of time. Cho Charm nodded in satisfaction and said, You did a good job. Since they are all your classmates, it's a reward for you to handle them all. Lai Zedong smiled joyfully and said, Thank you, boss. Boss is wise. At this time, the rest of the Black Shadow Guild followed. A dozen or so people surrounded Lin Tian's trio, breaking their back. Seeing this scene, Ling Qingran completely despaired. Cho Charm's strength was simply not something she could deal with. Even if she did let her sneak attack succeed, she wouldn't be able to cause much damage at all. There was no way to heaven, and no door to enter the earth. This was their current situation. Ling Qinran still raised the staff in her hand, and a red glow brewed on it. Only this time, she wasn't going to use it on her enemies, but on herself. Lin Tian. Ling Qinran called out. Hmm, I've been fighting you for the past three years. I should have caused you a lot of trouble, right? Lin Tian shook his head. It really didn't give him any trouble. Although Ling Qinran had been competing with him, but the person himself wasn't bad, and was quite measured, the vast majority of them were secretly competing on their own, and had never given him any trouble, so there wasn't any trouble, if you have to say what trouble, that is because of this thing, in the eyes of the students, Ling Qingran this stranger do not enter the cold school flower, the only and he walked very close, in addition to him, never seen Ling Qingran in any boy's initiative to speak, this made many male students very envious and jealous of him, Ling Qingran smiled bitterly and continued, if there is an afterlife, I hope we can still continue to be classmates. Yang Chi on the side was dumbfounded and muttered, Brother Tian, this girl can't be stupid, right? Being abused by you for three years isn't enough. Do you want to be abused for another three years? Or has she awakened some special fetish? I don't believe you when you say that you two are fine. Ling Qing Ran didn't care. Yang Chi, who used to make her feel particularly beaten up, also felt less beaten up at times like this. At this time, Lai Zidong stood outside the outer circle with a smug look on his face. Ha ha ha, Lin Tian and Yang Qi, you guys haven't thought that you would fall into my hands one day, right? And Ling Qingran, none of you three want to die a painful death. Ling Qingran wouldn't give him this chance, and immediately raised her staff high in her hand, preparing to turn herself into a cloud of ashes. However, as soon as her hand was raised high, it was tightly grasped and pressed down by an even more powerful and large hand. Still, let me show you guys, what do you mean by fire dragon's breath? Ha 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 ha. Hearing Lin Tian's words, Lai Zidong covered his stomach and laughed. Lin Tian, ah Lin Tian, you're pretending even at this hour. What a dead duck. Do you think I don't know what profession you've awakened? The waste occupation dragon master. I'd like to see what you, a dragon master, can do today. Hearing these words, Xiao Charm froze and turned his head to look at Lin Tian. It turned out that this Lin Tian was the one who had awakened the SSS ranked profession dragon master half a month ago and caused discussion among the higher-ups. He had originally thought that it was just the same name. Ling Qingran also froze. She turned her head to look at Lin Tian who had grabbed her hand. There was no doubt that Lin Tian's awakened profession was that of a dragon master. And she was there at the time. But Lin Tian said that he wanted to demonstrate what was meant by the fire dragon's breath? Did a dragon master also have the skills of a dragon grammarian? How was this possible? If that was the case, how could a dragon master be a waste profession? She knew that Lin Tian wasn't Yang Qi's kind of character. He wouldn't think of bluffing people by this method when it came down to it. Ling Qingran was confused. On the side, Yang Qi was about to hold back his laughter, just as the thoughts in everyone's minds varied, but they all looked at Lin Tian. Lin Tian moved. He raised his left hand and curled his five fingers slightly, vaguely resembling a dragon's claw really, towards Lai Zidong. Since you want to see it so badly, then I will fulfill your last wish. The words just fell. In Lin Tian's left hand, a fiery red glow lit up. A blazing aura radiated out, and the air near his palm was set ablaze. It looked like a dragon claw surrounded by flames. Lai Zedong's brain went down when he saw this scene. Wasn't Lin Tian a dragon master? Wasn't a dragon master a waste occupation? How did he have this kind of skill? Cho Charm also sensed the danger and immediately maneuvered the shadows under Lai Zedong's feet and once again stood up to block in front of Lai Zedong. The next second, Lin Tian's palm erupted out of thin air. A pillar of fire mixed with blazing magma. The pillar of fire shot straight towards Lai Zedong. The shadow that had originally blocked Ling Qingran's flames was instantly melted and pierced under Lin Tian's beginning fire dragon's breath. The entire shadow was burned away, leaving no trace behind, as if it had never appeared. Lai Zedong watched as the pillar of fire pierced through the shadow and shot straight towards him. 
the complacency and arrogance that he had felt just a moment ago had all but disappeared. At this moment, all that remained in his eyes was the most primitive human emotion, the fear of death. Not even a single scream was left behind, much less a single last word. In his mind, he didn't even have time to feel regret. In an instant, the pillar of fire wrapped in magma then ignited and melted until it vaporized him. There were only two legs that stood on the ground, proving that he had been here before. With a wave of his left hand, the pillar of fire sliced through midair, and the people who surrounded them fell, their melted limbs and broken arms falling all over the ground. The crowd that surrounded them were dumbfounded by the sudden scene and stood straight and motionless. It wasn't until Lin Tian lowered his left hand that was dripping magma. It was only then that they realized with a start and immediately jumped backward away from Lin Tian, as far away as they could, and then stared vigilantly at Lin Tian's left hand, fearing that he would do it again. Yang Chi spread his hands and said helplessly as if he was playing dumb. You all heard it. It was he himself who wanted Brother Tian to hit, and only then did Brother Tian hit him. I've never heard such a request in my life. Ugh. What a nutcase. Lin Tian was also amused by Yang Chi's statement, which reminded him of a movie he had seen in his previous life. Ling Qingran, who was on the side, looked completely dumbfounded. She did believe that Lin Tian hadn't turned into an invalid, but if she hadn't seen it with her own eyes, she would have never imagined that Lin Tian could have the skills of a dragon grammarian. Moreover, she could tell that Lin Tian's fire dragon's breath was a bit different from hers, far stronger. She could now be certain that not only had Lin Tian not turned into an invalid, but he was ridiculously strong. She wasn't sure why they all said that dragon masters were waste professions, but she could at least be sure that Lin Tian's dragon master was not. Damn it. Cho Charm shouted angrily and jumped close to the trio. You're a bit strong, but if you dare to make a move against my people, you'll only die. With that, he charged towards the trio. Lin Tian let go of Ling Qingran and charged head on without any fear. A long spear surrounded by flames appeared out of thin air in his hand, and a black armor surfaced on his body surface. Lin Tian took the initiative and stabbed at Cho Charm's throat. Cho Charm raised the dagger in his hand and blocked the strike. This scene was also expected by Lin Tian. Although his attributes were heaven defying, Cho Charm was after all a level 49A ranked professional who had already turned 3. It would be a joke if he was so easily defeated by a level 15. Cho Charm blocked Lin Tian's spear with one hand, and with his other dagger, he was already slashing towards Lin Tian's neck. Be careful, Ling Qingran worriedly warned in a loud voice. Yang Qi shook his head in disbelief and said, Don't worry about it, big school flower, a small third turn and all, it doesn't matter at all. Ling Qingran ignored him, her worried gaze still firmly locked on Lin Tian, but the truth was just as Yang Qi said, when the dagger stabbed at Lin Tian's neck, Lin Tian's left hand also clenched into a dragon claw and smashed up against the dagger, a hand against a dagger, it was impossible to win anyway. When he saw that the dagger was about to pierce through Lin Tian's palm, he saw that a seal in the shape of a giant dragon spreading its wings and roaring suddenly appeared in front of Lin Tian's palm. This was precisely one of Little Yan's initial skills, the dragon seal. The dragon seal not only blocked the dagger, but also continued to smash towards Cho Charm's head. Cho Charm did not dodge and was hit squarely in the head by the dragon seal. However, the imagined image didn't happen. The smashed Cho Charm seemed to be like a gas, turning into a cloud of dark shadows that flowed and fled elsewhere. The dark shadows regrouped and transformed back into Cho Charm's original form. Cho Charm looked at Lin Tian and opened his mouth to praise him. Not bad, your strength is indeed good. Put it your age, it's simply a genius among geniuses. Cho Charm then turned sinister in his tone. But what I hate the most is geniuses, and what I like the most is to let them die young. If you only have this kind of strength, then wait for death. After saying that, Cho Charm transformed into several dark shadows and completely merged into the shadows of the ground. Then, Cho Charm suddenly emerged from the shadows behind Lin Tian and stabbed a dagger at the back of Lin Tian's neck. Ling Qingran hurriedly tried to warn, but before she could say anything, without looking back, Lin Tian flung his lance over with one hand, and it passed by his ear, stabbing straight at Cho Charm behind him. Cho Charm was stabbed by this strike and instantly transformed back into dark shadows and merged into the ground. He didn't give Lin Tian a moment to catch his breath and immediately emerged from Lin Tian's side again, stabbing a dagger towards Lin Tian's temple. Lin Tian swung his spear once again, it was still the same scene from earlier, and Cho Charm similarly transformed into a dark shadow once again, then immediately emerged from the ground again. Just like this, Cho Charm kept sneaking up on Lin Tian, his speed getting faster and faster. As Lin Tian dealt with it, he began to be dwarfed. As Cho Charm's speed became faster and faster, the angles became more and more tricky. It had gradually become difficult for him to resist. Cho Charm was extremely shocked in his heart. He hadn't expected Lin Tian to be able to resist him to this extent. 
What he didn't know even more was that Lin Tian was now treating him as a tool used to hone his stance as well as his fighting sense. During this battle, Lin Tian continued to grow and his speed was becoming faster and faster. However, the speed at which he was progressing on the spot was of course impossible to catch up with Cho Charm's increased speed. Finally, a few moments later, Cho Charm had gotten the better of him. Cho Charm's speed was getting faster and faster. Before the dark shadows from earlier had completely dissipated, Cho Charm scurried out from the other side. It looked as if there were two Cho Charms, attacking Lin Tian at the same time. Lin Tian realized this and immediately swung his spear in response. However, his speed was still a little slow. There was a sinister look in Cho Charm's eyes as the dagger in his right hand viciously stabbed at Lin Tian's chin. Be careful, Ling Qingran exclaimed with eyes full of fear. Cho Charm's dagger did not stop at all. It was fast to the extreme. This was his most commonly used move. A dagger would go from the opponent's chin, straight into the brain, and then he would push his hand in completely, allowing the dagger to stab out completely from the top of his head again. With this move, Cho Chan had never missed. This time, he likewise did not. The dagger pierced Lin Tian's chin, but the touch that Cho Chan had imagined did not come. He had used his full strength on this dagger, but it did not pierce through Lin Tian's chin, it was as if the dagger had stabbed on a piece of elastic fine gold. It couldn't pierce the slightest bit at all. Cho Charm was shocked in his heart. Just in the moment of his hesitation, Lin Tian's lance had already arrived, and the lance that swept over directly smashed Cho Charm away, and Cho Charm slammed into a rock so hard that the rock was shattered by him. Cho Charm stood up from the rubble, and there were threads of blood seeping out of his mouth. Obviously Lin Tian's strike just now had injured him. However, he was after all a level 49 third turn professional. This kind of attack wasn't enough to seriously injure him, but he did not feel good either. His tendons and bones ached intensely, and the organs in his body seemed to have shifted. Cho Charm looked at Lin Tian, his gaze filled with doubt and viciousness. He really couldn't figure out how Lin Tian, a novice professional, could have this kind of power. Even if it was an SS ranked profession, it was impossible to have such high attributes. Well, 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 surprisingly, you can hurt me. Cho Charm gritted his teeth and said, I will make you beg for death. Hearing these words, Lin Tian was sort of convinced that a person's strength and IQ were unrelated. Although this Cho Charm was not weak, in his opinion, Cho Charm's IQ was not as good as that Scarhead back then. If he had half of Scarhead's IQ, he should know that he should choose to move his target when he couldn't hurt himself with one strike. You've already tried it. You know you can't hurt me. How can you make me beg for death? Lin Tian didn't want to argue with Cho Charm anymore. He wasn't afraid of Cho Charm. But after all, there was still Yang Chi and Ling Qingran present, so he had to settle the fight as soon as possible, so that Cho Charm and this group of juniors wouldn't react and make a move against the two of them. Cho Charm was about to charge at Lin Tian again. However, Lin Tian whispered at this moment, It's your turn to make an appearance. Little amazing. Cho Charm immediately stopped where he was, his eyes looking around, searching for where else there were people hidden that he hadn't noticed. After searching in vain, he thought that Lin Tian was swindling him. Oomph, there's nothing you can do? You've even started using such tactics as bluffing. However, just as Cho Chan's words had fallen, roar dash, a high dragon roar spread throughout the zombie graveyard. The crowd looked up. They only saw a monster with a body covered in rocky scales, magma flowing in its body, four sharp claws flashing with a cold light, wings 30 meters long at a stretch, and two long, thick, complex horns on top of its head, with flames burning between its breaths. The monster was standing behind Lin Tian and bent down to lower its head to Lin Tian's side. The sudden appearance of the monster caused everyone's brains to go down. It was as if time on the field had been frozen. A long time passed. Only then did someone scream out. Monster! This sound directly caused the surrounding Black Shadow Guild's crowd of juniors to all react. Each and every one of them screamed and ran towards the outside. Seeing this scene, Yang Qi nodded in satisfaction. What monster? It's a giant dragon. Yang Qi mocked the crowd. And sure enough, these people were not as good as him when they saw the performance of Little Amazing. Everyone else had already run towards the outside. At this moment, Cho Chan was frozen in place, not daring to move even a single finger. There was no other reason. He recognized that it was a giant dragon. And at this moment, on this giant dragon's head that was lowered beside Lin Tian, two pairs of vertical pupils that were vaguely burning with flames were staring at him in death. The sight of the giant dragon seemed to make his blood freeze. Finish them off. Lin Tian gave an order. Little Amazing unfolded his wings, turned around and flew up, chasing after those who were running outwards, and then only a few sounds of flames slicing through the air, and a few oozing sounds of bones breaking were heard, just not a single miserable scream. It wasn't long before Little Yen flew back and continued to stand behind Lin Tian. Cho Charm felt the icy gaze coming from the giant dragon's flame-like pupils, 
He couldn't contain the fear in his heart and fell to his knees with a plop, and a stream of liquid flowed down his pants to the ground. Two people who didn't run out, but ran behind Xiao Chan, also followed a piece of kneeling down. Xiao Charm immediately started begging for mercy, while kowtowing uncontrollably towards Lin Tian, he began to shake off his explanation. Good man spare your life, good man spare your life, the two of them instructed me to do all these things. Xiao Chan pointed at the two people behind him, when Ling Fu and Ling Qi were pointed at like this, their bodies, which were already shivering, directly collapsed and sprawled on the ground. At this time, Yang Qi had already walked up, although he didn't know who these three people were, he still went up and gave each of them a kick. You guys with this amount of strength at the very least, how dare you come to find trouble with my brother Tian, damn things, eat fucking shit you, the three were cursed by Yang Qi, who was far less powerful than them, while kicking them to the ground, but they didn't dare to make the slightest movement or dissatisfaction, they didn't dare to suspect that if they moved even a little bit, they would be burned to ashes by the terrifying dragon behind Lin Tian, after kicking the three people, Yang Qi retreated to Little Yan's side and smiled at Little Yan with a fawning face, it couldn't be helped, the fox fake tiger is just too good. Little Yen didn't scare Yang Qi this time. Instead, because of Yang Qi's sentence what monster, this is a huge dragon. He looked at Yang Qi a little bit more favorable. Not far away, Ling Qingren looked at the giant dragon behind Lin Tian. Although she had already regained her senses, she still didn't dare to go forward. The might of the giant dragon was just too terrifying. Seeing this guy Yang Qi standing next to the giant dragon, only then did she gather enough courage to walk over to Lin Tian. However, as soon as she got close to Lin Tian, Little Yan immediately turned her head to look at her, causing her to freeze next to Lin Tian not daring to move. Little Amazing, she's also a friend. Only after hearing Lin Tian's words did Little Amazing turn her head to stop looking at her. The two of them, who were paralyzed and sprawled on the ground, immediately cried and crawled over as soon as they saw Ling Qingran. Missy, the two of us are also possessed. Please spare us this time. You talk to him, don't let this monster eat us. Ling Qinren looked at the two men with nothing but ice in her eyes, this time because of these two, Fu Bo and the people in the practicing squad all died, they even almost dragged Lin Tian and Yang Qi into it, if it wasn't for Lin Tian hiding such a big secret, none of them would have survived, how could she possibly spare them, you two are the ones who lost your son and grandson, hearing Lin Tian's words, Ling Fu and Ling Qi both froze, although they wanted to beg for mercy and live under fear, at this moment, when they remembered the death of their son and grandson, the hatred towards Lin Tian bubbled up in their hearts again. The two raised their heads and glared angrily at Lin Tian. Lin Tian, however, spoke, let you all die with understanding. The person who killed your son wasn't me, but a scar head. Not only did I not kill your son, I'm the one who helped you guys take revenge. Hearing this news, the two of them instantly wilted like frosted eggplants and collapsed to the ground weakly. They did not doubt Lin Tian's words. In their investigation, it was indeed Scarhead who had taken away their son and grandson. Moreover, the power of life and death of the two was now in Lin Tian's hands. Lin Tian simply didn't have the need to deceive them. No wonder Lin Tian had the boss core and the treasure map was indeed in his hands. It turned out to be like this. The two of them who knew the cause and effect were already as if their hearts were dead. They were going to die, and not to avenge their sons and grandsons. Instead, they died for such a stupid reason. Cho Charm still wanted to beg for mercy. However, Lin Tian did not want to say a single word to him. Little amazing. Do it. Little Amazing, who had received the order, opened his huge jaws and a terrifying temperature instantly finished brewing and gushed out at the three. The flames wrapped in magma, instantly making the two of them, Ling Fu and Ling Qi, disappear from the world. Still wanting to escape, Xiao Charm transformed into a dark shadow that blended into the shadows of the ground and quickly fled towards the distance. However, Little Yan's flames and magma directly melted the ground. Without the shadows, Xiao Charm had nowhere to hide, and was burned to death by the flames in an instant. Seeing this scene, Ling Qingran completely understood where Lin Tian's skill came from, and why it was much more powerful than her fire dragon's breath. It was all because of this terrifying dragon in front of her. Ling Qingran looked at this huge dragon, infinite curiosity rising in her heart. However, she also knew what to ask and what not to ask. Don't tell anyone about this matter, Lin Tian said to her seriously. Of course Ling Qingran knew what he was talking about. She nodded and said, Okay, this matter is only known to heaven and earth. You and I. And Yang Qi knows, Yang Qi, who was on the side, suddenly said, Ang Dash Little Yan also chirped and said that there was also Little Yan no, Lin Tian was amused by this scene, seeing Lin Tian laugh, Ling Qingran, who had experienced so much inner sorrow, also smiled sweetly, eventually, Little Amazing cocked his head and looked uncertainly at the three people in the graveyard, 
whose laughter gradually became louder and louder. The following morning, the team that had gone out of the city to look for Ling Qinran because they had lost contact for a long time was already waiting outside the zombie cemetery. Lin Tian, I'm going back first. Ling Qinran said goodbye. The blush on her skin like cheeks that had become blush because of the incident not long ago had yet to fade. Lin Tian nodded and said, All right, Yan Qi and I are going to practice until the big exam. All right, go back. Big school girl Ling, your bodyguards should be waiting impatiently. Yang Qi said insensitively from the side. Ling Qin ran glared at him. Yang Qi didn't care at all and said with a bad smile on his face. Big school flower Ling, if you really can't bear to let go of my brother Tian, then why don't you stay for another night? Hearing this, Ling Qingran's fair face instantly became even more blushing. You saved my life. I'll have the Ling family directly credit your card for the thank you gift. After saying this, Ling Qingran hesitated for half a day. As if she had made a great determination, she walked forward, hugged Lin Tian and stood on her tiptoes to peck Lin Tian on the cheek. Then without giving Lin Tian any time to react, she directly turned around and ran towards the outside. Only a dumbfounded Lin Tian was left behind, as well as a relieved Yang Qi on the side. Yang Qi looked at Lin Tian and then at Ling Qingran's back as she left, recalling the situation yesterday. After resolving the Black Shadow Guild yesterday, Lin Tian proceeded to continue practicing, and Ling Qingran was not safe to go back alone, so she also stayed behind. Late at night, when the three of them were preparing to go to bed, it was only then that they realized that Lin Tian had only brought a tent with him, and he had even directly forgotten to bring it. As for Ling Qingran's luggage, it had long been lost in the Wolf Spider Valley. The three people only had one tent. He immediately declared with a quick eye that the armored car belonged to him, and that the space inside was only enough for him to sleep alone, so no one should rob it. After that, he directly drilled into the armored car and unlocked the door. Then he peeked through the observation hole to see what was going on outside. There was one tent left for two people to share. Lin Tian directly stated in a noble manner that the tent was given to Ling Qingran. Of course, Ling Qingran couldn't let his savior sleep on the graveyard, so he proposed that the two of them each take half of the tent. Lin Tian did not refuse either. Subsequently, the two of them got into the tent. What happened further back? He couldn't see from the armored car. By the time Ling Qingran's figure had disappeared into the distance, Yang Qi asked with a bad smile, What did you guys do last night? Lin Tian shook his head. Yang Qi looked puzzled and asked again, Did you do nothing? This wingman of mine is so powerful. You're telling me you didn't do anything? Lin Tian shook his head again. So what the hell did you all do something? Kissed yet? Hugging is always hugging, right? Lin Tian still shook his head. This time, Yang Qi was completely confused and directly asked, how could that be? If nothing happened to you guys, then what happened to her just now? I really don't know. I'm reminiscing. Lin Tian wasn't lying to him. Lin Tian also recalled the situation last night. Last night, Ling Qingran invited him to sleep in a tent together and he agreed without even thinking about it. Who would sleep in a grave when they could sleep in a tent? After all, it wasn't like Ling Qingran was too ugly to look at. Instead, she was a top-notch beauty. And he wasn't some decent man, much less a eunuch. What's wrong with pretending to be pure? Granted, he wasn't really thinking that something had to happen, but even if it was just lying in a tent, ask the normal single young man will refuse it? After entering the tent, both he and Ling Qingran were a bit uncomfortable, but Ling Qingran was obviously much more nervous than him. The two of them chatted for a while about what happened at school, and after that, they didn't say a few words. It wasn't long before he fell asleep first, and then what happened after that? He didn't know, just vaguely remembered as if someone hugged him but whether it was real or just an illusion in his dream, he couldn't be sure. He also remembered a cool, soft touch coming over his lips before he woke up from his sleep, and he remembered that he was eating cotton candy in his dream. However, he was only halfway through eating it when he was woken up by Ling Qingran. As soon as he opened his eyes, he saw Ling Qingran's blushing face. At that time, Ling Qingran was sitting next to him on her knees, bending down to look at his face. The two of them had their faces facing each other, less than 20 centimeters. Then Ling Qingran's face became even redder before she ran outside the tent. Lin Tian had gone through those few nudges from Yang Qi's questions. He thought back now. The two had slept in a tent for one night. How did it turn out to be him being forcibly kissed by someone else's little girl? Ah, in the wilderness, a fleet of cars was driving to Jiang Chang. Ling Qingran was sitting in the car. She had just gotten the news that Uncle Fu was still alive. Xiao Charm was after her at the time. And after defeating and killing Uncle Fu, he just hastily added a few more cuts to Uncle Fu's neck and chest, but he could never have imagined that Fu Bo's vitality would be so strong. After receiving such a heavy blow, coupled with the additional cuts, he still did not die, but was only on the verge of death and fell into a state of fake death. 
one could only say that Fubo's lucky man had a heavenly destiny. In fact, because Fubo was a third turn shield sword knight and was originally a meat shield profession, his vitality was just much more tenacious than normal people. In addition to Fubo, the practicing squad that escorted her, there were also a few people who were only seriously injured and unconscious, and did not die. They had all been sent to the hospital in Jiangcheng now. Ling Qingran, who had learned these news, was then considered to be completely relieved. Her sorrowful mood also turned much better. Uncle Fu and the injured team members, they must all be cured, and those dead team members, their families must be given the best treatment. And, after ordering all this, it was only when Ling Qingran was truly idle. She also recalled the situation not too long ago. In her 18 years, she had never had any intimate contact with a man other than her father and grandfather. Not to mention lying in a tent and sleeping together in such close proximity. Last night could be said to be the most nervous night in her 18 years. After Lin Tian fell asleep, it was a long time before she became sleepy. Again, because of the coolness that permeated the graveyard, she unconsciously moved closer to Lin Tian before sleeping. However, she still maintained a little distance. Who would have thought that by the time she woke up, the entire person was already like an octopus, completely glued to Lin Tian. Both of her arms were hugging Lin Tian to death, and her legs were also on Lin Tian's legs. She immediately wanted to let go at that time, but Lin Tian's body was like a big furnace. That warmth, coupled with the pervasive coolness, made her unable to let go again. She could only redden her face while tightly hugging Lin Tian. It would have been fine if it was just like that, but because she was staring at Lin Tian's face the entire time, in the end, she unexpectedly didn't hold back and secretly kissed Lin Tian while he was asleep. It was also like she was addicted to it. Kissing for 10 minutes, she even changed a few positions to kiss him. In the end, she stopped because Lin Tian was woken up by her. Recalling this, Ling Qingran's face suddenly turned red with shame again. She also couldn't have imagined that she would be so bold. If this was discovered, the shame would be huge. Luckily, she had changed her position. And when Lin Tian was woken up, she didn't hug on him but she was hugging and kissing again. Was she really not discovered for such a long time? It couldn't have been discovered a long time ago, could it? When Ling Qingran realized this, her white face completely red warmed. Ling Qingran ah Ling Qingran, how could you do such a shameful thing? But if Lin Tian really found out, since he didn't didn't refuse at the time and didn't say anything after waking up, did that mean that he liked doing it too? At least it wasn't considered annoying? Thinking about this, the corners of Ling Qingran's mouth unconsciously rose a lot more. A month's time passed in a flash. In the secret realm of the Devil Vine Demon Forest, the Demon Vine Demon Tree King had once again fallen to the same enemy after a month and a half. Little amazing. Well done. This time when we go back, I'll let you have a full banquet of foreign beasts until you're satisfied. Aang. Lin Tian looked at Lilian, who had easily defeated the Demon Vine Demon Tree King, and was in a very happy mood. A month's time. It allowed him to smoothly rise from level 15 to level 20. And the devil vine demon tree king just now even made up for the last bit of his experience, allowing him to directly rise to level 21, overshooting the quest. Yang Chi also relied on the 5% experience and managed to mix it up to level 16. Having accomplished their goal, there weren't many days left for the national exam. The two of them then rushed back towards Jiang Chang. On the way, by the way, they brushed the three bosses that Lin Tian mastered with treasure maps. Again, after collecting the drops from the bosses, the two then left the secret realm and rushed back to Jiang Chang. This time, when they passed through the city gates, they didn't encounter any more black suits to interrogate them. Yang Qi directly returned home. Lin Tian, on the other hand, first went to Yang Qi's family's trading market and sold the ordinary Fei Beast drops. He then rushed to the auction house and prepared to put things up for sale. However, the auction house didn't have an auction today. So Lin Tian deposited the things here and waited until tomorrow's auction for them to auction them off directly and the money would just be credited to his card. Next, Lin Tian went to Gourmet City and ordered more than a hundred foreign beasts, having them send 30 of them every day. Finally, Lin Tian returned to the factory building that still had a few days left in its lease. Looking at Little Yen, he feasted on the food. Lin Tian also started to prepare for the national exam in a few days. For him, whichever academy he wanted to enter, others would invite him there in eight palanquins, but that wasn't the point in looking at him, what was important wasn't just entering the top academies. He also wanted to crush his way to becoming the national top student on the national exam. Only then would he be able to obtain the most resources, as well as be valued by the Dragon Kingdom. At that time, he wouldn't have to hide Little Yan's existence anymore. But before that, he still had one more important thing to do right now. The following day, an extremely towering nine heavy pagoda stood on the busiest area in the center of Jiang City. This nine heavy pagoda was not only towering, 
but also covered an extremely wide area. In a place like the city center where every inch of land was gold, it was possible to establish such a large building. One could imagine how easy it was for professionals to make money compared to ordinary people. This nine heavy tower was none other than the professionals association where Jiang Chang was located. Lin Tian parked his large pickup truck and walked into the association's gate. At this time, the professionals association was packed with people, and the number of people was extremely high. Lin Tian came here for the first time and sighed in his heart that the nine heavy towers was well known. He had always heard when he was in school that no matter what moment it was, this nine heavy tower was always overcrowded. The professionals association was a place that no professional could avoid. Many things for professionals had to be handled here, like after Lin Tian had awakened. If he wanted to register as an official professional, he had to go to the professionals association in order to do so. Previously, Lin Tian had never been considered an official professional, and when he first left the city, he had relied on his student ID to prove his identity. However, generally speaking, senior students would not come here to register after awakening. Instead, they would wait until after the big exam to register. If they failed the big exam and could only stay in Jiangcheng, then they would come to Jiangcheng's professionals association. If they succeeded in the grand exam, then they would go to the professionals association in the city where the academy was located to register after enrollment. The reason why Lin Tian came at this time, it certainly wasn't because he wanted to stay in Jiangcheng. Rather, it was because he had already reached level 21, meeting the level requirement for the second turn. That's right. He had come to the professionals association in order to perform the second turn ceremony, to become a second turn professional. Lin Tian looked left and right in the crowded hall of professionals, searching for a place to perform the second turn. Luckily, he was tall enough to be one, 85 meters tall, otherwise he wouldn't be able to see anything but heads here. Lin Tian walked through the crowd and arrived at the counter for the second turn registration. There were a lot less people here than in the hall, but there were still a lot more than the other transfer counters. After all, the second turn was the first transfer after awakening, so the number of people must be much higher. Lin Tian looked around at the crowds of people who were all registering for the second turn. He thought to himself that out of all these people, he didn't know how many of them would be able to come back once more for the third transformation. I'm afraid that at least half of the people would be lost in the wilderness before reaching the level 40 required for the third turn. Previously, when Lin Tian had heard about the dangers of the wilderness in his school lessons, he had thought that it was a bit too exaggerated but after a month and a half of grinding in the wilderness, now he felt that not only was it not an exaggeration, but instead, it was also said to be lesser and lighter. In a month and a half's time, just the two groups of people he encountered before and after, he had killed around 20 of them. There should not be a few people in the wilderness who were more ruthless than him. It was soon Lin Tian's turn to register. Occupier's license. The red-haired spectacled young lady behind the counter who was registering Lin Tian said breathlessly, obviously registering quite a few people a day. Hearing this, Lin Tian froze. What occupier's license? Upon hearing this, Miss Glasses also froze. An occupier's license is the document that the association issues you when you register as an official occupier. I don't have one, Lin Tian said with some embarrassment. He really didn't know about this kind of thing. After all, the school hadn't mentioned it, and no one would discuss this kind of issue that was common knowledge amongst professionals. He had never heard of this thing. Miss Glasses asked somewhat helplessly, How many levels are you? Level 21, Lin Tian answered truthfully. Miss Glasses then breathed a sigh of relief. Luckily it wasn't a newbie who hadn't even reached level, otherwise she would have to die of anger. But since she was already level 21, how could she still not have a professional's license? It would be normal for a teenage senior to not have an occupier's license. But having been level 21, one had long since stopped being a senior. So how could one still not have a journeyman's license? She was puzzled but didn't ask more questions. There were many strange people in the professionals. She could meet them every day. She had long lost interest in asking more questions. Then she pointed to a direction and said without lifting her head, first go over there to register as an official professional. Then take the professional's license and come over to register for the second turn. Thanks a lot. Lin Tian thanked and walked towards the room where the registration counter was located. On the way, Lin Tian thought to himself how the school didn't even teach this kind of thing. In reality, it wasn't really the school's fault. The registration of professionals had long since become customary either going to the university and registering again, or entering the company guild, which would also remind you to register. Other than Lin Tian, a demon who was preparing for his second turn before the national exams, no one would even register as an official professional during their third year of high school. Coming to the registration office, there were even more people here. The ones who appeared here now were those whose career awakening was too poor, who had given up after the hopelessness of the big exam and were ready to find a company guild, 
or those who had already found a job and needed to register for a professional's license. There were more professionals here, and naturally, there were more staff to handle the registration. It was soon Lin Tian's turn. As soon as Lin Tian sat down, he froze. Wasn't this the red-haired Miss Glasses from earlier? Aside from not wearing glasses, the rest of them were exactly the same. But of course they couldn't be one and the same, although they looked exactly the same. With Lin Tian's observational skills, he could still see the subtle differences. You guys are twins? Lin Tian asked suspiciously. At those words, the red-haired young lady also froze. You saw my sister? Lin Tian nodded. She told me to register first and get a professional's license. But we're triplets. Which sister are you talking about? The red-haired young lady asked while taking out a form for Lin Tian to register. Lin Tian was a bit surprised and said, Register for the second turn. The one wearing glasses. Oh. The redhead nodded. You just went the wrong way didn't you? After all, there are too many people in the hall. Often people go the wrong way. Lin Tian filled out the form, not noticing what she said. Soon, he finished filling out the form and handed it over to the redhead. The redhead took the form and Lin Tian's student ID and began to check it against the computer while registering for the registration. Occupation is, Dragon Master. The redhead recited as she looked up on the computer, her brows furrowing slightly. Then, turning her head to Lin Tian, she asked, What kind of occupation is Dragon Harnesser? Is it a hurting type of occupation? Lin Tian was helpless. The other party was treating him as a living profession. However, he didn't blame the redhead. At this time of the year, Apart from him there were only people whose awakening was not as good as he had hoped. Who would come to register as a formal professional? Special hidden main battle profession. Lin Tian informed truthfully. There's this type of profession? The redhead asked doubtfully. She had been working here for several years and had never encountered this type of profession. But she didn't doubt it. Professions were just a thousand different things. No one dared to say they knew them all. Eh, there really is. Found it. The redhead cried out in delight and then her eyes suddenly widened in both directions. Dragon Master. A SSS level profession? The redhead couldn't believe her eyes and rubbed them before looking again. It's really a SSS level occupation? The redhead looked at Lin Tian incredulously, as if begging for confirmation. Lin Tian nodded. Yes, that's right. The redhead who had gotten the verification also turned from incredulous to ecstatic, and all the staff in the office had gathered around. In the registry office, they took registering to a higher profession as a symbol of good luck. Generally anyone who was able to register an S rank was considered very lucky. An SS rank was even more unattainable. Even if one worked here for decades, they might not be able to come across one. As for the SSS class, Jiang Chang had never seen one, let alone for them to encounter one. Director, this is a SSS class ah, I can't believe I've met one. The redhead spoke to her colleague in delight. The director also congratulated Miss Redhead. Afterwards, he looked at Lin Tian's profile. After taking a look at Lin Tian, the gazes that looked at him were somewhat sympathetic. The news that Zhang Chang had produced a SSS ranked but wasteful profession had spread amongst the higher ups as early as a month and a half ago. He had also heard all about it. And wasn't he talking about this little youth in front of him? It seemed that the rumors were true. The Dragon Master was indeed a waste occupation. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come to register as an official professional at this time. He must have recognized the reality and had already given up on the big exam. No matter what. It's our registry's good fortune to come across a SSS ranked profession. Let's help this youngster register with priority first. Lin Tian didn't expect there to be such preferential treatment. The SSS ranked profession made the registry give the highest priority to his registration. Lin Tian, who was holding the occupation's license, walked back to the office for the second turn registration. In reality, what Lin Tian didn't know was that if he had awakened to any other SSS level occupation, his preferential treatment would have been far more than that. From the time he had successfully awakened, his file would have become top secret, and it was impossible to be able to have the top echelons of Jiang Chang discussing it like they were doing now. It was even more unlikely that he would be allowed to enter the wilderness alone to practice. As for letting him go to a public place like the professionals association by himself, registering as an official professional was even more impossible. However, even if Lin Tian knew about it, he would only feel lucky. He still preferred his current life of freedom. If the profession he had awakened wasn't Dragon Master, but some other SSS ranked profession, he wouldn't have been able to level up to 21 in a month and a half. With the protection of a specialized leveling squad, he wouldn't have encountered Scarhead, and he wouldn't have had those three treasure maps that laid golden eggs. He also wouldn't have met Cho Charm, which would have been an even bigger loss. After killing Cho Charm, Lin Tian seized his storage ring as a trophy. Inside there was most of the wealth that the Black Shadow Guild that Cho Charm had established had accumulated over the past 20 years. When converted, 
It amounted to more than $7 billion. It could be said that one battle had brought Lin Tian close to wealth freedom. That's why it was said that there were losses and gains. Awakening the profession of Dragon Master, a waste in the eyes of the world, made him lose some preferential treatment, but it made him gain more. While thinking about this, Lin Tian returned to the office where he registered for his second turn, handing over his occupier's license. The occupier's license said license, but it wasn't paper. Instead, it was a special metal ring shaped like a ring in appearance, which recorded his professional information and also allowed Lin Tian to log on to the local professional website through it. Receiving the ring, Miss Glasses quickly finished helping Lin Tian register. What is the occupation of a Dragon Master? Wow, you're actually a SSS level occupation? Miss Glasses became excited, not as breathless as before. This is the first time I've seen an SSS rank occupation. Miss Glasses stood up, waved her hand at Lin Tian and said, Let's go. I'll take you to perform the second transformation ceremony. With that, she walked towards the outside, completely ignoring the crowds of people lined up in front of her counter. If she were a different person, she wouldn't have brought anyone there. It wasn't her job, except that the chance to meet an SS ranked professional was rare. Maybe, after how many years, Lin Tian would become a household name in the Dragon Kingdom. At that time, she would still be able to brag to people that she was the one who registered Lin Tian's second transformation ceremony. On the way, Miss Glasses asked with some confusion, By the way, since you're a SSS level profession, shouldn't you have gone to college last year? How come you're still not registered as an official professional at level 21? And how could you, a college student, and such a top-ranked profession, have only risen to level 21 in a year? Obviously, she was treating Lin Tian as a college student who had awakened in the previous class. There was absolutely no thought towards Lin Tian being a senior student of this term of awakening. Hearing this question, Lin Tian lightly laughed and flirted with himself, even though I'm a SSS ranked profession, but Dragon Master is recognized as the most wasteful SSS level occupation. Miss Glasses smiled and said comfortingly, oh, so that's how it is, but that's nothing, there are more waste professions, I'm just a life profession that's not much use, your profession is at least an SSS ranked profession no matter what, it's also very impressive that you can still rise to level 21 in a year, here it is, Miss Glasses brought Lin Tian, to the second floor of the Nine Heavy Tower, in front of a thin corridor. At the innermost part of the corridor was an all-black wooden door with complicated patterns carved on it, obviously a special formation. It's just through here, Miss Glasses reminded. By the way, there will be a few branch professions to choose from during the second turn, but I've never encountered a SSS ranked profession before, and I don't know what the branch professions are for the second turn of the Dragon Master, so you should know yourself, right? If you don't know, then you can go downstairs to the professional archives library to look up some information before coming over for the second turn. Lin Tian shook his head and said, there's no need to look it up. Since he had come over for the second turn, he had naturally checked the information. Not only did he check the second turn information of the Dragon Master, he also checked the second turns of the other SS ranked professions. Only the information he checked made him never expect it. The Dragon Master was different from all the other SSS level professions. The Dragon Master's second turn information was blank. Lin Tian was dumbfounded at that time. After that, he had checked quite a bit of information, and all the information regarding the second turn of the Dragon Master was blank. However, he quickly found the reason. It was simple. The reason why Dragon Masters were recognized as a waste profession was because no one had ever owned a giant dragon. A Dragon Master without a dragon had almost no combat power. How could they rise to level 20? If you couldn't level up to 20, you wouldn't be able to do a second turn. In history, there hadn't been a few Dragon Masters. Among them, without the slightest surprise, there wasn't even a single one who had reached level 20. There had never been a single Dragon Master that had made a second turn. Naturally, there was no information to refer to. Aha, very reasonable. However, Lin Tian still checked out other types of Beast Masters for insurance purposes, such as Dog Masters, Pig Masters, and so on. It looked similar to the transfers of ordinary professions. Lin Tian no longer thought about it. He walked through the slender corridor towards the black wooden door. There were also various instruments in the corridor. First checking his professional's license, then determining his level. It was only in the end that he was allowed to arrive at the black wooden door. Lin Tian looked at the pitch black wooden door in front of him. His transfer ceremony was just like this wooden door. Pitch black. It was completely unknown what would appear. Lin Tian took a deep breath and pushed open the wooden door to walk in. The room was not big, and the arrangement inside was familiar to Lin Tian. The transfer ceremony and the awakening ceremony looked similar. A formation that was emitting a shimmering light was engraved on the floor, which was the only source of light in the room. 
At the center of the formation was a crystal ball that was even more massive than the awakening crystal ball. The transfer crystal ball was half a person tall. He had already learned about the process of the transfer ceremony. Lin Tian placed his hand on it and focused his intent. Under normal circumstances, the transfer would occur in the same way as when Lin Tian awakened. That is, there was a need to choose. For the second turn of each profession, there would be several branch professions to choose from. And for each of these branch professions, a few more branch professions for the third turn would appear behind each one. And the same was true for the third and fourth turns. Lin Tian's transfer also went smoothly. His mind entered another piece of space. It was just like when he awakened. Lin Tian opened his eyes. His intent was in a chaotic world. Immediately afterward, a dragon roar came. One could only see a terrifying dragon spreading its wings and roaring in the chaos-filled space. And eventually, its terrifying power shook this chaos, allowing it to break free from it. Just like that, a giant dragon hovered not far in front of Lin Tian. Above the dragon, three glittering golden fonts appeared above the dragon's head. These three characters, which looked extremely ancient, exuded an ancient aura of the beginning of heaven and earth. Lin Tian did not recognize them, but he immediately comprehended what these three words represented. It was precisely his awakened profession, Dragon Master. The scene in front of him was slightly different from the second turn ceremony that Lin Tian understood. The second turn of a general profession did not have such a grandiose scene. For example, if a warrior turned two, it was just a warrior standing in front of him. There wasn't so much foreplay at all, but the big difference was still basically the same. According to what Lin Tian had learned, the next thing was that above this giant dragon, a few things would appear. Lin Tian estimated that it was still a few giant dragons, and each of these giant dragons represented a second turn profession and a direction of advancement for this profession. For example, the second turn of the warrior. It's where several different warrior branches appear above the normal warrior, like the great sword warrior, dual sword warrior, shield warrior, and so on, back to Lin Tian's dragon master profession. Then, above the dragons that represented the second turn professions, each of them would separately appear a few more dragons, which was the third turn profession. Above each of the giant dragons representing the third turn professions, a few more giant dragons representing the fourth turn professions would appear. The whole thing looked like a fan, with more and more career branches. It was also like a large tree with a dense canopy. Only most of them, they could only be looked at. When the second turn made its choice, all the other irrelevant branches would disappear and could never be chosen again. By the time the third turn came around, the branches that appeared would be the subsequent branches of the second turn professions that had already been chosen. This was something that Lin Tian felt was still quite humane. It was likewise very reasonable. Being able to see the successor of each second turn occupation in advance, the decision made in this way would be what one really wanted. Otherwise, if one were to turn two, you can only see the second turn professions, but you can't see the choices and changes in each second turn profession. It may not be possible. Originally wanted to become a meat shield warrior. Turn around. Turn yourself into a brittle skin. This is also the reason why you need to check the information in advance before turning two. For every branch of occupation, there were trade-offs. For example, the Great Sword Warrior. Attack and damage ability is definitely stronger than the Shield Warrior. If you chose the Great Sword Warrior for the second turn, no matter how you turn three or four, it would be difficult to catch up with the Shield Warrior's defense ability. This also relates to the skill tree. The skills hidden in the darkness on the skill tree are many of the skills of some branch professions. So after a transfer, the skills of these other branch professions would disappear and be replaced by the skills of your new profession after the transfer. It was only after checking the information ahead of time that you could know the trade-offs for each type of transfer profession. This was also the reason why Lin Tian would be nervous. He had reached the second turn for the first time in history as a history-making dragon master. There was no one who could provide him with useful experience. Everything had to be groped by him. If he made a wrong step during the second turn, the effects on his follow-up could be huge. Lin Tian was just thinking. The chaos in front of him surged once again. As he had expected. Another giant dragon broke free of the chaos and spread its wings to fly over the giant dragon from earlier. This giant dragon was clearly even more majestic and powerful than the first giant dragon. And at the top of the head of this second dragon, there were still three large golden characters flashing. Lin Tian was slightly nervous as he looked towards the words on top of the giant dragon's head. He wanted to know what kind of second turn occupation this first branch of his to appear was. At the same time, he was also looking forward to the other few giant dragons appearing. However, when Lin Tian saw the inscription above the head of the second giant dragon, he directly froze. There was no other reason. The three big golden characters above the head of the second giant dragon was still Dragon Master. Lin Tian was instantly dumbfounded. Because there was no information on the second turn of the Dragon Master, 
He had purposely read a lot more information on other professions, whether it was the situation of some other kinds of beast masters, or the second turns of other SSS level professions, it could be said that he had learned a lot, but none of them were in the situation he was currently encountering. The second turn occupation was still a dragon master. Lin Tian couldn't figure out the current situation and could only wait for other branches of second turn occupations to appear. Soon, the third giant dragon appeared. The giant dragon that appeared this time was even more powerful, instantly breaking free from the bonds of chaos and flying towards Lin Tian. However, what he didn't expect was, this third giant dragon did not stand side by side with the second giant dragon. It actually flew directly above the second giant dragon. It was obvious. This was his third transformation occupation. Lin Tian froze when he looked at the top of the third giant dragon's head. He was dumbfounded once again. It was still the dragon master. A huge shock went through Lin Tian's heart. This isn't right. Where are my other second turn professions? The other second turn professions haven't appeared yet. How come the third turn profession came out? And how is it still dragon master? Without waiting for Lin Tian to come back to his senses, the fourth dragon appeared, even more terrifying and powerful, and flew directly to the top of the third dragon's head. Obviously it represented the fourth turn profession. Lin Tian looked over. It was still the dragon master. Then without giving Lin Tian any time to react, one giant dragon after another flew out from the chaos, and without exception, each giant dragon flew directly above the previous giant dragon, none of them standing side by side with the other giant dragons. Lin Tian glanced over. What kind of fan-shaped or dense canopy was this? There were dragons one after another, without any branches. It was as if it was a giant pillar standing in the chaos. There was no exception. As far as Lin Tian's eyes could see, there were only those three glittering words on top of the dragon's head. Dragon Master. Lin Tian scratched his head. Before he came in, he thought of many kinds of scenarios. For example, what to do if you couldn't tell the trade-offs of each transfer profession? If one could tell the difference, what kind of trade-offs were there and how should they be taken? If it was a choice between the two branches of strengthening the dragon and strengthening himself, which one should he choose? If it was a trade-off between physical and magical attacks, which one was better? He had simulated countless situations. It was to make the best choice. And even if what was made wasn't the best choice, it was a choice that left room for maneuver. But this situation right now, he was not even thinking about it. Everything relies on their own fumbling. Is very difficult to choose yes. But that at least there is a choice ah? This column let me choose what? Choose to be a dragon master to dragon master? However, Lin Tian was self-mocking. It was really the only choice he could make. Which was the dragon harnesser transformation to become a dragon master. Forget it. Save yourself the trouble of making a choice. There's no X experience anyway. So if there's a choice, maybe I'll pick and choose and end up picking an unsatisfactory one. Lin Tian directly made the only decision he could. Second turn occupation. Dragon master. After making his choice, the second giant dragon then flew towards Lin Tian, eventually transforming into a golden light flashing pattern. This new pattern replaced the dragon master pattern that appeared when Lin Tian awakened, although it was still the dragon master. However, there were still some differences between the two patterns. On the new pattern now, the dragon was obviously a bit more flamboyant and looked more powerful and domineering. When the pattern disappeared, the second turning ceremony was considered officially completed. In an instant, Lin Tian then felt that the power in his body was skyrocketing, a feeling that he had only experienced once when he first shared his little amazing attribute, feeling the rapid rise in attributes. Lin Tian completely knew why Dragon Masters didn't have a branch occupation. It wasn't because there was really anything wrong with Dragon Masters at all. On the contrary, this was precisely the manifestation of the Dragon Master as the strongest profession, waiting until the soaring power in his body had stabilized. Lin Tian understood. Other professions, whether they were D rank, or SSSS rank, their attributes were always relatively fixed. Before the second turn of the D rank, the four dimensional attributes only increased by one point of attributes on average for every level up, and for the SSSS rank, it was 10 points. For example, a warrior's strength and physique increased a little more, while agility and spirit increased a little less, with only one point of agility or spirit increased for every two levels. Even if a profession can increase their own attributes, it is limited and fixed, and usually has a certain bias either strength, or agility, or physique, spirit. In short, it is not possible to increase the four-dimensional attributes without any limitations, limited attributes, as well as skill bias, making it necessary to make trade-offs regardless of any profession, choosing to go deeper on a certain path while discarding the others. If one develops in all directions, they have no strengths at all, unable to utilize the strong points of the profession, 
so it was necessary to determine the focus of a profession's development through the various transfer branches. However, Dragon Masters didn't have this drawback. The core of the Dragon Master was destined to be all-powerful. Sharing the attributes of the Gargoyle would allow the Dragon Master to be both well-rounded in terms of attributes, without being so well-rounded as to have no strengths at all. After all, with the terrifying attributes of the giant dragon, it would only allow the Dragon Master to be all strengths and no weaknesses. This was also why Lin Tian's four attributes would always increase by an average of 10 points every time he rose a level. For other SSS class professions, such an average increase in attributes was undoubtedly a waste of attributes. And instead of an average increase, it would be more cost-effective to have one or two attributes increase more. If it was a mage class, it must be the spirit attribute that grew more. If it was a warrior class, it must be the strength and constitution that grew more. And for assassins, it was agility. It was the same for all professions. Dragon masters were different. Although the dragons themselves had attribute biases, for example, Little Amazing was the one with more strength and constitution growth, and about the same spirit growth, while agility was a bit worse. Reflecting this to a dragon master, it would be like Lin Tian, whose agility attribute was also quite a bit lower than the other three attributes because of Little Amazing. But don't forget, a dragon master wasn't limited to just one dragon. After successfully turning two, Lin Tian's maximum number of dragon pets had increased from one to three. As long as Lin Tian took in another dragon that was known for its agility, he would be able to immediately erase the shortcoming. As long as the dragon pets he took in became more numerous, Lin Tian's attributes and skills wouldn't have any flaws. One could be truly all-powerful. When Lin Tian had taken in enough dragon pets, he himself would be able to become a humanoid giant dragon, even more terrifying than a giant dragon. Lin Tian, who had calmed down, walked out of the room of the transfer ceremony. At this moment, Miss Glasses was still waiting here. How was it? Did the transfer ceremony go well? Miss Glasses asked. Lin Tian thought about it and nodded. It should be considered smooth. Hearing this, Miss Glasses estimated that he must not have gone too well. So she didn't ask any more questions and comforted Lin Tian a few times before going back. Lin Tian knew that she had misunderstood, but he didn't explain, and just thanked her. Afterwards, Lin Tian did not leave immediately. He arrived in the middle of the professional archives library located on the first floor. There were no paper books here. There was only a terminal where one could directly use the professional's license and retrieve the information to view within the ring. Similarly, if there was a new discovery, one could also enter the information here. The information that could be retrieved and entered was related to levels and professions. Lin Tian used the ring to log into the terminal. He opened the information related to the occupation of a dragon master and flipped to the page about transferring. That was right. He wasn't here to transfer information. He was the unprecedented second turn dragon master. As the person who had opened up the boundaries of human perception of professionals, Lin Tian filled in the information on a blank piece of Dragon Master's transfer information and wrote down a paragraph. Dragon Master. Bias, all powerful. Disadvantage, none. Transfer profession, none. The Dragon Master has no drawbacks as an all-around profession and does not require any transfer professions. Lin Tian was also able to enter these things because the Dragon Master was one of the rarest professions. A profession of this rarity. As long as you were in this profession, you could enter any information without any conditions. Although Lin Tian estimated that there wouldn't be any more dragon masters in this world other than him who would inquire about the information of the second turn. However, he still wrote these up. After doing all this, Lin Tian then drove the large pickup truck and left the professionals association. It was not long after he left the nine heavy towers, the capital of the dragon kingdom, Long Jing, in the city's most central location, in a certain room, third elder, there is an expedited top secret document. A very composed old man nodded after hearing that. If an ordinary person heard a top secret document, they would definitely be very nervous. But as the third elder of the Dragon Kingdom, Lu Jinghua had already seen too many top secrets. As usual, Lu Jinghua opened the document and read it calmly. But soon, he couldn't sit still. Immediately order it down. Classify all of Lin Tian's files as top secret. Also, immediately go inform the first elder and second elder. Yes, Lu Jinghua finished giving the order still in disbelief at the content on the file. It actually said that a dragon master had performed a transfer ceremony. As the elder at the helm of the education division, he could be said to be the most knowledgeable person in the world about various professions. Although dragon masters were extremely rare and there hadn't been a few of them at all in history, he knew them all the same very well. How could a second turn dragon master appear in Jiang Chang? It was truly unimaginable. This person must be protected. Without waiting for him to open his mouth, the secretary at the side took the initiative to ask about it. Third elder, should we secretly protect Lin Tian? Lu Jinghua shook his head. 
protect, but only secretly, he is definitely going to participate in the national examination, let him participate normally, the secretary hesitated, but, in the past, SSS level professionals were never directly bailed out to either divine clearance or dragon capital, and were escorted by the state all the way, although the dragon master profession is special, but this Lin Tian is after all also a history making dragon master, it can only be protected in secret, but also letting him participate in the national examination normally, I'm afraid that it will attract the attention of many people with bad intentions, will this not be too insured? It used to be insurance, but how many SSS class professionals have actually grown up? Lu Jingwa asked rhetorically, he continued, I think it's just that there's too much love for these higher professions, there are a few SSS classes that have appeared in the last 20 to 30 years, and there are even more SSS classes, but of all these people, not many have grown into pillars of my dragon kingdom, most have fallen into mediocrity. The current situation is still relying on those few old faces to take the top. None of these true protectorate warlords grew out of a greenhouse. Lu Jing was said with hatred. Then he straightened his expression. It's not just Lin Tian. I'm preparing to discuss with the first elder and second elder. Let all these SS rank and SSS rank professionals cancel their guaranteed transportation. And let them all go to the national examination just like ordinary professionals. I'd like to see how many of these heavenly prides can fight their way out of the meat grinder that is the national examination. Don't let them all be straw men by then. After saying that, Lu Jingwa added with an appreciative face. I think this Lin Tian is quite promising. Without much preferential treatment, isn't it the same that he can create history and rely on himself to fight his way through the wilderness to the second turn? To be level 21 before the big exam, it's really unprecedented. It's simply better than those flowers in the greenhouses. I don't know how many times better. He finally ordered. To Lin Tian though you can only protect him secretly, but it must be emphasized. Junqing Third Middle School. Inside the school, Lin Tian and Yang Qi had returned to the school again. Today was the day of the national examination, and they needed to enter the examination center through the teleportation stone issued by the school. At this moment, the two were sitting in their seats and chatting. I don't know what's going on this year, why did you let these SS rank and SSS rank novice professionals also participate in the national grand examination? Isn't this making it more difficult for us? Yang Qi grumbled. He originally thought that he had risen to level 16 and had already secured a win, and would definitely be able to enter either Divine Clearance or Long Jing, but now the sudden shift in the situation had made him feel less confident again. Brother Tian, it's not possible that I won't be able to enter Divine Clearance or Long Jing even at level 16, right? Lin Tian shook his head and said indifferently, it doesn't have much of an impact. How many SS level professionals are there in the whole country in a year? Dozens at the top of the day, not to mention the SSS level. It's hard to say if there can be three or four in the country. This point of people can't affect your ranking. It's the ones who are rank 15 and not very strong that should be worried. Yan Qi nodded his head in realization and said, That's true. There's only a few dozen people. Even if they're powerful, they can't affect me. Eh, but will they affect your plans? Brother Tian, you're going to take the number one spot in the country. Now that these SS rank and SSS rank professionals are joining, will it make things go awry? Yang Qi said with some concern, Lin Tian didn't care in the slightest. After the second turn, he absolutely believed that the Dragon Master was the strongest profession. Bar none. It was no good for any SSS ranked professions to come. Moreover, his idea of taking the number one spot in the country was even stronger now than before. He wouldn't give these people any chance. After all, this was about Lin Tian's second dragon egg. After the successful transfer, the system, which had been silent for a long time, finally released a mission for him. The goal of the mission was to take the first place in the national grand examination. This was the same as his goal. Originally, it was just that now he could be given a mission reward for nothing. And the mission reward was none other than the most important dragon egg for Lin Tian, the dragon master. There was still some time before the official start of the grand examination. The two of them just chatted idly while waiting for the grand examination to begin. On the other side, in the hospital, Ling Qingran was visiting Fu Bo and a few other surviving team members. At this time, Uncle Fu, after a month of treatment and recuperation, had gotten much better. When Uncle Fu woke up, he was overjoyed to hear the news that Ling Qingran was alive. However, he did not want Ling Qingran to visit him in the hospital. Missy, why do you need to come visit me now? I won't be able to die for a while here. You should focus on the big exam now. You have been staying in the hospital for the past few days. You are also wasting your time practicing. It's not too late to wait for the big exam to be over for the matter of visiting me. Ling Qingran however was unimpressed and said, It's already been a month and a half of practicing leveling. It's not too bad for a few days. Not to mention that Uncle Fu you were seriously injured for my sake. How can I not come? Moreover, 
I'm already level 16, which is enough to get into any academy. Hearing Ling Qingran say that, Uncle Fu was very pleased in his heart, and he was even happier to hear that Ling Qingran was level 16. However, he still said, it's me who delayed you from practicing leveling. Missy, if Missy can't defeat Lin Tian on this national exam, it's all because of my dereliction of duty. Of course, Uncle Fu already knew that the crisis on that day was ultimately resolved by Lin Tian, although he didn't know how Lin Tian did it, he was certain that Lin Tian, as Missy had predicted, had not only not turned into an invalid, but was instead powerful. In his opinion, this time, Missy was afraid that she would lose to Lin Tian once more. Not only that, Missy had been saved by Lin Tian. Missy could say that she had been completely surpassed by Lin Tian, who she considered a rival. This national examination was the nail in the coffin of this matter and would make Missy recognize reality. Uncle Fu was worried that Missy's self-esteem and her competitive spirit would both suffer a considerable blow as a result. He said this and took the initiative to take the blame, also to make Missy feel better afterwards. Uncle Fu thought that Ling Qingren would still say something that she refused to admit defeat, but this time he thought wrong. Ling Qingren involuntarily smiled sweetly when she heard Lin Tian's name. She shook her head, relieved. I no longer want to compete with Lin Tian for first place. He is indeed much stronger than me. When she said this, Ling Qingren was not resigned or disappointed. Instead, she had a somewhat proud tone. Uncle Fu, the big exam is about to start. So I'll go back to school first. I'll come back to see you guys after the big exam. Okay, Missy, good luck with the big exam. After saying goodbye, Ling Qingran walked towards the outside of the ward. Uncle Fu looked at Ling Qingran's back and also revealed a smile. It was unexpected that the knot that Lin Tian had created in the heart of the eldest miss would be resolved in this way. Neither was he victorious over Lin Tian, nor was he a lost soul after recognizing reality. He was so old. What hadn't he experienced? Of course he could tell what was going on between Missy and Lin Tian. In this regard, he was happy for Missy. Missy was the one he had watched grow up. He had never seen her fall for anyone, and now that she had a lover, it was naturally a good thing. It was time to go through this at this age. Inside the third middle school, Yang Chi had already been driven by Ling Qingran from the seat next to Lin Tian to the aisle next to Lin Tian. Ling Qingran was not in the same class as Lin Tian and Yang Chi. It was just that she had specifically come over today and sat next to Lin Tian. At this moment, the entire class waiting for the big exam, whether it was boys or girls, they were all glancing at Lin Tian and Ling Qingran consciously or unconsciously. Their gazes were filled with envy and jealousy. Yang Chi, who was driven to the aisle, of course didn't care. Instead he opened his mouth and flirted. Ling big school flower. Why do you have to sit next to my brother Tian? It's not because of what happened last time that you've already fallen in love with my brother Tian, right? Hearing this, Ling Qingran's fair face instantly flushed with a blush. She didn't answer, but only glared viciously at Yang Qi. Of course Yang Qi wouldn't just wimp out. How could someone like him, who had never lost playing with his mouth in his entire life, shut up so easily? He opened his mouth again and said, Hey Gu, Ling big school flower, you're so fierce, but no man will like it. The number of female classmates in the whole school who entrusted me to send love letters to Tian is simply too many to count, and the love letters can fill up Tian's desk. You can't compete with them like this. Upon hearing this, although she didn't know if it was true or not, Ling Qingran still put away the look she had just given her. She didn't want Lin Tian to think that she was a shrewish woman. Seeing that it was effective, Yang Qi gave an inch and said, but if you're willing to please 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 me and introduce me to your prettiest girlfriends, I can help you reject all these love letters you've been stuffing to brother Tian. Ling Qingran glanced at him and said icily, if you say one more word, I'll blow you out of the room as soon as you enter in the second half of the big exam. Although this was just a joke, it instantly shut Yang Qi up. He just hadn't lost playing with his mouth, not so much with his hands. He was also already level 16, but Ling Qingran was an S-rank professional dragon grammarian. There was still a bit of a gap in between. At this time, the teacher also walked in and started distributing the teleportation stones to enter the examination room. Lin Tian went up to the stage to receive the teleportation stone and passed by Yang Qi. He also shook his head and said, seeing color and forgetting righteousness. In the class, all the students who had successfully awakened and decided to participate in the grand examination had already received their teleportation stones. Everyone was now waiting for the countdown to the start of the grand national examination. In this final hour, the teacher was still repeating, over and over again, the rules of the grand national examination that he had already said countless times. Classmates, hold the teleportation stone in your hands. When the time is up you will be automatically teleported into the examination center. 
Don't ever let go of the teleportation stone when the teleportation time is up, or else you won't be able to be teleported to the examination center. You can't make up for it. It will be counted as giving up on the grand examination. And at that time, you'll have to wait for next year. The teacher looked at the clock on the blackboard. Seeing that the time was almost up, he reminded once again. When the class heard this, they also clenched the teleportation stones in their hands and waited nervously. Soon, the time arrived. The teleportation stones in everyone's hands emitted a burst of white light that enveloped them, and then their figures disappeared into place. In the examination center of the National Grand Examination, an endless white space, countless white lights flashed one after another as one by one. The candidates were transported in. Lin Tian was also among them as he looked around. Nearby were his fellow classmates. Yang Qi and Ling Qingran were also teleported to his left and right. This space was clearly not a realistic space, but a secret realm that had been carved out separately. The space was extremely vast, one could not see the head at a glance, and the ground was made up of unrecognizable materials. After a few seconds, the white light stopped flickering. All of the people in the country who had participated in the grand examination had been transported to this space. Lin Tian took a glance and saw that there were tens of thousands of candidates in the Jiangcheng region alone, and there were even millions of candidates in the entire country. With so many people, the ones who could actually get into a university. Every year, there were only a few hundred thousand. More than 80% of them would be eliminated in the first half of the process. After all the candidates had entered, this large examination hall then successively teleported in a small number of more people. These people were the head of enrollment for the various university schools. At the local level, applying for a school needed to be done directly in the examination hall. This was because there were only candidates in the examination hall. The best guarantee that the school the candidate chose was of his own choosing, and not under coercion or various influences. When the enrollment personnel in Jiangcheng took their positions, the tens of thousands of candidates in Jiang City then began to start lining up in front of the enrollment offices of the various universities. However, this had no effect on Lin Tian's trio. Lin Tian was prepared to enroll in Divine Clearance University. As the top two universities in the Dragon Kingdom, the reason why Lin Tian chose Divine Clearance over Longjing was because compared to the two universities, Divine Clearance was more pioneering, and every year, there would be a few new professions or new routes for old professions, that were developed at Divine Clearance University, and Lin Tian's profession was a Dragon Master, although it wasn't a new profession, there was no precedent for a Dragon Master to enroll in a university, and it was considered a new profession in a sense, that was why Lin Tian had chosen Divine Clearance, Yang Qi was also set on entering Divine Clearance early on, Ling Qingran, on the other hand, hadn't thought about it before, to her there was no difference between the two universities, and now that Lin Tian was going to choose Divine Chang, it made her decide to enroll in Divine Ching as well. In front of the enrollment offices of the other universities, there were long lines of people. However, the number of people in front of the two universities, Divine Ching and Longjing, was very few. There were less than a hundred people lined up in total in the Jiangcheng area. This is not surprising. The national examination each person can only apply for a university. If you fail then you can only go to a lower grade of the university. But because there is no application, really wait for you to fail and then go again. A high probability that there is no quota. You can only go to a lower grade again to try. Such a big risk made most of the candidates not dare to take the risk, and could only choose their 10 surefire academic institutions. Lin Tian's three were lining up when they heard a voice from the front. Only level 14? Still a B rank occupation? Classmate. You'd better go and apply for another academy. Divine Clearance University isn't the place for you. The gazes of the people in the queue were all attracted to the head of enrollment at Divine Clearance University. The people in front of him were naturally the students who were applying for admission. Hearing the words of the head of Divine Clarity, the student was a bit rushed, but still summoned up the courage to say, Hello teacher, I still want to give it a try. After all, what goes around comes around. When the head of Divine Clarity heard this, his brows furrowed and he shook his head. He said nonchalantly, It's futile to try. It's better for yourself if you enroll in a different academy. The student wanted to say something else, but the head of Divine Clarity didn't give him a chance to open his mouth. He said nonchalantly, as the head of Divine Clarity University's enrollment in the Jiangcheng region, I have the power to enroll students on my own. We at Divine Clarity University only enroll the prides of the heavens. Ordinary professionals like you are not suited for us. I refuse your enrollment. Go to a different academy. That student felt the gazes of the queuing crowd looking at him. His face was suffocatingly red, but there was nothing he could do about it, so he could only leave in a state of dismay. Seeing this scene, on the line of students applying for divine clearance, there were a dozen or so people who didn't wait for their turn and directly turned around and walked towards the other academy's enrollment offices. 
These people were obviously in a similar situation as that student. Lin Tian also shook his head when he saw this. This head of enrollment at Divine Clearance University was too brutal in his methods. When others wanted to enroll, they were naturally a bit sure of themselves, and no one could conclude that a B rank occupation with a rank 14 combat power would definitely not work. Even if that student really failed, he was clear about the consequences. Others were willing to bear the consequences of risking their lives, so why would they need to be so brutal and drive people away? Seeing this, Lin Tian's favorability towards Divine Clearance University had dropped quite a bit. The number of people applying for Divine Chang was small. It was soon Lin Tian's turn for the three of them. Ling Qingran was the first to enroll and tested for occupation and rank first. S rank occupation Dragon Grammarian? Still level 16. The head of enrollment at Divine Clear University exclaimed in delight when he saw Ling Qingran's test results. Student, you are very good. Welcome to enroll in our Divine Qing University. After Ling Qingran finished her test, it was Yang Qi's turn. Although it's an A rank occupation, it's also a rare talisman Taoist. Eh, still level 16. Not bad either. You go fill out the enrollment information too. Next, Ling Qingran and Yang Qi both filled out the enrollment information on the side. Lin Tian also went up and tested the occupation first. After testing his occupation, Lin Tian was about to test his rank when he was stopped by the person in charge of Divine Clear. SSSS rank, Dragon Master? Wait a minute. Classmate, are you that Dragon Master Lin Tian from Jiang Chang this year? The head of Divine Clearance opened his mouth and asked. Lin Tian asked, is there a problem? Problem? Of course there's a problem. The Divine Clearance head nodded and continued. The Dragon Master should not come to our Divine Clearance University Enrollment Office to get involved. You should still try going to one of those universities that enrolls living professions. Lin Tian's face remained unchanged. This bit of talk couldn't have any effect on him yet. He calmly asked. I haven't even tested my level and you're going to refuse? What else does a Dragon Master test for? Who doesn't know that a Dragon Master is a waste profession? It's said to be SSS level. But in reality, it's not as good as that B level just now. We don't even recruit him at level 14 at Divine Clearance University. But you're a Dragon Master and you're still level 14? I think level 3 is too much. The head of Divine Clarity University said impatiently. Divine Clarity University refuses to accept Dragon Masters. Divine Qing University refuses to accept Dragon Masters. Without giving Lin Tian a chance to explain, he directly gave an ultimatum. If you want to get into a good university, go next door to Long Jing and ask. Maybe they can have mercy and accept your enrollment. The head of Divine Clearance University added one last sentence. He certainly wasn't really giving Lin Tian advice when he said this. Who didn't know that the two top tier institutions, Divine Qing and Long Jing, had always been arch rivals. Saying this was nothing more than disgusting Long Jing University. Right next door at the enrollment office of Long Jing University, the person in charge of Long Jing shot back. We don't want a dragon master in Long Jing. I think it's better for you Divine Qing to have accepted his enrollment. No Dragon Master has ever enrolled in a university in the past. Isn't your Divine Clearance known for being pioneering and good at developing new professions? I see that a Dragon Master fits right in with your Divine Qing standards. The heads of the universities on both sides pushed Lin Tian towards the opposite side as if they were kicking a soccer ball. The people in the queue behind him looked at Lin Tian with some sympathy. Simply worse off than the student just now. Lin Tian naturally wasn't the student from earlier. And he wouldn't receive the slightest blow from the words of the two men. Much less lose his mind. The fact that Lin Tian could have this kind of mentality still stemmed from strength. To strike iron, one still needed to be hard. He knew that if enrollment was to wait until the end of the grand examination, these two people would be begging him on their knees to go to his own academy. Saying such words now was just not knowing his strength. The truth was a quick sword, but lies had no offense. Lin Tian didn't care in the slightest. However, after not caring, the words these two said were still too disgusting. Rejecting is rejecting, and still saying so much bullshit. It was just as if they thought he was a weakling. Lin Tian had never regarded himself as a gentleman. He would hold grudges and even retaliate. If these two people dare to say this, they must dare to bear the corresponding price. An eye for an eye. It was only natural. Lin Tian had already thought of a good way. Of course not what to do to these two people now. After all, this is the examination hall of the national examination. The two people are also the head of the school's enrollment. He can't fool around. Also can't directly retaliate against the two people. But wait until the second half of the national grand examination. Lin Tian had ways to make these two regret it. If brother Tian doesn't enroll, then I'll quit too. Yang Qi directly slapped the enrollment form on the table of Divine Clearance University. After turning around and leaving the team, he cursed again. What a dog's eyes. There will be a time when you regret it. His words directly startled the crowd of students around him. You dare to insult Divine Clearance University. 
The head of Divine Clearance was about to have a seizure on the spot. As the head, he represented the face of Divine Clearance University and had to make Yang Chi apologize. The surrounding crowd who understood what had happened felt that this curse was a good one. However, they also felt worried for Yang Chi, insulting Divine Clearance University in public. The person in charge of Divine Clearance was trying to maintain Divine Clearance's face. This matter wouldn't be so easy to pass. However, the next second, Yang Chi looked back at the head of Divine Chang and scratched his head, looking like he was playing dumb. When did I say that I scolded Divine Clearance University? Then he put on an aggrieved look and said, Long Jing University also refused to enroll. So why did you write yourself? Hearing this, the person in charge of Divine Clarity was about to choke on his words of rebuke. The person in charge of Long Jing, too, had a constipated look on his face. However, both of them didn't say anything at this time. The surrounding crowd, however, couldn't hold back their laughter. They had to recognize that Yang Chi was really good at playing with his mouth. He scolded both sides at once, but no one on either side could retort or ask him to give a statement. After all, he didn't name names. Whoever rebutted or asked for an argument would be the same as taking a seat and admitting that he was the dog's eye view. Otherwise, others didn't say it was you. So if you didn't do it, why are you right? The head of divine clarity couldn't pursue this matter any further. He could only snort coldly and say, Humph, an A rank only, do you really think that I, divine clearance, lack you as an A rank? Giving up your future for the sake of some brotherly righteousness. It's a double whammy for such fools to go together. Ling Qingran also put down the enrollment list and directly turned to leave. The head of divine clearance couldn't sit still this time. An S rank still had an impact on his enrollment test. However, his words had just been spoken. So he could only hold his frame and say, Little girl, don't act on your emotions for the sake of your feelings. When you enter divine Qing University, there are many young talents that are much stronger than the students in this small town. Ling Qingran did not turn her head back and ignored him in the slightest. Both of them came to Lin Tian's side. Yang Qi spoke, Brother Tian, let's go and enroll in another school. I don't believe that without you, Divine Clearance Dragon King. There is no way out for professionals. Lin Tian did not persuade Yang Qi to turn back. With his relationship with Yang Qi, Yang Qi was definitely determined to back him up, and could not be persuaded at all. Moreover, Yang Qi's words just now had already been considered to be a dead end and it was impossible for Divine Clearance and Dragon Kyoto to accept his enrollment. Lin Tian looked towards Ling Qingran. His relationship with Ling Qingran was unclear and he hadn't really known each other for a few days yet. He did not want to affect Ling Qingran's future because of himself. Moreover, Ling Qingran could still turn back now. Lin Tian, which academy are we going to? Of course, Ling Qingran knew what Lin Tian meant, and she asked gently from the side, showing her attitude. Seeing this scene, Lin Tian did not advise Ling Qingran anymore. He wrapped one hand around Yang Qi's neck and took Ling Qingran's white and slender catkin in his hand, since both of them were willing to follow him. Then he wouldn't treat the two poorly, even if they didn't enter divine clearance. So what? He would use his strength to help himself and the two fight for better and more resources than Divine Qing University. It was the first time that Ling Qingran was held by Lin Tian's hand on his own initiative. She immediately looked shy and still let Lin Tian hold her. Yang Qi, on the other side, was long used to it. He opened his mouth and asked, Brother Tian, do you have an idea on which academy to go to? Lin Tian was also thinking about this issue. It didn't matter if he entered Divine Clearance or Long Jing. With his strength, as long as he revealed himself, he would be able to get the greatest resource support anywhere. But just which academy should he go to? Lin Tian was just thinking. The system's voice suddenly sounded. A change in the host's will has been detected. The mission has been upgraded. Mission objective changed to number one in the National Grand Examination. Enroll in the Dragon Country Martial Warfare University and lead the Dragon Country Martial Warfare University to become number one in the National Grand Examination's academic institution points. Reward, upgraded from a normal dragon egg to a special dragon egg. Reward, upgrade from a normal dragon egg to a special dragon egg. Lin Tian was agonizing over which academy to choose. The voice that suddenly rang in his head then pointed out a clear path for him. Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Hearing this name, Lin Tian's gaze looked towards a not too far away, a gated academy's enrollment office. The enrollment office of this academy was even more sparsely populated with students, a little less than the number of enrollments of the Divine Clearance and Dragon Capital Academies. Yang Chi followed Lin Tian's gaze. He asked with some surprise, Brother Tian, could it be that we're going to the Dragon Martial Warfare University? The situation of the Dragon Martial now is not like it was 40 or 50 years ago. Yang Qi's words also reminded Lin Tian of the situation of the Dragon Country Martial Warfare University. The Dragon Country Martial Warfare University was once one of the strongest few academies under the two major ones, 
Divine Clearance and Long Jing. Only in recent years, it had become increasingly weak. The situation could be said to be declining, with each year being worse than the last. In recent years, there had even been rumors that Longwu was about to be downgraded due to the fact that it had recruited too few candidates, and that the points of the academy on the national exam had failed year after year. This year was even more so. Rumor had it that this year was Longwu's last chance, and that as long as Longwu's academy points failed again on this year's national exam, they were going to be downgraded. There was also a reason for this. Dragon Martial Warfare University. As a few of the most well-known universities in the Dragon Kingdom, Lin Tian also had some understanding. The philosophy of the Dragon Martial Arts was to teach practical combat, and strength came first in all things. All resources were to be distributed according to strength. This used to be the reason why Dragon Martial was powerful. Longwu reached its peak during the period of turmoil, and the students that came out of Longwu were extremely powerful, making an indelible contribution to the stability of the Dragon Kingdom. At its peak, it was even once known as the Three Greats, that is, compared to the Divine Clearance and Long Jing. It's only this concept that allowed Dragon Warrior to reach its peak in a time of turmoil, but it also made Longwu gradually become weak in this era of peace for decades. Students from the peaceful era were no longer willing to go to an academy like Longwu. Resources still had to be fought over by strength? What if you can't compete? If you can't compete with a genius, so be it. If you were in the same class and were only a little bit stronger than you, wouldn't there be a difference in the resources you received? When this kind of thing is placed in the era of turmoil, everyone is extremely eager to become stronger. So naturally they are all willing to compete. In the era of peace, everyone would be more or less the same. Who would be willing to go through so much effort for a little bit of resources? Even if you are confident in your talent and strength, you can enjoy more resources in other schools, so why would you want to fight for them? Longwu was once powerful because of this, and now it is also declining because of this. But this concept is to his liking. Strength came first in all things, and the strongest was honored, which was supposed to be the norm for professionals. If that was the case, the resources he would be able to obtain by going to Longwu might be more than Divine Clearance and Longjing. After all, when Divine Clearance and Longjing allocated resources, they still had to consider the feelings of other students, and the tilting of resources could not go too far. But Long Wu didn't talk so much. As long as one had the strength, the winner could take all. This was simply too suitable for him. What's more, because of the change in his situation, the task released by the system was also upgraded. The reward had changed from an ordinary dragon egg, to a special dragon egg. Based on this alone, he was going to join Dragon Marshal. In his opinion, no resource could compare to this special dragon egg. His current situation was suitable, and so was the philosophy of the academy. That's right, we'll go to the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Lin Tian immediately decided that he would enroll in Dragon Martial. All right, brother Tian, I'll go wherever you go anyway. Hearing this, Yang Chi didn't have any objections. Lin Tian definitely had his plans when he made this decision. What do you say, big schoolgirl Ling? Ha, huh? Ling Qingran's attention was all on Lin Tian and the hand she was holding and only came back to her senses when she heard Yang Qi inquire. With a shy face, she said, I'll listen to Lin Tian on everything. It was as if she was marrying the chicken and following the dog. Both of them were willing to trust him. So naturally Lin Tian didn't hide anything from the two of them and spoke directly. I know that Long Wu might be downgraded this year. Is it hard to believe that you even have a solution for this, brother Tian? Yang Qi was puzzled. Lin Qingran also looked at Lin Tian curiously. Lin Tian nodded. It's also simple to want Long Wu not to be demoted. I'll bring Long Wu to bring down the number one in the academy points isn't it? Hearing this, the two immediately froze. Leave Long Wu to take down the number one in schoolhouse points? The number of students who enrolled in Long Wu was going to be much less than the other top tier academies. And the difference in quality was even greater. Wanting to lead these people to take first place in the academy points, the difficulty was unimaginable. However, both of them were people who trusted Lin Tian unconditionally. Yang Qi was a brother to Lin Tian for three years, and clearly knew that Lin Tian never spoke without reason, and that if he dared to say something, he would naturally be able to do it. Ling Qingran, on the other hand, was caught up in the blindness of being in love, and now she was willing to believe whatever Lin Tian said. Lin Tian's trio arrived at the enrollment office of the Dragon Country Martial Warfare University. There weren't many people here in the first place, there were only a few dozen people enrolled here in the entire Jiang city, and they were all enrolled now. Lin Tian's trio didn't need to wait before they started enrolling. The person in charge of enrollment at the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University was a middle-aged man, and Lin Tian was able to sense from this person's aura that he was stronger than the person in charge of Divine Clearance and Dragon King. Lin Tian sighed, worthy of being the number one in strength in all things, Dragon Martial. 
The person in charge of Longwu didn't take the initiative to open his mouth to the three to persuade them to enroll just because there were fewer people coming to enroll. It wasn't until Lin Tian's trio said that they were the ones who had come to enroll. Only then did the person in charge of Longwu say to the three, Hello classmates, I'm the person in charge of enrollment at the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. I heard what you guys just did. He did not rush to recruit the trio, but took the initiative to explain. Do you guys know about the fact that Dragon Marshal is on the verge of being downgraded? Lin Tian and the three of them were stunned. As the head of Dragon Marshal, since he took the initiative to say such things, wouldn't this affect enrollment? The head of Dragon Marshal continued, I'm talking to you guys about this matter. One is to tell you all that although my Dragon Marshal may be on the verge of being downgraded, the current admission standards are still in accordance with the top standards, and will not be lowered because of low enrollment. The second is to tell you that my Long Wu's philosophy will not change because of relegation or not. If you want to be rejected because you were rejected by other places and thus want to find a place to mingle, then Long Wu is not for you. And, he looked at Yang Qi and Ling Qing ran again and nodded. The two of you aren't weak. You should be able to enter my Dragon Marshal, but the grades that will get you into my Dragon Marshal will likewise get you into the other top academies. Are you sure you want to choose Dragon Marshal? Hearing these words, all three of Lin Tian were secretly sure in their hearts. This Dragon Martial Warfare University was indeed very principled. Even though the enrollment was already difficult and was about to face the possibility of being downgraded, it still didn't lower its standards in the slightest, valuing quality rather than just pursuing quantity. In the end, the head of Dragon Martial's gaze stopped on Lin Tian. As for him, I know that both of you are here with him. But, Lin Tian frowned slightly. He thought that Long Wu was very principled. Could it be that he also chose to reject him because he was a Dragon Master? Long Wu is also unwilling to accept my enrollment? Lin Tian asked calmly. The head of Dragon Marshal shook his head when he heard this. Of course not. My Dragon Marshal's principle is that anyone who meets the conditions can enroll. No one is an exception. What I mean is that my Dragon Marshal will not let in a piece of trash with no strength just to enroll two outstanding trainees. If you want to enter the Dragon Marshal, you can only rely on your own strength to meet the standard in the grand exam. If your strength is not good, then I, the Dragon Marshal, will not lower the admission standard for you just for the sake of the two of them. Hearing this, Lin Tian sighed in relief. In his heart, he also felt much more favorable towards Long Wu. That's natural. The world of professionals only has the iron law that the strongest is honored. If I can't pass your school's standards, then I'm just not strong enough. Lin Tian's trio quickly determined their professions and ranks and completed their enrollment. The person in charge of Long Wu shook hands with the three of them one by one and said, My name is Zhou Yimin. I hope to have the chance to see you all at Longwu. You guys go back and prepare for the big exam. Teacher Zhou, goodbye. The trio said their goodbyes before turning around and walking towards the area for the students of the third middle school. Joey Min looked at the trio's backs with some approval in his gaze. Yang Qi and Ling Qing ran. One of them was an A-class profession level 16. And the other was even an S-class profession level 16. As long as the two were not straw men, there was no major problem entering Dragon Marshal. Dragon Marshal was already declining. And to be able to recruit two such good trainees in a small city like Zhang Chang was considered very lucky for him. But what surprised him more was Lin Tian. When Lin Tian said those two words, it made him recognize Lin Tian's heart at that time. It wasn't easy for a senior student to be able to say that the only iron law in the world of professionals was that only the strong were honored, and that failing to meet the standard was due to my lack of strength. It must have already experienced a lot. Thinking that such a student's awakened profession was a dragon master, he felt pity. If he had changed his profession, he thought that with Lin Tian's heart, he would definitely be able to achieve something. If it wasn't for his adherence to his principles, he even wanted to break the rules and admit Lin Tian. Only now it seemed that there was no need for him to do so. Joey Min looked at the dozen of documents in his hand, the first one being Lin Tian's enrollment information. In the rank column, it was clearly written at level 21. This matter really shocked him. A student who had reached level 21 turn 2 on the national grand examination had never appeared before. What's more? The one who had reached this achievement was not another SSS ranked profession, but a dragon master, which was completely beyond his imagination. If it wasn't for the fact that the occasion wasn't appropriate right now, he would have wanted to ask Lin Tian how he did it. Originally, he had felt sorry for Lin Tian, but now that Lin Tian had successfully entered the dragon marshal, it wasn't a problem at all. He didn't doubt for a second that Lin Tian was afraid that he was going to be in the limelight in this national examination. Thinking of this, Joey Min looked towards the two heads of Divine Clearance and Long Jing not far away. These two idiots, who were still smiling and smug, had no idea what they were missing out on. The only thing he regretted was that the current grand examination was suddenly reformed for some unknown reason. Many of the SS ranked, 
and even SSS-ranked professions that were originally directly guaranteed, were now converging on this examination center. Otherwise, Lin Tian would definitely be at the top of the list. It wasn't even impossible to be number one in the country. But now Lin Tian was after all just a dragon master without a dragon, competing with the demons who were supposed to be guaranteed a place. The pressure was unknown how many times higher. Joey Nin shook his head and stopped thinking about it. Anyway, such a good seedling had already been pocketed by Long Wu. The three of them, Lin Tian, waited in the field for another half a day. When all the students had finished enrolling, the enrollment leaders of the various colleges and universities from all over the world all left the space. In the large space, only the crowded students remained. At this time, a voice sounded simultaneously from everywhere in the entire space. The National Grand Examination will officially open in 10 minutes. Please memorize the rules in detail. All three of Lin Tian listened to the rules of the Grand Examination that they had heard countless times long ago. The National Grand Examination was divided into the first half and the second half. The first half was relatively simple. It was that each of them were teleported into the trial tower and climbed up the tower one level at a time. Depending on the main combat profession and the auxiliary profession, there was a difference between what each side faced in the trial tower. Lin Tian's three were all main combat professions. When they entered the trial tower, they would face the Fade Beast simulated by the trial tower. Defeating the foreign beasts at each level would earn them points accordingly and they could move up to a higher level. And every time they moved up a level, they would earn more points. And the strength of the foreign beasts would become stronger and stronger. Until the candidates were defeated by the beasts, or thought that their strength could not keep up anymore, and chose to voluntarily withdraw. When these two situations occurred, it was counted as the end. The final points gained was the score for the first half of the grand examination. This score determined whether or not you could enter the academy you applied for. As for the second half, that wasn't available to all candidates. Only students who had enough points in the first half and had already been accepted into the academy were qualified to participate in the second half. Brother Tian, there seems to be a loophole in this rule. Yang Qi's brain spun. It just says defeated and actively withdrawing. So how does it count if someone goes all the way through the highest level of the trial tower? Lin Tian thought for a moment and said, I heard that no candidate has ever gotten through the trial tower. Upon hearing this, Ling Qinran added from the side. She had wanted to beat Lin Tian in the grand exam before. So she understood it in extreme detail. It's true that no one has ever gotten through. The trial tower has a total of 100 floors. The highest record on the national grand exam was 79 floors. It was still set by a SSS ranked profession that didn't bail out for some unknown reason. The further the trial tower goes, the more the difficulty increases. To the back each layer increases horribly. The difficulty of the last 20 floors should be supermodeled. It's simply not something students can handle. That's why it's not mentioned in the rules. It should be because they think that no one can get through it. Yang Qi nodded at his words, then added, however, I heard that. There are a lot of people who think that someone will pass this grand examination, and even if they don't, they will break the original record of 79 floors. After all, this grand examination is different from all the previous ones. With both SS rank and SSS ranked professionals entering this session of the grand examination due to the removal of guaranteed passage, Ling Qingran, who was on the side, Shook her head and looked at Lin Tian with a fangirl look on her face. If someone really wants to pass it's also Lin Tian. Yang Chi also nodded and said. Brother Tian, do you want to try and see if you can pass? Lin Tian didn't refuse either. If I can do it, I can try. Lin Tian didn't say the words to death. After all, he still didn't know what exactly was going on in the trial tower. It was possible that when they reached the upper levels, the strength of the foreign beasts inside would expand to a terrifying situation. The three of them were chatting. The great examination had officially begun. A white light flashed and everyone was teleported into the trial tower. After the white light disappeared before Lin Tian's eyes, he entered the first level of the trial tower. In front of him was a level 5 greenskin boar that was using its hind hooves to plow the ground, storing up its strength and charging towards him. After a loud bang, Lin Tian casually kicked the boar to death. Lin Tian casually kicked the green boar to death. Then he did not stop and entered the second level. The beasts on the second level were also not strong. Only level 6. However, this caused Lin Tian to frown. The foreign beasts rushed towards him and were once again killed by his kick. What made him frown was not how strong the Fey Beasts were, but the fact that it was only the first to the second level and the level of the Fey Beasts had risen by one level. If it was like this on every level, wouldn't the highest levels be a hundred levels? Lin Tian immediately dismissed this conjecture. It should only be like this on the lower levels. The higher levels were simply impossible. Otherwise, the previous record of 79 levels would have been impossible for a student taking the grand examination. He no longer thought much about it and continued to advance towards the next level. On the other side, 
Inside the invigilation room of the National Grand Examination, a group of bigwigs from the Dragon Kingdom's Department of Education, as well as the principals of all the major colleges and universities were all gathered here. The situation of the National Grand Examination was monitored at all times. Inside the examination room, the crowd of bigwigs and the principals of the various colleges and universities were all paying attention to this grand examination. However, they were not able to see the situation inside the trial tower. The situation inside the trial tower was highly confidential, and there were no more than 10 people who could see the situation inside the tower in the entire dragon country. Even these people who were placed in the outside world, each of whom was called a big shot, could now only speculate on the situation within based on the rankings and information. The trial tower had just begun, and the rankings were not yet informative. Everyone's gazes were directed towards the light screen, displaying the information of the candidates. The candidate who ranked first this time is surprisingly from Jiang City. Jiang Prefecture, Wen Qinglu, the president of Divine Clearance University, saw the candidate at the top with a single glance. Zhu Daotan, the president of Longjing University, also nodded his head and said, Zhang Zhou hasn't produced a rank first in several years, right? The group of principals present also raised their gazes up at their words. Jiang City, Zhang Zhou, Lin Tian, SS rank occupation. When did Jiang Cheng come out with a SSS ranked profession? How come I didn't even get the news? Look carefully. It's a dragon master. Oh, what did I say? So it's a dragon master. What? A dragon master? How could a dragon master be ranked number one? That person's words instantly caused the crowd of bigwigs present to be jolted. Their gazes rushed from left to right. But Lin Tian's information was read in full. Jiang Zhou Jiang Cheng, Jiang Cheng No. 3 Middle School, Lin Tian, SSS Class Occupation Dragon Master. Rank 21, Second Turn, Enrollment in the Academy Dragon Country Martial Warfare University. Lin Tian's information made the bigwigs present, unable to stop themselves from sucking in a breath of cool air. Dragon Master was a waste profession. Of course they knew it clearly. However, right now, this Dragon Master named Lin Tian actually had a not so low rank. What surprised them even more was that the rank was as high as 21. A candidate had risen to level 21 and completed his second turn before the national exam. This was definitely something unprecedented. Everyone present knew what this meant. The national grand examination was only available to senior students in their year of awakening, so there were no older candidates. Lin Tian had done this for real, rising to level 21 in a month and a half. Several bigwigs from the education division immediately listed Lin Tian as a key target of attention. As for the principals of the group of academies, there was a pang of pity in their hearts. It was a pity that Lin Tian had enrolled in a school that wasn't one of theirs. The two principals of Divine Clearance and Long Jing, Wen Xinglu and Zhu Daotan, on the other hand, frowned. Both of them simultaneously instructed someone, who is doing the enrollment in Zhengzhou Zhengcheng, call him over immediately. Both of them were puzzled by the same thing. That was why the academy that Lin Tian had enrolled in wasn't I Divine Clearance or I Dragon Capital? The two academies were the topmost academies in the Dragon Kingdom, and all the candidates who were able to get into these two major ones did not go to any other academies. How could the university Lin Tian apply to be admitted to be neither Divine Cheng nor Long Jing? unless he himself didn't have the confidence to get in. But Lin Tian was at level 21. This was not a level that could be reached by relying on others to carry him. If he didn't have any combat power and couldn't do any damage while leveling, he wouldn't be able to gain a few points of experience at all. At the very least, leveling up to 21 was absolutely impossible. They didn't know how Lin Tian did it, but they were certain that to be able to level up to this level, Lin Tian's combat power was definitely not low. It was impossible that he didn't have the confidence to enter Divine Clearance or Dragon King. Soon, two people then walked into the invigilation room. These two people were the two heads of the admissions office who had rejected Lin Tian. The two did not know the reason why the principal had summoned them. But as soon as they came in and saw the presence of several bigwigs from the Department of Education, as well as a group of school principals, they were both heartily pleased, regardless of why they were summoned here. Being able to enter the sights of so many bigwigs in the education sector was a good thing for their development. The two school principals didn't sell themselves short and spoke. Let me ask you, do you know about Lin Tian? Lin Tian? H.M. I don't think I've heard of it before. Headmaster why don't you prompt me again? Both principals were stunned and shook their heads. Wen Qing Lu continued. It's the Dragon Master Lin Tian. The SSS ranked professional Dragon Master Lin Tian who was participating in the grand examination in your Jiangcheng region. It was only when the two heard this that they recalled it. A cold sweat broke out on the forehead of the head of Long Jing, being able to make each of the two principals bring them here. Or because of this Lin Tian matter, it couldn't be that the principal wanted to recruit a dragon master this year, right? But even if he accepted Lin Tian's enrollment, 
a dragon master wouldn't be able to take the test? The head of Long Jing couldn't figure it out. But he knew that Principal Zhu Doubton looking for him because of this matter could never be a good thing. The principal was just as idle as he could be, but he couldn't have specifically sought him out to compliment him twice over his refusal to enroll a dragon master. His gaze angrily looked towards the head of divine clearance, cursing angrily in his heart. At that time, it was all because this fellow had to mention a word about Dragon King that he was pulled down. At this moment, the head of divine clearance, who was being glared at angrily by him, was still confused about the situation. With a smile on his face, the head of divine clearance curried. Oh, headmaster, it's that Lin Tian. Don't we have part of the power to decide on enrollment? I saw that Lin Tian was a dragon master, simply a waste profession, and directly rejected his enrollment. After all, we, Divine Clearance University, only enroll elite warlords. Hearing this, Wen Qingliu's face was expressionless, but anyone could see the anger in his expression. He gritted his teeth and squeezed out a sentence. Do you want me to compliment you then? The icy coldness of Wen Qingliu's tone was so cold that even head of divine clearance could hear that something was wrong. Hiss, headmaster, is there some kind of misunderstanding here? See for yourself. What kind of misunderstanding is there? Wen Qinglu pointed to the candidate's information on the light screen. The reason why he was so angry was not only because the head of admissions had rejected Lin Tian, but also because this guy was so stupid that he couldn't even hear the good and bad. And he even talked about this as if it was a war record. But where this guy had the eye power of the head of Long Jing, he wasn't this angry. When did Divine Clearance University have so many more drunkards? The two heads sucked in a breath of cold air when they saw Lin Tian's information. Level 21. The Divine Clearance head's heart immediately crashed to the bottom. When Xing Lu threw out a sentence at this moment, if Lin Tian's final grade is enough to enter Divine Qing, you shouldn't return to Divine Qing after this matter is over. The head of Long Jing, who was on the side, had already explained the situation to Principal Zhu Daotan. Xu Daotan didn't punish him for the time being, one was that this guy was quite eye-catching in comparison, and the other was that Lin Tian first went to enroll at Divine Qing University, and if he came to Long Jing to enroll after being rejected, this was indeed not easy to deal with. The people who don't want Xin Qing, you want Long Jing? This thing to him a Jiang Cheng enrollment head, really trouble. Xu Daotan felt a slight pity, and then continued to look at the candidate's information. The second place would only be level 19 but with the same SSS level occupation, it's going to be much stronger than a dragon master. This time it's cheaper for you divine Ching Ah, old one. Wen Qing Lu also calmed down. Lin Tian being able to reach level 21 as a dragon master was enough to make them bail out in the past. Losing Lin Tian was indeed a bit of a pity for the two. However, this year, the SS rank and SSS rank professions, all of which had their guaranteed passage cancelled, had all participated in the grand examination with the vast majority of them being in their divine clearance and Long Jing families, compared to a Lin Tian who was still unclear about the situation. These pride of the heavens were the ones who were more worthy of their attention. The trial tower rankings are starting to become clear. The crowd all looked towards the rankings of the trial tower. In first place, it was clearly Lin Tian again. Inside the trial tower, Lin Tian had already arrived at the 19th floor. The situation was just as he thought. The foreign beast simulated by the trial tower did not raise one level per layer. The foreign beast on this level was only level 12. Lin Tian casually eliminated it and headed to the next level. Arriving at the 20th level, a white light flashed across Lin Tian's body, restoring his status to the highest possible level. Although by resolving these low-level fey beasts, Lin Tian hadn't consumed much in the first place. Restoring his status every 10 layers was indeed necessary. But for him, he couldn't use it when facing the current level of foreign beasts. A foreign beast appeared in front of Lin Tian's eyes. The level of the foreign beast on the 20th floor had jumped to level 15. A level 15 fey beast still did not pose any difficulty to Lin Tian. After casually resolving it, he continued to the next level. It didn't take long. Lin Tian had traveled all the way to the 40th floor. He had already gained experience. Every 10 floors, the level of the foreign beasts would increase by 5 levels. And the foreign beasts on the 40th floor had already reached level 25. A foreign beast of this level. For a group of ordinary professionals of the candidate's level. It was already very difficult to deal with. However, Lin Tian had not encountered any pressure all the way here. In fact, if he wanted to, he could at least reach the 50th level by now. It was just that he wasn't pursuing a speed pass. The results of the trial tower did not depend on time, but only on how many floors could be reached in the end. The main reason he was so unhurried about breaking through was to utilize the trial tower to hone his practical combat abilities. After all, a place like the trial tower where all sorts of different foreign beasts converged together and their levels were still gradually rising, could not be found elsewhere. 
It was just that the foreign beasts in front of him were too low in rank for him. It was casually resolved, and did not serve the purpose of honing practical combat abilities at all. Now that the level of the Fey Beast had increased to level 25, he could probably start. Lin Tian estimated that he had been so slow in breaking through the levels that his ranking would have been left far behind long ago. However, he wasn't in a hurry. A momentary lag now was nothing. He was confident that he would end up in first place. Inside the invigilation room, a group of bigwigs who used to show themselves as stable in the past were all a bit unsettled. This Lin Tian has already reached the 43rd floor. He's thrown off the second place by more than 10 layers. Zhang Feng in second place has only just reached the 30th floor. Lin Tian's current speed of breaking through has set a record for the speed of reaching the 40th floor. This Lin Tian, how on earth did he manage to do that as a dragon master? The crowd was marveling at Lin Tian's breaking speed. At the same time, they were also guessing how exactly Lin Tian did it. Is it hard to believe that he used some offending prop? How could it be? You can't use any props in the trial tower other than your carry-on equipment. When has anything ever gone wrong in all these years? Suddenly, one person raised a guess and said, since Lin Tian is a dragon master, you guys say, will he really have a giant dragon? Hearing this, the entire room instantly fell into silence. Then I don't know who laughed, and then the entire room erupted into laughter. Ha 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 ha, old Zhang Ah, seeing as you usually have a serious look, I didn't expect to have this sense of humor. Principal Zhang, your guess isn't normally bold. No, I can't hold it in, there's a giant dragon. Ha 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 ha. The way the entire crowd of bigwigs and principals laughed out loud would have been unbelievable if it was seen by anyone. Principal Zhang, who had made this guess, was also bashful in his heart. How could he say something like, could Lin Tian really have a giant dragon? There were only a handful of people who had seen a giant dragon with their own eyes. If there was any dragon master who really had a giant dragon, how could he possibly come to the grand exam? It wasn't impossible for the Dragon Kingdom to temporarily change the rules of the national grand examination for him alone. The crowd finished laughing and proceeded to discuss. Lin Tian himself must not be weak. Otherwise he wouldn't have been able to reach over 40 levels. I reckon he should be sprinting at full speed. But he is the first from the very first few levels. Sprinting at full strength this early is very much affecting the final results. After all, the trial tower can only recover physical strength, spirit and injuries, the mind power consumed by responding to the battle at full strength. The trial tower can't make up for it, and at the back it will surely get more and more tired. Letting his final results drop by a few levels, or even 10 levels is possible. That said, but I think Lin Tian should be aware of his own strength. Not enough for him to be at the top of the list, so he just started sprinting straight away to be a temporary number one for such a long time in front of him, so that it's better than being nameless. Indeed, coupled with his special occupation, it can really leave a deep impression. The crowd clearly recognized this statement. Anyway, if he couldn't be at the top of the list, and his final grade was a few tiers less, it would still be enough for him to reach the entrance standard, so it would be better to be a temporary number one, and get famous to mix things up, but it's useless to pursue fast, look at SSS ranked Jiang Feng, this is the right way to play steadily, Jiang Feng is good, I think he has a chance to break the record, not only Jiang Feng, the other three SS are also very good, I think they all have a chance, there's also those SSS ranked ones, their rankings aren't too low now, I'm afraid the top rankings are all going to be wrapped up by them, that's right, in the past the top rankings were all S ranked, and occasionally there would be a few A ranked rankings that were good, but this year the guaranteed transfer was cancelled, and SS ranked and SSS ranked have entered the national examination, so I'm afraid that these S ranked and A ranked will have to be ranked behind them, this year's S level luck is not so good, not to mention the top, can enter the top 3050 even good, it can't be helped, the competition is too fierce this year, look at that Lin Tian, he's the first level 21 dragon master, I reckon that with this strength, there's a good chance that he'll be able to compete for first place in the past. In previous years, he could indeed be famous throughout the country, but it's really unlucky that he just happened to run into this year. Someone made a conclusion and said, I think this Lin Tian has almost reached his limit, and his speed of breaking through the barrier is starting to slow down. It wasn't long after he finished speaking. Immediately, someone exclaimed, Nope, this Lin Tian is starting to speed up again. The gazes of the crowd were once again drawn over, only to see that Lin Tian, who was ranked number one on the leaderboard of the trial tower. The number of floors following behind him suddenly began to climb at an ever-accelerating rate. Originally, his speed had gradually slowed down, but now it had accelerated again to the point where every 10 seconds, it would rise by one layer. Could it be that he still has energy left over from his all-out sprint until now? In the trial tower, Lin Tian had already pulled out his flame dragon lizard gun. He stabbed the foreign beast with one shot, 
then immediately traveled to the next floor without stopping his footsteps. The foreign beasts in the trial tower made him very speechless. He had already given up on the idea of honing practical combat. There was no other reason. The purpose of the beasts simulated in the trial tower was not to simulate actual combat, nor was it to test actual combat abilities. These foreign beasts, one by one, were all directly charging up to fight hard. The test is the candidate's basic combat ability. How is your four-dimensional attributes? How is the combat power of your vocational skills? It was not helpful at all for honing practical combat. Therefore, Lin Tian simply didn't waste any more time. He directly started the speed pass. Inside the invigilation room, the group of bigwigs from the Department of Education, as well as the principals of the various academies, had thought that Lin Tian had already lost his strength due to his all-out sprint. And now Lin Tian speeding up again completely shattered the crowd's original suspicions. Lin Tian has accelerated again. How did he do that? Didn't he start sprinting at full power a long time ago? Could it be that Lin Tian still has skills that can increase his battle power again after he sprints at full speed? Or is it that Lin Tian didn't even use his full power before, and wasn't sprinting at all? He was just breaking through the barrier normally? It's only now that he's truly sprinting at full power? How is that possible? If that record-breaking speed from before was all just a normal breakthrough, then how terrifying must this Dragon Master's strength be? Even if he's a level 21 second turn professional it's simply impossible for him to reach it. Then how are you going to explain Lin Tian's current breaking speed? There's never been a level 21 Dragon Master. Perhaps Dragon Masters are meant to be this kind of strength. This statement eventually convinced the crowd. They were also laughing at their previous guesses. What a full sprint. What a lack of strength. What no hope for first place just to make a name for themselves. All of them were jokes. Someone else, Lin Tian, was merely breaking through the barrier normally. The real all-out sprint had only just begun. This time, Lin Tian's name on the trial tower rankings attracted everyone's attention. The second and third had gone unnoticed. Just in the few moments they were arguing, Lin Tian had already reached the terrifying 55th floor. This layer wasn't something that no one could reach. And even for SS-ranked professions, this layer was not that difficult for everyone to do. But one had to realize that Lin Tian had only used this for how long? The second person, Zhang Feng, who was also an SS-ranked profession, had only just managed to enter the 35th layer at this point. The gap between the two people breaking through the barrier had widened from 10 or so floors, to 20 floors, and that was even if the levels Lin Tian was facing were even more difficult. Otherwise, the gap would only be bigger. Seeing this, the crowd realized that they had greatly underestimated Lin Tian, the unprecedented Dragon Master. Regardless of the final result, Lin Tian was the first in the trial tower or not. Just based on this terrifying breaking speed of Lin Tian, they could all be sure that Lin Tian was definitely one of the strongest few in the current session. Moreover, Lin Tian's final ranking couldn't be guessed by the crowd, but it definitely couldn't be lower. Now that he had reached more than 50 floors and his speed was still not decreasing, the number of floors that Lin Tian would eventually reach in this situation would not be lower than 69. Lin Tian's strength, coupled with his special occupation. In the past, as long as the principals of the various academies present knew about him, they would definitely choose to send him to their academies. Only now, there was no chance. Thinking about this, the two principals who originally had a chance once again glanced somewhat huffily at the two enrollment heads. Let's see what kind of strength the person you despise is. Principal I'm also. The head of divine emotion still wanted to explain, but was directly interrupted by Wen Qing Lu. You are also what? You do have a certain amount of autonomy. But when did I, divine clearance, have this rule of refusing someone's enrollment? You went AWOL and refused Lin Tian's enrollment. You're solely responsible for Lin Tian not entering divine Qing. Wen Qing Lu angrily rebuked him then continued to look at the leaderboards. His heart was dripping blood. Even though there were already SSS levels enrolled in divine clearance for this year's grand examination, which academy would have too many students like this? Previously, when Qing Lu, like everyone else, was still concerned about Lin Tian's special occupation, not treating Lin Tian as a true SSS-ranked professional, he was only concerned because of Lin Tian's rank 21. This was also the reason why he didn't take the first step to punish the person in charge of enrollment in Jiang Chang for making a punishment, but now Lin Tian had proved that he was a genuine SSS ranked professional, even if it was his divine clearance university, he wasn't able to enroll SSS ranked professionals every year, after all, even in a territory as large as the Dragon Kingdom, SSS class professionals did not appear every year, like this year, the situation of several appearing in one session was purely an accident, when Qing Lu glanced at the person in charge of enrollment in Jiangcheng, and even he, who was always known for being elegant and easygoing, was infuriated, just because of the stupid things this idiot did. He, Xin Chang, 
was missing a genuine SSS ranked professional. The duck that was in his hand was just let fly by the idiot. Originally, firing him was the upper limit of his punishment. But now, firing him was the lower limit of his punishment. When Qin Lu stopped looking at him and turned his head towards the leaderboard on the light screen, he was eager to see what kind of situation was going on inside the trial tower. The crowd's thoughts were the same as his. The people present were all people who had invigilated the national grand examination for an unknown number of times. However, Lin Tian, this perverse anomaly, still aroused their curiosity. What a pity that we can't see what's going on in the trial tower. There's no use being anxious. It's not like we don't have a chance if we want to see it. Let's wait for the trial tower to end and the second half to begin. This Lin Tian speed is finally starting to slow down. Not bad. Now we'll see how many floors he can last. It's already at the 60th floor. So it looks like he'll be able to make it to at least the 70th floor. Or maybe even break the previous record of 79 floors. I think it's hard. The 60th floor will start to slow down. I'm afraid he won't be able to hold out for 20 floors. Who knows if this Lin Tian will accelerate once more. These words caused all the people present to fall silent. Something that had already happened once. They didn't want to deny it. Lest they really get slapped in the face. However, the crowd thought in their hearts that it was impossible. For a professional who had just awakened for a month and a half to be able to accelerate once more on the 60th floor. That would be too shocking. Meanwhile, inside the trial tower, Lin Tian resolved the opponent in front of him in a few moves. The level of the Fade Beast he was facing now had come to level 40. This made him a little surprised. He didn't expect the difficulty of the trial tower to rise again. Before the 50th floor, the level of the Fade Beasts would increase by 5 levels every 10 floors. While at the 60th floor, the level of the Fade Beasts was directly increased by 10 levels from the 50th floor. However, Lin Tian quickly understood. The first 50 layers were meant to test the strength of ordinary candidates. The last 50 layers, on the other hand, were for geniuses. In order to separate the geniuses, Lin Tian didn't hesitate and entered the next level. The level of the foreign beast simulated by the trial tower had risen by another level, reaching level 41. With this level of foreign beast, Lin Tian could no longer kill it in one move in close combat. He would have to fight for a few moves and let the beast reveal its flaws before he could kill it with a single blow. Lin Tian didn't want to waste time with these simulated fey beasts. These simulated beasts couldn't even be used to hone their combat skills. However, if he wanted to directly kill a foreign beast of this level in seconds, he would have to use his skills. It was just that Lin Tian didn't intend to do so. Using skills was also consuming for him, and even if he used them, it wasn't his full strength. He decided to use his true full strength. It was time to end the trial tower as soon as possible. Come out. Little amazing. In the invigilation room, a group of principals were chatting about the candidates on the leaderboard, who had higher rankings. Principal 1. Your divine clearance has had good luck this time, recruiting two candidates with SSS ranked professions, and still one is currently ranked third and the other is ranked fourth. I think it's still better that Long Jing recruited better candidates, also two SSS ranked professions, although one is only ranked in the teens. The second ranked Zhang Feng also enrolled in Long Jing. Not bad, if Lin Tian is unable to follow up. Zhang Feng could potentially become number one, but those two candidates from Divine Clearance might not be unable to overtake Zhang Feng. Ha ha ha. How do you guys know that this Lin Tian won't be able to maintain his current momentum and take first place all the way? If this really happens, then I'm afraid that Longwu will be the luckiest this year. Regardless of whether Lin Tian ends up being number one or not, Longwu being able to recruit him is already considered to have gotten lucky and picked up a big leak. The crowd nodded as they heard this. Longwu had indeed gotten lucky this time. Picking up a good seedling like Lin Tian, if it wasn't for a reason, I'm afraid that this kind of genuine SSS ranked profession would never be Dragon Marshal's turn to recruit. The crowd was chatting. At this time, a voice came from outside the invigilation room. What kind of great luck did I, Long Wu, have, picked up some big leak? A middle-aged man walked into the invigilation room while continuing. I heard you guys say that I, Long Wu, got lucky and picked up a leak all the way out. Everyone looked at the middle-aged man only to see that the middle-aged man was wearing a set of camouflage combat uniform, which was still stained with spots of blood that had yet to dry, emitting a faint smell of blood. This middle-aged man who had arrived late was none other than Lu Xiaoxiong, the principal of the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Old Lu, why did you come so late? Went on another mission? Lu Xiaoxiong let out a bitter smile and said, the maritime border in that part of the pickle country wasn't too peaceful the other day, so didn't I follow a piece of it to deal with it? When I came back, I encountered another unusual large-scale marine alien beast attack, so that's why I came back late. The surrounding crowd nodded in understanding. Lu Xiaoxiong, as the principal of Langwu, 
was one of the few principals of major institutions who frequently went on missions. However, this was not surprising. Dragon Marshall's philosophy was that actual combat came first. Although the academy was somewhat declining now, no one dared to underestimate the students that came out of Dragon Marshall. As the principal of Langwu, Lu Xiaoxiong's strength was even higher than that of the bunch of principals present. Only when Qing Lu of Divine Chang and Zhu Daotan of Longjing were the only two whose strength could be compared to his. That's why they often became regulars when the military went on missions. By the way, when you guys said that I, Long Wu, got lucky, what kind of luck was it? Lu Xiaoxiong opened his mouth and asked. The crowd all looked at him with strange gazes. Afterward, he pointed at the leaderboard on the light screen. See for yourself. Lu Xiaoxiong looked over in the direction of the crowd's finger. He only saw the very candidate who was temporarily ranked first on the leaderboard. Lin Tian, SSS Class Profession Dragon Master, Level 21, applying to the Academy Dragon Country Martial Warfare University. The more Lu Xiaoxiong looked, the more alarmed he became. Whether it was the occupation of Dragon Master or the Rank 21, both surprised him, and the two together were even more shocking. It wasn't until he saw that the academy this candidate had applied to was none other than the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Only then did he realize what the crowd meant by getting lucky and picking up big leaks. Lu Xiaoxiong's heart burst with ecstasy. I didn't think that my Dragon Marshal would have the chance to recruit a SSS ranked profession. Ha 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 ha. Looks like this is an opportunity for my Longwu to rise again. Still number one on the trial tower rankings. Well well well. It's really great. Lu Xiaoxiong praised several times in a row. However, he also had some doubts and asked the crowd. Why didn't Lin Tian from our school apply for divine clearance or Longjing? Is it because he doesn't like it? Lu Xiaoxiong had already recognized Lin Tian as a student of Longwu. In reality, it was also true. Even if Lin Tian immediately withdrew from the trial tower, his grades were enough to enter Dragon Marshal. On the side, when the crowd heard Lu Xiaoxiong's question, they all gloated and laughed twice. Zhu Daotan of Dragon King, on the other hand, had an ugly face. Xin Cheng's Wen Xingliu's face was even more ugly. What was originally a duck in the hand had just flown into Lu Xiaoxiong's hands, but also by Lu Xiaoxiong such a face mockery, although this is not his intention. After the crowd explained to Lu Xiaoxiong, Lu Xiaoxiong became even more ecstatic. He directly said to both Wen Qinglu and Zhu Daotan, that I really have to thank the two principals. The two principals are deeply righteous and have recruited students with SS level professions, and also left us ordinary institutions a mouthful of soup to drink. If the inquiry just now was still unintentional, then his words were definitely naked mockery. Both Wen Qinglu and Zhu Daotan had ugly faces, but they were so angry that they didn't want to retort. After all, Lin Tian was indeed being served by them archly. Soon after, Lu Xiaoxiang brought over Long Wu's head of enrollment in Jiangcheng, that is, Zhou Yimin as well, and praised him profusely. The two of them, Wen Qinglu and Zhu Daotan, had an extremely difficult time listening. On the surface, they were praising their subordinates but anyone with a discerning eye could see that this was giving them eye candy. The principals of the surrounding institutions were also happy to see this. Divine Clearance and Longjing were the two topmost institutions in the Dragon Kingdom. The resources they were able to obtain each year were far more than other institutions. With more resources, as well as fame, the two academies were in turn able to recruit more students with potential. It could be said that for so many years the SS rank and SSS rank professions were almost all guaranteed to these two academies, all of which were encompassed by them. Now it was hard to come up with a SSS ranked career to Longwu. Lu Xiaoxiong was giving the two men eye candy like this. It was also considered to have given the group of principals a breath of air that had been pent up for years. Zhou Yimin, on the other hand, was so complimented that he was still confused and hadn't figured out what was happening. It was only when he inadvertently saw the leaderboard on the light screen that he realized what exactly the principal was praising him for. The name at the top of the leaderboard was clearly Lin Tian. Zhou Yimin instantly froze. He had originally thought that Lin Tian had been unlucky enough to enter this particular session of the national examination, and would have lost the chance to originally make a name for himself throughout the country. But now, it seemed that even with the other competitors of SS rank and SSS rank professions, Lin Tian was still the strongest one. This greatly exceeded his expectations. The two of them, Wen Qinglu and Zhu Daotan, couldn't help but be squeezed by Lu Xiaoxiong. Don't be complacent either, although Lin Tian is temporarily leading. The results of the trial tower don't depend on speed. They only depend on the final number of floors. Lin Tian has started to decelerate now, while Jiang Feng from our school is still going steady. Xu Daotan also added from the side. Good. Temporarily leading doesn't mean that you can always lead. As long as it's not over yet, who can't say who will be first in the end? My school's two SSS level professionals, who are also in the third and fourth place, and the gap between them and Jiang Feng is equally small. 
It's not as if there isn't a chance to be first. The two men's words had just fallen. Before Lu Xiaoxiong could open his mouth to retort, someone could be heard exclaiming, Lin Tian's speed has returned again. He's going to be even faster this time. When the crowd of education division bigwigs and principals of the various academies heard this exclamation, they all turned their heads to look at the trial tower ranking on the light screen. All of them revealed incredulous gazes. The crowd only saw that Lin Tian, who was originally ranked number one, at this moment, after slowing down for a while, the speed of passing the barrier did not become slower, but instead, it became faster. Lin Tian's speed of passing the barrier was simply so fast that it terrorized the crowd. They couldn't see what was going on in the trial tower. They could only see that the number of trial tower floors behind Lin Tian's name was constantly being refreshed. Every few seconds, it would be refreshed. This kind of terrifying speed of passing the test was unheard of. Even for these bigwigs present who had participated in an unknown number of national exams and could be said to have seen a lot of things. Lin Tian. How the hell did he do that? A voice asked with some trembling. Everyone present was silent. They also wanted to know the answer to this question. The first time they had thought that Lin Tian was sprinting at full power. They had been slapped in the face and Lin Tian was just breaking through the barrier at an ordinary speed. Just now. They thought for a second time that Lin Tian had finally brought out his true strength. But now they were slapped in the face again. They couldn't imagine how a level 21 Lin Tian managed to cross the barrier at such a speed. Even the person who had once set a record for the 79th floor of the National Grand Examination Refining Tower, the speed at which he broke through the barrier was a far cry from Lin Tian. A familiar voice broke the silence. Do you guys think Lin Tian could really have a dragon? The voice came weakly. It was none other than Principal Zhang who had mentioned this claim before. The last time he made this guess, it caused the crowd to laugh. This time, the crowd was not laughing at him, but remained silent. It wasn't that the crowd believed the claim. Having a giant dragon is nonsense. But it doesn't matter if Lin Tian doesn't have a giant dragon. The strength he has displayed has surpassed all the candidates. To the crowd, whether Lin Tian had a dragon or not didn't matter at all. What mattered was that Lin Tian, the dragon master, was about to take first place in the national grand examination for the first time in history. So what if he didn't have a dragon? The strength he displayed still far exceeded, and even crushed, all of the current year's candidates. At least the target of the trial tower test, Lin Tian's four-dimensional attributes as well as the panel strength of all aspects of his skills were indeed difficult for others to match. Otherwise, it was impossible to have such a terrifying speed of passing, while the crowd was each calming their minds. Less than two minutes had passed. On the leaderboard, Lin Tian's number of levels in the trial tower had already come to 75. There were only the last four floors left for the trial tower record for the national grand examination. As long as Lin Tian successfully passed four more layers, he would be able to equal the record. And if he could go one step further and pass the 80th floor, he would set a new history for the national grand examination. The crowd didn't doubt for a second that Lin Tian could do it. By now, even the two principals, Wen Xinglu and Zhu Daotan, had lost interest in fighting, regardless of which side they were on. It was already clear. It was simply impossible for their respective two SSS-ranked professional candidates to compete with Lin Tian for first place in this year's national grand examination. Even Zhang Feng, who was ranked second, was out of reach for Lin Tian. Both of them, like the others, were unconsciously looking towards Lu Xiaoxiong, their gazes filled with envy and jealousy. The first candidate of the current session was still the first of the cliff. It was even a cliff first in a session of the grand examination where the competition was unprecedentedly fierce. The gold content of this first place was just terrifyingly high. It could be said that the top few who finally stood out in this grand examination, placed in any session of the grand examination, they would have easily grabbed the first place and made a name for themselves throughout the country. But when they converged on this grand examination, it should have been a scene of a group of heroes competing for the top spot. It turned out that Lin Tian alone was the leader. The other top few candidates who were also amongst people all seemed somewhat worthless in front of him. When Xing Lu and Zhu Daotan, each looked at the head of enrollment, both of them exuded a gaze that wanted to kill. Lin Tian, who could have been recruited, had missed out because of this kind of bullshit. It really made the two men's heart strip blood. Lin Tian's strength had caused the crowd to lose the mindset of watching the top few catching up with each other. Everyone's gazes converged on the first name on the leaderboard. They only wanted to know one thing right now. Just how many layers could Lin Tian reach? In the Tower of Trials, a terrifying giant dragon was flying. And if it wasn't for the fact that the space within the trial tower was large enough, he wouldn't even be able to stretch out his wings. The giant dragon was obviously Little Amazing. Little Amazing spat out a mouthful of flame and easily resolved the opponent in front of him. This simulated Fey Beast was already the target of the 79th floor. The level was also at level 59. Lin Tian had at most fought against level 50 alien beasts in the wild. 
But level 59 didn't make much of a difference to little amazing. But level 60 was a different story. Lin Tian looked towards the steps leading to the next level. The next level was the 80th level of the trial tower. As long as he broke through the next level, he would have set a new record for the trial tower on the national exam. Although he didn't know the situation in the outside world, but he was certain that he had definitely reached his goal. The gazes of the bigwigs who were now paying attention to the grand exam had all converged on him. Lin Tian traveled to the 80th floor. He knew that the foreign beasts on this layer would not be so easy to deal with. After the 50th floor, even though it was true that the level of the foreign beasts increased by one level for every level up, but the increase in difficulty wasn't so linear. Every 10 levels of the trial tower, the foreign beasts would turn into a more difficult type to deal with. And the 80th level, it was a qualitative change. The reason was naturally simple. A level 60 fey beast had already reached the fourth turn. There was only a one level difference in level. But the difference in strength between a fourth turn and a third turn could be said to be a world of difference. Obviously the SSS level professional who set the record last time had fallen to the level 80th turn 4 foreign beast. Just because the former would fail, it didn't mean that he would fail as well. Without the slightest hesitation, Lin Tian stepped into the 80th floor. Inside the invigilator room, the gazes of the crowd were staring at the light screen expectantly. What they were looking at was of course Lin Tian's name. The number of layers behind Lin Tian's name had changed to the 79th layer, which meant that Lin Tian had already passed the 79th layer, tying the previous record. Now the number of layers behind Lin Tian's name had stayed for a while. This meant that he was conquering the 80th floor of the trial tower. The crowd was waiting, waiting for Lin Tian to fail or succeed. A few moments of effort passed. Under the crowd's expectant gazes, the number behind Lin Tian's name flashed. He succeeded. Lin Tian really succeeded. Lin Tian has set a new record. Zhou Yimin, the head of Long Wu's enrollment, directly exclaimed in shock. He was originally not qualified to be here at all. But now that he was able to have this opportunity and even witnessed history, he was naturally excited. Hiss. The crowd of bigwigs present also let out gusts of cool air. Discussions were endless. Since Lin Tian was able to pass the 80th, he won't stop here. Lin Tian had created a new history. This caused a murmur in the invigilator room. Everyone knew that Lin Tian was able to defeat a level 64th turn foreign beast. It couldn't be that he just happened to only be able to defeat such a foreign beast. He would definitely advance again. The truth was just as they had predicted. Sometime later, the number behind Lin Tian's name on the leaderboard flashed once more, passing the 81st floor. The crowd's hearts, provoked by Lin Tian's history making, hadn't even had time to calm down before a new curiosity arose. What do you guys say? Just how many layers can Lin Tian reach? After pondering for a moment, the crowd each gave their answers. I see that he was able to defeat a level 64th turning Fey Beast, and even though it took a bit of time, it doesn't look like he's fighting for his life, so I think he'll be able to go up to at least 10 more levels. I think it's about the same, around the 90th floor. Nah, I think Lin Tian can at least reach the 99th floor. I think so too. Except for the last layer where he reaches the level 85th turn foreign beasts. Solving the foreign beasts in front of him will be a matter of length of time for him. The crowd's insights were divided into two types. The former thought that Lin Tian's limit was around the 90th floor of the trial tower. The latter believed that Lin Tian's limit was more than that. Being able to reach all the way to the 99th floor before he finally fell defeated at the 100th floor. But no matter which one it was, it was terrifying enough for the crowd. The SSS ranked professional who had set a record of 79 floors last time was undoubtedly the strongest amongst professionals of the same level. But even so, it still fell on the 80th floor. The reason for this was that the level of the Fey Beast had come to level 60, the fourth turn. Each turn of a professional was a rift, and the further back they went, the more so. For these novice professionals to defeat a level 60 turn 4 beast, it was as difficult as climbing into the sky. Not being able to do it wasn't a dish, it was well deserved. Those who could do it could only be described as the genius of geniuses, the demon of demons. The gazes of the crowd converged on the name of Lin Tian on the leaderboard. Lin Tian's speed of passing was nowhere near as fast as before, but it was still rising, slowly but firmly. Lin Tian's presence had caused the crowd of bigwigs to no longer have time to pay attention to the others. At this time, there were already many candidates who had reached their limits and ended their trials. Returning to the examination space. In the examination space, there was a light screen in the area of each battle city. Although there was no information about the candidates on the light screen, it equally presented the rankings of the trial tower, the battle city they belonged to and a name plus a number. Candidates who had exited the trial paid attention to the leaderboard. Most of them looked for their names on the leaderboard. However, there were only the first thousand names on the leaderboard. The vast majority of them were destined to not find themselves. A group of candidates talked to the students around them. 
Crap, how come the leaderboard is full of 50-something tiers, is it at least 40-odd layers? The hell are they cheating? That's right, newbie professionals are only a dozen levels at most, and after the 40th floor of the trial tower are all level 25 plus alien beasts, how could they possibly defeat them? Hee <laughs> hee, you guys are just frogs in the bottom of the well. That's right, don't even look at what level profession you are and what level others are. You, a deranked C-ranked profession, certainly can't comprehend what kind of battle power other people's A-ranked and S-ranked professions would be. This year's big exam is more than that. There are SS-ranked and even SS-ranked professions joining this year. The ones at the top of the list should be these two levels, right? The crowd murmured, and their gazes looked towards the top of the leaderboard. The third place, LV Zhuangji from the capital, should be it. And second place, Jiang Feng from Magic City, definitely too. I think the fourth place, Helian Fei, also from the capital, should be too. That's right, these three are at about the same progress. All currently at over 60 floors, they should all be SSS class professionals. The gap between the fifth place and the top four. There's a break, they should be SSS ranked professions. The gazes of the crowd ended up looking at the first name on the leaderboard. Lin Tian from Jiang City. The tier number was clearly 85. What's the deal with this Lin Tian? How could someone have 85 layers? The highest record for the trial tower in previous grand exams was only 79 floors. Could it be that he's actually the only one who's SSS ranked? Everyone else is only SSS ranked? Impossible. At least the top 5 are. Otherwise, it's impossible to enter more than 60 floors at this time now. Why can this Lin Tian be so far ahead? It's even a new record. He's from Jiangcheng. Where is Jiangcheng? Candidates from all over the country were stunned by the number of layers that followed the name Lin Tian. If it wasn't for the people around them who had also seen it, they would have even wondered if they had misread it. This year was the most special session of the grand examination. It could be said that it was a gathering of heroes. And this Lin Tian had managed to lead off a cliff. What exactly was his origin? It was actually from an unheard of small town. At this moment, the area of the candidates from Jiang Cheng had already been sensationalized long ago. When they saw the first place winner, Lin Tian, from Jiang City, everyone erupted into a cheer. Cheers for Lin Tian making history. Of course they didn't recognize Lin Tian. But Jiang City had never come out first in a grand exam, and now that Lin Tian, as a candidate from Jiang City, had come out on top, they naturally felt inexplicably proud, and this was the first time that Jiang City had become so famous. Many of the candidates from Jiang Cheng began to search for the school where Lin Tian was. There were only so many schools in Jiang Cheng in total, and soon they found the third middle school. When the same classmates who had entered the examination room with Lin Tian were asked by the crowd, they all felt a little confused. They were still wondering if it was the same name. However, as Lin Tian's experience was told, everyone was convinced that the Lin Tian who was number one on the leaderboard at the moment was definitely the Lin Tian of the third middle school. Whether it was dominating the number one spot for three years or awakening a SSS level occupation, it was all too convincing. The Jiang Chen crowd didn't know how the Dragon Master had managed to do all of this though, but what the hell? It was just enough that Lin Tian was number one, and it was enough that this Lin Tian was from Jiang Cheng. As time passed, more and more candidates ended their trials and were teleported out one by one. In the end, only those who were at the top of the list remained, still struggling to advance in the trial tower. Yang Qi also reached his limit and ended the trial. He only passed the 57th floor before reaching his limit, and was defeated by a foreign beast on the 58th floor before being teleported out. As soon as Yang Qi was teleported out, he was surrounded by people asking questions, asking questions related to Lin Tian. He immediately thought of what had happened turning his head towards the leaderboards. Sure enough, first place Lin Tian. This Lin Tian was from Jiang City. Who else could it be? Of course it was his Yang Qi's good brother. Yang Qi was ecstatic inwardly. Even if this year's grand examination reform had included so many SS and SSS ranked professionals. So what? It still wasn't for Lin Tian to take first place. Alas, you guys are unaware that my brother Tian was gifted from a young age. When he was 8 years old he was. Yang Qi. Surrounded by a crowd of Jiang Cheng candidates, began to talk a lot. Although he didn't even know Lin Tian yet when he was 8 years old, it didn't affect his marvelous narration. In the trial tower, the ones at the top of the list were still holding on. Jiang Feng, LV Zhuangji, and Helian Fei, were all holding on for the sake of breaking the record. But time passed by minute by minute. They were all approaching their limits as well. In the end, some of the three managed to break through the 80th floor, while others failed. But regardless of success or failure, all three thought they were good enough to be number one. The three were teleported out back and forth. The first thing they did was look at the trial tower leaderboards. Jiang Feng had used all his strength to break through to the 80th floor, but he had also reached his limit. 
At the 81st floor, he used all his strength and finally managed to pass. Finally, at the 82nd floor, he was completely at his wit's end, and was defeated by the Fade Beast to end the trial. The situation of the trial tower, he had understood some of it. However, because he had been bailed out before, he didn't know much about it. After actually experiencing it, he realized that the trial tower was harder than he expected. As a SSS ranked professional, he thought that he wasn't weaker than anyone else. He had also heard about the previous record of the trial tower. The same record of 79 floors was set by a SSS ranked professional. After he awakened his SSS class profession, he had inexplicably gained a surge of confidence and had thought that he would be much stronger than that person. Not to mention passing the trial tower, but at least he would be able to reach the 90th floor or so. Now this result hadn't occurred to him. Zhang Feng only felt in his heart that he was still overconfident. It was good that he was an SS ranked professional, but the person who had previously set the record was likewise, and judging from the results of the trial tower, he was a little bit stronger than that person, but only to a limited extent. It seemed that he was just a little bit lucky to have awakened a SSS ranked profession, the others might not be that much worse than him. Zhang Feng didn't have useless pride, but adjusted his mindset in due time. However, he wasn't discouraged. This result was a little worse than he had expected, but it was also enough. Since he felt that it was difficult, the others must be the same, and since his actual result was quite a bit worse than expected, the others couldn't run away with it either. What's more, he had set a new record, past the 81st floor. In Jiang Feng's opinion, this achievement was enough for him to take first place in the national grand examination. Jiang Feng, who had been defeated by the 82nd floor alien beast, was also teleported back to the examination space with a white light. Zhang Feng's thoughts weren't his alone. LV Zhangji and Helian Fei, who were also SSSS ranked professionals, also held the same thoughts as Zhang Feng. Both of them were defeated by the foreign beasts on the next level after passing the 80th level, one level less than Zhang Feng. The three were teleported back and forth into the examination space. They immediately looked at the leaderboard on the light screen. Third place, Capital City, Helian Fei, final score 80th floor. Third place, Capital City, Lu Zhani, final score 80th floor. The two of them, LV Zhani and Helian Fei, both saw their names on the leaderboard and their pupils shrank. They hadn't expected that they had set a new record, but neither of them had finished first. Rather, they were tied due to the fact that both of them ended up passing the same number of layers. What they hadn't expected was that the ranking they tied for was not even second, but third. Seeing this scene, both of them knew that they had underestimated the intensity of the competition in this grand examination. Both of them were a bit unconvinced in their hearts. With such a high level of difficulty, could there still be someone who could break through the 80th floor? One had to know that they were already SSS level professionals. The level had even reached level 18. Even so, they were unable to take first place. This also brought out an extra point of curiosity in the hearts of the two. Just what kind of people had they lost to? The two men's gazes continued to look upwards. Second place, Mordor, Zhang Feng, final grade level 81. At this moment, Zhang Feng's gaze also froze. Both of them, Lu Zhangji and Helian Fei, had only lost him by one layer. This made him realize that he wasn't the only heavenly talent in the world. In fact, he only needed to make one more slip and mistake at the end, and his score would be the same as the two. The difference between everyone was probably only in millimeters. What caused him to fall into a stupor even more was the big, brightly colored three words of second place in front of his name. As a SSS ranked profession, he had even reached an extremely terrifying level 19 for the candidates. On top of the original trial tower record, he had broken through two levels in a row. Surprisingly, he hadn't taken the first place yet? A question appeared in Zhang Feng's mind, just like LV Zhuangji and Helian Fei. Where exactly was the first place? The three of them climbed up the leaderboard with their eyes. First place, Zhang Chang, Lin Tian, Current achievement 98th floor. When the three saw the first on the leaderboard, within their hearts was the same as everyone else. First, a question rose, where is Zhang Chang? Then, the eyes of the three of them followed the trend and saw the achievement. The three of them were immediately shocked within their hearts. The 98th floor? How is this possible? The three of them were all having trouble accepting the image in front of them, rubbing their eyes vigorously, suspecting that they were hallucinating. If it was a difference of one or two layers, the trio wouldn't be so far off. Something like Zhang Feng being one level higher than LV Zhangji and Helian Fei was acceptable to both of them. Zhang Feng's thoughts were the same. Seeing himself second, he was only slightly shocked inwardly. At the same time, he also sighed at the fact that there was a world outside of people. Even though he had reached level 19 as a SSS ranked professional, he still lost. But the picture in front of them was more than just a little bit more than that. 
the three of them hadn't lost by a single star. Rather, they were losing big. The 98th floor. It wasn't even on a level above the three of them. Almost 20 floors behind them. What kind of concept is that? The three of them couldn't even imagine it. They were already SSS class professionals. There was no profession in the world higher than this, and their levels weren't low either. They were only one or two levels away from the second turn. How was it possible for someone to have shaken off them by so much? How in the world did it happen? The three hearts were inwardly shocked, but their curiosity and doubts had also reached their peak. Moreover, this guy named Lin Tian, the display after his name was the 98th level of his current achievement. In other words, this Lin Tian hadn't finished the trial yet. He was trying to conquer the 99th floor after passing the 98th floor. Crazy. Too crazy. This made the three of them unable to even rise up with envy and jealousy. They were only left with the most basic of expectations. Looking forward to this fellow named Lin Tian and seeing if he could create a new history. Passing through the trial tower. The curiosity in the hearts of the three made them want to find someone to ask. But turning their heads, they took a look. On the endless space of the examination center, people were crowded but silent. Everyone's gazes were fixed on the light screen. The crowd couldn't even blink their eyes. They were afraid that if they blinked, they would miss an important moment. Seeing this scene, the three of them also pressed down their curiosity and gazed at the leaderboards, waiting for the moment when the final results would come out. In previous years, at this time of the great examination, all the candidates had already finished the trial tower, and according to the usual practice, the second half should be ready to begin. But now, no one raised an objection. It was only because there was still one person in the trial tower today. The group of bigwigs and principals of the various academies in the invigilation room were also paying attention. Each of them had an extraordinary status. But the looks they were showing right now were no different from the candidates in the outside world. Everyone fell into silence, quietly waiting for that moment to come. The crowd's nervousness at this moment was even greater than when they were in the trial tower. And many of their clenched fists had hot sweat on their palms. Amidst the attention of the crowd, the leaderboard jumped a little. First place, Zhang Chang, Lin Tian. Current score is 99 floors low. 99 layers. He made it. In the trial tower. Lin Tian lay down on the ground panting. On the side. Little Amazing was also lying on the ground. And for the first time. He didn't have his usual calmness. Quite a few scars appeared on Little Amazing's body. This was the first time since he was born. Moreover. This first injury was not light. And his fighting strength had already decreased. Lin Tian looked towards the steps leading to the final level. He had already been forced out of his full strength at this level, and was not too far from the limit. On the last level, he did not have any certainty. After all, the level of the foreign beasts on the last level would be level 80. Level 80 was the fifth turn. The strength of the beasts had changed once again. There was no doubt that the final level boss was far superior to the beast he had just killed. To be honest, Lin Tian himself felt that he had no chance of winning. However, this didn't mean that he chose to give up. He had already come here. So what if he lost? Even if he lost he still wanted to see with his own eyes how terrifying a level 85th turn foreign beast would be. There was no hesitation. Lin Tian dragged his heavy body and firmly walked towards the last floor. Roar dash. Little amazing roared. Also responding to Lin Tian's footsteps, spreading his wings and flying towards the last floor. The 100th layer. A holy light spilled down. It landed on Lin Tian and little amazing. Lin Tian clenched his fist. The tower of trials restored his status every 10 floors. And now he was back at the peak. Dang, dang, knock, a heavy sound rang out. The bottom boss of the 100th floor of the level also revealed its true form. Lin Tian looked up as if he saw a small mountain coming towards him. The figure that covered the sky and the sun shrouded him in shadow. Mountain moving troll. Level, 80. Strength, 3126. Agility, 820. Physique, 4328. Spirit, 31. Troll flesh, passive. LV5 Troll's flesh is naturally strong and immune to 25% damage. Slam, active. LV7 Slam with boulder-like fists for damage. Slam Stomp, active. LV6 Slam on the ground with hardened feet for damage. The panel of the mountain moving troll was displayed in front of Lin Tian's eyes. It directly caused Lin Tian's breath to stutter. This terrifying panel was enough to make him despair. More than 3000 strength, more than 4000 physique. Even though the troll's agility was very low, and its spirit was even more pathetic. The combination still far exceeded Little Yen. There was no way. Little amazing. As a dragon. No matter how terrifying it was. After all. The level was placed here. No matter what. It was impossible to catch up to a level 85th turn fey beast. Although the troll had two shortcomings. Agility and spirit. This low 31 points of spirit. Placed on top of such a huge body as the troll. 
could be said to be no different from being retarded. However, for a level 80 turn 5 troll, there was no need for any IQ to deal with him. The panel attributes were already crushed. Lin Tian couldn't see any chance of winning, but after all, he had come. Lin Tian carefully observed the troll. If it was hard to say that he had any chance of winning, that was that this was the trial tower, not the real wilderness. The foreign beasts in the trial tower were all flawed. These simulated foreign beasts were only there to test the candidate's panel attributes and skill combat power. All of them were fighting the candidates hard. In this regard, the simulated fade beasts were far less cunning than the real fade beasts in the wilderness. Compared to the real fey beasts, the strength of the simulated foreign beasts was going to be greatly reduced. Lin Tian was very clear. Even if he synthesized all the shortcomings of the mountain moving troll in front of him, his chances of winning were still slim. The little amazing, who had a huge figure, also looked inadequate in front of the mountain moving troll at this moment. Lin Tian was even smaller than an ant when placed at the feet of the mountain moving troll. But even so, Lin Tian still did not intend to give up. Without making any attempts or efforts, he chose to admit defeat and resign to his fate. That was not his style. A set of black armor appeared on Lin Tian's body surface, and the lance that suddenly appeared in his hand burned with crimson flames. The mountain moving troll sensed the tiny little dot in front of him, clenching up its fist like a giant rock. It slammed down towards Lin Tian, sensing Lin Tian's determination. Little Yan also ignited his fighting spirit. The pride of the giant dragon also did not allow him to bow down to any existence other than Lin Tian. Roar dash. A roar pierced through the sky. Little Amazing spread his wings and flew to block Lin Tian's head. The troll's fist fell and smashed into the Little Amazing that was guarding Lin Tian. Little Amazing's huge body immediately sank, and his four claws clutched the ground in a death grip. If it wasn't in the trial tower, the ground would have crumbled. In terms of panel attributes, although there was a huge gap between Little Amazing and the mountain moving troll, don't forget that Little Amazing was a giant dragon. Even with such a huge attribute gap, the moving mountain giant troll's punch couldn't bring much damage to Little Amazing. Lin Tian did not have the certainty of defeating the mountain moving troll. However, if the mountain moving troll wanted to defeat him and Little Amazing, it would never be easy either. The mountain moving troll was unable to smash Little Amazing to the ground with his punch on his rocky spine. The two were in a stalemate. Lin Tian didn't stay idle. He knew that Little Amazing wouldn't last long. He directly dodged onto the Little Amazing's back, stopped his foot hard, and his figure turned into a stump running down the troll's arm and towards its head. The flames on the lance in Lin Tian's hand grew more and more intense. A channel of magma also flowed up on it. He had already brewed up a round of initiate fire dragon's breath. When Lin Tian ran to the troll's shoulder, he saw the right moment and leapt up to stab the lance in his hand towards the troll's right eye. A pillar of blazing fire wrapped in magma burst out from the head of the lance and stabbed straight towards the troll's eyeball. The troll sensed the danger, but it was too late to dodge. Ow. A painful hissing sound came from the troll's mouth. The body, like a small mountain, retreated several steps in a row, and Lin Tian was shaken down. When the troll's hand covering his right eye was lowered, Lin Tian felt pity in his heart. The mountain moving troll was too late to dodge his blow, but it still had time to close its eyes. One could only see that the troll's right eyelid had turned into a scorched black and was still continuously emitting black smoke. The eyeball wasn't really damaged though. However, this strike's success also gave Lin Tian and Little Yan a glimmer of hope. Even if the chances were slim, as long as one of them and one of the dragons worked together, victory or defeat was not yet known. In the examination space, Lin Tian passed the 99th floor, causing everyone to get excited. And the fact that Lin Tian hadn't come out of the trial tower yet now meant that he was conquering the final floor of the trial tower. This was even more exciting for the crowd. Whether it was the national examinees or the group of principals and bigwigs in the supervisory room, they were all patiently waiting for Lin Tian's final result. This wait was the passage of a small half day. The small half-day wait did not make the crowd feel bored. As time passed, they became more and more excited. The longer the time went on, it proved that the more intense the battle was. It also meant that Lin Tian might actually have a chance and achieve the ultimate victory. Originally, the group of bigwigs and principals who understood the trial tower did not think that Lin Tian would be able to defeat the foreign beast on the last floor. After all, that was a foreign beast that was as high as a level 85th turn. But now a small half-day had passed. On the leaderboard, Lin Tian had yet to display his final score. He was still in the middle of a fierce battle. This caused the hearts of the group of big brother principals to be shaken. Another small half day passed. The time consumed by Lin Tian on the last floor had already exceeded the total of the previous 99 floors. But the battle was still going on. No one was impatient. And no one terminated it early. The nation's candidates were all excitedly anticipating the results. The crowd of bigwig principals, too, 
knew that this might be the only chance to possibly pass the trial tower in the national examination. Just as the crowd waited patiently, the light curtain that had been stagnant for half a day finally flickered. First place, Zhang Chang, Lin Tian, final score 100th floor, in the trial tower. Lin Tian recalled the scene just now with palpitations in his heart. He and Little Yen had been fighting until the last moment, completely out of gas. Little Amazing had fallen into a near-death state during the battle with the mountain-moving troll. He had also fallen to the ground with serious injuries and lost his ability to fight. If the mountain-moving troll had swung one more punch at the end, or had lasted another half a minute, then he would have been the one to lose. However, it was good that the mountain-moving troll was in a worse state than him and Little Yen, and died before them. It allowed him to successfully pass the last floor of this trial tower. After defeating the mountain-moving troll, a holy light restored both him and Little Yen to their peak state. Afterwards, Lin Tian was not immediately teleported out. A voice rang out in the trial tower. Congratulations to the challenger, who has successfully passed the primary trial tower. Rewards are being distributed. Hearing the voice, Lin Tian froze. It wasn't the voice of the system. It was clearly coming from the trial tower. Elementary trial tower? Could it be that there were still high-level trial towers in existence? A trace of doubt flashed through Lin Tian's heart, but he didn't think much about it. He was still more concerned about what rewards the trial tower would give out. A ball of light floated in front of Lin Tian's eyes. Lin Tian willed himself to do so and put his hand into the ball of light, instantly absorbing it. After absorbing the ball of light, Lin Tian's pupils all shrank violently. The reward given by the trial tower was unexpectedly a talent. Previously, because of the system's reward, Lin Tian had possessed a divine grade talent, Dragon God. Now he had unexpectedly obtained another talent. The generosity of the trial tower was beyond Lin Tian's imagination. He had originally thought that the trial tower would give a reward of high value. However, he did not expect that the reward given by the trial tower was a talent that could be considered priceless. It was also a legendary grade talent that was second only to a god grade talent among talents. Lin Tian opened his panel and looked at the talent introduction. Legendary talent, Mimicry Mastery. Mimicry Mastery, active randomly learn a skill that touches the target. Cooldown time one month. Seeing the talent introduction, Lin Tian burst into ecstasy. This talent was completely worthy of the title of legendary grade talent. By touching a target, one could randomly learn one of the target's skills. Don't underestimate this talent. Although it was randomly learned, could not be actively controlled, and had a one-month cooldown. As time went on, the benefits that this talent could bring him were getting higher and higher. As long as he used it more, he could always randomly learn powerful skills. It could even be said that if it wasn't for the random learning, and the one-month cooldown restriction, this talent would undoubtedly be a god-tier talent. After receiving the reward, Lin Tian took Little Yen back to the Dragon Harness Ranch. He also returned to the examination space with a white light. He did it. He really did it. We're witnessing history here. This is still the first examinee to pass the trial tower. Where's Lin Tian? Has he come out yet? I must see him. What he really looks like. As soon as Lin Tian returned to the examination space, then he heard strong cheers erupting all over the room, hearing the chatter amongst them. He immediately understood what was going on and turned his head to look at the leaderboard on the light screen. Sure enough, he was number one and was way ahead of number two. Both Yang Qi and Ling Qingran were waiting for Lin Tian. As soon as Lin Tian appeared, the two came to his side. Yang Qi unexpectedly didn't stagger this time. The reason was also because he didn't want to cause trouble for Lin Tian. After all, the whole place was now in a frenzy because of him. But even if he didn't speak, some people had noticed Lin Tian appearing. The news spread like a chain reaction. Candidates from all over Jiang City were gathering in Lin Tian's direction, consciously or unconsciously. Lin Tian could feel many gazes of admiration, worship, and even fervor. These were not something he wanted to endure. But before the crowd could start harassing him, there was someone who relieved him. Only three rays of light lit up from Lin Tian, Yang Qi, and Ling Qingran's bodies, directly teleporting them to another place. Along with them, there were also some other candidates who were teleported over. Waiting for Lin Tian's trio once again was none other than Zhou Yimin who had recruited them into the Dragon Marshal. Zhou Yimin informed the three of them that they were the outstanding candidates of this year's Longwu, and that they were going to be received by the principal of Longwu, Lu Xiaoxiong. In a moment, the other candidates who had been teleported over were received by the principals of the major institutions. Lin Tian's trio followed Zhou Yimin in a direction. Lin Tian noticed that this direction was not the same as the direction that the others were heading to. Other than the three of them, there were four other people who were in this direction. On the way, Lin Tian learned about the grand exams of both Ling Qingran and Yang Qi. Ling Qingran's ranking was 109th. This achievement was already quite good. If it wasn't for the fact that this year's grand examination was special, 
with the inclusion of SS ranked and SSS ranked candidates, then Ling Qingran would definitely be able to make it into the top 100 in the country. Yang Qi's ranking was also very good, coming in at 398th place, although he was almost 300 places worse than Ling Qingran, but Yang Qi was only an A ranked profession, so this result was already quite good. The other four, too, climbed a few words with Lin Tian. Lin Tian learned that these four people were the other four SSS ranked professions besides him in this year's grand examination. On the examination space, he roughly scanned the top of the leaderboard. Zhang Feng, LV Zhuangji, and Helian Fei were all in the top four. And the one remaining girl was Qi Yunshui in eighth place. Being in eighth place wasn't because she was too weak. The real reason was her profession, which was an auxiliary profession rather than a main combat profession. Although the scenarios that auxiliary professions faced in the trial tower were different from the main combat professions, which were mainly auxiliary. However, in the case of the same level of profession at the same level, the number of layers that an auxiliary profession could reach was still much less than the main combat profession. The standards for admitting auxiliary professions to the various university campuses were also a bit looser than the main battle professions, so the fact that she was located in the 8th place was definitely not due to weakness. Instead, it proved that her profession was strong enough. Soon, the few people arrived inside the invigilation room. A bunch of bigwigs and principals were waiting for these few people, or rather they were all waiting for Lin Tian. As soon as Lin Tian walked into the invigilation room, the crowd of bigwigs and principals all gathered around and looked at Lin Tian carefully as if they were studying aliens, but in the end, they didn't see any names. At this time, a middle-aged man in camouflage combat uniform stood behind Lin Tian, as if backing him up. Lin Tian could see that this was obviously his future principal, Lu Xiaoxiong. The crowd could only see that Lin Tian was unusually handsome. Other than that they couldn't see anything famous. Someone couldn't help but ask directly, Lin Tian, you're a dragon master. How did you rise to level 21 without a giant dragon? And how did you have this kind of strength? Even managed to pass the 100th floor of the trial tower. Upon hearing this, Lin Tian hesitated for a moment before he was ready to tell the truth. He wasn't prepared to hide it. He had already gained first place in the national grand examination. The purpose of making a name for himself had already been achieved, and the bigwigs and various principals present knew him. The country's protection for him would definitely be less, and there was no need to be concerned about saying it now. But before he could open his mouth, Lu Xiaoxiong immediately blocked. No way, how can I tell you guys about this kind of thing? If Lin Tian tells you guys now, won't he be giving away his bottom card in advance? If you guys then tell the candidates of your own academy. Won't Lin Tian suffer a big loss in the second half of the journey? You guys can just wait for the second half of the grand exam if you want to know. Lin Tian will show it sooner or later anyway. The principals present were certainly not above doing such a thing. Asking this question was also entirely out of bursting curiosity. But Lu Xiaoxiong was also right. And with the words at this point, it was not good for them to ask this question more. That's right, Lin Tian. What kind of reward did you get for clearing the trial tower? That's right, Lin Tian. What reward did you obtain for clearing the trial tower? I don't know who asked. Lin Tian was also stunned when he heard this. Afterwards, Longwu principal Lu Xiaoxiang explained, We've always known that we can obtain a reward for clearing the trial tower. But what exactly this reward is? We've never known. Why don't you pass through once and try? Lin Tian said with some doubt. Lu Xiaoxiang shook his head. The trial tower on the national grand examination is only an initial trial tower. Trial towers have restrictions on transfers. The beginner level trial tower can only be entered by first turn professionals. It's not like we haven't tried before. We've also gotten some guaranteed SSS ranked professionals to break through the trial tower. And we've even tried to let a level 25 SSS ranked professional who hadn't yet performed a second turn breakthrough, but he was only able to reach the 85th floor. No one has ever managed to clear the primary trial tower. The crowd nodded as they heard this. And someone said, we've always suspected that without performing a second turn to make a qualitative change in strength. A first turn professional wouldn't be able to pass through the trial tower at all. So then we also gave up trying. If you hadn't succeeded, I'm afraid that no one would have succeeded even after hundreds of years. Hearing their explanations, Lin Tian was first stunned and subconsciously asked, There are restrictions on the beginner trial tower? Only first turn professionals can enter? That's right. After the second turn, the profession of the professional will change. There's no way to enter the initial trial tower again. Someone replied, Lu Xiaoxiang suddenly remembered Lin Tian's rank and thought of something. Could it be that you've already turned two? Just a few days before the big exam, Lin Tian said. The crowd was incredulous. There was absolutely no mistaking that the primary trial tower restricted first turn professionals. If Lin Tian had already turned two, how could he enter it? In the face of skepticism, Lin Tian didn't explain. Instead, 
He took out his professional's license and a curtain of light was projected from the ring. On it, the Dragon Master's transfer information was displayed. It was precisely the information that Lin Tian had entered at the beginning. The Dragon Master has no drawbacks as an all-purpose profession and does not require any transfer professions. After a Dragon Master's second transformation, he will still be a Dragon Master. Lin Tian opened his mouth. That's right. The reason why Lin Tian was able to enter the Primordial Trial Tower after his second turn, it was precisely because after a Dragon Master's second turn, he was still a Dragon Master. His occupation had not changed. Lin Tian also didn't expect that the Trial Tower would still have such a restriction. Luckily, the occupation remained the same after the Dragon Master's transformation. Otherwise, he would have had trouble even taking the Grand Examination. It was sort of a coincidence that there was no coincidence. The group of bigwig principals in the Invigilation Room were shocked in their hearts. A Dragon Master was still a Dragon Master after transferring his occupation? Even if they were the ones who knew the most about the various professions, they never knew about this kind of news. After all, Dragon Masters were too rare. The last time a Dragon Master appeared, they didn't even know when it was. Even if they were willing to engage in scientific research at any cost, they didn't have that chance. The reward I obtained was a legendary talent. Lin Tian answered their initial question. Receiving the answer, the crowd nodded. Someone said, in that case you're also considered a gifted professional. Gifted professional? Several candidates who came in together inquired. This word was also unfamiliar to them. The outstanding candidates. A gifted professional is one who has gained an additional talent when awakening their profession. Professionals who have additionally awakened a talent are very rare. No more than SSS ranked professions. And awakened talents aren't that powerful. Most of them are useless talents. So it doesn't matter if you guys know it or not. The root of a professional is still a profession. But the one Lin Tian obtained is surprisingly a legendary talent. The effect should be very good. A principal explained to the few people. Upon hearing this, those four SSS ranked profession candidates couldn't help but look sideways at Lin Tian. The hearts of the four were complicated. Originally, Lin Tian had already surpassed them by too much. Now, because of clearing the trial tower, he had obtained a talent, or a legendary grade talent. How could this make them embarrassed? But now that the reward has been obtained by you, it's useless in the future even if the others clear the primary trial tower once more. One of the principals exclaimed. Lin Tian immediately thought of something. Since there's an initial trial tower, are there other intermediate and high-level trial towers? Lin Tian took the opportunity to continue inquiring. Do the other trial towers have a reward for passing? Hearing Lin Tian's inquiry, the crowd present burst into laughter. Then he said, not bad. If there is a beginner level in the trial tower, there is naturally an intermediate level and a high level. It's just that the other trial towers, which are even more important, are not accessible to ordinary professionals, so the country hasn't publicized them. Not afraid to tell you kid. The big man who had spoken, pointed at a few more people other than Lin Tian as he continued. There are also a few of you who are listening as well. The other trial towers also have rewards just like the primary trial tower. And the situation is also the same as the beginning trial tower. Both because they have the restriction of transferring, so no one has taken the rewards away so far. You are all the proud sons of my dragon kingdom. As long as you have the ability, you can completely pass the other trial towers with your ability and take the rewards away as well. A few of you, you lost to Lin Tian this time. If you have the will to keep working hard, you may not be unable to fight Lin Tian again in the other trial towers. The big brother's words were both an answer to Lin Tian's question and an incentive for several people including him. Hearing these words, Lin Tian's eyes were glowing. Since the education division's big brother had said so, then how could he let go of the rewards? An initial stage trial tower had a reward for a legendary grade talent. What the rewards would be for a higher ranked trial tower? He simply didn't dare to think about it. Zhang Feng, LV Zhuangji, and Helian Fei also jumped at the words, rekindling their hopes once again. They had sort of lost to Lin Tian this time. But just because a professional was ahead for a moment, it didn't mean they would be ahead forever. As the big brother had said, they might not be without a chance to fight it out again. Alright, there's too much to say to you guys. The big brother waved his hand and continued. All prepare for the second half of the big exam. After saying that, the group of bigwigs and principals all walked out of the invigilation room. Only Divine Clearance and Long Jing were left behind, as well as the three principals of Longwu. Lu Xiaoxiong said to the three of Lin Tian, I called you over here because the three of you have the most outstanding results amongst the candidates who signed up for my Dragon Marshal. In a sense, it's also for the three of you to become the leading brothers of this class of Dragon Marshal students. The three of them, Lin Tian, were clear about this. The principals of each academy had summoned a few students with the best grades. This was a kind of signal. 
It was sort of telling the students of the academies that the people summoned by the principals would lead them and fight against the other academies in the second half of the grand examination. Lu Jiaxiong continued to say to the three, although it is not your obligation to lead Longwu's students against the other academies, you guys can also choose to not care at all and just go increase your own points. I won't blame you guys either, but I still hope that you guys will be able to lead my Longwu students to fight against other academies. This will be beneficial to you guys as well. You all should know the current situation of my Longwu. And all those news that say my Longwu is about to be downgraded are not just rumors. If the points acquired by my Longwu in this confrontation at the academy are too low, I will face relegation this year. Actually, according to the rules, my Dragon Marshal should have been relegated a few years ago. If it wasn't for the fact that one of the Dragon Kingdom's Protectorate War God is from my Longwu, this matter wouldn't have been delayed until this year. And every year's national examination, compared to the first half of the trial tower, the second half of the school confrontation, that pandemonium is the real focus. The points gained in the academy confrontation will directly affect how many resources an academy will be able to allocate this year. If the points are too few, the resources allocated will also be reduced, which is also bad for you. On the contrary, if I, Lan Wu, obtain enough points, not only will I not be relegated this year, the resources allocated will also be prioritized to tilt more. Lu Jiaxiong finished speaking and looked at Lin Tian. In reality, there was no need for Lu Jiaxiong to say this. Lin Tian also had this intention. Even without talking about these pros and cons, he also had systematic tasks that needed to be completed. After being refused enrollment by Divine Clearance University, the task that the system had given him had changed from being number one in the National Grand Examination to getting number one and at the same time leading the Dragon Country Martial Warfare University to get number one in this academy confrontation. The reward for the system mission was upgraded to a special dragon egg. How could he let it go? Please rest assured. Headmaster. Lin Tian said solemnly, I can't guarantee how many dragon warrior students I can take care of, but in this year's academy confrontation, Lan Wu will definitely be number one. Hearing this, Lu Jiaxiong nodded in satisfaction. A few more points of admiration appeared in even his gaze as he looked at Lin Tian. Originally, he also had good feelings towards Lin Tian. After all, Lin Tian, as a student of his Lan Wu, had taken the first place in the national grand examination. So naturally, he deserved to rejoice but that was different from the current appreciation. Right now, what he appreciated more about Lin Tian was not his strength, but this kind of vigor that vowed to win first place. Lu Xiaoxiong hadn't seen a student with this kind of vigor for many years. Even if an ordinary person had this heart, they wouldn't dare to say it in front of everyone. Anyone would have reservations and wouldn't dare to talk big because they were worried that they wouldn't be able to do it. But Lin Tian dared. Lu Xiaoxiong patted Lin Tian's shoulder and laughed loudly. Good boy, it's enough that you have this heart. With your words, no matter what the final result is, Long Wu won't blame you. Lu Xiaoxiong still left Lin Tian some leeway. After all, an academy confrontation was not a matter of one or two people. It was a fact that Long Wu's enrollment was not as good as it was every year. And in a confrontation with the other top academies, it would not be difficult for Long Wu to win. On the side, Wen Qing Lu, the president of Divine Clearance University, and Zhu Daotan, the president of Long Jing University. The two were also explaining the situation to the students who had summoned them over. Zhang Feng, who came in second place, and Qi Yin Xue, who came in eighth place, both were students of Divine Chang. When Qing Lu said to the two of them, the two of you will lead the other Divine Clearance students to take the first place in this academy confrontation. One of you is a main combat profession and one of you is a support profession, which is a disadvantage in the rounds of the trial tower, but an advantage in the school confrontation. Zhang Feng, you don't need to be afraid of Lin Tian. Even if he's number one in the grand examination and is stronger than you, schoolhouse confrontation is a group confrontation after all. Even if he's stronger alone, he can't change the general situation. Not to mention that there's still Qi Yinshue, a SSS ranked supporting profession. The two of you teaming up together plus the other SSS ranked professions of my divine clearance assisting. You may not be unable to defeat Lin Tian. Understand? Hearing this, Zhang Feng gave Lin Tian a scornful look. He had also just broken through the trial tower and knew the difficulty of the trial tower all too well. This guy was able to pass the trial tower. His strength was truly terrifying. However, the principal's words weren't wrong. This was a group confrontation. Everyone was a novice professional. Individual strength was not enough to fight against a united collective. Jiang Feng nodded. Qi Yinshue on the side also looked at Lin Tian. More curiosity in her gaze. On the other side, LV Zhani and Helian Fei, who were tied for third place were also listening to Zhu Daotan saying similar things. A few people were right inside the invigilation room and listened to each other's words as well. 
The principals of the three academies didn't avoid this matter, they just wanted a few people to rub out the smell of gunpowder between them. When Xin Lu and Zhu Daotan didn't want the students of their academies to be fearful because of Lin Tian's great strength, even Long Wu's principal, Lu Xiaoxiong, was of the same opinion on this matter. Students from all three parties, none of them could easily give in. It was necessary to compete. Only when there was competition would there be motivation. If someone cowered before the battle, then although the other side could win easily, the loss of fierce competition and winning was too easy, and the significance of setting up a confrontation between the academies would be lost. Only by being in an environment that was always competitive could one continue to make rapid progress. At this time, when Qing Lu suddenly looked at Lin Tian, he spoke, Lin Tian, how do you feel about the head of enrollment who refused your enrollment by divine clearance? At those words, Lin Tian froze. The head of Divine Cheng in the corner of the room was already sweating from listening. When Qing Lu continued to ask, Do you want to get back at him? Hearing this, even when facing the head of Divine Chang, Lin Tian didn't have the slightest bit of fear. I will take revenge. Lin Tian said bluntly without hiding anything. This answer caused Wen Qing to reveal a satisfied smile. The other two principals, who also realized what he was going to do, both revealed satisfied smiles while at the same time appreciating Lin Tian's unafraid straight talk a little more. Good. When Qing Lu praised and laughed, since you want to retaliate, I'll give you a chance to retaliate against him in an honorable manner. Originally, the most you could do to retaliate was to start with my divine clearance as students. But now, as long as you can lead Lang Wu to surpass my divine clearance in the academy confrontation, I'll send that guy to the border and transfer him to a small city that's not a shithole. The meaning of Wen Qing Liu's words was obvious. It was to put pressure on Jiang Feng as well as all the students of Divine Chang. He wanted to make this academy confrontation even more competitive. Xu Daotnan also spoke up. Lin Tian, I, Long Jing, am the same. Since you want to retaliate, we'll give you the chance. It's up to you whether or not you can grab it. These two people in charge had cost them the chance to recruit Lin Tian. They were going to have to deal with it. Now that they could use these two as a bargaining chip to raise the level of competition, it was a good use of their resources. As for the two heads of enrollment, their faces were already ashen. In their hearts, they regretted everything. They should never have refused Lin Tian's enrollment. The first candidate to pass the trial tower. How did they let them meet him? Lin Tian looked at the two principals and nodded solemnly. It's a deal. The three principals explained everything. The few people then walked towards the outside. When the time came, white light flashed on the several people, and they were about to be teleported into the venue of the academy confrontation. Before leaving, the four SSS ranked professionals coincidentally looked at Lin Tian. The meaning of competition in their gazes was self-evident. Lin Tian did not care about the four. Ling Qingran, however, glanced at Qi Yinshue. She could tell that Qi Yinshue's eyes were clearly not unintentional gazes, but rather revealed a wave of curiosity. An inexplicable sense of crisis rose in Ling Qingran's heart. While looking at Qi Yinshue, she took the initiative to hold on to Lin Tian's arm. Seeing this scene, Qi Yinshue also glanced at Ling Qingran and revealed a strange look before turning her head away, not knowing what she was thinking. Brother Jiang, Brother Lu, Brother He, and Sister Qi, I'll see you on the battlefield. Yang Qi smiled at the four people. A few people nodded in response. Helian Fei, however, let out a bitter smile and said Brother Yang, my surname is Helian, first name Fei. Okay. Yang Qi agreed and then said, Brother Lian Fei. His words fell. The light on several people also flashed, teleporting them away. When the white light dissipated, Lin Tian had already been teleported to a mountainous area, and it looked like they were already in the space of the real world, being halfway up a certain mountain. Yang Qi and Ling Qingran were still around. At this moment, all three of them had an extra ring in their hands. It looked similar to a professional's license. Lin Tian picked up the ring and a curtain of light floated up. This ring was a temporary prop for the second half of the grand examination and it mainly served three purposes, one was to store points, and the other was to provide a map of the battlefield of this academy confrontation. On the map, three points of light flashed, it represented the location of Lin Tian's trio, Lin Tian swept a glance at the map, and on the map, apart from the position of the three of them, there were about 2000 points of light, these points of light were clearly the other dragon martial students, the third function of the ring was to protect the students participating in the school confrontation, as long as a student encountered an attack that was fatal or crippling enough to seriously injure them, the ring would open a formation that would open a spherical barrier that would encompass the student and protect them from harm. However, as soon as the barrier was opened, the student would be eliminated. The points would also be plundered. This was the basic rule of the schoolhouse confrontation. Points were gained by killing the foreign beasts on this battlefield. 
or by plundering others. Other than not being able to use props with powerful killing properties, there were almost no restrictions on the schoolhouse confrontation, whether it's killing foreign beasts honestly to accumulate points, or using plots and tricks to cheat others of their points, or even to join forces with other students, or even with other academies, to expand their power to take by force, all means could be utilized. In short, there were no taboos. As long as the more points were accumulated, the higher the ranking would be. Lin Tian looked at the ring. On the light screen that surfaced from the ring, two rankings were being displayed. One was the overall ranking, which showed the point rankings of all the students. This leaderboard only looked at the individual's own points. Right now, everyone on the leaderboard had an initial 100 points. If the points cleared to zero, they would be eliminated. There was another one on the other hand, which was the schoolhouse points ranking. What was calculated was the total number of points earned by all the students in the academy. An individual's point ranking was related to the rewards that the individual could obtain at the end. The academy points ranking, on the other hand, related to the allocation of resources that the academy could obtain this year. Whichever one it was, it was important to Lin Tian. Brother Tian, what do we do next? Yang Chi opened his mouth and asked. Lin Tian looked at the map and already had a plan in his mind. We'll go to the center. Hearing this, Yang Chi froze. Would it be a little too early to go to the center now? Yang Chi was doubtful. The scholarship confrontation would go on for up to half a month. During this half month, the students had to try their best to obtain points, but that alone wasn't enough. They also had to arrive at the settlement point located at the center of this battlefield before the half month ended. Only by arriving at the settlement point before the end of the academy confrontation, the points earned are only valid. If you don't arrive in time, or if you're robbed of your points in the middle of the game, you'll be considered a failure as well. Usually, it was only necessary to arrive at the center two days in advance. Usually, participants would use the time in front of them to kill foreign beasts to accumulate points. It wouldn't be like Lin Tian, who was ready to rush to the center right from the start. Lin Tian shook his head and said, the earlier you go, the better. If you go late, someone might have run away early. Yang Chi froze at his words, then he reacted, revealing a shocked expression. Brother Tian, you mean, that's right, Lin Tian nodded. Of course I'm going to stand guard and plunder their points. Just relying on killing foreign beasts to gain points is just too inefficient. Why don't we let them save up some points first? Then we'll be at the center of the battlefield, waiting for them to come over. And then we'll make a move to loot them. This way the efficiency of obtaining points will be high enough. Lin Tian already had a plan. So Yang Qi no longer had any objections. However, he was still shocked by how bold this plan was. Lin Tian's idea of blocking the settlement point in advance and plundering their points. It was tantamount to making enemies of all the students, but Yang Qi believed that Lin Tian could do it, since Lin Tian had cleared the trial tower. It had taken a long time. This time, the academy confrontation started late. It was already dark. Let's rest first and leave in the morning, Lin Tian said. Yang Qi took out a tent from the prepared storage ring and spoke in a hurry. I only have this tent. It's only enough for me to sleep alone. You guys figure it out yourselves. At this moment, Ling Qingren looked over at Lin Tian her face slightly blushing. She said in a faintly inaudible voice, I forgot to bring a tent. Lin Tian looked at the two helplessly. Put the tent away. I've already prepared it. Saying that, Lin Tian waved his hand. In front of him, three containers appeared out of nowhere. After a month and a half in the wilderness, he had already had enough of sleeping in tents, and this time, he had prepared the containers in advance. Each container was equivalent to a small room with full facilities. Seeing the three containers, Yang Qi was extremely delighted. All right, brother Tian, this storage prop of yours has enough space. The containers can even fit. Yang Qi happily found a container on the side and dug in. Ling Qingran's eyes, on the other hand, flashed with a hint of disappointment. Lin Tian noticed this and could only let out a bitter smile. Taking out three containers was not because he was some kind of decent person. It was just that it was impossible for him to take out one container and let Yang Qi sleep outside in a tent for half a month by himself. That would be too unrighteous. If he took out two containers, then it should also be him and Yang Qi in one room. After all, there was nothing wrong with the space in this container for two people. It was different from the armored car that day. The three of them each entered the container and rested. Lin Tian was still going to sleep early, refreshing himself in order to capture points later on. It was only in slumber. Lin Tian had another deja vu dream. It seemed like there was a soft cloud in his dream that entered his blanket and burrowed into his arms. The next morning, Lin Tian woke up. Yang Qi had already gone to the neighborhood and cleared some foreign beasts, accumulating some points. Although his family was quite rich, he wasn't pampered and wouldn't be ambiguous when it was time to work hard. Ling Qingran, 
On the other hand, as soon as she saw Lin Tian after he woke up, two blushes appeared on her face. Before Lin Tian could figure out what was going on, he was stuffed with a breakfast that she had made herself in his hands by Ling Qingran. Lin Tian accepted it with a dumbfounded look on his face and finished his breakfast. Yang Qi, who was at the side, tisked a few times and ate the food that Lin Tian had prepared in advance with an envious look on his face. When the three of them had all finished eating, Yang Qi opened his mouth and asked, Brother Tian, are we going directly to the center next? All the students have been teleported to the edge of the battlefield, killing foreign beasts to accumulate points while slowly passing towards the center. Lin Tian nodded, killing the alien beasts for this point of three points. We don't need it. Relying on this amount of points might be enough to become number one in the overall ranking, but it's not enough for Lan Gu to become number one in the academy. Hearing this, both of them understood why Lin Tian had such a bold plan. Dragon Marshal's enrollment was getting worse every year. The students recruited might not be different in terms of quality due to the fact that Lan Gu did not lower its enrollment standards. All of them were worthy of Long Wu's reputation as the top academy. But in terms of quantity, Longwu was definitely at a disadvantage. Several other top academies that were on the same level as Longwu usually recruited 7, 000 to 8, 000 students every year. Even the two major ones with the harshest recruitment standards, Divine Clearance and Longjing, had around 4,000 students enrolled each year. In comparison, the Longwu students, with around 2,000 points of light displayed on the map, were pitifully small. Compared to the same level of academies, the number of people was four times that of Longwu, even Xinqing and Longjing, which were at a higher level and had a higher quality of students, were twice as numerous as Longwu, such a huge numerical disadvantage. Longwu wanted to obtain first place in the academy, it was completely a pie in the sky, even if Lin Tian summoned Little Amazing and recklessly cleared the foreign beasts 24 hours a day, the points gained would only be a drop in the bucket with such a huge disparity in numbers, this was also the reason why Longwu's principal, Lu Xiaoxiong, didn't take Lin Tian's assurance too seriously, and in this situation, Lin Tian wanted to lead Lan Gu to become number one in the academy, whether it was by relying on himself to kill foreign beasts to gain points, or by uniting all the students of Lan Gu to work together, it was impossible to do so, there was only one feasible way, that was to rely on his strength and forcefully take the points from other academy students, let all the students of all the academies become his leaks. Only then would he be able to use his own strength to lead Longwu to rank number one in the academy confrontation. Want to do this? Relying on going to people one by one wouldn't work. That was why Lin Genius decided to head directly to the settlement at the center of the battlefield. By the time the students from the various academies arrived at the settlement point, they had almost all gathered. At that time, he, the scythe, would be efficient enough to cut up the leaks. To say that there were any drawbacks to doing this, that was also there. Yang Chi also thought of it and he asked with some concern, Brother Tian, if we do this, we are undoubtedly making an enemy of all the academies, not to mention that all the academies are united, even if it's thousands of people from one academy, will we be able to defeat them at that time? He was certainly not underestimating Lin Tian's strength when he asked this, he had seen with his own eyes how terrifying Little Yen was, it was just that this plan of Lin Tian's was too amazing, for one person to try to make all the students of the academy submit, it was unlikely no matter how one thought about it. Hearing this question, Lin Tian explained seriously, if they really rush in together, of course I'm no match, all the students of all the academies, together there are hundreds of thousands of people anyways, hundreds of thousands of people even if they stand still and offer me points, it would take me more than 10 days to collect them one by one, and it would be enough to wear me out. Upon hearing this, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran also fell into thought, it seemed like they were wondering what exactly Lin Tian had up his sleeve, since Lin Tian dared to make this plan. He must have a plan in mind. However, after thinking for half a day, the two of them couldn't guess what Lin Tian was going to do. What do you have in mind for that day brother? Yang Qi said with some doubt. Both of their gazes were directed towards Lin Tian, wanting to know Lin Tian's bottom card. Lin Tian, however, let out a light laugh. There is no way. Lin Tian spoke casually, but the two listened in confusion. There's no way? This. Yang Qi was speechless. Lin Tian continued to explain. These hundreds of thousands of students are already the elites amongst the millions of candidates who have gone through a round of screening and whose strengths are ranked in the top 10% of the millions. I'm just 21st level even if I have heavenly skills, how could I possibly deal with these hundreds of thousands of united elite candidates? The two listened with even more doubt. Lin Tian was right, not to mention him being a second turn professional, even if he was a level 40 or even a level 60, third turn or fourth turn professional, facing hundreds of thousands of elite candidates he would still have to be piled alive by such a huge number. At this time, 
Lin Tian however, turned his words around. However, all of this presupposes that these hundreds of thousands of people can unite. But this won't happen. Yang Qi's mind turned a bit as he skeptically said, why won't it happen? Having your points zeroed out in an academy confrontation is equivalent to being killed in the wilderness. The analogy is equivalent to a life and death battle, even if it's normally impossible for them to unite. But facing a common life and death crisis, how should they know to unite to resolve their opponents first, and then fight each other for points afterwards? Hearing this, Ling Qingran, who had always disliked Yang Qi's unpunished speech, couldn't help but nod her head. Getting hundreds of thousands of people to unite was indeed as difficult as heaven. But if they faced a great difficulty together, the matter of unity would not be so difficult. Human history had proven this countless times. Lin Tian smiled and shook his head. When did I say that I would take away all their points? He said to the two, I only want 90% or 80% and I can even concede a little more. Both of them somewhat didn't understand. Even if it was only 70% or 80%, what difference would it make? Other people simply didn't need to pay so much as long as they were united ah. Lin Tian continued to explain, as long as they can unite and pay the price of at most 10 or 20,000 people, that's the number of people from 3 or 4 academies, it's definitely enough to get me out. After that, none of them would need to pay these 70 to 80% of the points, but who would want to be the outlier themselves just to keep the others points? This explanation made the two of them, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, instantly understand Lin Tian's plan as if it was a lightning bolt. Yup. Who would be the standout for someone else? I'm afraid that no one would be willing to do so at all. Lin Tian's explanation made both Yang Qi and Ling Qingren understand everything. If they were to choose to sacrifice their own points in order to keep Lin Tian's points, neither of them would hesitate. But if this was expanded a bit more, the results would be different. Even if they were all in the same academy, the vast majority of them were strangers who didn't know each other at all. Who would choose to have their points zeroed out in order to preserve someone else's points? Not to mention that in this schoolhouse confrontation, all schoolhouses were competitors. It was impossible to choose to sacrifice oneself in order to preserve the points of others. It wasn't even possible for each schoolhouse to proportionally, each sending out some people to surround Lin Tian, in doing so for the group. It was indeed only sacrificing the points of a very small portion of the group and preserving the points of the vast majority. It seemed like a very small loss, but for the people who were sacrificed, it was a real loss of everything. It wasn't true that no one was willing to do this kind of thing. In fact, the Dragon Kingdom had been around for so many years. It was unknown how many fearless generals and soldiers had made this kind of sacrifice. It was also because of this that the stability of the Dragon Kingdom for so many years could be guaranteed. Even many of the students in this academy confrontation would make the same choice in the future. But the situation now was different. In order to do this to protect the family and defend the country, many people had no complaints or regrets. But right now, this academy confrontation was, in the end, nothing more than an exam, a competition. Everyone obtaining points was only for the purpose of displaying their own strength, so that after they officially entered the academy, they would be able to obtain more resources. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a personal ranking of points. For everyone, this was a show of strength. Since it was a showground, naturally, no one would be willing to choose to give up the opportunity to display their own strength just so that someone else could display their strength. Lin Tian's explanation made the two men's scalps go numb. Brother Tian, brilliant, Yang Qi couldn't help but exclaim in praise. This plan of Lin Tian's was just too brilliant. By reducing the points plundered from all of them to 70% or 80% or 90%, he was able to make hundreds of thousands of people give up on uniting to resist. Just such a simple method was able to counter such a huge force. Under a single word from Lin Tian, the originally threatening coalition army of hundreds of thousands of people fell apart before it even appeared. This really made the two of them marvel in awe. It's just a small thing. The praise from the two did not make Lin Tian proud. This method was originally not his original creation. Long before him, there were already many smart people who had comprehended this, and it had been used for an unknown number of years. As the three of them exchanged words, every now and then, a floating ship would fly by overhead. These floating ships were all jointly created by formation masters and forgers, with their bodies forged from various metals, an unknown stone and wood. They were now used on the battlefield of the academy's confrontation to patrol and monitor the situation of the entire field at any time. Looking at the floating ship flying overhead, Yang Qi opened his mouth and asked, Brother Tian, are we leaving now? Lin Tian nodded and said, That's right, we're leaving now. A decision was made. The three of them then got into the armored vehicle that Lin Tian had prepared and rushed towards the location of the settlement at the center of the battlefield. The area of this battlefield was not small. Even with the speed of the armored car, it would take nearly two days to reach the center of the battlefield. 
while rushing in the car. Lin Tian took out his temporary ring and looked at the situation on the two-point rankings. The situation of the school rankings was similar to what Lin Tian had envisioned. Currently, it was Divine Clearance University that was ranked number one and Longjing University was ranked number two by a very small margin, with the rankings of the two switching places from time to time. Further down the rankings were a few of the top academies in the Dragon Kingdom. The ranking situation was similar to the ranking of the academies themselves among the academies in the Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Country Martial Warfare University, on the other hand, had fallen to 10th place at this point. Among all the top academies, Dragon Warrior was the existence at the bottom. However, this was normal. After all, the number of students at Longwu was just too small, and it was not comparable to the other top tier academies. Even this ranking was a bit better than Lin Tian had expected. He originally thought that with such a small number of students at Longwu, it should be around 15th to 20th place. Now it seemed, although the number of Longwu students was small, the quality was in no way inferior to other top tier academies. The situation on the total ranking list was a little different from Lin Tian's expectations. Zhang Feng, LV Zhuangji, Helian Fei, and Qi Yin Xue, the four SS ranked professionals. No one appeared at the top of the ranking. Lin Tian swept over with a glance, and there was no sign of these four people in the top few hundred. Qi Yin Xue, as a support professional, it was normal for her not to be at the top of the rankings. The other three were all main combat professions, so this situation was somewhat abnormal. However, Lin Tian quickly figured out the reason for this. He would think that the speed of obtaining points would be too slow if he relied solely on sweeping the beasts, thus thinking of plundering other people's points. These four people, as the top of the line in terms of strength, could naturally think of that as well. Moreover, as SSS class professionals, the four had received the same summons from the principal as he had, and were in a sense the student leaders of their respective academies in this academy confrontation. Not only did they have to consider their own points, but they also had to make the schoolhouse the number one in this confrontation. For this purpose, there was bound to be a need to unite more forces. These four should all be busy gathering other students from the same school right now. There was no time to accumulate their own points. That was why they were nowhere to be seen on the overall leaderboard. But Lin Tian knew, as long as he waited for these four to gather enough people, both their personal points and the points of the two university mansions would start to grow by leaps and bounds. Even if the university mansions had each assembled by that time, they had each assembled their own. In comparison, the power they were able to exert was also far inferior to that of the top tier academies. This was especially true of Divine Clearance University and Longjing University. After all, regardless of whether it was the other top tier academies or the two universities, Divine Clearance and Longjing, in terms of the strength of the students they were stronger than the other academies. Lin Tian looked at the top ranked academies and those top ranked students. In his heart, he was very much expecting these people to work harder to obtain points, because in the end, these points were still accumulated for him. On the way to the center of the battlefield, Lin Tian encountered some students from the Dragon Martial Arts. However, he didn't care about these people. He was trying to make Long Wu win first place in the academy confrontation, but he had no intention of babysitting these alumni. How many points these people could obtain still depended on their respective skills. Lin Tian didn't think much about it. While nourishing his energy, he chatted with Ling Qinran and Yang Qi who was driving the car. At the same time, Located above the center of the battlefield, in a huge floating ship, a group of bigwigs and principals had moved here to continue patrolling the situation. However, their current task was not to invigilate the exams. Rather, it was to see what level the students of each academy were at this term, as well as examining their own academy students, how they would perform in this confrontation. The one who received the most attention was naturally still Lin Tian. Lin Tian's behavior right now had already caught their attention once again. In the floating ship at the center of the battlefield, Lin Tian's abnormal behavior had caused a group of bigwigs and principals, once again, to start talking. This brat Lin Tian, what is he preparing to do? It's only the first day and he's rushing all the way towards the center of the battlefield. Can't it be that he's also planning to, like, go to the clearing point at the center of the battlefield and wait for a rabbit? If that's really the case, then he's too arrogant. The crowd also nodded, agreeing with this view. Even Long Wu's principal, Lu Xiaoxiong, frowned slightly, this kind of thing of choosing to wait for a rabbit to come out of the woodwork based on one's strength had already been done by quite a few people in the previous academy confrontations, but without exception, they had all paid the price for their arrogance, the reasons were self-evident, it was just like what Lin Tian had analyzed, the students who participated in the academy confrontation were all just novice professionals, and they were no stronger than that. Forcing hundreds of thousands of people to submit with the power of one person was not something that a novice professional of this level could do. 
The people who chose to do so on the previous academy confrontations, the vast majority of them weren't brainless to such an extent that they thought they could defeat 10,000 people with one person. More often than not, they thought that they would be able to break them down one by one. However, they had overlooked one thing. That was that by the time the students from the various university campuses, as time was coming to an end and rushed to the center settlement of the battlefield, most of them had already assembled. By the time they saw their prey, the various university campuses had already formed, with thousands of people at every turn. They could only watch as the rabbits that had been waiting for half a month, one by one, settled their points in front of their eyes, but they no longer have time to kill foreign beasts to obtain points. The only thing they were facing was defeat. Lu Xiaoxiang was still expecting Lin Tian to do something else. The crowd of bigwigs and other principals had temporarily lost interest in Lin Tian. Instead, they turned to look at some of the other outstanding students. The thousands of light screens that were constantly flashing before the eyes of the crowd were all being transmitted back from the thousands of floating ships that were constantly patrolling the battlefield. At this moment, the people were most concerned about the other four SSS ranked professionals. Old one, these two students of your divine clearance are good. They didn't rush to accumulate points, but first searched for the other alumni according to the guidelines on the map. Those two students of old Jews are also good. Their progress is no slower than Zhang Fang's, when Xing Lu and Zhu Daotan, however, didn't care about such compliments. After all, these four people were also SSS ranked professionals. It was not too much to say that they were dragons and phoenixes amongst people. If they couldn't figure out this point, then it would be a waste of the SSS ranked professions that they had awakened. In addition to these four people, the principals of the various academies were also paying attention to those SS ranked professionals. Compared to the five SS class professionals led by Lin Tian, they might be slightly inferior, but that didn't mean that they weren't strong enough. Each and every one of these students in the outside world was the pride of heaven. One or two could not be found in a single state. Moreover, due to the reorganization of this time's great examination, in addition to Langwu, each of the top schools has recruited SS level professionals. Originally, the vast majority of these people would have been directly sent to Divine Clearance or Longjing. However, this time there were quite a few who had enrolled in the other top academies. The reason was simple. Although the Divine Clearance and Dragon Capital Universities were good, there were too many top-level professionals, and there were even SSS-level professionals on top of them. In this way, the resources that could fall into their hands were still limited. Instead of that, it was better to rather be the head of the chicken than the tail of the phoenix. By the time they reached other top academies, they might be the only SSS-ranked professionals and would be able to obtain a lot more resources tilted in their favor. What's more, the ones they chose were also all top-tier academies, and their resources weren't bad in the first place. With this addition and subtraction, the resources they obtained would only be more than the original. These principals, of course, weren't only concerned about these top occupation students. They knew that the top professions could only say that the probability of rising to the top was greater, but they were definitely not the only ones who could become strong. Historically, there were also many professions that were average, only B-ranked, C-ranked, or even D-ranked professions that relied on their own hard work and battle talent, as well as some chance, to become strong. At this moment in the battlefield, some students with average occupations but good performance caught their attention. This Tianyin University student named Mo Fan, his performance is very bright. Although he is only a B-rank occupation and his level is only 14, his strength is not bad and his mind is also very bright. He is one of the outstanding students of my Heavenly Cloud University, and with just a B rank occupation and a rank of 14, he was able to rank 308th in the first half of the trial tower. The principal of Heavenly Cloud University said with great complacency, the crowd nodded their heads in affirmation as well. The B tier professions were only level 14 again. In terms of foundation, it could be said to be very ordinary. With such an ordinary foundation, it was able to rank 308th in the trial tower. This position was almost only ranked below the S rank professions, as well as some of the most outstanding A rank profession candidates. This student called MO Fan's combat talent was definitely not low. How did he enroll in Skycloud University? This score is enough for him to choose between Divine Clearance and Longjing either way. It couldn't be another one who was denied enrollment, right? He's also a student from Zhang Chang. I think it's very likely. Hearing this, when Xing Lu and Zhu Daotan's faces were both a bit stifled, but the president of Tianyun University had a smug look on his face. However, Emil Fan's position seems to be not far from Longjing's Helian Fei, so it would be bad luck to meet. Since the previous sessions, there had never been many students who had good strength but were eliminated early because they had met a stronger opponent too early. Emil Fan is chasing after Longwu's students, and the two students that Helian Fei is chasing after seem to be Longwu's as well? Longwu is really a bit unlucky. Hearing this, Lu Xiaoxiang's face was as calm as water. 
and there were no waves, it was a matter of course to be eliminated when one's skills were inferior. There was no one to blame. Losing to an opponent on the exam field, one could still learn from the shame. It was better than losing to the enemy on the battlefield. These two batches of Longwu students, the direction of their escape seems to be in the same location. In that case, Mo Fan and Heli and Fei are really going to meet. Upon hearing this, the president of Tianyun University became a little anxious. He quickly waved his hand and opened the map of the Dragon Martial students on the light screen. The crowd only saw that around 2,000 points of light on the map were flashing. And at the intersection of the two groups of Dragon Martial students escape directions, there were three points of light that were constantly moving towards the center of the battlefield. They are trying to find the Dragon Martial alumni to ask for help. These three students are unlucky enough to be approached by the alumni with Mo Fan and Heli and Fei. According to this, Mo Fan is just as unlucky. After this batch intersects, it's still going to be he Lian Fei's winner take all. The president of Tianyun University was a bit dissatisfied. How do you all know that Mo Fan can't escape? I see that this kid is so resourceful. Escaping is still not a problem. Just as he was arguing, suddenly, one person realized something. Something's not right. The direction these three points of light are moving. Why does it look like it's Lin Tian? Hearing this, the president of Skycloud University immediately opened the floating ship's surveillance screen at the location of those three points of light. On the screen, an armored car was moving in a straight line in the direction of the center of the battlefield. This armored car was one that everyone recognized. They had just seen this armored car. It was precisely the vehicle of Lin Tian's trio. Seeing this scene, the heart of the president of the Heavenly Cloud University was suddenly half-cooled. One Heli and Fei wasn't enough. This was another Lin Tian. If Mo Fan had a chance to escape from under Heli and Fei, then facing Lin Tian, Mo Fan was absolutely hopeless. It wasn't just the president of Tianyun University who was nervous. Zhu Daotan was also terrified in his heart. Heli and Fei was one of the only two SSS level professionals in Longjing. Now if he met up with Lin Tian early and was eliminated by him, that would be a big joke. Relying on only one person, LV Zhanyo, was absolutely unable to fight against the two SSS level professions of Divine Clearance. If Heli and Fei was missing, it could be said that this year's number one academy matchup, Divine Clearance was the nail in the coffin. As for who would stay if the two met in hostility, Zhu Daotan was very clear. He didn't expect Heli and Fei to beat Lin Tian in the slightest. Although Heli and Fei was a SSS ranked profession, his strength was definitely one of the strongest few people in this year's grand examination. And it was Jiang Feng, who had one more layer of the trial tower, who didn't see how he could win against Heli and Fei in a real battle. But the opponent is Lin Tian is different. How did Lin Tian pass the trial tower? Zhu Daotan, like everyone else, didn't think clearly, but he was clear about one thing. That was that Lin Tian's strength was by no means a star stronger than the others. Rather, it was a precipitous lead. When the two met, Heli and Fei would definitely lose. As time passed, the distance between the three grew closer and closer, and the encounter had become a foregone conclusion. Zhu Daotan and the president of Tianyun University were worried about their students meeting Lin Tian. The others, on the other hand, were looking forward to the scene. As long as the three met, a fierce battle was bound to break out. That way, they would also be able to see Lin Tian's true colors. At the same time, this would have another benefit for them, which was that it would allow the students of their respective academies to have one less competitor like Heli and Fei and Mo Fan. In the gazes of the crowd in anticipation, the three parties had converged. The two groups of Longwu students that were originally being chased down had simultaneously caught up with the armored vehicle that Lin Tian's trio was in. Students save me. We are also students of the Dragon Marshal. We are being chased. Please help us. Classmate. Inside the armored car, Lin Tian's trio heard the cries for help. Brother Tian, do we care? Yang Chi did not stop the car, but inquired first. Lin Tian nodded and said, take a look. After all, the ones who were being chased were also Longwu students, although he would not take the initiative to be a babysitter. But how could he say that he was also the principal's hand-picked leader of the Longwu students? And when a fellow student was asking for help in front of his eyes, he still could not just sit back and do nothing. Yang Chi stopped the car. The three of them walked outside the armored car. There were a total of four Dragon Martial students who were being chased. To Lin Tian's surprise, there was more than one batch of people chasing them. In one of the groups, there were a total of 15 people. The person at the head of the group, Lin Tian heard out right away. The footsteps were those of Long Jing Heli and Fei, who he had only met last night. The other batch, which was a bit smaller in number, only had seven people. What was even more surprising to Lin Tian was that the one at the head of this batch of seven people, he had also seen before. 
This person was exactly the student who had been humiliated by the person in charge of Divine Ching in front of them in front of everyone's eyes when the three of them were queuing up at the Divine Ching enrollment office and then refused to enroll them because their level was only level 14 or a B-tier profession. I didn't expect to meet again here. Both sides were also acquaintances. This made Lin Tian somewhat happy. It was quite a coincidence that the three of them could meet on a battlefield large enough to hold hundreds of thousands of people. As soon as the four Longwu students saw that the other side was also being chased, there were only three people on Lin Tian's side. Immediately, they said to Lin Tian's three, Classmate, we're still outnumbered, so if it doesn't work out, let's run away first and let them snipe on both sides. Lin Tian glanced at the four people. The fact that these four people could think that they should run first meant that they were not stupid, and it was also worth him making a slight move to help. Facing the four people's offer, Lin Tian did not reply. Yang Qi looked at the four people's nervousness and smiled at them with a relaxed expression. Count yourselves lucky to have met us. You guys don't have to worry about the rest. Hearing these words, two of the four relaxed slightly. Since Yang Qi dared to say this, he must have some strength in him. But the other two were even more anxious and hurriedly said again. No classmate, the leader of the team that's chasing the two of us is Longjing's Hellion Fei. It's that Hellion Fei who tied for third place in the trial tower. Upon hearing this, the two who had just relaxed became even more tense than they were just a moment ago. It was truly a wave that hadn't subsided yet, and one wave was even higher than the other. What kind of strength was tied for third? Definitely one person was enough to deal with them combined, not to mention the fact that this guy was leading a dozen people. The Dragon Marshal student's words had just fallen. In the dense forest in the distance, the two groups of people chasing them rushed out. The other group of people who were chasing them were immediately on guard as well when they saw that Hellion Fei's group was much larger in number. You guys can't escape. I didn't expect there to be so many unexpected gains from following you too. The seven of you should all be from Longwu. And there are seven more from an unknown academy. This is a huge harvest. The dozen or so people from Dragon Capital saw this scene and were emboldened to clamor. They were already the pride of heaven for being able to enter Dragon King. Not to mention the fact that there was now the boss, Hellion Fei, sitting on the sidelines. Equal numbers, the advantage is mine. On the other side, in the team from Tianyin University that had also come after the two Dragon Marshal students, the leader was none other than Mo Fan. Seeing this scene, without the slightest hesitation, Mo Fan immediately looked at the seven people from Dragon Marshal. He spoke, Brothers of Longwu, just now we chased after the two of you, but now if you want to keep your points and not be eliminated, we will have to join forces. What do you guys think? The two who had just been chased and killed didn't hesitate and replied without any hard feelings. We can join forces. Both sides were not fools and knew that if they wanted to get through the situation at hand, there was only one way to join forces. Mo Fan who got the answer was ignoring the two. Instead, he turned his head to look at Lin Tian. He could tell at a glance that Lin Tian's strength was not simple. And the atmosphere amongst the several people indicated that it was obvious that Lin Tian was the one who could make the decision. He didn't wait for Lin Tian's reply before Yang Chi spoke up. Eh? Buddy, aren't you the one who was rejected by Divine Clear yesterday? Yang Chi laughed with a surprised look on his face. We're really destined for each other. We were in the same boat yesterday, and we met again today. As soon as these words came out, the group of bigwig principals in the floating ship who were paying attention to this place all turned their heads to look at Wen Qinglu. Wen Qinglu also had a hard look on his face. Hearing these words, Mo Fan also recalled. Yesterday, after he was refused to leave, it seemed like he had vaguely heard about three more people being refused enrollment, but he hadn't recovered his mindset at that time, so he didn't pay much attention to it. Mo Fan did not care about this matter. There were more important and urgent matters at hand. He arched his hand and said to Lin Tian and Yang Qi, My name is Mo Fan. Since a few brothers and I are so kindred spirits, why don't we join forces? We are students of Tianyun University, and several of you are from the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Truly speaking, our strength is not too much worse than the students of Longjing. Even if we join forces we can't defeat them. How can we run away half of them? Better than being annihilated by their group here. My name is Yang Qi. This is my brother Lin Tian. And this is my brother's date. Ling Qing Ran Ling University schoolmate. Yang Qi introduced himself to Mo Fan. But didn't answer about joining forces. When Ling Qing Ran heard Yang Qi's introduction. Her skin like cheeks suddenly blushed. Lin Tian glanced at Mo Fan. He naturally wouldn't join forces with anyone, but this one called Mo Fan had already left him with a not so shallow impression. The fact that Mo Fan was able to be the leader of at least one squad amongst the students of a top school like Tianyin University meant that he was not weak. Lin Tian still remembered that he was only a level 14 B ranked professional. It was not easy to be able to achieve this. He must be the type of person who had hard work and a talent for fighting. Moreover, in the short time just now, 
Imo Fan was instantly able to analyze the situation clearly and proposed to join forces with Long Wu, indicating that his mind was also good. Such a person, if not for his bad luck and premature encounter with Heli and Fei, surely he would have shown in the academy confrontation. A little bit of thinking, Lin Tian figured out what to do with these two. In the floating ship, a group of bigwig principals were still paying attention to the place. Originally, they thought that whether it was Mo Fan or Heli and Fei, they hadn't gathered enough manpower yet. With only these dozen or so people, it was impossible to be Lin Tian's opponent. Their encounter was a bit too early. However, Mo Fan's handling of the situation still caught their eyes. Although because of the difference in information, Mo Fan didn't know that Lin Tian was the big boss in this three-way encounter like they did. But just based on the information Mo Fan could get, his handling was perfect. The mind embodied in this process was not simple either. The president of Tian Yun University also paid more attention to Mo Fan. Even if Mo Fan's luck was too bad and he was eliminated now, he decided to focus on cultivating Mo Fan. Mo Fan's handling had been recognized by the crowd. The focus of the crowd was gradually placed on Heli and Fei in the battlefield. Seeing the delayed response from the other side about joining forces, Mo Fan was a bit anxious. The people from Longjing were already near. If they didn't join forces against the enemy, they wouldn't have a chance. He wanted to persuade a few more words. However, Longjing students interrupted him. So it's Tian Yun University. Even if you join forces, it's useless. The idea of escaping can also be given up. With Boss Heli and Fei here, none of you will be able to escape. The dozen or so students from Longjing University shouted at them with extreme arrogance. Hearing these words, Mo Fan's face darkened. The heart he was originally hanging on to finally died. The students from Longjing University were still clamoring at the crowd and did not choose to immediately strike. In their opinion, this was not arrogance. It was because they were students of Longjing and were inherently superior. Other than Divine Clear, there was no one worthy of their attention. What's more, the person leading them now was still Heli and Fei, who was tied for third in the trial tower with the other boss of Dragon King. With such a configuration, how could they lose? Who dares to block me? Who can be me? If you don't act tough at this time, when will you wait? Listening to the clamor of the Longjing students, Mo Fan was also deeply unlucky and screamed in his heart. It wasn't that his strength wasn't good. It was really his luck that was too bad. This was only the first day, and it made him meet Heli and Fei, who was ranked third in the trial tower. He knew very well that this was not someone he could deal with at all. However, Mo Fan did not give up struggling. He was still thinking about the possibility of escaping from under Heli and Fei. Right now on his own side of Tianyin University, counting him there were only seven people, and Long Wu was likewise seven. Both sides were joined together with only 14 people. And Long Jing's side was one more than theirs in terms of numbers. Among them, there was also Heli and Fei. Trying to escape just by joining forces was impossible. The original plan was considered null and void. If they wanted to hold off Heli and Fei, they would need to be at least an SS level professional. As for defeating Heli and Fei, it would only be possible for those professionals who were also SSS ranked to do so. For example, LV Zhuangji, who was tied for third place in the trial tower rankings, Zhang Feng, who was in second place, or Lin Tian, who was in first place. Thinking about this, Mo Fan suddenly stiffened. Wait a minute, he remembered. Wasn't the person ranked first in the trial tower named Lin Tian? And this person in front of him was also called Lin Tian. Mo Fan instantly figured everything out. As an examinee from Zhang Chang, the matter that Lin Tian, who was number one in the national grand examination, was also an examinee from Zhang Chang. It was naturally impossible for him not to know about it. Previously, he hadn't remembered this matter because of the anxiety in his heart due to Long Jing's threat, but now he understood it all. The number one in the grand examination was Zhang Chang's Lin Tian. This person in front of him was also a candidate from Zhang City, also named Lin Tian. Obviously he was the same Lin Tian who came first in the grand exam. Mo Fan turned his head to look at the person at the head of the Long Jing students, that is, Helian Fei, in order to seek confirmation of his thoughts. At this moment, the Long Jing students were still screaming and pretending. However, they didn't notice, Heli and Fei didn't know when, but had quietly retreated behind all of them. Seeing this scene, Mo Fan knew that he had guessed correctly. Heli and Fei had obviously recognized Lin Tian from the start and knew that he was incapable of defeating him, and would be preparing to leave his classmates in Long Jing behind and run away by himself. In the floating ship, the group of bigwig principals all saw Heli and Fei's intentions, although it was more or less a bit humiliating to leave his classmates behind and run away alone and he was still one of the leaders of the Dragon King students. However, the crowd had to say that there was nothing wrong with Heli and Fei's decision. Heli and Fei was as one of the two SSS-ranked professionals in Dragon King. 
His value to Longjing University in this academic confrontation was far greater than these 14 Longjing students. At a time like this, the most sensible decision was to run away on your own. If one chose to fight hard with Lin Tian in order to save these 14 students of Dragon King, that would be foolishness, this kid is really no good. In vain as an SS-ranked professional, he doesn't even have the courage to fight Lin Tian, Xu Daotan rebuked with his mouth. In his heart, he was relieved. As long as Helian Fei didn't lose in Lin Tian's hands in the opening round, then everything was fine. In the battlefield, M.O. Fan, who had surmised the true situation, did not have the slightest bit of joy in his heart. Helian Fei was no longer a threat, but there was an even greater threat, Lin Tian. Although they were both Jiang Chen candidates, M.O. Fan didn't feel that Lin Tian would show him mercy just because of this. M.O. Fan only felt that he had nowhere to cry. He had just gotten out of the wolf's den and now he was in the tiger's den. Each one of them was not something he could deal with. M.O. Fan couldn't think of a foolproof plan for a while. No matter what, let's drag Helian Fei into the water first. Brother Helian, since you recognized Brother Lin, why do you need to leave? Is it hard to believe that you are afraid? These words came out. The eyes of the crowd looked towards Helian Fei at the back of the crowd. Under the gazes of a crowd of Longjing students, if Helian Fei just left them behind and ran away, then he would lose a lot of face and he wouldn't want to raise his head in Longjing University in the future. What's more, being stared at by the crowd, he didn't have a chance to run even if he wanted to, Helian Fei completely rode a tiger. He hardened his head and laughed out loud, who said I'm leaving, seeing that he had pulled him down. Mo Fan added fuel to the fire and said, I knew that brother Helian, as a hallowed SSS ranked professional, would not be able to leave his classmates behind and run away by himself. Hearing this, the crowd of Longjing students were enraged. From Tian Yun University, don't spit blood. How could the student leader of my Longjing University think of running away? That's right, why would I run away? Is it just you? It's too arrogant. Did you forget that you were thinking of teaming up with someone just now? Seeing this scene, M.O. Fan knew that Heli and Fei couldn't leave even if he wanted to. At the very least, it was impossible for him to leave the others behind and run away. Heli and Fei squeezed out a smile on his face, forced himself to be calm, and thought frantically in his mind about what to do. It was impossible to leave his classmates behind and run away. It was even more impossible to fight Lin Tian head on. Although he was a SSS level professional and had been someone's child since he was young, the pride in his heart wouldn't be less than anyone else. But he wasn't a fool. He wasn't arrogant enough to think that he could harden himself against Lin Tian. Lin Tian was clearly much stronger than him. Just the number of floors that the two of them had broken into at the trial tower alone was 20 floors different. It wasn't even a level of combat power. What's more, he reached 80 floors because his strength could only reach 80 floors. Lin Tian, on the other hand, had passed the level. He reached the 100th floor. Most likely because the trial tower only had 100 floors. Helian Fei was in the middle of the same dilemma as M.O. Fan. Could it be that he was also seeking to join forces like M.O. Fan? Thinking of this, Helian Fei glanced at M.O. Fan. At this moment, M.O. Fan also glanced at him. It was obvious that M.O. Fan had also thought of the possibility of both sides joining forces against Lin Tian just like him. However, after the two of them glanced at each other, they averted their eyes and neither of them opened their mouths to mention the matter of joining forces. There was no other reason, with just the two of them, or with just these people present in the room, even if they joined forces, they could not possibly be Lin Tian's opponent. M.O. Fan was the first to think of a solution. He first whispered a few words into the ears of the few students following him. A few students from Tian Yun University, after hearing this, revealed a look of disbelief and glanced at Lin Tian, then nodded their heads. M.O. Fan then looked at the group of students from Longjing University. These people hadn't figured out the situation yet and were still clamoring. Helian Fei was anxious in his heart, but with the strength gap placed here, there was nothing too good he could do. For today's solution, the only thing to do was to run hard with the crowd. All shut up, Helian Fei chided. The Longjing students instantly quieted down. Heli and Fei gathered them together and said in a lowered voice, that Longwu guy is Lin Tian, the one who passed the trial tower first in the grand exam. A trace of Longjing students heard this and all stared in awe, unconsciously gulping their saliva. Now that you're not capable of defeating him, you can only run away. Heli and Fei continued, in a moment, you guys will run first, and I'll help you guys hold the back. Of course he couldn't really help these classmates with the rear guard. This wasn't because he was selfish. But he knew that if he were to be eliminated himself now in order to save these people, Longjing University would only lose more by having more students eliminated. He then pretended to be somewhat sad and said, But Lin Tian is powerful. Even I won't be able to block Lin Tian for long, I'll soon be eliminated by him. You guys can each run as many as you can, and then go find Lu Zhanji. 
Unfortunately, even if I'm eliminated, I won't be able to protect more Longjing students then, and the pressure on LV Zhuangji will skyrocket, so I don't know if Longjing University will be able to keep its rankings at that time. Helian Fei finished his words. The crowd of Longjing students all revealed expressions of shame. Boss Helian, it's all because we're too weak, and we have to drag you down with us. No way, you can't be eliminated here, or else how else can we Dragon King fight against Divine Clearance? The Longjing students rose up in anger. That's right, Boss Helian, it's fine for us to be eliminated, but you definitely can't. We should join forces to block Lin Tian and let Big Brother Helian leave first. Helian Fei knew that it was important to put on a show. Instead of immediately turning around and running, he pulled out a strange dagger that was 50 to 60 centimeters long and charged directly towards Lin Tian. Seeing this scene, a group of Longjing students hurriedly stepped forward to stop him and proceeded to charge towards Lin Tian. We can't leave anymore. Big Brother Helian you run for the sake of our Longjing ranking. The situation on the battlefield had changed several times, but only a few minutes had actually passed. Lin Tian was also patiently waiting for them to finish their performance. Seeing the crowd of Dragon King students, they all rushed towards him. He was about to make a move, but he hadn't even raised his palm yet. Ling Qinran then stood in front of him, raised the staff in her hand and swung out a ball of fire. The fireball entered the crowd and directly exploded with a loud bang. Instantly, a spherical barrier formed by light opened up on several people's bodies, enveloping them without being harmed by the fireball. This was the temporary ring's protection array. The appearance of the protective array also meant that these few people lost their qualifications for the academy confrontation. They were eliminated miserably. The remaining people still wanted to resist. Ling Qinran blasted out a few more rounds of fireballs, and in front of the fireballs, the resistance of the group of Longjing students was futile, and their bodies all lit up with protective arrays, and they were eliminated. This sudden turn of events, it made the crowd present not expect it. They only knew that Lin Tian was powerful. But they didn't know that this woman beside Lin Tian was also so powerful. Even the students of the hallowed Longjing couldn't stop her. Lin Tian and Yang Qi were not surprised by this. Ling Qingran was also a 109th ranked candidate in the country. There was certainly no way an ordinary Dragon King student could be her opponent. Brother Tian, Helian Fei ran away. This voice caused a group of Dragon King students to react and hurriedly look at Helian Fei's location. At this moment, Helian Fei had already disappeared. There was only a shadow on the ground in the distance that was fleeing fast and soon disappeared from the crowd's view. Yang Qi threw out a talisman and didn't catch up with him. Seeing this scene, the crowd of Longjing students were relieved. Lin Tian, you're still being held back by us. Big brother Helian has managed to run away. That was what they chose to do in order to let Helian Fei escape. The escape at the moment was a victory worth celebrating in their eyes. Lin Tian didn't pay any attention to them. He just glanced at the direction where Helian Fei had disappeared. Helian Fei had managed to escape. But of course, it wasn't because he was actually being held back. If he had wanted to, it would have been impossible for Helian Fei to walk away just now. In reality, this was what he had originally envisioned to do with Helian Fei. Letting him escape. If it was to eliminate Helian Fei now, then Lin Tian wouldn't have listened to their nonsense for so long. The reason for cooperating with them through this drama was to let Helian Fei leave. There was no other reason. Without Helian Fei to hold the stage. The points gained by Longjing University would definitely be much less. This was not something he wanted to see. Longjing was one of the two fattest leaks under his side. In the floating ship, Helian Fei's escape caused a group of bigwigs and principals to talk. His means of escape was clearly not honorable. First, he tried to escape alone, and then he failed to do so due to the east window. And then after that, there was a great show of righteousness. What Helian Fei did was tantamount to tricking Longjing's classmates into going to their deaths in order to help cover for his escape alone. This series of practices made Zhu Daotan's face a little hard to bear. This kid is really tricky. Although Zhu Daotan cursed on his lips, he was relieved in his heart. No matter what, Helian Fei had finally escaped this. In reality, the crowd of bigwigs and principals were also mainly in favor of Helian Fei's approach. Although Helian Fei's methods weren't honorable, this series of temporary decisions, being able to change according to the situation, was a fairly quick response. More importantly, this was the only reasonable and workable approach. An SS-ranked professional like Helian Fei was able to put aside the arrogance in his heart and recognize the situation and decisively escape. This was not an easy thing to do. Helian Fei left his colleagues behind and fled. However, his escape still won the approval of the crowd. As for the other two parties in this three-way meeting, it left the crowd of bigwig principals somewhat puzzled. Lin Tian did not stop the fleeing Helian Fei, which puzzled them. Emo Fan not taking advantage of the chaos to escape also puzzled them. When the principal of Tianyun University saw this, a wave of anxiety ran through his heart. 
The crowd continued to look at the light screen, wanting to see just how Mo Fan would handle it. In the middle of the battlefield, Brother Mo, why don't you escape? Yang Chi asked. Yang Chi still appreciated Mo Fan as a person, whether it was Mo Fan proposing to join forces or pulling Heli and Fei down, he was very level-headed. Facing the query, Mo Fan let out a laugh. Brother Lin wants to capture me, can I run away? Mo Fan replied. He could see clearly that with Lin Tian's strength, if he wanted to strike, whether it was Heli and Fei or him, it was impossible to escape, especially in this situation just now. Lin Tian hadn't struck out at Heli and Fei, so it was even more impossible for him to escape. He didn't know why Lin Tian had let He Lian Fei go, but he knew that while Lin Tian had let He Lian Fei go, he wouldn't necessarily let him go. Instead of betting his hopes on luck, it would be better to follow his original plan. Yang Chi nodded and said, That's true. Mo Fan turned his words around and said seriously, And there's no need to escape. Brother Lin will let me go. Oh, why would I let you go? Lin Tian also became interested when he heard this. In order to smoothly cut more leaks later, as the leader of Long Jing, Heli and Fei he had to let go. But Mo Fan did not have this weight. Mo Fan paused for a moment and murmured, Because of interest. In this academy confrontation, there are only three reasons for eliminating the opponent. One is to plunder points. The second is to weaken the other academies. And the third is personal grudges. In terms of personal grudges, Brother Lin and Brother Yang and I have never known each other and have no personal grudges at all. And there are only seven of us in total right now. Even if we were all eliminated, we wouldn't be able to weaken much of Tianyun University's power. So there's no way to talk about the second point. As for the first point of plundering points, today is only the first day of the official start of the academy confrontation. In less than half a day, we don't have many points at all. Mo Fan's words had just finished. Yang Qi then shook his head and retorted. A mosquito leg is still neat even if it's small. If it's for profit, we should eliminate you. Unless, Mo Fan was interrupted in the middle of his sentence. You can give us more. Lin Tian continued his words. Not bad. Mo Fan nodded. His gaze revealed delight. Lin Tian had seen his plan. Then things were negotiable. Now that the seven of us are eliminated, you guys will only get a little bit of mosquito leg points. Mo Fan continued to explain to Lin Tian's trio. But if you let us go now we can still continue to gain points. By the time the academy confrontation ends and the day the points are settled, even if you only get half of our points, it's still far more than now. At the very least, it's a chicken leg. Hearing these words, Yang Qi's eyes widened in shock. You mean you're going to help us work for nothing? Accumulate points for us? Mo Fan shook his head and said, it's not exactly working for nothing. You guys let me go today and I'll give you points later. It's considered a trade. And it's a win-win deal. Half a month later, even if I only give you 10% of the points, you guys will get far more than what you have now. And even if I give you 90% of the points and leave you with only 10%, it's still far better than being eliminated now. Yang Qi's shocked gaze gradually calmed down. This explanation from Mo Fan was reasonable. And it was indeed as he said, a win-win deal. However, there is still a problem. Yang Qi looked at Mo Fan with a questioning gaze and continued. How can we be sure that you will honor your promise? What if you just walk away and turn your back on the assembled army at that time? Mo Fan casually said, That's a good problem to solve. The big deal is that we'll keep half of our people as hostages, and just exchange the hostages with points a few days later. In this way, even if we walk away, you guys will still be able to get more points than you have now. That's fine. Yang Chi nodded, then asked, But there is another problem. Even if you guys are willing to keep your promise, in case you guys leave and are eliminated by the others, won't we be throwing away the basket? Mo Fan shook his head and said, There is no such thing in the world that can be 100% guaranteed, and high returns are bound to have high risks. It depends on how you guys choose. I believe Brother Lin will agree. After saying that, Mo Fan waited for Lin Tian's reply as he looked at him with an extremely confident gaze. He was sure that Lin Tian, as the number one in the grand examination, could not be a stupid person and would definitely agree to his proposal. Not bad, a bit of brains. Lin Tian nodded his head, considered agreeing to his proposal. Before Mo Fan could rejoice, Lin Tian spoke again. But I don't just want the points of the seven of you. I also want the points of everyone at Tianyun University. The words fell. Mo Fan froze, somewhat as if he didn't understand. Brother Lin shouldn't be joking. To make everyone in an entire university offer up their points, this was simply a pie in the sky. Even if he was one of the leaders of Tianyun University, no one else would listen to him. Mo Fan saw that Lin Tian did not reply and realized that he was not joking. Mo Fan's complexion straightened and he said seriously, that's impossible. After all, I am the leader of Tianyun University, 
letting me bring the entire university to offer you points, then what kind of person would I become? It would be better to be eliminated by you right now. I'm sorry brother Lin. There's no way I can agree to this request of yours. By refusing Lin Tian's proposal, Mo Fan was preparing himself to be eliminated. Lin Tian, as the number one in the grand examination, was still legendary for passing the trial tower for the first time. He naturally knew in his heart that there was no way he would be Lin Tian's opponent. But even so, he wouldn't fold his arms. Even if he couldn't last a single move, he would still make a last stand. After Mo Fan finished speaking, he pulled out two uniquely shaped golden pistols, which were his weapons as a golden gun shooter. Behind him, the six Tian Yun University students, also inspired by him, each took out long guns and short sticks. However, the picture that Mo Fan had imagined did not happen. Backbone, Lin Tian laughed out loud. This move made Mo Fan a little puzzled. After Lin Tian finished laughing, he looked at Mo Fan, his gaze revealing an absolute confidence. You will agree. Lin Tian calmly responded to Mo Fan's refusal just now. After finishing his words, Lin Tian let the four Longwu University students leave on their own. Then he entered the armored car without looking back and left with Yang Qi and Ling Qingran. This unexpected scene, it left Mo Fan frozen in place, and it took a long time before he came back to his senses. Leaving just like that? Mo Fan muttered to himself. He looked in the direction that Lin Tian had left, his gaze extremely puzzled. Lin Tian's request would be impossible to agree to no matter who else came along. Only the stupidest of stupid people would make such an incomprehensible request, but Lin Tian was not a stupid person. On the contrary, he was also extremely intelligent. One glance revealed his plan. But Lin Tian was neither joking nor just making a casual remark. Why was he so certain that he would definitely agree? Mo Fan couldn't figure it out. Lin Tian had made a request that he couldn't possibly agree to. Yet he was a hundred times more confident than when he proposed a win-win deal. Mo Fan thought of that confident to the core look in Lin Tian's eyes before he left. Anxiety rose in his heart. Boss Missouri. He just left? Where are we going now? The voice of a classmate beside him rang out causing Mo Fan to come back to his senses. No matter what, now that Lin Tian had left, they had escaped the danger of being eliminated. Continue to accumulate points and gather the other students on the way. In the floating ship, Mo Fan's performance was praised by a group of bigwig principals. The president of Tianyun University was even paying incomparable attention to him. Whether it was Mo Fan taking the initiative to propose a deal, or rejecting Lin Tian's incomprehensible request, or taking out his weapon in preparation for a last-ditch effort. It all received full marks in the hearts of the crowd. Being able to utilize one's intelligence and offer a deal to save oneself and one's classmates. There was also his own principle. Keeping the bottom line and not selling out the interests of the academy infinitely just to save himself. And finally, the courage to fight in the face of an unbeatable enemy. Regardless of which of these, taken alone they are all excellent enough. To be able to combine them all together was even more praiseworthy to the crowd. Even if he was only a B-ranked profession, everyone was optimistic that he would have a great future, and would definitely be able to become a mainstay. This tripartite meeting, the crowd was more than satisfied with Hellion Fei's performance. Mo Fan's handling of the situation even received full marks. However, what Lin Tian had done was difficult for the crowd to understand. Lin Tian himself held overwhelming strength, so it could be said that as long as he wanted to and struck out decisively, Hellion Fei would definitely not be able to escape. Eliminating Hellion Fei was eliminating one of the strongest competitors, even if he didn't need it. It would always be beneficial to the other students of Lanwu. As for Mo Fan, he was even let go directly. All of this, one by one, made the crowd wonder in their hearts. Of course they didn't know Lin Tian's thoughts. In the armored car, Lin Tian was in a good mood. It was because he felt lucky today. The chance three-way meeting had allowed him to prepare. On the first day, all the elements needed for the leak cutting plan. There was nothing to say about letting Hellion Fei go. As the leader of Long Jing, Hellion Fei couldn't be eliminated so early. As for Mo Fan, originally, Lin Tian did not intend to let Mo Fan go, or no matter how Mo Fan was dealt with, it made no difference to him. But when Mo Fan proposed a deal, Lin Tian immediately decided to let him go. There was no other reason. It was because Mo Fan was brainy enough and sensible enough, and he needed someone who had the brains to understand the times. When the day came for him to harvest the leaks, the Tianyun University led by Mo Fan would be the testing ground to demonstrate to the crowd. With the first one to take the lead in compromising on the supply of points, the things that followed would fall into place. As for Mo Fan's refusal today, it didn't matter at all. No matter who else came, it was impossible to agree today. And the difference between Mo Fan was that he was brainy enough to recognize the times. Mo Fan didn't agree today because he didn't have to and couldn't. But wait until half a month later. 
the situation would be different. Everyone would recognize the situation and being harvested points by him. Lin Tian was the only option. Mo Fan was the one he picked, the first one to recognize the situation. By then, Mo Fan will realize why he said the words you will agree to him. Having found a big brother with a pitch, Lin Tian was relieved. Now he only needed to rush to the center of the battlefield and wait for the time to come. In the floating ship, a group of big brother principals were closely watching the movements in the battlefield. Although this was just a schoolhouse confrontation, these students were just young and not without ability or potential. The situation in the battlefield was still changing rapidly. Everyone was showing their abilities. The points for this academy confrontation all came from the foreign beasts that were distributed all over the battlefield. Even if the points plundered from others, aside from the initial meager 100 points per person, the extra points were essentially from the foreign beasts. But if it was just because of this, one would simply think that the academy confrontation was just students from each academy killing foreign beasts, comparing their personal abilities, and seeing who was faster at killing foreign beasts. That would be a big mistake. Personal ability had already been tested at the level of the trial tower. What the academy confrontation really tested was in addition to their overall strength. It was more of a test of the organizational abilities of the students of the various academies. On this battlefield, if one wanted to gain more points and kill more foreign beasts, it was never about who was faster. The strength of each and every one of these students who were able to enter the academies was not weak. Those students from the top academies were even more so. There was no difficulty at all in having them kill the foreign beasts. Even if they just assembled a small team, they would be able to cross the level and sweep away the foreign beasts, and it would not be a problem for them to clear the field, trying to rely on the speed at which they killed the beasts to separate the winners from the losers. That was no different from relying on luck. The key factor that would determine the winner was not who killed the beasts faster. Rather, it was who was able to occupy a larger territory. As long as an academy rallies and occupies a piece of territory, then this place would be impossible for others to get their hands on, even if they were strong. It would be impossible for one person to challenge so many opponents. It could only be a confrontation between schoolhouses. In this case, as long as an academy manages to take over a territory, it could then quickly clear the area and accumulate huge amounts of points. As for the others, no matter how fast you killed the foreign beasts, you could only watch. A few days passed quickly. Lin Tian's trio had already driven to the settlement point located in the center of the battlefield. The settlement point was hidden in a mountain range. However, it wasn't on any mountain but was surrounded by mountains. It was a ring-shaped mountain range that was connected at the head and tail to form a copper wall. The settlement was surrounded by this wall. In the center surrounded by the mountain range was a flat land, with a not-so-small interior space. However, the road leading to it was an extremely long and narrow valley formed because the mountains were too closely connected at the head and tail. Only through the valley could one reach the interior. Lin Tian's three people were stationed on the large flat land inside at this moment. During these few days, the students of Langwu were leaderless due to the absence of the three of them. However, they hadn't sat back and waited for death, and were still gathering up the majority of the students. It was also because of this, through the four people who had been rescued by Lin Tian, the students of Langwu learned about the existence of the three leaders, Lin Tian, Ling Qingran, and Yang Qi. They quickly sent people to find this place, because those four people had described what had happened. The students of Dragon Marshal also vaguely guessed that Lin Tian had another plan, so they didn't let Lin Tian's three go over to lead them. Instead, he had the formation master construct a formation that could communicate remotely. In this way, Lin Tian could remotely control and unify their actions. Lin Tian wasn't really interested in this, even if the two, 000 people of Langwu were united. The amount of points they were able to obtain was still too little. For Lin Tian's goal of leading Langwu to win first place, this amount of points could only be considered as three melons in two dates and having or not having them would not have much of an impact. However, Longwu was not short of people to command. Yang Qi had shown extreme enthusiasm for commanding Longwu's 2,000 men in battle. Over the past few days, he had been using the communication array to remotely control the Longwu's crowd remotely, barely closing his eyes for a few days and nights. The battle results Yang Qi had achieved were also good. The Academy Rankings Longwu had risen all the way to ninth place from the teens when Yang Qi first took over. This was already quite good. The several places further up were all top-tier academies in the Dragon Kingdom. Dragon Marshal's numerical disadvantage was too great, and it was simply unrealistic to try to rely on 2,000 people to compete with the same level of academies. He stayed here for the past few days. Originally, he had thought of using the foreign beasts near this mountain range to practice leveling. However, the alien beasts in this battlefield were all too low-leveled. They were generally at level 15 to 20. To Lin Tian, the experience that could be provided was too little and it was too much of a waste of time to brush them up. 
In the floating ship, a group of bigwigs and principals were closely watching the changes in the battlefield. They too hadn't closed their eyes for a few days and nights, but they were all high-level professionals, so a few days without sleep had no effect. Lin Tian's movements over the past few days were also on their radar. I see that this Lin Tian doesn't have a plan at all. It's because he sees that Long Wu's numerical disadvantage is too great, and that there's no chance of competing with the other top academies, so he's simply given up and is staying here at the settlement point, just waiting for the day of the settlement, when the other students will send their points over. It was unknown who spoke up. This was also basically what the crowd thought. After all, Lin Tian had been in the valley since he arrived. He hadn't done anything at all in the past few days, just waiting here dryly. Even though he can't change anything with Long Wu's current situation, but how can he say that he's also a SSS ranked professional? Or that he's been summoned by Old Lu and is considered to be the hand picked leader of Long Wu's students, but he's not even doing anything, and even the remote remote control is done by that Yang Chi on behalf of him, so his performance is really a bit unimpressive. Lu Xiaoxiong in the crowd did not react when he heard this. He didn't think that Lin Tian was really this kind of person. Lin Tian was at least the number one in the grand examination, and he was also the one who had cleared the trial tower for the first time. No matter how he thought about it, he couldn't be someone who didn't work hard. Now that he wasn't doing anything, Lu Xiaoxiong knew that Lin Tian must have other plans. However, he couldn't figure out what exactly Lin Tian was trying to do. The attention of the crowd didn't stay on the lying down Lin Tian for too long. Soon, they continued to look at the situation of the others. In the battlefield, Tian Yun University, where Mo Fan was from, had already gathered most of its people. Other than him, Tian Yun University had three other leaders who were co-commanding with him. One of them was a SS-ranked professional, while two others were S-ranked professionals. He was the only one of the Skycloud student leaders who wasn't an S-rank or higher occupation. However, the kind of dog blood incident of looking down on him on the basis of his profession being superior did not happen. M.O. Fan, as the only wise man in the team, the other three student leaders, also chose to follow his command. Ever since the first day passed, M.O. Fan had been anxious in his heart. The reason was naturally still Lin Tian's words. An academy coming together to offer points in a formation sounded like a pie in the sky. However, Lin Tian had spoken with too much certainty and confidence. It was said as if things were a foregone conclusion, and he didn't think that Lin Tian was a fool who would only amplify his words. In the past few days, he had already sent people out to spy on the news. Lin Tian's trio was stationed at the settlement, and it really looked like they were waiting to collect the toll, so he had to be worried. In addition to poking around for news about Lin Tian, he had also sent people to poke around for news about Heli and Fei. Emo Fan was just thinking. Then a person rushed into the tent that served as the temporary command headquarters. It was the same person he had sent to spy on news of Heli and Fei. What's the situation on Heli and Fei's side? Any news? Emo Fan asked hurriedly. The man hastily drank a large amount of water, then panted. I was caught by them, but they didn't give me a hard time. Heli and Fei asked me to bring back a message. He said he hopes that you, Boss Missouri, can go and meet with him in the next two days. All right, you go. Mo Fan's heart sank when he heard this. Heli and Fei wanted to see him. He obviously knew about the request made by Lin Ti on that day. Perhaps he had the same premonition as him. On the other side, Longjing University had already gathered the vast majority of the students. Heli and Fei and LV Zhangji had also assembled. LV Zhangji frowned as Heli and Fei recounted to him what he had experienced that day, as well as his thoughts. This is simply impossible. I admit that he's stronger than us, but that strength is limited. No matter how strong he is alone, how many people can he deal with? How is it possible to force so many academies to surrender points to him? Lu Zhangji retorted. Heli and Fei couldn't explain this either. He knew that LV Zhangji was right. No matter how strong Lin Tian was alone, he couldn't deal with so many people. But this was only an explanation from a factual point of view. However, it couldn't explain why Lin Tian did what he did. Unless Lin Tian was crazy, there must be a reason for him to do so. He was able to escape that day. And in hindsight, it was obvious that Lin Tian had done it intentionally, coupled with the news he had poked around in the past few days, as well as Lin Tian's abnormal behavior, all pointed to this conjecture of his. Lin Tian was going to massively plunder the points of other academies. The following day, in the floating ship, the bigwigs and principals who were monitoring the every move of the hundreds of thousands of students in the battlefield were becoming more and more unable to understand the current situation. Each of them had experienced schoolhouse confrontations at least a dozen times, but a situation like this session of academy confrontation, they had never seen it before. Picture. Invited by Heli and Fei, Emo Fan had arrived at the agreed-upon place to meet. This place belonged to the middle of several academy forces and was not yet under the control of any academy. This unfamiliar scene, 
The bigwig principals present looked confused. The leading figures of different academies were meeting each other in the middle of a confrontation. It had never happened before. In previous school confrontations, as long as the day of settlement hadn't arrived yet, the leaders of different schools, once they met, either immediately struck out, wanting to stifle the other party in the cradle, reducing the number of opponents on their own school's side, either they know that their strength is not as good as their opponents, and choose to turn and run immediately, like this peaceful sit down to discuss, the crowd was unheard of. What surprised them even more was that this meeting was not just between Hellion Fei and Mo Fan. Hellion Fei had also invited all the leaders of the top academies including Jiang Feng and Qi Yunxue, excluding Long was Lin Tian who was not present. A total of eight leading figures from the top academies were all present. This talk, Hellion Fei hadn't set up any plots or tricks and wasn't trying to eradicate these opponents all at once. Even he came with Lu Zhani alone, without bringing a single person from Longjing University. At this time, if someone wanted to make a move against the two, at least one of the two of them would have to be eliminated here. Obviously, he was sincerely inviting the crowd to talks. As for the purpose of his inviting the crowd to talks, the crowd of bigwigs and principals all knew it in their hearts. It was only for one person, Lin Tian. However, this reason was a little too ridiculous in their eyes. For the sake of a single person, gathering the leaders of a total of eight top-tier academies along with themselves, it was simply unnecessary to take such a big risk. No matter how strong Lin Tian was alone, he was only one person and couldn't change the general trend. Even if he added Longwu's 2,000 people. Among the top academies, Longwu's overall strength was still at the bottom of the list. Hellion Fei's current move was undoubtedly petty. It even lowered his evaluation in the hearts of the crowd a bit. It wasn't just the crowd of bigwig principals who thought so. In the middle of the battlefield, the leaders of the other seven top academies that had gathered here also felt that Hellion Fei was simply incomprehensible. You're saying that Lin Tian wants to massively plunder the points of all of our academies? Ha ha ha. Someone questioned, then laughed out loud. It was clear that he didn't believe Hellion Fei's claim at all. The others reacted in a similar manner. Although not as directly, the skepticism was written on their faces. When that person finished laughing, he continued, I saw that you were so sincere in inviting us. I thought it was something big, making so many of us rush over just for a joke. The crowd also looked at Hellion Fei questioningly, except for Mo Fan. Another witness to the incident, without waiting for Hellion Fei to speak, Mo Fan defended him. I know this kind of thing sounds unbelievable, although I can't be sure either. I share Hellion Fei's opinion that this incident could really happen. The possibility is still very high. Mo Fan's words were clearly not enough to convince the crowd, unless one was intellectually challenged. Otherwise, who would be arrogant enough to think that he could force all the academies to submit to him? Take a step back. Even if what you said is true and Lin Tian really wants to do this, Zhang Feng spoke for the crowd, but Long Wu's strength is placed here. There are only 2,000 people in total. Even if we add Lin Tian, as strong as he is alone, could he still be able to defeat a single schoolhouse? If he really does, it's just a mantis trying to stop a chariot or an ant trying to shake a tree. Is it necessary to gather so many of us for something that's self-seeking? Zhang Feng finished speaking and looked at the two. In reality, this matter was said by Hellion Fei, and he was really a bit skeptical that it was indeed true. After all, he had met with Hellion Fei and also with Lin Tian. Whichever of these two people it was, Zhang Feng didn't think they were stupid. The fact that Hellion Fei had dared to gather so many people over meant that he was pretty sure that this matter was true. And if the truth was as Harin Fei had guessed, Lin Tian really wanted to do this. Obviously it couldn't simply be because of arrogance either. He was bound to have a plan. So he was also somewhat convinced. These words were said as a question for the crowd. And also for Hellion Fei and Mo Fan so that they could explain clearly and convince the crowd. Hearing Jiang Feng's words, the crowd nodded silently. This was exactly why they didn't believe it. Mo Fan, on the other hand, spoke again. It's normal that you guys don't believe it. After all, the matter of a person making all the academies bow and submit with his own power is impossible no matter how you think about it. Mo Fan first affirmed the thoughts of the crowd. Then he changed his words and suddenly asked, Zhang Feng, Qi Yin Xue, Hellion Fei, and LV Battle Ji, how many floors of the trial tower have you reached? This question was clear to the crowd without them having to say it. After all, they were all at the top of the rankings, so it was hard to not see it. But the four still answered truthfully. The 81st floor. Zhang Feng said, 80th floor. LV Zhangji and Hellion Fei both had this score. Qi Yunxue hesitated for a moment and said, 71st floor. Receiving an answer, Mo Fan continued, the four of them are all SS level professions, placed in the previous grand examinations. They have only appeared once, so it can be said that each of them is a genius among geniuses, and a demon among demons. 
and the four people who are so talented, gathered in one session of the grand examination, and yet the first is not any of them. Mo Fan paused and looked around at the crowd. The crowd was silent. The strength of these four people, they had more or less seen a bit of it during the academy confrontation. It could only be described as terrifying. Even for them, the leaders of the top academies, resisting them was incredibly difficult. And these four people were in the trial tower. None of them were better than Lin Tian. Thinking about this, Lin Tian's image gradually grew taller and deeper in the hearts of the crowd. Seeing the crowd's reaction, Mo Fan continued. Qi Yunxue is a support profession, so let's not talk about that for now. The other three can all be SSS ranked main combat professions. Zhang Feng is at the 81st floor, LV Zhuangji and Heli and Fei are both at the 80th floor, and the record before them, which was also set by an SS ranked professional, was only at the 79th floor. The three of us from this term, having crossed the large step of the 80th layer, can be said to be quite a bit stronger than that predecessor. The three of them are strong enough to represent the true strength of SSS class professionals. But even the three of them have only just crossed the 80th floor. Mo Fan's tone gradually became agitated, as if he was questioning the crowd. You guys don't want to believe that what Heli and Faye said would really happen. Then I will ask you all. If I had told you all before the trial tower began, there's a person whose trial tower score today was able to throw off the three SSS ranked professionals by a full 20 levels, even managed to pass the trial tower. Speaking of this, Mo Fan looked around and looked into the eyes of the crowd and said word for word, Will you guys believe it? Mo Fan's words were like a flat thunderbolt that exploded in the minds of the crowd. The crowd was silent, but in their hearts, a fierce struggle began. How could they originally not believe the conjecture that Heli and Fei had said? But after Mo Fan asked this, yet they believed it to a certain extent. Just as Mo Fan had said, if it hadn't really happened, who would believe that someone could be in the trial tower and throw off three SSS level professionals for a full 20 floors? And who would believe that the trial tower had really been cleared for the first time? No one would believe it. But now the facts were right in front of them. There was no way for them to disbelieve it. Lin Tian really far exceeded the three SSS level professionals. He really had become the first person ever to pass the trial tower. The people present were able to become the leaders of the major top academies. Each and every one of them had extraordinary strength and were super geniuses when placed in the outside world. They knew too well how difficult the trial tower really was and what passing the trial tower meant. Mo Fan continued to add fuel to the fire at this point. You guys think that suppressing all the academies with the power of one person is a pie in the sky. But what else can be more incredible than the existence of a demon like Lin Tian? The words had reached this point. Even if the crowd didn't believe it yet, they couldn't help but consider what to do in their hearts. After all, there was always a fear of the unexpected in everything. Not to mention that Lin Tian had already accomplished something once. Something that was simply impossible in their eyes. In case Lin Tian really wanted to do this, really could do this, what should be done then? On the floating ship, Mo Fan's oratory skills were once again recognized by the crowd of bigwig principals. At the same time, his words shook the crowd. Is it hard to believe that Lin Tian really has this plan? This was the common question in the hearts of the crowd. What exactly will Lin Tian do? Old Lu, you're this kid's principal, you know? Anyway, now that the academy confrontation has begun, it won't have any effect if you say it. Facing the inquiry, Lu Xiaoxiong shook his head. I don't know. I can't see through this kid either. Lu Xiaoxian looked at the screen monitoring Lin Tian and pondered in his heart. Everything Lin Tian did was too abnormal. He couldn't see through it at all. Keep watching. We'll see it sooner or later. Failing to get an answer, the crowd sighed. Anyway, this kid will either make a whole big news or make a big joke. In the battlefield, listening to Mo Fan's words, Zhang Feng basically believed it as well. He looked at the silent crowd around him and felt that the time was almost right. Then what plans do the two of you have? He asked for the crowd. When the crowd heard this, they all turned their heads to look at Mo Fan and Heli and Fei. It doesn't matter what Lin Tian will do or what plans he has. Mo Fan looked at the crowd and spoke his thoughts. The way he's acting right now, it looks like he's all set to wait until the day of settlement. Waiting for us to deliver ourselves. He wants to wait until the last day. So we'll just not let him have his way. Take the initiative to look over there now. If his plan requires preparation time, then we can also catch him off guard in advance. Even if he's already prepared, we should still go over ahead of time. There are still 10 days until the end of the academy confrontation. Even if something goes wrong, we'll have time to start over. In short, we have to do the opposite. Mo Fan finished his words and looked around at the crowd. I, Long Jing University, also mean the same thing. Helian Fei also looked at the crowd and said in his favor. Zhang Feng also spoke at this moment. Since that's the case, our eight universities will gather 200 people each and form an 18 university alliance. Set out immediately to crush Lin Tian. 
The leaders of the two major ones, Divine Clearance and Long Jing, had already spoken, so there was no reason for the crowd to refuse anymore. I agree. I also agree. With the first person agreeing, what followed was a done deal. After all, each academy would only send out 200 people, so there was not much to lose if there was a real problem. In the end, this talk for the sake of crusading against Lin Tian came to an end with Mo Fan and Helian Fei's proposal, and Zhang Feng's clap, a small half day later, outside the valley at the center of the battlefield, led by Zhang Feng and the others, a total of 1600 university allied forces had gathered at this place. In itself, the location of their talks wasn't too far from the center, and coupled with a full speed drive, they had arrived here in half a day. The university allied forces did not go in with much fanfare. Instead, they were hidden in the forest outside the valley, with all four of us SSS ranked and a coalition army of one, six hundred people. Is there a need to be so cowardly? Lu Zhanji looked at Mo Fan and said with some dissatisfaction, He, Lin Tian, is just as strong as he is, can he still crush us head on? Mo Fan shook his head and said, This is not cowardice, this is caution. Lu Zhanji was still a bit dissatisfied, but he couldn't say anything else. Mo Fan's strength was not too strong amongst them, but the brains he displayed had made him the commander of this allied army. A few people just waited here. Soon, a few people were escorted to them. Say, which one of you is a formation master? Mo Fan opened his mouth and asked. These few people were all Long Wu's students, and were also the ones he had ordered to be recaptured. Facing a few SSS level professionals, as well as a coalition army of more than a thousand people, these few people were not afraid, and they still straightened their backs. Upon hearing this, one person stood out. Seeing this scene, they didn't wait for them to speak. Mo Fan then had several other Longwu students escorted back. Only the formation master was left alone. He spoke. Now build a communication formation to trick Yang Qi or Ling Qing ran out. Mo Fan knew that with his qualifications, hard fighting strength was not enough in front of many geniuses, so he had to use his brain in many things. He couldn't be completely confident in his strength like Lu Zhangji. In his opinion, the gains that caution could bring were no less than anything else. Even with the presence of four SSS ranked professionals, as well as a coalition army organized by 1600 high quality students from top tier academies, he still didn't feel safe enough. That was why he came up with the idea of taking hostages. Not only did he want to rely on the four SSS ranked professionals, as well as the 1600 person allied army, to overwhelm Lin Tian in terms of strength, he also wanted a hostage that he could use to blackmail Lin Tian and keep him from utilizing his full strength. Only then, this is the only way. Only then could it be foolproof. Facing Mo Fan's request, the Long Wu's formation master didn't give a damn. He he, on what grounds? Mo Fan continued. Those were your friends just now, right? Without waiting for Mo Fan to finish his sentence, the Long Wu formation master then interrupted him. Just eliminate them. And by the way, eliminate me as well. Dragon Marshal formation master looked at Mo Fan with a look of contempt and continued. Didn't you separate me from the few of them because you were afraid that they would persuade me not to accept the threat? But let me tell you, even if they aren't there, I know what they will say. Do you think that all of my Long Wu students are cowards? Would betray their peers to save themselves? Not to mention the leader of my Long Wu students. Not to mention that you're only capturing a few of us. I won't agree even if you capture 20 or 30 more people. If you're capable, you'll let your formation masters decipher my communication formation. Don't even think about making me cooperate. On the floating ship, Lu Xiaoxiong nodded in satisfaction. Dragon Marshal had never lowered its enrollment standards, and there were drawbacks as well as benefits naturally. This captured Dragon Marshal Formation Master's answer was the best proof. His Long Wu students might be small in number, but each one of them was not a waste. At least this Formation Master was the kind of student that he, Long Wu, wanted. The surrounding group of principals also recognized this Formation Master. Strength aside, just this backbone alone surpassed many. In the dense forest, Longwu Formation Master's answer. Mo Fan was not surprised. He still had a way. Mo Fan nodded and continued. Do you think I would put my hopes all on you taking the initiative to cooperate? Among the S rank auxiliary professions, there is a profession called illusionist, which is able to weave illusions and allow people to be controlled without realizing it. I don't know if you've heard of it. Hearing this, the Dragon Martial Formation Master fell silent. To tell you the truth, we don't have an illusionist in our team. Otherwise I wouldn't have wasted so much time with you. Mo Fan continued, but I know which academy has an illusionist. If you're not willing to cooperate, I'll pay a high price in points to ask him to help. But if you are willing to save me some trouble, I can also give you a guarantee. Mo Fan stared into his eyes and said very sincerely, as long as you cooperate, I promise to let you guys go. 
Don't forget that whether you cooperate or not will not affect the outcome of the matter. Emil Fan's words made the Lanwu formation artist a little shaken. It was true that he could not resist when the illusionist struck. Sacrifices he could accept. Needless sacrifices were not quite worth it. However, shaken or not, asking him to betray the leader of Lanwu was still difficult for him to agree to. I still can't agree. Use whatever means you have. The dragon martial formation master refused. But his refusal was not as firm this time. Seeing this, Emil Fan knew that he had succeeded. Even if you don't think about yourself, don't you still consider Longwu's situation? How many formation masters do you have in Longwu? Two or three? How much less of you would affect Longwu? You wouldn't be unaware of that, would you? This time Emil Fan chatted about Longwu's interests. The Dragon Martial Formation Master wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. What Emil Fan said was true. Every academy did not have many formation masters. Longwu originally had a small number of people and naturally had fewer formation masters. Having one less of him would have a great impact on the students of Longwu. Now if he refused again, it would be tantamount to selling out Longwu's interests in real terms in order to stick to his principles and protect his reputation. Emil Fan struck the iron while it was hot and advised one last time. Neither Yang Qi nor Ling Qingran are our targets. As long as you promise now, not only you guys, but also Yang Qi or Ling Qingran, I will let them all go together. I guarantee it with the honor of Tianyun University. The words fell. The Longwu formation master was finally completely shaken. No matter from which angle, he had no reason to refuse anymore, and agreeing to it was the best choice. Okay, I promise. He was not worried that Emil Fan would go back on his word. There was no student leader of any academy that would sell out the academy's reputation for so many years for the sake of an academy confrontation. But I have one last question. The Longwu formation master looked at Emil Fan and asked in a pleading manner, since you guys didn't plan to take on Boss Yang and Boss Ling, with all this fanfare, is it just for Boss Lin alone? Emil Fan nodded. Yes, just for Lin Tian alone. Hearing this, the Longwu formation master completely deflated. So many people had gathered, and even had to use a bit of intrigue just to deal with Lin Tian alone. No matter who else came today, it would be impossible to escape. While deflated, he was still a little proud. Only the leader of their Longwu could have this kind of poker face. A few moments later, Dragon Marshal's Array Master completed the transaction. He made up a reason to trick Yang Qi into coming outside the valley. Mo Fan patted his shoulder and said, Don't worry, Lin Tian won't blame you. Anyone else would have to agree. When it's over, I'll let you and Yang Qi leave. After saying that, he had the formation master escorted down as well. Zhang Feng, Helian Fei and the others who saw the whole thing from the side were a bit surprised by Emil Fan's tactics. Someone with such a backbone still compromised under his three words. Which academy did you say the illusionist was from? Lu Zhanji asked with some doubt. The other few people also looked at him. They hadn't heard of any academy that had an illusionist. A rather special auxiliary profession. Emil Fan shook his head. Made it up. There is no such person. In an instant, Zhang Feng's few people stirred up goosebumps. On the floating ship, a group of bigwigs and principals had long known that there was no illusionist at all in this term. But they were also surprised by Mo Fan's insidiousness. To have such a mind and means at this age was a rare sight. At the same time, they also sweated for Lin Tian. This situation, it was not too much to say that it was an ambush from ten sides. In the dense forest, Mo Fan did not feel proud or pleased with the crowd's surprise. He was only a level 14 B ranked professional with limited strength. If he didn't rely on his mind, he simply couldn't stand on an equal footing with a few people right now. As far as he was concerned, using his mind was just like how other people used their professions. Jiang Feng's few people quickly ambushed them. After some time, Yang Qi slowly walked out from the valley. He looked left and right, but he didn't see Long Wu's classmates. He had just realized that something was wrong when a dagger with a biting cold light was placed on his neck. Then another dagger was pressed against his back waist. This dagger was longer than normal, and he recognized it. It was precisely Helian Fei's dagger. Brother Lian Fei, goodbye. Facing this scene, Yang Qi remained calm. He turned around and saw Zhang Feng and Lu Zhangji again. Come with us, don't be afraid. As long as you cooperate, we won't hurt you. Afraid? Yang Qi let out a light laugh and said, Three major SSS level professionals serving me alone. Others who want this blessing haven't had it yet. Tie up all his hands and feet. Very quickly. Several people tied up Yang Qi and brought him back to the dense forest. After making all the preparations, Emil Fan opened the communication array from earlier. A moment later, Lin Tian's holographic projection appeared in the formation. Brother Lin, the exit of the valley has been surrounded by us. You won't be able to escape with your wings. Yang Qi has also been captured by us. If you don't want him to be eliminated, come out yourself. The words fell. Lin Tian did not reply. 
but instead looked at Yang Qi. Yang Qi similarly didn't speak and blinked his left eye at Lin Tian. The next second, the holographic projection disappeared and Lin Tian directly closed the communication array. A few people looked at each other, obviously not expecting this reaction from Lin Tian. They looked at Yang Qi. He said he'll be here soon. Yang Qi gave an embarrassed laugh. The few people had no choice but to come to the exit of the valley. The allied forces had already surrounded the place. After waiting for a while, they hadn't seen Lin Tian. Mo Fan was about to order to rush in. Just then, he saw two figures that appeared from the depths of the valley. In front of the 1600 allied troops, the figures were calm and relaxed, walking leisurely. The person who came was none other than Lin Tian. Outside the valley, Zhang Feng, Qi Yin Xue, Lu Zhani, Helian Fei, and Mo Fan stood side by side at the front. Behind them were the elite students selected from the eight top universities, a total of 1600 allied troops. These 1600 people surrounded the mouth of the valley. They had each taken out their weapons and were standing by according to Mo Fan's orders. Such a large number of people gathered here today to form a coalition army, only for the purpose of eradicating Lin Tian alone. Although the coalition army was only students, however, there was still a solemn and murderous aura that permeated inside and outside the valley. Mo Fan's five people looked towards Lin Tian. 1600 people versus two people. With a crushing strength advantage in hand, the plan was perfectly implemented step by step, and the situation was under control. The situation was under control. However, the five people still didn't dare to take Lin Tian lightly. Mo Fan cupped his fists and said to Lin Tian, I'm sorry, brother Lin. Regardless of what exactly your grand plan is, we really don't dare to sit around and wait for you to implement it. A few of us also know that our strength is not good, and that we are not your opponents in a hard fight. So we have no choice but to come up with this plot and trick. Seeing that Lin Tian didn't reply, Mo Fan continued, but a gentleman's word is a promise that is hard to keep. At that time, you let me go, my promise is still valid. When you are eliminated, the points of the seven of us that day, all of them will go to Yang Qi and Ling Qingren. At this moment, Lin Tian stood with his hands behind his back, facing the allied forces that were like a heavenly net. His face was calm and fearless, his eyes looked around the circle and frankly scanned the crowd. Ling Qingran stood beside him. This appearance did not look in the least like what someone at the end of his rope should look like. Instead, it was more like strolling along a forest path, enjoying the beautiful scenery with a beautiful person. On the floating ship, the people who saw the scene were surprised at Lin Tian's ancient and unruffled demeanor. It didn't matter what plans Lin Tian originally had, or whether his plans could still be successfully implemented. Even if he was eliminated right now, his calmness of facing 1600 people head on and still remaining unperturbed won the admiration of the crowd. At a young age, he was able to have this kind of calmness that didn't change his face when a mountain crumbled in front of him. It is really too rare. How many experienced and powerful professionals still couldn't face unfavorable situations that far exceeded their expectations? But Lin Tian had done it. A great general's demeanor. I don't know who exclaimed. And the crowd subconsciously nodded. Lu Xiaoxiong looked at Lin Tian in the picture and the doubts in his heart were dispelled by a few points. He had originally thought that Lin Tian didn't have a reliable plan. Perhaps he had chosen the wrong person for this leader, and that Lin Tian would probably have to suffer a loss once on this term of academy confrontation. But now his thoughts had changed. People had their own strengths. Even if Lin Tian wasn't good at making plans and didn't have the commanding skills like Mo Fan, it still didn't stop him from being the most suitable person to be the leader of the Dragon Martial students. There was no other reason. A general's demeanor that could remain calm when the building was about to fall was also one of the best leadership traits. And Lin Tian had such a demeanor. Outside the valley. When Mo Fan's five people saw Lin Tian strolling out without any fear. Strolling out lightly in general. They couldn't help but feel alert in their hearts. Good. Lin Tian looked at Mo Fan and praised. What a plotting and scheming. At those words, all five of Mo Fan were stunned. Not knowing if Lin Tian was mocking them for being timid or what he meant. In reality, Lin Tian was not mocking nor did he mean anything else. It was simply praising. Mo Fan was able to detect that his plan was serious through just his words. He was also able to convince so many people with empty words to come together to besiege him, even holding such a large advantage in troops, and controlling Yang Qi as a hostage. Such acumen, eloquence, and prudence. It was completely worthy of a word of praise from him. Lin Tian looked at the five people and casually said, Since the people are already together, you guys just make your move. Lin Tian was so frank. Instead, it made Mo Fan's five people even more confused. It was still LV Zhangji who was the first to react. He himself had a combative nature. And at this moment, when he was provoked by Lin Tian like this, the desire to fight in his heart was provoked. LV Zhangji took a step forward. 
Two long knives appeared out of thin air in his hands, flashing with a silky cold aura. Let's go together, Lu Zhanji said. Although he was combative in nature, he was not a fool. It was clear in his heart that with his strength alone, he could not possibly be Lin Tian's opponent. If he wanted to have a painful battle with Lin Tian, at the very least, he needed a few people to beat him up and share some of the pressure for him. Zhang Feng and Helian Fei sniffed without the slightest hesitation. Zhang Feng took out a long sword. Helian Fei pulled out a dagger, and the two of them stepped forward. Shi Yinxue also held her staff in her hand, ready to support them. None of the four had any mental baggage about joining forces. Although they were geniuses and demons, Lin Tian was even more of a genius among geniuses and a demon among demons. For against one was only fair. Mo Fan did not step forward. He didn't think that the four of them could deal with Lin Tian by joining forces. Adding him alone wouldn't help. He didn't stop the four either. For one thing, he wanted to see Lin Tian's strength just as much as the four. Secondly, the success or failure of the four in this battle didn't affect the outcome. The one, 600 strong allied army was the biggest force in his hands to deal with Lin Tian, not to mention that he was still holding a hostage. The situation was under his control. You step back, Lin Tian said to Ling Qingran beside him. Ling Qingran obediently retreated to the back. Then a fiery red spear appeared in Lin Tian's hand, one person and one lance, facing the four people directly. He stood tall and fearless. Zhang Feng and LV Zhuangji's feet slammed down, leaving cracks in the verdant stone ground as their figures flew towards Lin Tian. Helian Fei also transformed into a shadow on the ground and shot towards Lin Tian. The three of them arrived almost simultaneously. Zhang Feng and LV Battleji attacked towards Lin Tian, and Helian Fei also drilled out from his shadow on the ground. None of the three used their skills. Instead, they wanted to go over the basics with Lin Tian first. One sword, one dagger, two long knives, for weapons that either stabbed or slashed at Lin Tian at the same time. At this moment, Lin Tian moved, the fiery red lance in his hand swung up, and like the three, he did not use any skills and only competed with a basic move. Lin Tian's lance struck a sweeping blow, the latter shot came first, before the three people's weapons could touch Lin Tian, they were smashed into their bodies by the lance sweeping across their bodies. The three figures flew backwards at the same time. The going was faster than the coming. Two bright red lines of blood traced through the air. Bang, bang, bang. Three sounds rang out at the same time. Zhang Feng, LV Zhangji, and Helian Fei. The three of them crashed to the ground. Zhang Feng and Helian Fei's mouth spitting out blood. Only LV Zhangji didn't spit out blood. They collapsed on the ground. One hand forcefully holding up their bodies. One hand covering their chests. The gazes of the three of them looking at Lin Tian were nothing but shock. There was no more fighting intent. Mo Fan also froze. He had expected the defeat of the three, but he had never thought that they would lose so quickly. Just one basic move in the competition. The three were defeated. They were even injured to a great extent. Shi Yinxue also froze as the trio didn't even give her a chance to heal before they fell to the ground in defeat. It wasn't until Mo Fan reminded her that she came back to her senses. Shi Yinxue, where's your healing? All troops listened to the order. Stand by. On the floating ship, the image of the trio losing under a single strike from Lin Tian just now had left the crowd of bigwig principles dumbfounded. Lin Tian was stronger than the three. That much everyone knew. But to not be able to last even one move was just too shocking. Moreover, just now it was only a basic competition. The competition was between physical skills and panel attributes. Lin Tian hadn't shown any superior physical techniques either, and had injured the three with just a sweeping strike. Didn't this mean that Lin Tian's attributes had crushed the three people? It was at least more than twice that of the three. One had to know that Zhang Feng, LV Zhuangji, and Helian Fei were all SSSS ranked professionals. As the same SSS level professional, the four dimensional attributes increased by an average of 10 points per level up, totaling 40 points of attributes, which should be the same for Lin Tian as them. But if the attributes were close and no skills were used, how was it possible to make the three lose on the spot with a single strike? Even if Lin Tian had already turned 2, he was only at level 21 now, and the advantages of turning 2 hadn't accumulated much yet, so it was reasonably impossible for him to do such a thing, but he had managed to do it. At this moment, in the eyes of the crowd, Lin Tian's figure seemed to be hidden in a mist. It made them unable to see through it. Lin Tian seemed to be stronger than they could imagine. The three of them lost in one move, or because of carelessness. I don't know who said that, outside the valley. Zhang Feng's trio had recovered their peak condition after Qi Yinxue's treatment, and stood up to stare at Lin Tian warily. Mo Fan glanced at the trio and then looked at Lin Tian. He similarly couldn't figure out how Lin Tian was able to crush the three people so much in terms of their attributes. However, he knew, the defeat of the three was not because of the difference in attributes, 
The reason why professionals were called professionals was because their power relied on their professional attributes, not their innate divine power. Even if Lin Tian's attributes were twice as strong as the three, if he didn't use his skills, he wouldn't even be able to defeat one of them, not to mention defeating three SSS ranked professionals. The three were defeated. Defeat was due to carelessness. Defeat was due to recklessness. Instead of using their skills in the first place, they competed with Lin Tian in basic physical skills. Otherwise, even if Lin Tian had used the same skills, the three of them were after all SSS level professionals, so they would have been able to hold out for at least a few moves. Lin Tian defeated the three in one move. It was really shocking to the three of them, causing none of them to realize the real reason for their one move defeat. Inwardly, they even felt a trace of fear towards Lin Tian. It wasn't just the three of them. Mo Fan looked towards the allied army, and the formation of one, 600 people was also disorganized because of this shocking to the core scene, and it could be shaken at any moment. Seeing this, Mo Fan said loudly, no need to be afraid. Zhang Feng's trio lost because of their lightheartedness and carelessness. It was difficult to think that Lin Tian's attributes were just so high. It wasn't a lack of strength. Lin Tian is even less invincible. In front of a coalition army of one, 600 people, even a supreme expert would be killed by a random fist. Mo Fan first explained the reason for the trio's defeat. It eliminated the shock that the scene just now had brought to the hearts of the crowd. Then he emphasized his side's numerical advantage. In a few words, he stabilized the disorganized military mind of the allied forces. When Zhang Feng's three men heard the words, they were also startled and hurriedly dispelled the hint of fear that had risen within them. After the scene just now, Mo Fan realized that it was not only the three who were careless, but also himself. Because the advantage was too great, he forgot to be cautious. Forgetting that the power of these 1600 people was not truly twisted into a rope, there were too many factors affecting how much it could be utilized. Thinking about this, Mo Fan decided to eliminate Lin Tian immediately to avoid a long night. Lin Tian, your good brother Yang Qi is still in our hands, so tie your hands and surrender. After eliminating you, I will spare both Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, otherwise, you'll all leave together under a flurry of allied forces. Mo Fan was still using his best words to heal. It was safest to let Lin Tian admit defeat on his own. Otherwise, when they moved, if Lin Tian eliminated some of them, it was possible that the military heart of the Allied Army would be shaken once again. After all, it was just a team that had been cobbled together, and it wasn't originally of one mind. Facing the threat, Lin Tian laughed lightly and said to him, Do you guys really think that old Yang is a waste? Hearing this, Mo Fan was startled in his heart and immediately turned back to look at Yang Qi. At this moment, Yang Qi, who was tied to a tree with five flowers, was surrounded by five little ghosts whose heads were labeled with talismans, and the two people who were responsible for guarding him had already fallen unconscious on the ground. Quickly stop him, Mo Fan shouted. Instantly, dozens of people rushed towards Yang Qi. Yang Qi blinked his left eye at Mo Fan's few people and laughed. Haven't you heard of the left eye jumping to wealth? You can't even see it when it's implied in front of you guys. As he was speaking, the five little ghosts had already pulled him out of the rope out of thin air, the rope still remained intact, and Yang Chi Man had already come out, he moved his arms and legs and showed off, five ghosts moving mountains, haven't seen it before, finished speaking, the five little ghosts hopped and jumped behind a tree and disappeared, show you guys one more move, Yang Chi said as he made seals with both hands and set the talisman pinched between his fingers ablaze, transportation technique, as Yang Chi's words fell, the land under his feet produced a watery ripple, quickly grab him, Mo Fan shouted again, Dozens of people lunged directly towards Yang Qi, but just as they were about to grab Yang Qi, Yang Qi had already dropped into the ground under his feet as if he had fallen into water and disappeared. Dozens of people pounced on him and smashed heavily on the ground. A few seconds later, Yang Qi's figure once again slowly rose from the ground and stood beside Lin Tian. Still really treating me like trash? A waste can be my brother Tian's brother? Yang Qi flaunted with a proud face. How can I say that I'm also the 398th in the National Grand Examination? Okay? This scene made Mo Fan's face ugly. It wasn't because of Yang Qi's dejected look. Rather, it was because of his own negligence. Yang Qi and Ling Qingren looked too plain beside Lin Tian. This made him fail to notice that Yang Qi was also someone who was able to make it into the top 300 or so on the national exam that millions of people took and hundreds of thousands of people passed. Thus, it was only then that he neglected to take precautions against Yang Qi, truly treating this guy as an ordinary student. But how could the 398th place in the country be an easy one? If he had realized this earlier, replacing the person guarding Yang Qi with a student leader of SS ranked profession, then there was no way Yang Qi could have escaped so easily. In the end, it was still because he had placed too much importance on this record breaking Lin Tian, 
It caused him to lose his usual mind, sluggish to such an extent that he made such a big mistake, but very quickly, Mo Fan adjusted his mind. There was never a seamless plan in the world. It was precisely because all plans were subject to a hundred mistakes. That was why multiple hands were needed to prepare. Running away a hostage did not affect the overall situation. There was no need for much thought. This one, 600 strong allied army was the king bomb in his hands. All troops obey the order. Destroy Lin Tian, with Mo Fan's order. The entire one, 600 allied troops that surrounded the mouth of the valley all charged towards Lin Tian alone. 1600 people didn't sound like much, but when they were close by, they all rushed towards him. There was still a mountainous and tsunami-like momentum. Mo Fan and Zhang Feng's four, as well as several student leaders of the academy, did not make a move. A coalition army of one, 600 people, even with the battle power of a few of them, it was only adding up to a drop in the bucket. Looking at the allied forces that were rising up in a flurry in front of him, Lin Tian raised the spear in his hand and pointed it at the crowd. With a hu sound, a crimson flame flared up and surrounded the tip of the spear. A terrifying temperature brewed at the tip of the spear. The next second, a pillar of fire wrapped in fiery magma erupted from the tip of the spear, stabbing straight towards the crowd. The few people at the very front, they were eliminated the instant the flames approached, and a protective formation made of light rose around them. The few people who were eliminated were first confused, followed by a wave of trepidation. If it wasn't for the protective array that rose up and blocked this pillar of fire, placed on a real battlefield, they would have died beyond death by now. Lin Tian held the lance in his hand and crossed it to the right. The fire pillar was also like a lance and swung after it. The dozens of people at the very front were instantly eliminated. This scene once again left a large shadow in the hearts of the allied forces. The people were all shocked by Lin Tian's methods and hurriedly tried to break their footsteps, not wanting to make unnecessary sacrifices. However, the dozens of people in the second row were still squeezed up from behind. As Lin Tian's gun tip danced again, dozens of people were eliminated again. Instantly, the entire field was silent. The allied forces with 1500 people left break their feet, and no one dared to move forward again. The crowd at the back looked at Lin Tian dumbfounded through one of the protective formations. They only felt their scalps tingle. From the crowd rushing towards Lin Tian in a flurry, to Lin Tian raising his gun and striking out, to the 100 people being eliminated from the game. It was less than 10 seconds before and after. 100 people were eliminated just like that. Not a single wave was made. The 100 people who were eliminated lost all their points. And then a light lit up as teleportation stones teleported them out. The field was plunged into an eerie atmosphere. Lin Tian didn't make a move. Not a single person dared to move a bit. Didn't dare to make any noise. Hated to make their heartbeat stop. Fearing that they would be targeted by this killing god in front of them. On the floating ship. The crowd of bigwigs and principals were just like the situation in the valley. There was only silence. Even though they had seen a lot and witnessed many schoolhouse confrontations. This was the first time they had seen such a situation where the eight great academies combined their efforts and allied 1600 people against one person. The scene of 1600 people being wiped out by a single strike of a hundred people, and still being scared like quails. It was even the first time they had seen it. Terror. I don't know who said it, causing the crowd to come back to their senses. It was only then that they realized that Lin Tian's fearlessness and unperturbed nature turned out to be more than just because of the great general's demeanor. He really did have this backbone. The crowd came back to their senses and immediately exploded. How did he do that? What kind of skill is this? Does a dragon master have such a skill? Wiping out a hundred people in one hit. Which SSS ranked profession can do that at level 21? Who knows about the skills of a dragon master? But if a dragon master has such terrifying skills, how could it be a waste profession? Is a dragon master this strong without dragons? I think his skill is somewhat similar to the dragon grammarian's fire dragon's breath. It's not like we haven't seen the fire dragon's breath before, whose fire dragon's breath can have such terrifying power. Not only are Lin Tian's attributes frighteningly high, his skills are also ridiculously strong. The crowd exclaimed in shock. Lu Xiaoxiong turned his head to look at the light screen. At this moment, on the overall ranking, Lin Tian had instantly jumped to first place from being at the bottom just a moment ago. 100 people, or 100 of the elite students in the A-top academies. The points plundered from eliminating them had directly made Lin Tian number one. In the battlefield, the eerie silence continued. Mo Fan and the four of them, Zhang Feng, were already shocked beyond words. The four Zhang Fengs were directly dumbfounded. The impact of this scene on them was even more shocking than Lin Tian defeating the three of them in one move just now. There was a reason why they lost in one move. And there was a reason why they were gullible and careless. But in this scene, there was no such thing as carelessness. Nor was there any such thing as a light enemy. It was just the crushing of absolute strength. Just one strike. Destroying a hundred people. 
Is this real? Is it really true? The four Jung phones couldn't help but gulp. As fellow SSS class professionals, they knew that they definitely didn't have this kind of strength. And they also recognized one thing. Even if they had used their skills in the first place at that time, the result wouldn't have changed in the slightest. Lin Tian could still defeat the three of them in one move. The four Jung Fongs, as SSS level professionals, would only take pride in their profession in the past, it had never been like this moment now. Doubting if they had awakened a fake SSS ranked profession, even Mo Fan, who was always calm, was staring in disbelief at the images he was seeing. The one, 600 man coalition army that he had treated as a king bomb, 100 people had evaporated in a single glance. The remaining people were obviously disorganized and no longer had any fighting strength. Moreover, after the strike just now, Mo Fan had already re-evaluated the fighting strength of both sides. Even if the remaining 1500 people charged again, they would only fall piece by piece under Lin Tian's gun. 1500 against one, the advantage was his. The entire crowd was staring at Lin Tian. He didn't make a move, and everyone didn't dare to move a bit. Lin Tian raised his hand to glance at the spear and shook his head. The effect of this strike was worse than he thought. Placed on a real battlefield, this initiate fire dragon's breath of his would definitely take out more than a hundred people. But the academy confrontation was different. The people he eliminated in the front row would have protection arrays rising on their bodies. These protective formations, in turn, would block the flames for the people behind them. Otherwise, he should have had to fall a large number of people with a single swipe of his spear. But right now, this would not constitute any problem for him. Lin Tian took a step towards the allied forces. He crossed over the people at the very front and did not strike, but instead approached towards the center of the crowd of allied forces. The sights of the surrounding 1500 people moved with him. Lin Tian was defenseless, yet no one dared to make a move against him. Lin Tian just walked idly, as if he was in no one's territory, to the center of the crowd of allied forces. Under the gaze of the crowd, Lin Tian clenched his hands into fists and crossed them in front of his chest. The entire person was somewhat curled up, or rather, contracted with force. It was like he was accumulating a terrifying power. A terrifying temperature spread out across his body. Those who were closer to him and the allied forces only felt a wave of heat hitting their faces. Then, the clothes on Lin Tian's upper body burned out with a bang. Everyone could only see that underneath his not-so-white skin, a streak of crimson light was coming out through his body back and chest of the crimson fire, as if with the breath flow generally, the crowd could see it clearly, that streak of crimson fire light seemed to be magma flowing within his body, the magma flowing inside Lin Tian's body gradually penetrated his body surface and churned up on his skin, the crowd looked at him as if he was wearing an armor made of magma, the temperature brewing inside him became even more terrifying, those who were in his vicinity could already feel the blazing heat, a burning smell came from the hair of many people's eyebrows, there was no doubt, Lin Tian was brewing a terrifying white range killing move. Zhang Feng's four people's eyelids were jumping as they watched, and the idea of wanting to turn around and escape had already arisen. It was just that now when they moved, if Lin Tian caught up with them, there was nothing they could do and they still only had the fate of being eliminated. Mo Fan looked around the entire field and had a plan in mind. Lin Tian is trying to destroy us as a group. Run, Mo Fan shouted. The crowd was awakened by his shout. None of the remaining 1500 people dared to stay any longer and immediately ran away from Lin Tian towards the outside. The entire scene was suddenly in chaos. Don't go yet, Mo Fan shouted lowly to the four Jiang Fongs, as well as the other academy leaders. After saying that, he dashed towards the outside without looking back. The Jiang Fongs several people also no longer hesitated and turned around to run. In the current situation, wanting to eliminate Lin Tian was a complete fool's errand. In this situation, they couldn't care less about the other students. Those who could run were counted as one. At this moment, everyone was running away from Lin Tian, outside the entire valley. It was a mess. Between students from the same academy, they were also chasing after each other, fearing that they would be eliminated out if they ran slowly. Between different academies, at this moment, there was even less of the brotherhood and friendship that existed during the alliance. Every now and then, someone would strike at students from other academies, clearing the obstacles in front of them so that they could run faster. The ally forces that had originally gathered to deal with Lin Tian were already fighting internally on their way to escape, or rather they had collapsed and were no longer a coalition army naturally they couldn't talk about infighting, they had just resumed their original situation. Some people weren't eliminated under Lin Tian, instead, they were eliminated by the students of the other academies around them, eliminated. The allied forces that had come to crusade began a great escape. This scene, it made the group of bigwig principals on the floating ship unable to bear to look at it. The raging ally forces were routed in just two shots, they hadn't expected this development either. 
The crowd had thought that the Allied forces had gathered one. 600 people to besiege Lin Tian and that they were bound to win. It hadn't occurred to them at all that Lin Tian was so strong to such an extent. One move had defeated the three Jiang Fongs. Another move wiped out a hundred people from the Allied army. With two moves, it directly caused the military heart of the Allied army to collapse. So much so that they didn't even have the guts to fight back. While Lin Tian was storing up his killing moves, none of them dared to take the opportunity to strike at him. The crowd looked at Imo Fan and Jiang Fong and the others again. As the student leaders of each academy, they had left the students of their respective academies behind at this moment and ran away. This was not an honorable thing to do. However, when placed in the present, there was nothing that could be done about it. After all, the eight top-tier academies had more students to lead besides these 200. There were still 10 days left for the academy confrontation as well. It really wasn't a wise move to fold now, no matter how humiliating their act of leaving their classmates behind and running away was. But now, while Lin Tian hadn't finished storing up his power and had also pretty much run away, it was better than everyone being accounted for here. In the middle of the battlefield, the crowd from the allied forces followed behind Mo Fan, Zhang Feng and the others, and had already run out an extremely long distance. Lin Tian had also finished storing his strength. The air around him was ignited by the blazing heat, and it was as if his entire body was wrapped in a large fireball. This move was one of Little Yan's new skills, Ancestral Fire Dragon's Fury. Lin Tian saw that the crowd had run away. He used another skill, Earthshaking Heavenly Dragon. Only Lin Tian's back suddenly unfurled the silhouette of a pair of dragon wings, followed by a dragon tail, dragon claws, and a hideous dragon head. A giant dragon's shadow enveloped Lin Tian, adding in the ignited air around Lin Tian. It was as if Lin Tian was transformed into a giant dragon that was burning. The giant dragon shadow spread its wings and fluttered gently. Lin Tian's entire body slowly rose along with the shadow, rising higher and higher. Then, the giant dragon silhouette's wings spread out, and with a fierce wave merged them on both sides of his body. Instantly, the dragon's shadow carried Lin Tian at an extreme speed, as if it was transformed into an arrow. It hurriedly shot towards the fleeing allied forces. The giant dragon shadow was like a burning meteorite. Wrapped in the weight of a thousand pounds as it violently fell to the ground, a circle of shockwaves spread out in all directions. Wherever the shockwave passed, a protection array instantly opened up on the people who were affected by the wave and were eliminated. The protective array lit up in a circle, from near to far, from inside to outside. It was as if a stone fell into the water, causing a ripple. Boom! It was immediately followed by a deafening roar that trailed the shockwave. After the giant dragon silhouette crashed to the ground, it left a crater-like pit on the ground. The ground around the crater cracked, and a crack spread out in all directions like a spider's web. Many more people were affected and fell into the cracks in the ground, being squeezed by the earth and eliminated. The people who were a little farther away and were not affected only felt their scalps tingle. Some of the people who were originally at the end of the line and were intercepted by Lin Tian hurriedly turned their heads and fled in other directions. The crowd did not dare to stay on their feet. The feeling of fear made them unable to resist looking back at Lin Tian. The next second. What came into their eyes was a scene that would make their hearts jump in fear for the rest of their lives when they thought back on it. The crowd only saw that the magma flowing on Lin Tian's body completely surged. Lin Tian's entire body seemed to have transformed into a gushing, terrifying volcano. Endless amounts of magma violently erupted from his body into the sky. Immediately afterward, the sky rained fire. A stream of magma fell from the sky like a torrent, striking the crowd like a blistering rain. The crowd that was caught in the wave was instantly eliminated. The ground was dripping with a layer of magma. The small number of people who managed to escape looked back. Just this one glance. It left them with an indelible shadow. Lin Tian was like a standing volcano. Underneath his feet magma was still flowing in all directions. Around him was a lit up protection formation, which was illuminated in flaming red under the fiery light emitted by the magma. They had lost count of how many people had been eliminated by these two strokes. But the densely packed protective formations told them. There were at least nearly a thousand people that had fallen under these two strikes. This horrifying scene, it made the crowd even more frightened, and they ran desperately towards the outside. The eyes of Mo Fan, Zhang Feng and the others also revealed deep scorn, and uncontrollable fear. Lin Tian's strength was just too terrifying. Mo Fan's few people looked back and only saw Lin Tian leave them a meaningful look, but did not chase after them. The people who had escaped had already run far away. The thousands of people who were eliminated from the surrounding area were also all teleported out by the teleportation stones, outside the valley. Other than the magma on the ground that hadn't cooled down and was still flowing, as well as the dense forest that was burning, peace had been completely restored. Lin Tian looked in the direction where the crowd had fled as their figures gradually disappeared from view. He did not choose to chase after them. 
even though the student leaders of the eight top academies were already here. As long as he made a move to eradicate them, then no more academies would be able to compete with Langwu. And even if a new leader was elected, there would still be no way to stop him from plundering all the points in the end. But he did not do so. There was no other reason. This allied army of one, 600 people was still too small. It wasn't enough for him to show his true strength, and he didn't even need to summon little amazing. Striking out on his own was enough to set things right. With such an effect, it had definitely drawn attention. But he felt that it wasn't enough. He was letting these people go now for the sake of the crowd to gather more people when they returned. Now that the crowd's fear and scorn of him had risen to the highest, if they wanted to deal with him again, they were bound to throw everything they had at him. It would be best to unite all the people from all the academies and challenge him once more on the day of the settlement. Only then would it be possible to cause the real bigwigs to shake. Since he wanted to make big news, the bigger the better. No more thinking. Lin Tian turned around and walked towards the valley. The two of them, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, went up and they were stunned as well. Brother Tian, this is too raw for you. More than a thousand people, just like that. You exterminated them. It's simply easier than killing a chicken. If I were to kill more than a thousand chickens, it would still take me half a day to catch them. Yang Qi exclaimed continuously. Lin Tian didn't fear the allied forces in the slightest. This he knew. But he hadn't thought that Lin Tian was using such a violent and direct way to make the allied forces retreat or rather rout. It hadn't even summoned little amazing. There are still too few of them. Go, go back and rest. Lin Tian's gaze was already showing fatigue. These two moves were extremely powerful. And the exertion on him was equally great. If the allied forces had two to three thousand more people, he would have had to summon Little Yen. Yang Qi and Ling Qingran both wanted to assist Lin Tian. However, they were rejected by Lin Tian with a wave of his hand. He had only consumed a bit too much, but he was still far from running out of gas and not being able to walk. On the floating ship, there was a silence. No one in the crowd had opened their mouths to speak. They were still immersed in the scene just now. Lin Tian had shocked them time and time again, and also surprised them time and time again. The shock that Xin had given them was even more above Lin Tian's passage through the trial tower. From the earliest moment when the crowd thought that Lin Tian was going to be eliminated at the hands of the allied forces, to the moment when Lin Tian powered up and crushed the allied army's military heart in two moves, they thought that the script was Lin Tian's strength, strong enough to make the allied forces retreat. But they didn't realize that what Lin Tian wanted wasn't to make the allied army retreat, but to annihilate. If the allied forces hadn't run fast, I'm afraid that would have been possible. From the brink of being eliminated, they fought all the way to annihilation. This caused the crowd of bigwig principles to suck in a breath of cold air. This Lin Tian has too much potential. Long Wu really picked up a piece of treasure. No, I should say he picked up a divine weapon. The crowd praised it in succession. It made Lu Zeosi and couldn't help but laugh out loud. The surprise Lin Tian had given him was just too big. It's just luck. A student who picked it up for nothing who would have thought it would be so demonic. Lu Xiaoxion humbled himself twice. It made the crowd even more envious and jealous. How did such a demonic student not land in their school? When Xing Lu and Zhu Daotan, the two of them, were even more hateful and their hearts were dripping blood. The two of them instantly decided in their hearts that the punishment for the head of admissions who had rejected Lin Tian would have to be even more severe before they could do so. Somewhere on the battlefield, the remnants of the badly defeated allied forces had routed all the way here. Emo Fan and Zhang Feng and the others were out of breath. And as for the rest of the allied army crowd, they had even collapsed to the ground in exhaustion. They had fled with all their might all the way until here, not daring to stop at all. Seeing that Lin Tian was late in chasing after them, only then did they stop to rest. In reality, if they were allowed to escape again, they wouldn't be able to run anymore. The leaders of the various academies had palpitations when they recalled it. At the beginning, they had brought a total of one, 600 people of the allied army to crusade against Lin Tian with great vigor. Now, they were fleeing all the way, with less than 400 people left. How could they still have the original vigor? They were lucky to have escaped. After a long time, after a long time, when the crowd had caught their breath, immediately, there was a leader of the academy who found Emo Fan and wanted a statement. The crusade against Lin Tian was your idea, and the allied forces were commanded by you. We each brought 200 people in the beginning, and now there are less than 50 left. How are you going to account for this? That person had an attitude of asking for an explanation, and the rest of the leaders of the academies also looked at Emo Fan. Hearing these words, M.O. Fan, who had already failed in his crusade, was very annoyed, and now he was even more displeased with him. Losing you are also a student leader of a top-tier academy, a SS-level professional. M.O. Fan looked at him and said indifferently, it's so stupid that it's hopeless. M.O. Fan did not appear to back down in the slightest just because the other party was an SS-ranked professional. 
He directly went up in a tit-for-tat manner. The man was scolded like this in public and instantly became enraged, his face holding red. You. The man paused before his words came out, knowing that he couldn't speak to M.O. Fan, so he was ready to directly make a move. M.O. Fan paid no attention to him, not even looking at him, letting him strike. But before he could make his move, he received a heavy blow from a punch and his entire body flew out horizontally. The crowd was shocked by this scene. Who still wants to help him? The allied forces were almost annihilated. Anyone who helps M.O. Fan again is talking to all of us. The man climbed up and became even angrier. But when he saw the person who had struck out, he instantly didn't dare to squeak. The person who had struck out was not someone else. It was none other than L.V. Zhuangji. It wasn't just L.V. Zhuangji. Zhang Feng, Helian Fei, and Qi Yunxue also stared at him with icy gazes. These icy gazes made him not doubt for a second that if he tried to make another move, the four would eliminate him without hesitation. Still, he was unconvinced and continued. I'm no match for you guys, but the allied forces are almost annihilated as a group now. Doesn't M.O. Fan, as the commander, need to give everyone an explanation? Seeing that he stopped striking, Zhang Feng resumed his calm gaze at him. Then I'm still the overall leader of the allied forces. Do you still need me to give you an explanation? The man didn't dare to retort. Zhang Feng, as the strongest SSS level professional in the crowd, he didn't dare to point fingers. Targeting M.O. Fan was also just to pinch a soft target. But he did not expect the four Zhang Fongs, who had also suffered losses, to protect this guy. Humph, Zhang Feng snorted coldly and continued. M.O. Fan wasn't wrong at all when he said you were stupid. Even if M.O. Fan gives you an explanation. So what? Now that I've eliminated him, can you think of a way to deal with Lin Tian? If you have a way to deal with Lin Tian, I'll help you eliminate M.O. Fan right now. Hearing this, the man stopped speaking. Of course he couldn't have a way. There's no way to deal with Lin Tian. Zhang Feng continued, if these people aren't eliminated today, they will be eliminated by Lin Tian afterward, but it's just a matter of sooner or later, it's not just them, it's the same for us, Zhang Feng explained the stakes to the crowd, Lin Tian's aim is to plunder the points of all of our academies, either we finish him off or we get killed by him, do any of you have this confidence that you can finish off Lin Tian with just one of your schoolhouses, Zhang Feng looked around the circle at the leaders of the other academies, the crowd of leaders all bowed their heads, the shock Lin Tian had given them today was too great. A coalition army of one. 600 people had almost been wiped out if they hadn't run fast. Even if thousands of people from one of their academies joined together and really managed to take down Lin Tian, they would still have to be eliminated by most of their numbers. Who would be willing to do such a thing? Seeing that the crowd didn't say anything, Zhang Feng continued, Since we are clear about this, we should know that we are bound to have a coalition army. This coalition army command, Besides M.O. Fan is there anyone else who can assume the role? Now the crowd, who had originally been brought up to speed, understood. In the end, the threat of Lin Tian hadn't been lifted. They still needed to join forces, and now was not the time for infighting. Although this time the Allied Army's crusade against Lin Tian had failed, the real reason was still that there were too few people to deal with Lin Tian. No matter who else was in command, the result would be the same. Moreover, M.O. Fan's plan was thorough enough. The real reason was that Lin Tian was too powerful and hard broke his plot. At this time, M.O. Fan opened his mouth. It's still not quite enough for us, the allied forces of the eight academies, to deal with Lin Tian, and even if we can eliminate him, the losses will be too great. This time, we have to pull in everyone from all the academies. Plots and tricks are useless against someone like Lin Tian. We can only rely on strength to crush him. 1,600 is not enough. Then 16,000. 160,000. M.O. Fan finished and looked around the crowd. The crowd nodded heavily this time. If they didn't want to be plundered of points by Lin Tian, then they could only form a coalition army again. A coalition army with a much larger number of people. Very quickly, M.O. Fan then gave the plan. It would be too much of a waste of time to go and gather everyone to deal with Lin Tian now. The academies would obtain points as usual, and at the same time spread the word about today's situation so that more academies would realize the threat that Lin Tian was as a way to enlist more academies into the coalition army. On the day when the schoolhouse confrontation ended, all the academies would head to the settlement at the center of the battlefield. It was just the right time to eliminate Lin Tian in one fell swoop. A few days passed. On the floating ship, the group of bigwig principals were still paying attention to the situation in the battlefield. It was only in these few days that the situation in the battlefield was a bit unexpected to them. In the past, this time of the year should be the most intense time of confrontation between the academies with each academy fighting it out in order to gain more points and make the academy's ranking rise. However, in the current battlefield, it was surprisingly peaceful. Between the various academies, 
Although they were still fighting for more territory, when they fought each other, they would not eliminate each other regardless of whether they won or lost. Instead, a tacit understanding was formed. The winning party would occupy the turf, and the losing party would simply leave. This was the first time they had seen such a situation. Having supervised so many academy confrontations, this year's session is completely different. Who says it isn't? All sorts of perverse things have gathered in this term. It's still because of that Lin Tian. Not bad. The pressure Lin Tian brings to them is too much. The crowd nodded in agreement at this. The existence of this demon, Lin Tian, had caused the various academies to have to form a coalition army amongst themselves in order to deal with him. And because of the need to form a coalition army in the end, between the students of the various academies, they had also started to leave a line between the doers, so as not to affect the unity when they joined forces later on. Although this made the intensity of the competition lower. However, the crowd was happy to see this. The more intense the struggle in the past, the more united the students of the same academy would be. This was also one of the biggest purposes of the academy rivalry. The Dragon Kingdom had established so many academies and invested so many resources, not to cultivate selfish people. If the academies provided resources to make them strong, and in the end, they couldn't even learn to be united, then how else would the Dragon Kingdom cope with all the changes in this world? The most powerful professionals, such as those protectorate warlords of the Dragon Kingdom, they could do it with one person to become an army. But the professionals who weren't powerful enough to that point were also a huge force when united. The same was the mainstay of the defense of the Dragon Kingdom. The situation now was slightly different. The intensity of the competition had become much lower, but the students were more united with each other than ever before. In the past, the most that could be done was that students from the same academy, or even just those who were familiar with each other, were able to unite with each other. But now, students from the same academy were already united to the point of being close to comrades in arms. After all, when it came to the final alliance, the students around them were the ones who could be trusted the most. Even between different academies, there was beginning to be the most basic trust and unity. This would have been impossible to do in the past. Now it was a spontaneous occurrence. The crowd of bigwigs and principals were naturally happy to see this scene. As for the reason for this strange situation, the crowd was clear in their hearts. It was because on this session of the academy confrontation, in addition to having competition and threats from other academies like in the past, now there was also an additional greatest competitor, a greatest threat that belonged to all of them all at the same time. Lin Tian. I didn't expect that having an extra Lin Tian would make all the academies start to unite. If that's the case, We've done wrong in the past academy confrontations. We should have let SSS ranked professionals participate. This kind of opportunity is rare to come by. And ordinary SSS level professionals can't do this kind of effect that Lin Tian has. After this academy confrontation, it can be said that the students of this term are already much ahead of their predecessor seniors. If every term had a Lin Tian to sharpen them, then why would my dragon country not worry about getting a good result in the Blue Star University confrontation? Not bad. If they all went through this kind of grinding, Adapting to the Blue Star University match would also be much easier. The crowd all nodded in affirmation. If there was a Lin Tian in every session, it would be a good thing for all the academies. Although such a thing was definitely impossible, it still inspired the crowd. Wanting these students to learn to be united didn't seem to be the only way to fight against each other. Sometimes a threat was enough. For this time's Blue Star University match, the leader of the Dragon Kingdom school, I think Lin Tian would be suitable. Someone shook his head at that. Even though Lin Tian is talented enough, he's still too young. He's only at level 21 now. A freshman student leading the Dragon Kingdom schoolhouse. There's no precedent for this kind of thing before. Who says freshman students can't? What's wrong with being level 21 now? It's not like there's no time left. It's still too early to make a decision. It's better to see how Lin Tian is going to deal with the allied forces of all the academies next. I think it's going to be hard for him this time. There are too many united academies. And the number of allied forces is too large. Someone gave an opinion. None of the people refuted it. There was no other reason. Although Lin Tian was strong, in the end, he was only one person. Perhaps with his demonic talent and heaven-defying strength, he wouldn't have a problem dealing with a few thousand people. However, facing a huge allied army that almost all the academies had joined, even if it was him, it was impossible for him to make any waves. Time passed day by day. Since the allied army had been crushed by Lin Tian, nearly ten more days had passed. It was soon approaching the end of the schoolhouse confrontation. At this time, the point rankings of the various universities had basically become clear. Divine Clearance University, under the leadership of Zheng Feng and Shi Yunshue, sat at the top of the schoolhouse rankings. The second was Longjing University, also led by two SSS-ranked professionals, LV Zhuangji and Helian Fei. 
and the gap between Long Jing and Divine Chang wasn't too big, but in the current situation, it was impossible to surpass it. LV Zhani and Helian Fei also didn't intend to compete with Divine Qing for this first place anymore. What was more important to them was to keep their current points. As for Long Wu, originally, after that battle between Lin Tian and the Allied forces, Lin Tian's points alone had exceeded the sum of the other students of Long Wu, and he had steadily occupied the number one position in the overall ranking. Until now, nearly ten days had passed and Lin Tian's points hadn't risen a bit, but he was still sitting firmly at number one. It was difficult for anyone to come close to his terrifying points. Longwu had also directly helicoptered from ninth place to third place on that day because of Lin Tian's exaggerated points. At that time, all of Longwu's students were in a daze. Watching the points of the academy skyrocket, they still didn't know what was happening. But soon, they noticed Lin Tian's incredible points figure and realized what had happened. Afterwards, when they understood exactly what had happened and learned that Lin Tian had crushed the one, 600 strong coalition army of the eight academies all by himself. In everyone's hearts, they felt 10,000 times more convinced of this leader of the academy who had been inactive. Originally, they had been more or less dissatisfied with Lin Tian. Lin Tian had been summoned by the principal to become the leader of the academy, but he hadn't done anything since he entered the academy to confront them, except for saving the four dragon martial students. At first, the crowd thought that he had another plan. As a few days passed, Lin Tian still did nothing. The crowd all began to be quite vocal. If it wasn't for Yang Qi's outstanding commanding ability that had been holding up the situation, they would have wanted to re-elect the student leaders again. But now was different. Lin Tian had crushed the allied forces of the eight academies in a single battle, wiping out thousands of people. It directly lifted Long Wu to the third place position alive. After this incident, the crowd was completely convinced. This leader of theirs was not inactive. Rather, Lin Tian had more important matters compared to commanding them. In addition to the points he had directly harvested, this battle had even raised the morale of the Longwu students to the peak. Right now, in this battlefield, all the academies met and fought on point. Only Longwu students continued to fight with all their might when they met. Even when faced with the students of Divine Chang and Longjing, the Longwu crowd were not afraid at all and would never back down. When the various universities saw Longwu, they all took a detour. Even the students of the two university houses, Divine Chang and Dragon King, easily didn't dare to fight with the Longwu crowd. Lin Tian had such a formidable battle record. Plus under such an atmosphere at Longwu, Longwu's students' attitude towards Lin Tian, it had gone from being quite critical before, to now becoming reverent. Even if Lin Tian now ordered them to fight the allied forces to the death and they fought until only the last man was left, they would not retreat. The power of example was immense. The Longwu crowd had been doing their best to gain points for the past 10 days. However, the number of people in Longwu was still too small. It only added up to a total of around 2,000 people. Even Xinqing and Longjing, the two academies with the strictest assessment standards, had around 4,000 people, not to mention the other top-tier academies' numbers of 7 or 8,000. In comparison, Longwu's students were pitifully small. The gap in numbers still could not be erased by morale alone. After nearly 10 days, Longwu's points had already been surpassed by Tianyun University led by Mo Fan, dropping one place in the rankings. But the good thing was that it only dropped one place. With only 2,000 people, Longwu still occupied the fourth place in the ranking of the academy. Originally, after 10 days, just relying on the points acquired by Lin Tian that one time was not enough for Longwu to stabilize the fourth place. More importantly, it was the Longwu people who had been inspired by Lin Tian's battle, thus boosting their morale. This had already been called an incredible miracle. Outside the valley at the center of the battlefield, it was nearing the end of the academy confrontation. The Longwu crowd had been summoned and had arrived here ahead of time. They were all gathered outside the valley in tight formation. The dragon martial crowd had all learned about Lin Tian's plan. He was going to plunder the points of all the academies. If this news was placed before, the crowd of dragon martial might have thought that their leader was crazy. But now, even with such an outrageous plan, the Longwu crowd didn't question it in the slightest. Faced with the spectacle of fighting against the allied forces of all the academies, not only did they not have fear, but instead, a hint of excitement arose. There was no other reason. It was simply because their leader was Lin Tian. Lin Tian had already accomplished an incredible annihilation by himself alone. Now Lin Tian was going to lead them in another even bigger one. Even if they ended up failing, they would still be considered people who had done something great. And every student in the future that the academy confronted would talk about their feat. A failed feat was better than mediocrity. Time passes minute by minute. The Longwu crowd outside the valley gradually felt the tremor from the ground. On the distant horizon, the figures of the allied forces emerged. This time, the coalition army was not like last time. All the academies had joined this time, 
and hundreds of thousands of people occupied every part of the horizon. The mountains were filled with figures. Such a large number of people caused the ground to tremble with every step the Allied army took, even though preparations had been made. But seeing such a shocking array, the Longbu crowd still couldn't help but feel nervous in their hearts. Three silhouettes crossed over the crowd of Dragon Marshal who were waiting in tight formation. Unlike the crowd, these three figures did not appear nervous, especially the figure at the head was even more leisurely. Hundreds of thousands of Allied troops were about to approach, but the figure remained unperturbed. The three figures were none other than the three leaders of Dragon Marshal, Lin Tian, Yang Qi, and Ling Qingran. The figures of the Allied forces were also getting closer and closer. The closer they got, the more the Longwu crowd could feel what kind of shock it was when hundreds of thousands of people gathered. Eventually, the Allied army stopped at a place 500 meters away from the valley. At the front of the Allied army, there were still Mo Fan and Zhang Feng. The four of them. Zhang Feng shouted loudly to Lin Tian through the air. Lin Tian, do you still want to block the valley to plunder everyone's points? I admit that you're strong. Simply ridiculously strong. I'm afraid that even if a few of us join hands and use our full strength, we wouldn't be able to block even a single move from you. Even if I brought the entire 4,000 students of divine clearance, I might not be able to defeat you. But this time, all the academies have joined the coalition. An army of hundreds of thousands of people. What are you going to resist? After Jiang Feng finished speaking, he advised Lin Tian again. Longwu is now ranked fourth on the ranking of the academies. This ranking is already not low. I advise you to give up now. It's not too late. Mo Fan and Jiang Feng, a few people, did not want to start a war. Although Lin Tian had eliminated thousands of them and caused a considerable loss. But if they went to war, they would have another loss. The best situation was for both sides to take a step back. Maintain the status quo and complete the point settlement. Talking about peace didn't mean that the Allied forces didn't have a role to play. If they didn't have these hundreds of thousands of Allied troops, they wouldn't have the qualifications to make peace with Lin Tian. Moreover, once Lin Tian refused to negotiate peace, the Allied forces could also guarantee that they would be the ultimate winners. The entire battlefield. Hundreds of thousands of people were waiting for Lin Tian's answer. The crowd of Longwu were also waiting for Lin Tian to give the order. And no matter what Lin Tian ordered, they would carry it out without fail. On the floating ship, the crowd of bigwigs and principals were naturally watching the movements at their feet. All the floating ships had gathered in the sky above this battlefield. It could be said that every corner inside and outside the valley was monitored. I didn't expect the Allied side to propose peace talks. This is also the wisest decision. It's best if we can have peace talks. If not, we'll go to war. Hundreds of thousands of people have already ensured that the Allied forces are invincible. I wonder what Lin Tian will reply. With Longwu's condition. It's already thankful to be ranked fourth in the rankings, and since they haven't lost many people this term, peace talks would be the best outcome. Definitely peace talks. Starting a war Longwu will lose without a doubt. Lin Tian is not a fool there is no way he would do such a stupid thing. That's right, Longwu is considered to be in the limelight this year. Their current results are already enough to keep Longwu from being relegated. If they choose to go to war, they won't even be able to keep their current results. There were quite a few people who thought that Lin Tian would inevitably make peace. However, there were others who had a different opinion. It's true that peace talks are the most sensible decision, but Lin Tian hasn't done a single sensible thing before. Or rather, none of his decisions seemed too sensible at the time, and only after the fact can the onlookers know why he did it. I feel the same way. This kid can fight one against a thousand. So I'll see if he can just go crazy one more time and fight one against hundreds of thousands. If he really goes to war, old Lu will be out of luck. Everyone was looking at Lu Xiaoxiong. Until now. Lu Xiaoxiong could be said to have one hemp in this year's grand examination. Not only had he recruited the first place in the grand examination, Lin Tian had also helped him complete Longwu's examination this year, sparing him the trouble of being demoted this year. But if Lin Tian really went crazy and chose to go to war, then all of this would have gone down the drain. Originally, it was Lin Tian himself who achieved the results of the war, so he has that right to decide what to do with it. Lu Xiaoxiong was open-minded, regardless of how Lin Tian chose to do it. It wasn't a loss in his opinion. Longwu completing this year's examination was originally an unexpected blessing. Even if this unexpected joy disappeared now, he at least still had the recruitment of Lin Tian as a guarantee. Do you guys think Lin Tian will still have a way to deal with this allied army of hundreds of thousands of people? I don't know who asked. It caused the crowd to shake their heads more than once like rattlesnakes. That's impossible. A coalition army of hundreds of thousands of people can tire him out even if he's tired. Lin Tian seems to be replying. The gazes of the crowd immediately looked back at the light screen. The front of the battlefield. Lin Tian stood in front of Long was 2000 men, facing hundreds of thousands of allied troops. 
Everyone was waiting for his reply. Under the attention of 10,000 people, Lin Tian's face was calm as he looked at Zhang Feng and the others and slowly opened his mouth. I refuse. Lin Tian refused the peace talks. Most people hadn't guessed that Lin Tian would refuse. And they all had a dumbfounded look on their faces. Even those who had guessed that Lin Tian would refuse still felt incredulous now that they had heard it with their own ears. But it didn't matter which side the people were on. One question arose in their hearts. That was what was Lin Tian going to do? Since Lin Tian had rejected the peace talks, was he just going to fight hard against this allied army of hundreds of thousands of people? Even the dumbest of people knew that this could not be done. On the floating ship, a group of big brother principles fell into silence. There was no doubt. Lin Tian had made the most unwise decision. Everyone looked at Lu Xiaoxiong, a look of pity in their eyes. Lu Xiaoxiong, on the contrary, appeared calm. To him, it was just losing something that shouldn't have been there in the first place. Besides, Longwu had at least recruited Lin Tian, the student who had unprecedentedly cleared the trial tower and won the number one spot in the country. It was already a great gain. The gazes of the crowd continued to turn to the light screen. They didn't think that Lin Tian still had a way to turn the tables. However, Lin Tian had created miracles one after another, which made them still wonder how Lin Tian was going to respond. The two armies were facing each other in the battlefield. The few people who heard the answer, Mo Fan and Zhang Feng, were not surprised. Since that's the case, let's go to war. Zhang Feng was interrupted by Lin Tian halfway through his sentence. However, Lin Tian suddenly opened his mouth after refusing and continued, I can give you guys a chance to surrender. Hearing this, the crowd was a bit bewildered. The advantage is in me. And give us a chance to surrender? Mo Fan, Zhang Feng and the others, did not pay any attention. Just as they were about to order an attack, they saw Lin Tian speak again. Only this time Lin Tian was whispering. The others might not be able to hear it, but a few of them still heard the two words that Lin Tian said. Little Yen, the next second. In front of the Dragon Martial Student Formation, a huge monster suddenly appeared in the middle of the crowd's vision. The only thing that could be seen was that monster, with four sharp claws propped up on the lapis lazuli ground, leaving behind several deep traces. His body covered in fiery red scale armor that was as thick as a rock. The crimson light between the scales flickered as he breathed, as if magma was flowing inside his body, and his wings were 60 to 70 meters long at a stretch. There was no order. Hundreds of thousands of people in the field fell into a deathly silence at the same time. On the battlefield, only the sound of the wind blowing and leaves falling could be heard. There was also the heartbeat of the terrifying monster, which sounded like a war drum. The crowd looked toward the monster's head. The large head stood on two hideous dragon horns. The monster was opening its huge mouth, revealing its sharp fangs. Roar! A dragon roar spread across the entire arena, filling the ears of hundreds of thousands of people. It was accompanied by a terrifying dragon might. The crowd felt a palpitation. This dragon roar was also like a thunderbolt that woke up the crowd. This is a dragon. It's a giant dragon. It was unknown who shouted first. Then the entire crowd began to roar wildly in shock. I saw the giant dragon. We actually saw a giant dragon with our own eyes. This is real. This is not a dream. There really is a giant dragon right in front of us. Crap, crap, crap. Perhaps it was because of the large number of people. In addition to feeling fear, the crowd had excitement in their hearts. Even in the world of professionals, giant dragons were like legends. Everyone knew about the giant dragons, but those who had actually seen them were like phoenixes. And now, a living dragon was standing right in front of their eyes, on the floating ship. After a short silence, the previously calm group of bigwigs and principals all looked like they had gone mad. Crap, it's really a giant dragon. This is Lin Tian's dragon, right? Lin Tian actually does have a giant dragon. No wonder he was able to pass the trial tower. We're so damn stupid. We should have thought that he had a giant dragon. This is the only way to explain why his strength is so strong. In past records, there's never been a dragon master who wasn't a waste. Why else would Lin Tian have this kind of strength? It can only be because he owns a giant dragon. Who could have thought of this, if he didn't see it with his own eyes? I'm afraid no one would believe it if he said it himself. This is a giant dragon. That's right. Even if there were 10,000 accidents in this world that could have allowed him to gain this kind of strength, the outrageousness of these 10,000 accidents combined would still be more realistic than him having a giant dragon. Where on earth did he get a giant dragon? And how did he do it? No one has ever tamed a giant dragon in the past. How did he know the taming method? 10,000 questions bubbled up in the hearts of the crowd. Even before, when Lin Tian passed through the trial tower and annihilated thousands of people, none of them were as shocked and puzzled as they were now. In the history of mankind, no one had ever tamed a giant dragon. And now, the first dragon master who had truly tamed a giant dragon was on this battlefield beneath their feet. Beyond the shock, the crowd also felt with honor. 
The first tamed dragon, the first dragon master to tame a dragon, is appearing in our dragon kingdom. The big brother with the highest status present also came back to his senses at this time. He got serious and continued to the crowd. Immediately contact the court of elders, as well as have the military department send people over immediately. Lin Tian must be protected. He has a great deal to do with my dragon kingdom. There must not be any slip-ups. Someone hesitated for a moment and asked, Is the academy confrontation still continuing? He looked at the screen and spoke. Continue. Those who are above level 70, all go out with me. The first goal is to protect Lin Tian's safety. The rest don't care. Let the schoolhouse confrontation continue. Yes. In the middle of the battlefield, the shot brought to the crowd by the sudden appearance of the giant dragon hadn't dissipated yet. They saw another dozen or so people fly out from one of the largest floating ships in the sky, spreading out over the battlefield. A crowd of bigwigs and principals were out. It made the crowd think that the dragon had appeared by accident, and that it was preparing to terminate the great examination. However, the dozen or so people just stopped high in the sky and did not intervene in the grand examination. When Lin Tian saw this scene, he also revealed a smile. A sigh of relief came from his heart. He knew that his purpose had been accomplished. Previously, his series of performances, coupled with the appearance of Little Amazing Now, had already allowed him to gain absolute importance. From now on, he no longer needed to hide his strength. Now, there was only one thing left for him to do yet. That was to plunder everyone's points. Amidst the shocked gazes of the crowd, Lin Tian ascended onto Little Amazing's back. It wasn't until then. It was only then that the hundreds of thousands of people from the ally forces were shocked to realize that the owner of this huge dragon was the target they had united against. Dragon Master Lin Tian, only to see the giant dragon's wings spread out, carrying Lin Tian towards the direction of the ally forces. The giant dragon flew overhead and spat out a flame wrapped in magma. It left a river of magma in the middle of the allied forces. Thousands of people were eliminated under the strike. Seeing this scene, there was also infinite sadness and despair in the hearts of the Jiang Feng Fu. They originally thought that between them and Lin Tian, there was just a larger gap in strength that could be gradually narrowed with their efforts. But now it seemed that there was an unbridgeable chasm between the two, or a chasm that was becoming increasingly difficult to cross with time. Mo Fan was equally shocked in his heart. However, he didn't have any sadness or despair. On the day of the awakening ceremony, the moment he had awakened to a B-rank profession, he had already recognized what reality was. Formation Master, Mo Fan let out a loud shout that spread throughout the entire arena. At this moment, only then did the group of Formation Masters in the Allied Army come back to their senses. Joining hands, they set up a defensive grand formation. The defensive grand formation included hundreds of thousands of people in the Allied Army in addition to using their strength. Originally, this was enough to counter Lin Tian's killing moves. However, now with the appearance of the giant dragon, they didn't know if the defensive grand formation would still be able to block it. After a loud shout from Mo Fan, Zhang Feng's few people also tried their best to calm down. Even if there is a giant dragon, the level won't be higher than Lin Tian, Mo Fan said to the several people. As a B-ranked professional, Mo Fan knew that lower level professions were like ants when facing higher level professions. It was just like the situation that the crowd was facing right now, in front of the giant dragon. Even if Zhang Feng's few people were SS-ranked professionals, they were nothing more than ants. But Mo Fan was equally well aware of another truth. Many ants bite the elephant. No matter how powerful the giant dragon is, it's no more than level 21. Mo Fan utilized all his chi and shouted up to the hundreds of thousands of people in the allied army. We have an army of hundreds of thousands of people. Lin Tian is no match. Add a giant dragon and we can win just the same. With Mo Fan's speech, the fear in the hearts of the crowd could not be eliminated much, but they could always muster up a little bit of courage to face it head on. Mo Fan continued to shout. Now we are standing on the edge of the cliff. A step back is a dead end. If you don't want half a month's effort to go down the drain, then you can only fight. Hearing these words, the crowd made a decision in their hearts. There was nowhere to run anyway, and the goons would be eliminated from the game after plundering the points. Might as well fight Lin Tian. They had hundreds of thousands of people, as well as various grand formations of formation masters to gather the strength of the crowd. The battle power they could exert was much stronger than fighting individually. At most, they would pay the price of tens of thousands of people being eliminated and would definitely be able to defeat Lin Tian. The crowd finally gathered their courage. High in the air, the dozen or so principal bigwigs who were monitoring the situation in the battlefield were also nodding silently. Although they were here to protect Lin Tian, Mo Fan's performance had likewise won their recognition. It could be said that Mo Fan was outstanding in everything except for his occupation which was only B rank. Even the sudden appearance of the giant dragon didn't make him lose his way. Under the threat of the gargoyle, 
It all stabilized the military heart of the Allied forces. However, Lin Tian stopped striking after one blow. Lin Tian stood on Little Amazing's back, located in midair looking down at the crowd. He had already thought of this scene. It was true that he couldn't deal with hundreds of thousands of people, but he didn't need to deal with so many people either. That strike just now was just to cast a shadow on the crowd, letting them know that even if they could defeat him in a hard fight, they would have to pay a heavy price. Lin Tian was in midair and asked rhetorically to the hundreds of thousands of people in the Allied forces, Who said I'm going to eliminate you guys? Hearing this, the hundreds of thousands of people from the Allied forces, including Zhang Feng's few people, froze, not eliminating us, what are you doing here? Only M.O. Fan, a sense of foreboding rose in his heart. Lin Tian spoke once again, if you guys want to eliminate me, you can indeed do it. But again, you have to pay a heavy price, at least for a few academies. Which of your academies intends to be the first? The words fell. The allied forces fell silent. And I can indeed let you all off the hook. Lin Tian continued. When Mo Fan heard these words, he immediately came to a startled realization. A terrifying plan flashed through his mind. A plan that was enough to disintegrate the unity and will of the allied forces. Just as he was about to open his mouth to command the allied forces to attack Lin Tian, Lin Tian's words had already been spoken. The first academy that surrenders to me. I only want 30% of his points. 40% for the second. 50% for the third. Lin Tian's words fell. The entire battlefield was silent. His offer was just too tempting for the crowd. The hundreds of thousands of people in the allied forces looked left and right, trying to see how the others reacted. But everyone's reaction was the same. No one immediately agreed. But no one spoke out to reject it either, because agreeing would mean giving up a portion of their points, and if they refused, they sacrificed even less overall, but for those who were eliminated, they sacrificed everything, and for the academies that lost a lot, their sacrifices were only for the sake of the other academies, and the beneficiaries were not themselves, the first to agree to it had the least to lose, but after all, they were still forming an alliance, so if they were the first to agree to it, it was more or less a bit of a shame, what's more, if all the other academies didn't agree and only themselves agreed, then in the end, if the allied forces wiped out Lin Tian, the losses of the other academies would be even smaller overall, and they themselves, as the first academy to choose to surrender, would definitely not have a good ending, one could only end up in a situation where both ends were not pleasing to the eye, the crowd was immediately caught in a dilemma, it was neither good to agree, nor was it good to refuse, the crowd of student leaders from the academy were also looking around, trying to wait for the first person to make a reply. Lin Tian was not in a hurry and let the crowd be silent. Time passed little by little. The originally imposing allied forces were thus in a tangle, and their military spirit gradually began to break down. Zhang Feng's four people saw the scene. In their hearts, they couldn't help but get anxious. They knew that if they let the crowd fall silent like this, it was only a matter of time before the allied army's military spirit completely collapsed. At that time, surrender was the only option. But they had gone through so much effort and spent so much time. They had even gone so far as to change the long-standing tradition of the academy's confrontation. And they were not even going down on the enemy with a deadly hand. For what? It was to confront Lin Tian at this moment. The allied forces that had worked so hard to pull together. If they were to be annihilated under Lin Tian's three or two words. It was really hard for them to accept. And they were really unwilling. But for a moment. Zhang Feng and the four of them couldn't find a solution. So they hurriedly turned their attention to M.O. Fan, who was the commanding officer and wise counselor of the Allied forces. At this moment, M.O. Fan's face was ugly. He recalled the cause of everything. It was the first day of the confrontation at the academy, the time when he and Lin Tian first met. Lin Tian had made the condition that he wanted everyone from Tianyin University to surrender their points. He had refused. However, Lin Tian still let him go at that time, and with a wave of absolute confidence, he said to him, You'll agree. It was also for this reason. That was why he had united with Hellion Fei and formed the first coalition army consisting of the eight top academies, and then after the debacle, pulled together the current, even bigger coalition army. Mo Fan glanced at Zhang Feng's four people. Then he looked back at the crowd of allied forces roaming the mountains. There was no doubt. The coalition army's military heart had already collapsed. When Lin Tian said those words, the allied forces no longer had any possibility of unity. It wasn't that he didn't have a solution. If he made another speech now, he might be able to gather some hearts and make the allied forces rise up again in their determination to fight back, but after all, that was only a maybe, the risk was too great, and the success rate was too low, there was no other reason, after Lin Tian's words were uttered, the situation had changed, everyone was no longer a grasshopper on a rope, they would even be suspicious, 
suspecting each other that the other party would surrender first in order to get better conditions. The fact that the crowd of allied forces were looking at each other at the moment was the best evidence of this. Now, Emil Fan completely understood and realized why Lin Tian was so confident that day, so confident that he would definitely agree to his conditions. Lin Tian's plan. It could be described as murderous and heartless. Alas dash Emil Fan let out a lone sigh. This game, he had lost after all. Lost in a losing battle. Emil Fan looked up at Lin Tian who was standing on top of the dragon's back. From the very beginning of this academy confrontation, Lin Tian had already thought of a way to dismantle the resistance of the allied forces today. Not only that, even he himself was completely within Lin Tian's calculations. Obviously, the first 30% to surrender, as Lin Tian had said, was prepared for him. From the time Lin Tian had spared him, he had decided that he would be the big brother of this band cast. He had expected that he would not be as skilled as the others in terms of strength, but to lose so completely in scheming, it was the first time he had ever done so. The machinations he originally thought were just in the eyes of the other party were just in his hands, high in the air. The crowd of bigwigs and principals who witnessed the scene, in their hearts, they all felt a shiver run down their spines. At his young age, Lin Tian was able to think of such a murderous and heartless plan. A coalition army consisting of hundreds of thousands of people was originally supposed to be an unsolvable killing game. Even they hadn't thought of any solution to break the game. But this unsolvable killing game, at this moment, it unexpectedly fell apart instantly under Lin Tian's three words. They had long since not been the group of students below, and had all personally experienced the real war. So they knew very well. Once the allied forces started to doubt each other, once the military heart was shaken, once they want to unite again, it will be impossible. The coalition army had already lost. It's true that the waves of the Yangtze River push forward the waves of the past. This Lin Tian is both wise and brave. He's really a demon. I don't know who commented. And the crowd nodded silently. In the middle of the battlefield, Zhang Feng's four people saw Mo Fan's delay in opening his mouth and thought that he had run out of ideas as well. So Zhang Feng started to address the crowd of the allied army in the hope of revitalizing the army's heart. At that moment, the giant dragon in midair moved. The dragon flew over the allied forces and another pillar of fire wrapped in magma fell. This time, with the defensive formation constructed by the formation master resisting it, the losses of the allied forces were much smaller, but there were still hundreds of people eliminated. Lin Tian retreated with another strike. He stood on little amazing spack, hovering in mid-air, and spoke to the crowd of allied forces once again. The fourth academy that surrenders only needs to surrender 60% of its points. The fifth 70%. All the school houses behind. 80%. The words fell. The coalition army's military heart shook even more. This time the crowd was no longer limited to watching, but had actually started talking. Many had already developed thoughts of surrender. Now that the allied army had no one to command it, and everyone had their own agenda, surrendering first would still allow them to pay a little less points. Seeing this scene, Zhang Feng's four hearts were resentful and angry. Right at this moment, a voice spread across the entire field. I, Sky Cloud University, surrender. Zhang Feng's four immediately turned their heads to look. The voice was coming from their ears, and the person speaking was none other than Mo Fan, the commander of the Allied forces. The four of them were immediately dumbfounded, with a look of disbelief. Mo Fan, do you know what you're saying? Zhang Feng questioned. The other three also looked at him with questioning faces. Do you still have any plans? Helian Fei asked in a low voice. The gazes of the four looked at Mo Fan. Mo Fan just shook his head calmly and said with a facial expression, "Defeat is assured." I'm just defending myself. Mo Fan's words of surrender had been heard by the crowd of allied forces, causing a commotion in the crowd. The four Jiang Fongs were extremely dissatisfied when they heard this. You are the commander of the allied army. What will the allied forces do if you surrender? I am the leader of Tianyun University first, and the commander of the allied forces second. Mo Fan did not ripple in the face of the accusation as he continued. The existence of the coalition army was originally just a way for the academies to protect themselves. From the very beginning, all my plans for the sake of protecting those students from Tianyin University who followed me. I haven't changed. It's just that the situation has changed. Hearing these words, Zhang Feng's four people froze. They were powerless to refute. It was true. Mo Fan had not changed. Only the situation had changed. Mo Fan continued. The allied forces have in fact collapsed. And now there are only the various academies that have gathered. As friends, I advise you to hurry up and seize the opportunity. After saying that, Mo Fan stopped explaining and directly led the group of students from Tianyun University, who had a dumbfounded look on their faces, to break away from the ranks of the allied forces. Seeing this scene, Lin Tian revealed a smile. Everything was under control. However, 
Even though victory was close at hand, he still remained cautious. He wouldn't be so stupid as to let the Longwu students, themselves, go in and collect everyone's points. If that was done, in case Mo Fan was just fraudulently surrendering, there was a possibility that the Longwu students would be wiped out. Surrendering academies, have their own student leaders collect their points and then go to the Dragon Marshal camp alone to surrender. Lin Tian announced to the crowd. Mo Fan glanced at Lin Tian. It was this time of the day and still so cautious. He was not complaining about losing. Mo Fan no longer thought much about it, and directly began to have the people from Tianyun University, each pool their points together and finally surrender them to him. Seeing this, Zhang Feng's four people looked at each other. LV Zhangji and Qi Yinxue were still in the midst of being dumbfounded, but Zhang Feng and Helian Fei had already seen the other's decision in their respective eyes. The two spoke almost simultaneously. I, Longjing University, surrender. I, Shenqing University, surrender. However, it was still Helian Fei who reacted a little faster and grabbed the second surrender slot, surrendering 10% less points. LV Zhangji and Qi Yinxue, when they reacted, their companions had already surrendered, and the two of them were directly dumbfounded. Helian Fei and Jiang Feng, however, one was happy and the other was chagrined. Jiang Feng was chagrined that his reaction was still a bit slow. Helian Fei was glad that he was faster than Jiang Feng. Now with the advantage of surrendering 10% less points, Long Jing had overtaken Divine Qing at the last moment, even though Long Jing was still out of first place, but it couldn't be helped after all. At least he had still led Long Jing to victory over Divine Clear. The two academies had been fighting for an unknown number of years. Beating the other was no less than taking first place. Only in the past, these two things were the same thing. The few leading figures of the alliance had chosen to surrender. The remaining academies, which had no determination to resist, but were all just holding back for the sake of face, now had even less need to hold on. One by one, they surrendered. After half a day, all the points from all the academies were pretty much collected, and one by one, they were surrendered into Lin Tian's hands. With such a huge amount of points, Long Wu also jumped to the number one ranking of the schoolhouses. It was still a breakneck number one. Even when placed amongst all the previous academy confrontations, this term's Long Wu's points were number one. Long Wu's total points even surpassed the combined points of the rest of the academies. This situation was, without a doubt, also the first time this had happened in all the previous academy confrontations. What was even more terrifying was, Lin Tian's personal points alone surpassed any of the academy houses in any of the great examinations, with all the academy houses choosing to surrender. With a terrifyingly huge amount of points, Lin Tian led Lan Wu to take the first place in this session's academy confrontation without any doubt. In this academy confrontation, from beginning to end, it could be said that everything was under Lin Tian's control. The only thing that made Lin Tian feel surprised, that was that even after all the academies had chosen to surrender, there were still some people amongst the various academies who were still not convinced. Even if the end was obvious, they were bound to be eliminated. There were still thousands of people who would rather have half a month's worth of effort go down the drain and give up all their points, but also wanted to fight Lin Tian to the end. There was no doubt about it. Lin Tian drove little amazing and eliminated all of these people. But elimination was elimination. The actions of these people still earned Lin Tian's admiration. If everyone in the allied forces had their kind of realization, then Lin Tian would only be at his wit's end. It was just that this sort of thing could never be realized. There was just a difference between people. When someone pursued ideals, there were bound to be others who pursued pragmatism. These people who fought to the end in blood had won Lin Tian's admiration, as well as the admiration of many bystanders. However, choosing to compromise did not mean that they would be despised. At least Mo Fan's compromise had allowed him to narrowly overtake Divine Clearance and Long Jing at the last moment, bringing Heavenly Cloud University to the second place in the academic rankings. He was worthy of the group of students from Heavenly Cloud University. The second half of the national examination, it ended like this with a dramatic reversal. As soon as the academy confrontation ended, the leaders of each academy were summoned once again. Among them, the top performers even directly met with a group of bigwigs and the principals of the various academies. The ones with the best performance were still the same. Long was Lin Tian and Yang Qi, Divine Clearance's Zhang Feng, and Long Jing's Helian Fei, Ling Qingran, Qi Yinxue, and the three of them, Lu Zhangji, were also among them even though they didn't perform much this time. In addition to these few people, among the people who were received, there was also an additional MO fan. As soon as the several people entered the invigilation room, a crowd of bigwigs and principals immediately surrounded them. The one who received the most attention was naturally Lin Tian. The two of them, when Xinglu and Zhu Daotan, walked up and spoke to Lin Tian. Student Lin Tian, 
That head of admissions has now been sent to the border. Lin Tian did not have any reaction to this. Wen Qing Lu continued, Student Lin Tian, the first academy you enrolled in was my divine Chang. I wonder if you are interested in coming to my divine Chang. Xu Daotan who was beside him also spoke, What's so good about divine Chang? Why don't you come to my Long Jing? The ranking of this term's academy confrontation in my Long Jing can be one place higher than your divine Ching. Hearing this, the surrounding crowd blushed for the two of them, even Jiang Feng and Heli in phase 4 people. As students of Divine Cheng and Long Jing, were speechless for a while. If they wanted to recruit Lin Tian now, what were they doing long ago? However, when Qing Lu and Zhu Daotun were unimpressed, as long as they could pull Lin Tian over, what was it to sacrifice some face? This was the first dragon master in history to tame a dragon. If they had known this, the two of them would have personally gone to Jiangcheng to enroll students and broken their heads to pull Lin Tian over. Lin Tian's future was absolutely limitless. What's more, right now there might be an opportunity for Lin Tian to shine. Lin Tian froze at his words and directly refused. I'm already a student of Longwu, I'm not interested in other academies, and the big exams are already over. Is it still possible to change schools? When Qing Lu and Zhu Daotan smiled sarcastically, of course you can't transfer schools, but there are exchange students between different academies. Seeing Lin Tian showing his attitude, Lu Xiaoxiong directly blocked in front of the two people and said in an unpleasant tone, Lin Tian is the student leader of my Longwu. How can there be any reason to be an exchange student? Robbing someone in front of me, it's too much of a disregard for me. Hearing this, when Qing Lu and Zhu Daotan also put away their thoughts, in terms of strength, Lu Xiaoxiong was still above the two of them. The two of them turned around and tried to pull an MO fan as an exchange student. In the midst of this academy confrontation, the most outstanding performance was undoubtedly Lin Tian, but other than Lin Tian, it was MO Fan who stood out the most. Even though there was a gap between his strength and the several student leaders present, his performance did not lose out to several people at all. The choices MO Fan made from start to finish could be said to be the wisest decisions. Lin Tian's deeds were unprecedented. However, MO Fan leading the Heavenly Cloud University to surpass Divine Clearance and Long Jing was likewise a first on the confrontation of academies. However, MO Fan similarly refused. The reason why he had arrived at Heavenly Cloud University was because he was in the same boat as Lin Tian, having been ruthlessly rejected by Divine Clear. After being rejected by this Lin Tian and Mo Fan, the two of them let out a long sigh and stopped talking. Especially when Qing Lu, his heart was the most bitter. Originally these two most outstanding people should have been his Divine Clearance. Now it was a lost cause. On the contrary, Lu Xiaoxiong and the president of Tianyun University both treated the two as if they were treasures. Lu Xiaoxiong was even more pleased with himself. Recruiting Lin Tian had been an unexpected blessing. Now that Lin Tian had led Long Wu to become the number one in the current academy against the fault line, this directly allowed Long Wu to get rid of the fate of a possible relegation. It was even more so that he was overjoyed. Alright, the nonsense is almost over. They are all my Dragon Kingdom's most outstanding students. It's time to give them their awards. As the big brother at the head of the group spoke, the crowd of bigwig principals, as well as the leaders of the various university campuses, including Lin Tian's several people, all returned to the battlefield. The crowd that had originally been eliminated also returned. There were no surprises in the award ceremony. Lin Tian, as the number one in the trial tower and also the leader of Langwu, had taken the double first place in the individual test as well as the group test of the grand examination. There was no doubt that he had become the top scholar in the country. As the head bigwig announced the news, the system's voice resounded in Lin Tian's mind. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission and obtaining the mission reward. Mission reward, special dragon egg asterisk 1. Lin Tian was elated in his heart. He had done all of this for this special dragon egg in addition to making a name for himself. As a second turn dragon master, the number of dragon pets he could harness had risen to 3. Originally, having only one little amazing had already put him far beyond the average SSS level professional. Now add another one. To what extent would his strength skyrocket? Even he himself was somewhat looking forward to it. The award ceremony was still continuing. Lin Tian, as the national top student and double national number one, received 20, 000 academy points. Academia points were the currency that was commonly used within the various academies in the Dragon Kingdom. Since they could only be used in the academy, their exact value could not be measured against ordinary currency exchange. Therefore, Lin Tian didn't know how much these 20, 000 academy points were actually considered to be. After the awarding of Lin Tian, the first place was over. The second place was given to Mo Fan. Although Mo Fan's results in the trial tower were not too outstanding, only around 300th place. However, with a strength of around 300th place, 
he was able to eventually lead Tianyin University to take second place, which further illustrated his outstanding abilities. Mo Fan received much less academic points, only 5,000. The next three and four places were Zheng Feng and Helian Fei. Surprisingly, Yang Qi gained the fifth place, although he didn't have too much of an outstanding performance. The fact that Pre Longwu was able to hold up and didn't occupy the ninth place with only 2,000 people relied on his strategizing. The subsequent rankings would be basically the same as the academy rankings. A small half day later, the award ceremony ended in a speech. After it ended, hundreds of thousands of students were teleported back to their original cities. Only a few people, Lin Tian, were once again left behind. They still returned to the invigilation room. However, this time, in the invigilation room, aside from a group of bigwigs and the principals, there was also a group of people from the military. The big brother in the lead didn't beat around the bush. At the academy confrontation, you guys are rivals. In the future, you may also be rivals once again on other academy exchanges. But I want you all to know that you will all be the mainstay of my dragon kingdom in the future. Saying this, the big man glanced at Lin Tian and continued, or even the protectorate war god. So you are not enemies. Don't be upset by this confrontation. Even you are not only not enemies, you may even become comrades in arms in the future. Hearing these words, several people nodded their heads. In reality, they too, however, did not have any hard feelings. On the contrary, in this academy confrontation, the means that each of them had displayed had also caused them to have admiration for one another. Seeing this reaction from a few people, the big brother revealed a satisfied gaze and directly stated the reason for summoning the several people. See that group of military people? These people from the military are here to protect Lin Tian. But don't think that we only value Lin Tian alone. In fact, at every previous grand examination, the military would protect the entire time. This is because apart from the Dragon Kingdom, many forces from foreign countries are likewise eyeing the outstanding students in our Dragon Kingdom's grand examination. You didn't see it this term because the military has stopped those people outside the country's gates. Of course, not only would foreign powers be eyeing our Dragon Country's grand examination, we likewise haven't been less courteous to them. The big brother looked at a few people and opened his mouth to ask, Do you know the reason why both of us are doing this? Lin Tian knew nothing about this. Jiang Feng's few people, however, nodded, because of the Blue Star University match, not bad, because of the Blue Star University match, the big brother continued, after the emergence of professionals, the most powerful professionals can form an army by themselves, it's hard for others to stop such a strong person other than an equally strong person, just like those protectorate warlords of our dragon kingdom, once a powerhouse of this level goes to war, the damage caused is enough to destroy several war cities, regardless of which country. It would be difficult for them to bear such losses, but the fight for resources won't stop because of this. Speaking of this, Lin Tian probably guessed what the Blue Star University match was. Big Brother continued. Thus, the Blue Star University match was born. Resources still had to be fought over, but the consequences of letting the strongest go to war were difficult to bear. An agreement was then reached between the various great powers. Let the most talented batch of professionals and the younger generation fight it out. By doing so, the resources will be divided. After listening to the Big Brother's narration, Lin Tian's few people also understood what the so-called Blue Star University confrontation match actually was. This confrontation match was the same as what Lin Tian had guessed. It was a miniature war with controllable losses that was used to decide the ownership of some resources that should have caused a real war. Several people could also understand the necessity of the Blue Star University confrontation match. After all, no one would be willing to easily open a real war until it was absolutely necessary. Big Brother continued to explain to the several people. I think you should understand. The Blue Star University match is essentially a game of resources between great powers. Although it is said to be a game, the only difference between it and a real war is that the participants are only the younger generation. Other than that, there is no difference between this confrontation match and a war. Death and injury are regardless. All means can be used. Even means that violate the rules. Hearing this, several people were stunned. If that's the case, then will there be strong people disguised as students? Or will the students be allowed to carry puppet creations that are comparable to strong people? Jiang Feng opened his mouth and asked. The big man shook his head. It's theoretically possible, but no one would do that. The Blue Star University match exists to avoid war. But if someone did, it would basically be the same as going to war. This kind of thing, small countries wouldn't dare to do it. And big countries would also maintain restraint. In the end, there is only one real rule in the Blue Star University match. That is that one cannot use means that would really cause a war between great powers. Other than that, there are no taboos. Several people fell silent. The world of professionals was just so cruel. 
and even students who still hadn't really stepped into society were no exception. The same had to go and fight in blood for the sake of the country's interests. But several people also knew that this was taken for granted. Professionals enjoyed treatment far beyond that of ordinary people, and also enjoyed the admiration of ordinary people. The need to take greater risks was also inevitable. Ahem. The big man coughed lightly and said, "But it's too early to talk to you guys about this. The Blue Star University match is held once every few years. The exact time is not fixed, and is usually attended by the strongest senior students." The most recent edition of the confrontation is expected to be within a year or two. If you guys want to catch up, I'm afraid you'll have to put in more effort before you can do so. Otherwise, if your strength is not up to par, you won't have this chance to participate even if you want to. I'm also saying this to you guys because your term is considered to be full of talent. There's an unprecedented Lin Tian, and there are also four SSS ranks, including Mo Fan, who is also very outstanding. I hope that you guys can aim to participate in the Blue Star University match. Work hard to improve your strength and fight for our country's glory. Hearing this, several people nodded their heads. And it's not obligatory. If you guys can achieve a good result or even come out on top on behalf of Dragon Country in the Blue Star University match, you can personally receive unimaginably rich rewards as well. The resources rewarded by the country are enough for you guys to grow into true powerhouses along the way. The Big Brother's words caused Lin Tian's few people to be stunned. Enough for them to grow into true powerhouses? Trying to make a professional. Step by step, metamorphose into a truly strong person. The resources required for that were unmeasurable. And in the Blue Star University match, as long as they could achieve good results, the resources rewarded by the Dragon Kingdom at one time were so generous. This handwriting could not be said to be ungenerous. All right, there's too much to say to you guys. The big man concluded to the crowd. I don't expect all of you to grow enough to participate in the Blue Star University match in such a short period of time. But I also hope that there will be at least one or two of you. The big brother gave Lin Tian one last look before turning to leave. A few of Lin Tian glanced at each other, and they could all see the hot blood boiling in each other's eyes. There was no doubt about it. Everyone present intended to try their hardest. Before the Blue Star University confrontation tournament started, grow to be strong enough to participate, to fight for the country's honor, to defend the country against the enemy. This was the obligation and responsibility of all professionals. After all, in the world of professionals. There wasn't a single powerful professional that the country hadn't poured a lot of resources into cultivating. But what made several people so eager to participate? It wasn't just obligation and responsibility. The main thing was still those resources that the country rewarded after obtaining the results that could be described as massive. These resources were enough for them to save a lot of time and increase their growth rate by a large margin. Lin Tian also immediately decided to figure out the participation criteria for the Blue Star University match. He would definitely participate in the next Blue Star University match. After everything was over, the three of them, Lin Tian, said goodbye to the rest of the group. He didn't choose to return to Jun City since the awakening ceremony. Practicing took a month and a half, and the big exam lasted another half a month. The two months of summer vacation had already passed. Those students who went back still had to rush to the academy to report tomorrow as well. Lin Tian didn't have any attachments in Jun Chang, so there was no need to go back. Yang Qi and Ling Qingran also had the same idea. Originally, the two were still prepared to return to their hometown with their clothes on their backs. But after hearing about the Blue Star University match, the two decided to seize all the time they had to improve their strength. The two had an S rank and an A rank profession, wanting their strength to catch up with the senior students within a year or two. They couldn't do it without working hard. After making the decision, Lu Xiaoxiang directly led the three of them and entered a teleportation array. A white light passed. In front of Lin Tian's trio's eyes, heaven and earth had changed. Around them, many magnificent buildings stood. However, these magnificent buildings were not the kind of skyscrapers found in cities, but were more like a fortress or fortress. An icy metallic texture came from one building to another. On each building, there was the Longbu School emblem and number. Lin Tian's trio was dazzled. This place simply didn't look like a schoolhouse, but more like a military fortress made of steel in general. Seeing the reaction of the three of them. Lu Xiaoxiang smiled and said, "This is the Dragon Martial Warfare University. This is already the border state Iron City, located at the border of the Dragon Kingdom." Lu Xiaoxiang introduced himself to the three of them as he led them towards the school grounds. But even though this is the border of the Dragon Kingdom, it doesn't border any country. Since the appearance of the space-time rift, the Blue Star has expanded many times, and after so many years, humanity has recaptured quite a bit of territory. And even the Dragon Kingdom's territory is larger than it was before the age of professionals. But there are still many places in the vast wilderness that have not been conquered. The border states and the Iron City exist to open up frontiers in the vast wilderness. 
That's why you guys don't look at Longwu's location. It seems to be very remote compared to the other academies. But this is definitely a good thing for professionals. You guys are out of the city is the boundless wilderness. There are countless gathering places for all sorts of exotic beasts. As long as you're strong enough, you'll never lack the resources to practice leveling. It doesn't matter how many levels you are. Even if you've already become truly strong, you'll be able to find a suitable area for leveling with foreign beasts here. But the wilderness here hasn't been conquered after all. And unlike the wilderness outside of your Jiang city where the map records are clear, this place is full of accidents and the danger is much higher. Hearing these words, the three of them, Lin Tian, all nodded their heads. The principal's words were not forced merits. The abundance of alien beast resources meant danger for ordinary people. But it was definitely good news for pursuing professionals. Lu Xiaoxiong continued to lead Lin Tian's trio towards the depths of the campus. It just so happens that the three of you came early. So I, the principal, will personally introduce you to Dragon Marshal. Our Dragon Martial Warfare University trains professionals who are truly capable of fighting. Every year, more than half of the graduates choose to join the military department and use their strength to defend the Dragon Kingdom. It can be said that apart from the military schools directly under the military department, Longwu is the one that has the closest relationship with the military department. And even now, amongst the military department's protector of the nation's god of war, one of them is from my Longwu. The three of them, Lin Tian, had some understanding of this. Before this session of the grand examination, Longwu's situation could be said to have been unfavorable for years, if it wasn't for relying on the military department's connections and that protectorate war god to back him up. Longwu would have been downgraded a long time ago and wouldn't have been able to delay this year at all. So as students of Longwu, you must first remember one thing, there is only one iron law in Longwu, and that is that the strongest is the most respected. Strength is everything. This rule was very much to Lin Tian's liking. This was because it was originally the iron rule of the world of professionals, not an artificially created rule. Lan Wu implemented this rule, undoubtedly for the sake of students adapting to the world of professionals as early as possible, as well as growing up to become unique professionals in the midst of such cruel rules. In all of the university campuses in the Dragon Kingdom, they don't recognize money, only academic points. Hearing this word, all three of them pricked up their ears and listened carefully. The award ceremony for the grand examination. Lin Tian directly received 20,000 points, Yang Qi also received 2,000, and Ling Qingran, as a student of the winning academy, Lan Wu, was also rewarded with 100 points. Lu Xiaoxiang continued, In Lan Wu, the academy will issue 10 points of academy points to students every month. These 10 points of academy points are enough for students to eat, wear, and live without worry. But as a professional, it's not enough if you want to improve your strength. So if you want to quickly improve your strength and obtain more resources, you have to complete the missions issued by the academy, or the missions issued in cooperation with the military department. By completing these missions, one is able to obtain a certain amount of academy points. Lin Tian was puzzled in his heart and opened his mouth to ask, Principal Lu, how much money is one point of academy points roughly equivalent to? 10,000. Lu Xiaoxiang continued, Academia points can be directly exchanged into money, but I advise you not to do so. Although one point of academy points can only be exchanged for 10,000, its true value is definitely more than that. As one of the top academies in the Dragon Kingdom, some of the resources that you can obtain at Dragon Marshal with your academy points can't be bought with money elsewhere, and money can't be exchanged for academy points. Lin Tian thought of something and asked, Headmaster, since the iron law of Dragon Marshal is that strength is honored, then in Langwu, as long as I am stronger, can I forcefully take other students' points? Lu Xiaoxiang didn't get angry when he heard this, but instead, his eyes lit up. Not bad, you are very perceptive. Those who are strong can indeed take away the points of those who are weak. However, in order to plunder other people's points, one needs to initiate a challenge. Lu Xiaoxiang explained to the three of them to Lin Tian, if you look at who's rich in points and want to hit the dirt, or if you simply look at who you don't like, then initiate a challenge and agree on a time to fight in the ring within the Dragon Martial School. The winner can then take a certain amount of points from the loser. As for how many points this is, it depends on the agreement between the two sides before the battle. If you know you're not strong enough, you can also refuse the challenge. And after refusing someone's challenge, the other party can't challenge you again for a month. But there is a price for refusing a challenge. If you refuse a challenge once, the points you get in the next month will be reduced by 10%. No matter if it's points issued by the academy or points you get from completing a mission, they will all be reduced. If one refuses 10 challenges in a month, it would be the same as not being able to gain any points at all for the next month. Hearing this challenge rule, Lin Tian quickly realized the problem with it. Headmaster, 
Even if the students of Dragon Marshal are all the pride of the heavens in the outside world, but when they are gathered in an academy, there will always be a group of people who are at the bottom of the list in terms of strength. Wouldn't this group of people end up being forced to quit the academy? Lin Tian wasn't talking nonsense. According to this rule, the points of the batch of people at the bottom of the strength ladder would be coveted by everyone. From there, they would be challenged by a steady stream of people, and they would either lose to the other party until they lost all their points, or they would refuse the challenge over and over again, resulting in them not getting any points at all for the next month. Then their final end would be obvious. The academy did not recognize money within the academy. Only academy points. Without points, it was the same as being bankrupt, and even food and clothing became a problem. In the end, they can only quit the academy. And that's not all. After the weakest group of people quit, another group of people would become the weakest. This cycle continues. The vast majority of Longwu students would end up quitting the academy. Lu Xiaoxiong nodded and explained, What you said is indeed a problem. That's why Longwu has two other systems. One is the campus system and the other is the guild system. Dragon Marshal is divided into two campuses. The lower class is the ordinary campus, and the higher class is the higher campus. The points and resources that the two campuses can obtain each month are different. Entering the higher campus, the points you can obtain each month are much more than what you have now, and you can even apply for free from the academy. Some special materials and resources that cannot be obtained from the outside world. That's why the older students who are stronger have all entered the higher campus. There won't be any direct competition with you freshmen from the ordinary campuses, and some sophomores and juniors who aren't strong enough, and they won't be able to come to the ordinary campuses to challenge you. Lin Tian nodded as he heard this. This campus system was able to ensure that the gap in strength between students would not span so much that the freshmen would be completely unable to rebel against the older students. However, it still couldn't solve that problem he mentioned. There would still be people at the bottom of the strength scale in the same campus. Lu Xiaoxiang continued. As for the guild system, I'm sure you've more or less heard of it. There are also guilds amongst the professionals in the outside world, including the various university campuses that have guilds made up of various students. Every month, the academic institutions will distribute a lot of extra points and resources to the various guilds. This is the same for all the major academies. However, there is one thing about my Dragon Marshal that is different from them. That is that between my Dragon Marshal's guilds, they can initiate guild wars. It's also this point that ensures that the kind of situation you're talking about won't happen. The group of students at the bottom of the strength ladder can also choose to join the guild. And after joining the guild, if they encounter a challenge from a stronger student, then they can apply for help from the other students in the guild to fight. This kind of application requires a certain cost though, but as long as you defeat the other party, the points gained will be split between the two, and you will only earn and not lose. Likewise, if the other party loses, they can also seek the help of a stronger student in the guild to challenge them again. In this way, it will be endless and eventually evolve into a guild war. A guild war is when two guilds from the same campus gather all their members to wage war on each other. And in Longwu's two campuses, the major guilds have long since formed a balance between the ups and downs. There is a gap in strength between the guilds, but the gap is not large. Once a guild war is opened, even if one wins, the cost is not small. That's why no one wants to develop into a guild war over such a small matter. In this way, a tacit understanding was also formed. The objects that initiate challenges are all of similar strength, so that whoever loses is convinced and won't look for helpers. So there's no need to worry about the batch at the bottom of the strength scale being forced to quit the academy. Hearing this, Lin Tian completely understood. Among the dragon warriors, the tenet of strength being honored had been practiced for so many years that a set of logic similar to the rules of society had evolved. The strong were able to obtain more, but not by such maneuvers as direct plundering. The weak were able to receive shelter by joining the guild but there was no doubt about it. They gained less, and the dirty work was bound to be more. The strong, however, didn't need to do so much, and were able to obtain more simply by existing. This was what truly manifested the strong being honored. As for outright taking by force, this kind of maneuver had already been eliminated. Or rather, this kind of maneuver, is not something that ordinary people can use. Unless, the strength of this strong person is strong enough to crush all the students in the same campus, and even all the guilds. So it seems, Dragon Marshal's environment and the real society of professionals were really extremely similar. But guild wars, they will still be fought every month. Lu Xiaoxiong continued. Within the same school district, all guilds participate together, each sending out a portion of their people, dividing the class according to their strength, and within the same class there is revenge for revenge and revenge for revenge. The final result of the guild war is related to the points and resources that the school district will allocate to the guilds next month. In this way, 
You should be able to understand that the strongest are honored within Dragon Marshal. Lu Xiaoxiong looked at the three of them. The three of them, Lin Tian, all nodded. I didn't expect the rules within the Dragon Marshal school to be more straightforward than what I thought before. Yang Qi lamented. This is tantamount to creating a society composed entirely of professionals among the students. Sniffing, Lu Xiaoxiong let out a laugh. Then his words changed. It's more than that. The rules of Langwu are not just made for students. Not just for students. As long as you want to. It's not impossible to challenge the teachers of Dragon Marshal. If there's any teacher whose character is not good enough for you to look at, you can also challenge them, and the winner can not only plunder the other party's points, but can even decide whether the other party stays or goes. The three of them, Lin Tian, already had an understanding of the Dragon Marshal's honoring of the strongest, but they heard this. Still, they couldn't help but be shocked. Even teachers can be challenged? Yang Qi said in shock, Lu Xiaoxiong let out a laugh. It's possible, but there's no need for that. In all the years that Longwu has been around, Teachers with questionable character have long been kicked out. My Longwu's teachers, in the aspect of good conduct, are definitely among the best in the Dragon Kingdom's academies, and there is no weak teacher who can stay in Dragon Marshal. Yang Qi nodded, and then asked as if he was picking an it. Then what if there are just students who are strong and have brain problems, and they have to catch a teacher who is a little less strong and bully them? If it's just bullying, then it's this teacher who is not strong enough. Lu Xiaoxiong said bluntly. However, he added. If this student has to kick out a teacher whose character is fine, at the same time, the other teachers can't deal with him, then I can only tell him one thing, among the strong, a mountain is still higher than a mountain. Lu Xiaoxiang flashed a kind smile at the trio and spoke, don't forget that I, the principal, am also a member of Longwu, the same goes for the rules. Lin Tian's trio's scalp tingled when they heard this, the strength of this principle of theirs, the three of them had heard about it, right now. He was already a professional who was over level 80 and had reached the fifth turn. He was a strong person in the absolute sense. The three definitely didn't think that anyone could surpass this principal's strength before they graduated. Although Lin Tian had already defeated a level 80 fifth turn foreign beast in the trial tower. But first of all, under the same level, the strength of an average fey beast was far inferior to that of a human professional. Except for extremely rare super strong races such as dragons. Moreover, the fey beasts in the trial tower were only simulated fey beasts. In terms of strength and cunning, they were similarly inferior to real fey beasts, so even Lin Tian didn't think that he would definitely be able to surpass this principle of his before he graduated. There was even less to say about the others, just walking and chatting along the way. The four of them then arrived at the office building where the principal's office was located. All right, I'm at the place. Lu Xiaoxiang stopped and said to the three of them, You too, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, don't forget to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. The academy will help you register as official professionals, and the academy points will also be remitted into your professional licenses. There is a batch of empty dormitories and housing in the ordinary campus. There happens to be no other students right now, so you guys can pick them first tonight. But other than the ordinary dormitories, all the other better housing is for points. After Lu Xiaoxiong finished explaining with the two, he finally said, Lin Tian come up with me. After the two went up, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, then waited up under the office building. It didn't take long for them to work. Lin Tian returned. Brother Tian, what good thing is the principal looking for you? Yang Qi was curious. It's not much. Lin Tian explained. It's just to tell me that my performance on the grand exam has drawn the attention of the state. And the third elder who was in charge of the Department of Education has ordered that my protection should be super specified. Both Yang Qi and Lin Qingran were shocked in their hearts when they heard this. Lin Tian had even caught the attention of the third elder. This was definitely a truly big shot. Normally. Other than on the news, ordinary people wouldn't even think of coming into contact with them. And now Lin Tian had been ordered by him to be specially protected. One could only say that Lin Tian's performance was truly unprecedentedly terrifying. It made sense to get super specialized protection. But I refused. It's too unfree to be surrounded by too many bodyguards from the military department. So the principal changed it to, give me an amulet. Lin Tian said, taking out a jade pendant carved with complicated runes. It says that this is similar to the one the academy fought against, just at a higher level. The defense shield can block the full force of a level 85th turning powerhouse, and at the same time, it can teleport me away. Envious gazes appeared in the eyes of Yang Qi and Ling Qingran. The one that the academy fought against couldn't be compared to this one of Lin Tian's. That one could only be used within a specific space and was far less effective than this one in Lin Tian's hands. A prop that was strong enough to withstand the full force of a level 80 powerhouse and could also teleport people away. It was almost equal to one more life. The value was incalculable. 
I don't know how many people in high positions of power and authority were willing to pay astronomical prices to buy such a prop for their juniors, but with the preciousness of such props, it wasn't something that could be bought with money and a bit of power. Let's go. Let's find a place to stay first. Late at night, inside a detached luxury villa, Lin Tian was sitting cross-legged in a closed cultivation room, which was over a hundred square meters in size. The room was decorated with various weight-bearing equipment and special puppets for practicing physical arts. The room's floor, ceiling, and the surrounding walls were engraved with formation runes to isolate them from viewers. Lin Tian was still very satisfied with this villa. Apart from the fact that he had to pay up to 10 schoolhouse points a month, all aspects of the villa were very good. All kinds of room facilities were available and could completely fulfill the needs of a professional. It can be said that apart from being expensive, there are no other shortcomings. For the average student, the most basic academic points issued by the academy for a month was only 10 points. And if there was no additional source of income from points, just renting this villa would be enough for them to drink the northwest wind for a month. However, this point, for Lin Tian who had not yet enrolled in school and had 20,000 points in his pocket, it was not a problem at all. The experience of living was much more important. He also gave Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, renting an identical villa on the left and right sides. Three villas for three people was still a decision made by Lin Tian, although the two of them, one being a male son and the other being a young lady, had always been accustomed to extravagance. They didn't mind living together with Lin Tian. It was just that Lin Tian was more used to living alone. What's more, he still had a big secret on his mind. Living in a block could easily leak it. It was better for the two of them not to know about it. Lin Tian opened his system backpack. From it, he took out a dragon egg. The heavy dragon egg was held in his hands, and Lin Tian's gaze was pleasantly surprised. Before the start of the grand exam, the task released by the system was upgraded, and the reward was also upgraded from an ordinary dragon egg to a special dragon egg, and the special features of this dragon egg in front of him could be seen at a glance. The dragon egg as a whole was bright yellow, with several purple lines spreading downwards at the top. The purple lines looked like lightning falling from the sky. On the shell of the egg, an electric current visible to the naked eye traveled at great speeds, and from time to time, nuisance sparks also emerged. Even as Lin Tian held the dragon egg with both hands, he could feel a tingling sensation coming from his hands and spreading throughout his body. It was obvious at a glance. What was being nurtured in this dragon egg must be a dragon race related to thunder and lightning. Thunder Flash Dragon Egg A young Thunder Flash Dragon can be birthed. As a special attribute dragon race that is higher than ordinary gargoyles, adult thunder flash dragons are also extremely powerful existences in the gargoyles, transcendent existences that are above the food chain. Lin Tian looked at the introduction and his heart burst with excitement. He was able to get to where he was today by relying on that one fire dragon egg back then. Only at that time, he had the opportunity for a young dragon to evolve and evolve little Yen into an ancestral fire dragon. Now, even though he didn't have a young dragon evolution, the Thunder Flash Dragon was originally a special dragon race, and its strength was stronger than normal dragons. One little amazing had given him the strength to crush other SSS class professions. Adding another Thunder Flash Dragon, how much would his strength increase? Lin Tian himself was looking forward to it. Just as he was thinking, a thought came from the Dragon Egg. This was the first time the young dragon became curious about this world. The young dragon that was still in the Dragon Egg quickly developed a sense of affinity towards Lin Tian. Lin Tian knew that this was his divine great talent, Dragon God, coming into play. The intention coming from the young dragon was very impatient, seemingly wanting to break out of its shell as soon as possible, and Lin Tian could feel the young dragon spinning back and forth within the limited space of the dragon egg. Little baby, don't be anxious, I'll let you break your shell soon. Lin Tian let out a light laugh. He guessed that impatience was the nature of the thunder flash dragon. The young dragon in the dragon egg understood what Lin Tian, who was the dragon whisperer, said and instantly quieted down. Lin Tian stretched out his right hand and stuck it on top of the dragon egg, using the skill Dragon God's Might. An extremely complicated and ornate spell formation condensed in his hand, then it slowly passed through the shell of the dragon egg and fainted into it. The young dragon in the dragon egg impatiently cooperated with Lin Tian. Very quickly, Lin Tian and the young dragon felt that their minds were connected to each other, while the two were feeling each other's thoughts. Suddenly a third, even more massive thought broke in. The young dragon was first startled. However, she soon realized that this huge strand of thoughts did not have any malicious intent towards her. It was just curious. And then the young dragon realized that this huge strand of thoughts also belonged to the owner's dragon race, her predecessor. Discovering the intention of a friendly kind, the young dragon was very excited. But little amazing just calmly contacted the young dragon for a while, and then put the intention back. After this incident, the young dragon became even more impatient. After Lin Tian agreed, 
the young dragon started to break its shell. With a click, the lightning pattern on the top of the dragon egg cracked out a few slits. Then the slits became bigger and broke into a few pieces of eggshells, which fell into the dragon egg. A small head poked out from the broken shell, looking openly at Lin Tian. Lin Tian looked at the young dragon's little head. The young dragon's head was yellow and purple in color, and on the pair of small yellow horns at the top of its head, several purple lightning patterns coiled around it. A pair of large bright yellow eyes with pupils that were still purple had several lightning bolts traveling in them. The young dragon looked very showy, completely different from the naive look of the little amazing when it first broke out of its shell. It was worthy of being a little female dragon. Aang dashed the young dragon chirped. Then, the young dragon burrowed back into the dragon egg and drank all of the liquid plasma flowing from the egg. Then, one bite at a time, it gnawed down all of the eggshells and swallowed them into its stomach, as the last piece of eggshell was swallowed. The size of the young dragon rapidly developed and grew. The power within Lin Tian's body also skyrocketed at the same time. After a few moments of effort, the young dragon's size stabilized. Her size wasn't as big as Little Yen was back then, less than Lin Tian's knee height. The young dragon's scale armor was mainly bright yellow, with purple lightning flashing through it. Aang dashed the young dragon chirped, signaling for Lin Tian to give her a name. Lin Tian thought about it and felt that he couldn't name her like he did for Little Amazing before. Now that Little Amazing had grown into a giant dragon, it didn't matter to Lin Tian and Little Amazing if such a behemoth was named Little Amazing, but it was more or less a bit of a contradiction in the eyes of the onlookers. Lin Tian had already thought of a name for Little Amazing. It would be called Amazing Huang. The name Little Amazing still existed as a nickname. Lin Tian thought carefully in his mind in order to name the young dragon. After a few moments, he thought of the elegant name that Thunder and Lightning were known by in ancient times. Thunder and I. Lin Tian thought of the name and blurted out. The nickname will be Little and I. Aang dashed the young dragon chirped happily, recognizing the name. Under the excitement, Little and I directly jumped around in the cultivation room. Lin Tian only saw a yellowish purple lightning bolt leaping in an unknown number of circles in the 100 square meter cultivation room in an instant. In an instant, the room was filled with the sound of banging. When Xiao and I leapt back in front of Lin Tian, the various weight-bearing equipment and special puppets in the cultivation room had already turned into crumbs all over the ground. The defense-enhancing spell formations on the special puppets had also been torn to shreds under Xiao Ni's collision. Little Ni's heaven-defying speed dazzled Lin Tian to have this kind of speed right after birth. Worthy of being called a Thunder Flash Dragon, Lin Tian hurriedly opened Xiao Ni's attribute panel and looked at it carefully. With this kind of speed, I wonder how much the agility attribute must be. Thunder Flash Dragon. Level, 1. Strength, 375. Agility, 821. Physique, 418. Spirit, 583. Thunder Flash Dragon Bloodline, passive as a Thunder Flash Dragon. The Master of Lightning. It has extreme resistance to lightning attribute damage and can learn all lightning attribute skills. Thunder Flash Dragon Physique, Passive. LV1 The lightning that flows through the Thunder Flash Dragon's body strengthens its physique in battle as well as when moving at high speeds. For a period of time, it gains 100% recovery, 30% debuff resistance, and 20% resistance to all attribute damage. Thunder Lightning, Active. LV1 inspires lightning through the dragon's horn, dealing massive damage. Thunderbolt Sprint, Active. LV1 wraps lightning around the body surface, increasing speed to the extreme. Looking at Xiao Ni's attribute panel, Lin Tian was instantly startled. Although he had experienced the shock of looking at Xiao Yan's panel for the first time, Xiao Ni's attributes still shocked him once more. As a special dragon race, his younger sister Xiao Ni's abilities were naturally no match for. As an originating fire dragon, his elder brother Xiao Yan, the two were not just a difference in level. Being of the same dragon race, there was also a difference in the level of life. Within Xiao Ni's four attributes, three of them were far inferior to Xiao Yan when he was first born, but the only one that was not was agility. Little Ni's agility was as high as 821. This far exceeded the level of Little Amazing when he was just born. Even now that Little Amazing was level 15, his agility attribute wasn't much higher than Little Ni's when he was just born now. It was only a hundred or so points higher. Lin Tian could only say that there were specialties in the arts. Within Little Yan's four attributes, strength, physique, and spirit, all three were very balanced and extremely powerful, but agility wasn't something he specialized in, and Xiao and I was just the opposite, his strength and physique were not outstanding, and his spirit was also mediocre, but his agility was frighteningly high, however, this not outstanding and mediocre was compared to little amazing, the ancestor fire dragon, if you compare it to ordinary beasts or professionals, then it wouldn't be ordinary, it would be terrifying to the extreme, at this time, if anyone heard that Lin Tian's evaluation of Little Ni's panel was mediocre, they would only take it as his Versailles. 
thus shedding tears of envy and jealousy. As for skills, Little and I was similarly not as good as Little Yen, but it was still incredibly powerful. Lin Tian's gaze was surprised. Little Mi's emergence had strengthened him by a large margin again. The original lack in agility was now also made up for by Little and I. He opened his occupation panel. Lin Tian, Dragon Master, SSS level 2nd turn, level, 21, strength, 628 plus 35, agility, 578 plus 50, physique, 642 plus 35, spirit, 645 plus 35, dragon favors, 2 thirds beginning fire dragon level 15, amazing brilliance, thunder flash dragon level 1, thunder neon, dance with the dragon, passive the dragon master can share 20% of the dragon pet's attributes and gain some of the effects of the dragon pet skills, and injuries taken by the Dragon Master are borne by the Dragon Pet. Dragon Mastery Ranch, a space that can take in Dragon Pets. Extremely comfortable for Dragons. Boosts the recovery speed of Dragon Pets. Dragon's Jubilation, active. LV3 Jubilation encourages the Dragon Master and Dragon Pet for a period of time. Increasing all attributes by 30%. Available skill points asterisk 10. Lin Tian looked at his panel attributes. Right now. His four-dimensional attributes were simply exaggerated compared to the average level 21 professional. Except for agility. Every item exceeded 600 points. The weakest item, agility, had also reached 578 points. And with the addition of the equipment, it also exceeded 600 points. Even this weakest item was not something that an ordinary professional could touch. Lin Tian, as a SSS level profession, the attributes provided by each level up after the second turn had increased from 10 points to 20 points for each item. Now he was able to gain a total of 80 points of attributes per level up. So even SS ranked professions would have trouble surpassing him in attributes until they reached level 40 with the third turn. After all, Lin Tian's exaggeratedly high attributes. Among each attribute, only 200 points or so were brought by his own profession. This was also the attribute that an average SSS ranked professional could have when they had just turned 2. As for the rest of his attributes, all of them came from Little Yen and Little and I, with Little Yen accounting for the bulk of them. After the second turn, Lin Tian's core skill, the shared attribute effect of Dance with the Dragon, had also increased from 10% to 20%. It provided him with a huge wave of attribute growth. Of his four-dimensional attributes, agility as a weak point was only temporary. Right now, Xiao and I was still just a level 1 child, and her agility was still only over 800 points. And when Xiao and I grew up, her agility attribute would grow even more exaggeratedly, and this weak point of his would be able to gradually level out. By then, he would be a true square warrior. Lin Tian was thinking. Little and I had already circled around him several times, constantly sniffing here and there on his body. Aang, hearing little Nays chirping, Lin Tian was somewhat helpless. Although little and I was a little female dragon, her personality was very impatient and lively. She had already finished exploring the room in this moment and wanted to go to the outside world to have a look. Be good. I'll bring you outside later. Let's go into the dragon harnessing ranch to play first today. Lin Tian said softly and gently. Ang Xiao and I, however, shook her little head like a rattle. Then she kept rubbing up against Lin Tian's body again, playing a pampering offense with him. She wanted to go out and take a look now. Lin Tian let out a bitter smile. Although little and I was already his second young dragon, he still had no way to deal with the capriciousness and pampering of a baby young dragon. Lin Tian thought for a moment and said, Little amazing brother is waiting to play with you at the dragon harnessing ranch. Don't you want to play with your brother? Hearing this, Shawnee's gaze immediately lit up and a few purple lightning bolts flashed in her eyes. Clearly, she was very interested in little amazing, her big brother who she had only come into contact with once. Little and I nodded, so fast that Lin Tian could only see the remnants of her small head. Good, now let's let you go play with little amazing big brother. Seeing this, Lin Tian directly included little and I in the dragon harnessing ranch. After sending this lively little trouble away, Lin Tian had just breathed a sigh of relief when he sensed Little Yan's thoughts of help coming to him in the dragon harnessing ranch. The reason was naturally self-explanatory. Lin Tian expressed his love for the situation and then turned a blind eye to it, letting Little Amazing figure out how to play with this sister of his on his own. After doing all this, Lin Tian only returned to his room to sleep. The night passed calmly. The next day, early morning, Lin Tian was woken up by a ringtone by his bedside. However, it wasn't the alarm of his cell phone. His routine didn't need an alarm at all. Lin Tian took a look. The villa's central control system showed that it was the doorbell ringing. Going down to the first floor, Lin Tian realized that Ling Qingran had come to him early in the morning and had now made breakfast. Don't cook in the future. It's too delayed. Lin Tian said casually. Then he came to the door and opened the door of the villa. Outside the door, a large group of people had gathered here. 
surrounding the road of the villa area with more than a thousand people. While there were still people constantly rushing towards this side, these people Lin Tian did not really recognize. Many of them, however, looked somewhat familiar to him and he quickly recognized them. These people were none other than the freshmen of Longwu, the 2,000 people from the academy confrontation. Lin Tian was about to ask them what they were up to, before he could even open his mouth. The people were just expressing their admiration and worship for Lin Tian. After saying that, the crowd left behind a confused Lin Tian and left the place. Lin Tian looked at the departing crowd and shook his head with a light laugh. It seemed that what he had done in the confrontation in the academy had left the crowd with too much shock. So much so that the crowd had personally run over to express their admiration in person after enrolling in the academy. However, the crowd had also brought him some news. Between yesterday and today, in just less than a day, the matter of him being the top scholar of the Dragon Kingdom, as well as his double first place record, had already spread throughout the country, causing a great deal of discussion, to the point that no matter how many stations one turned to on the television, all one saw was news about him, including the matter about him owning a giant dragon. The TV had also started broadcasting some of it, but this matter was still only on TV as rumors and gossip. A giant dragon was a giant dragon after all. Even if it was just a rumor, it was enough to cause a nationwide shock. Lin Tian returned inside the villa. Sitting on the dining table, he ate breakfast with Ling Qingran. He casually turned on the TV and tuned in a few channels. As the crowd said, every channel was broadcasting news about him, and not only was the heat not dropping from yesterday, but it was getting hotter and hotter with the fermentation. Among the crowd, there was also Lin Tian's Jiangcheng hometown. The Jiangcheng hometown brought him news. Now that he had ascended to the Hall of Fame of the Third Middle School, there were more than a dozen banners at the entrance of the Third Middle School congratulating him. Also because of him, many students in Jiangcheng enrolled in schools that had switched from the First and Second Middle Schools to the Third Middle School. There were even people who ran to his house in Jiangcheng and took pictures there to mark the occasion, as if it were some kind of tourist attraction, around his house. However, it had already been protected by the officials who had sent people to protect it. The entire building had been relocated, and now it was directly forbidden for anyone to approach. Lin Tian then tuned into the Jiangcheng TV station. On the screen, a reporter was interviewing two people. Seeing this, both Lin Tian and Ling Qingran suddenly burst out laughing. The picture on the TV was all too familiar to the two. The background was exactly the third middle school that the two had attended for three years. The two people being interviewed were Lin Tian's homeroom teacher and third middle school principal Chi Chunsong. The two men were fighting for the microphone with each other, constantly saying that they had seen Lin Tian's potential a long time ago and knew that he would definitely have a future. They were also reminiscing about the past, telling the story of how Lin Tian had dominated the number one ranking for three consecutive years in the third middle school. Both Lin Tian and Ling Qingran felt that this image was a bit funny. However, these two were not talking nonsense. It was basically the truth. After all, before the awakening ceremony, there really wasn't anyone who didn't think highly of him. The two looked at him for a while longer. Ling Qingran suddenly asked, Why did you tell me to stop cooking? Is what I'm cooking awful? That's not true. It's quite delicious. Lin Tian shook his head. It's just that we're professionals. There's no need to waste this kind of time. Oh, that's good. Hearing Lin Tian say that it was delicious, Ling Qingran nodded with a little blush. As long as they didn't find it hard to eat, it was fine. The two of them were almost done with their meal when Yang Qi opened the door and came in at this time. Brother Tian, you're not up yet, are you? Is Ling Big School Flower here with you or not? The opening ceremony is about to start. Before Yang Qi's person even walked over, the yelling voice came over. You're the only one who would wake up this late. You're the only one who would get up this late. We've all finished our meals. Lin Tian shook his head and laughed. It just so happens that I haven't eaten yet. Yang Qi saw that there were still two chicken legs on his plate. He picked them up and stuffed them into his mouth. Then continued, the opening ceremony is about to start. Hurry over, if you don't go this chicken leg will get cold. No, if you don't go, you'll be late. Very quickly, Yang Qi and Ling Qingran both rushed to the opening ceremony. Lin Tian didn't go along. Apart from the principal's speech, the main function of the opening ceremony was to register the new students as official professionals and issue them with professional licenses. Lin Tian had already registered back in Jiangcheng, so he didn't need to do it again. Moreover, Principal Lu Xiaoxiong, last night, had only said that he would let the two go over there. Without mentioning him, the opening ceremony would last until noon. After the two left, Lin Tian then turned around everywhere within the ordinary school district to familiarize himself with the environment of the academy. In addition to new students, other old students within the ordinary campus were also required to participate in the opening ceremony. At the moment, as Lin Tian strolled around the ordinary school district, 
Other than seeing a few teachers and staff sporadically, there was no one else. Lin Tian suddenly felt an anxious intent. It was still little N.I. Last night, this little guy had tossed and turned at the Dragon Harness Ranch, and was already almost familiar with it. I don't know if it was because the Thunderflash Dragon's physique was like this, or if this little guy little knee's personality was too lively. After tossing and turning all night, he still had energy now. She was clamoring for a visit to the outside world. Lin Tian didn't refuse and released her. As soon as Xiao and I arrived in the outside world, she first rubbed her head with Lin Tian for a bit of intimacy. Then she flew around, wanting to look here and smell there. Looking at Xiao Ni's lively appearance, Lin Tian also felt a sense of relief in his heart. From now on, he no longer needed to hide his dragon pet, including the newly born little and I was the same. Last night, Principal Lu had already given him a handout. The country didn't care where his giant dragon came from or what secrets he had, much less would it ever ask about them. The dragon country only cared about one thing, and that was that Lin Tian was a dragon countryman, and a dragon countryman with unlimited potential. The higher-ups only wanted Lin Tian to grow up peacefully. In the future, he would be able to become an important force in guarding the dragon kingdom or even become a new generation of protector of the nation god of war. The dragon kingdom wouldn't do something as stupid as killing a chicken to get the eggs. Moreover, the higher-ups had also given Lin Tian a privilege. That was that he could keep his secrets from anyone. If anyone wanted to find out his secrets or ask about the origin of the giant dragon, Lin Tian could just step in and behead the other party. If the other party was powerful, there would be the dragon kingdom to come out and suppress them. To be honest, when Lin Tian heard these words, a strong sense of belonging rose in his heart. At the same time, a wave of admiration rose in him towards the Dragon Kingdom's higher-ups. It was obvious that the higher-ups were very good at things like enlisting talents. The mind was also far clearer than what he had thought. He was originally a bit worried that after exposing Little Yen, he might still encounter some trouble. For example, there would be people in the top or middle and high levels who would covet his giant dragon, or even the source of his giant dragon, and thus do something that would kill the chicken to get the eggs. But now it seemed. He had clearly underestimated the crowd of high-level bigwigs in the Dragon Kingdom. What he could think of, the crowd of bigwigs had already thought of for him a long time ago, directly relieving him of all worries. From now on, the sea was wide enough for fish to leap, and the sky was high enough for birds to fly. Lin Tian was just like this, bringing Xiao and I to wander around the campus, all the way to noon. There were gradually more and more people in the campus. Obviously the opening ceremony had already ended. Lin Tian saw the various stores along the streets. And at this time, people were constantly arriving to open them, obviously all run by students of the Dragon Martial Arts. Apart from the ordinary stores, more of these stores were stores that provided what the professionals needed, like a variety of weapon stores, equipment stores, including alien beast material stores. There was even a not-so-small auction house. On the plaques of these stores, they would all carry the name of a guild in the corner. After inquiring, Lin Jingis realized that operating these on-campus stores was also an important source of income for ordinary students to accumulate academy points. However, these stores were not run by students alone, but had to be affiliated with a guild. Only then could they be protected from trouble. Lin Tian's gaze swept over the stores on both sides of the street. These students who rushed to open their shops were naturally the ones at the bottom of the strength ladder. The tiring work of running a store like this was all taken on by them. However, the proceeds from the store, even if they didn't want to use it, they knew that they wouldn't be able to share much. The more points must have gone into the pockets of those strong people in the guild. As Lin Tian walked down the street, quite a few people cast glances towards Xiao and I. Xiao and I was initially very curious about these people. When she passed by, she would fly forward and take a closer look and smell. Some female students saw Xiao Ni's cuteness and wanted to reach out and touch it, but she couldn't touch the extremely fast Xiao and I at all. Xiao and I soon realized that the strength of these guys are too weak. Not as good as her this just born less than a day baby. She then stopped paying attention and continued to explore around. A morning's time. Finally, Xiao and I was able to enjoy herself for the time being. After little and I licked Lin Tian's cheek, she drilled herself into the dragon harnessing ranch and went to look for little Yen brother to play again. Lin Tian wandered around for a while longer. As he walked, he came to an intersection. It was very wide, and there was a group of people gathered in the center of the intersection. This group of people weren't watching the car accident. After all, all of the Longwu Middle School were professionals except for some of the employees, so it was quite difficult to get hit by a car. Lin Tian walked to the back of the crowd. He realized that the crowd was watching a fight. In the center of the intersection was a small octagonal ring, and the two people inside were fighting soundly. A small light screen above the ring displayed the information of the two men. Level, 27. B-Rank Occupation Ice Rain Archer. Chen Xingli vs. 
Level, 28. A rank occupation Moon Win Warlock. Xiao Fan. Listening to the person explain what had happened. Only then did Lin Tian realize that these two people didn't have any beef. They just looked at each other while walking down the road. And then it escalated from a verbal argument to a fight. Lin Tian couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Longwu deserved to be called the Dragon Kingdom Martial Warfare University. Martial virtues were really abundant. Students would fight with each other at any time, and rings were set up everywhere on the road. He had also encountered more than a dozen rings along the way. The first time he encountered a fight between Longwu students, Lin Tian stopped and watched for a while. Then he turned around and prepared to leave. The person beside him hurriedly stopped him and hurriedly opened his mouth to ask, Alas, aren't you going to watch? The two are fighting fiercely. Lin Tian's heart was strange. Why was this person so concerned about whether he was leaving or not? But he still shook his head and said, The winner is that Ice Rain Archer. A moment's effort was enough for him to come to a conclusion. The two just seemed to be evenly matched. But the Ice Rain Archer was actually better. Even though the Ice Rain Archer's occupation was not dominant, and his level was still one level lower. But this person's combat intelligence, obviously better than the Warlock, know where their own advantages, while maintaining distance, while dodging the Warlock's spells, and not in a hurry to attack. The physical attributes of Warlocks were all relatively low. By the time the Warlock's physical strength was almost depleted, the Archer would be able to decide the winner with a single arrow. Do you understand or not? Our Iron Armor Guild's Zhao Fan is a Moonwin Warlock a ranked profession and has a much higher level. How could he lose? A big, tall man among the onlooker students, who was dissatisfied with Lin Tian's words, retorted. Lin Tian didn't pay any attention to it, didn't even look at him and directly ignored him. Seeing this, the big man didn't get angry, and with a turn of both eyes, he provoked. If you're not convinced, why don't we bet on a game? Among the onlookers, many people whispered. This Yin Zhuang is trying to cheat newcomers of their points again. Last year, I was also cheated by him to gamble a few times, and at the beginning, he even let me win a hand or two, but later he lost it all back. Alas, the newcomer is still too concerned about face. Lose a bit of face without squeaking even if. Oh, how can it be so easy? We are dragon martial arts, so concede how to mix in the future. Lose a little points is nothing. Live a month of hard life, but also have to save the face of the professional. Otherwise it is really better to go home and play screws. Some people advised and some people egged on. Those on the side advised Lin Tian to ignore it. Don't pay attention to him. He is specializing in pitting you freshmen. Don't pay attention to him. He can't do anything about you. At most it's just a bit of a loss of face. It'll be harder to mix in the future. It'll be fine when your strength comes up later. But Lin Tian was interested and asked. How to bet. The big man named Yin Zhuang. Took out the ring of the professional license and directly projected a screen of light, entering the campus website of Langwu. There was information about these two people fighting right in the campus website. Yen Zhuang directly invested 10 points in the name of Warlock Xiao Fan and opened his mouth. Seeing that you're also a freshman, I'm not going to bully you. Let's just bet 10 points. If Xiao Fan wins the points go to me. If Xiao Fan loses, the points will be taken away by you. Seeing this, Lin Tian felt somewhat enlightened. He didn't expect the Dragon Martial Campus Network to have this kind of function and immediately his interest soared. Ten points is too little. Enough for what? Lin Tian shook his head and laughed lightly. If you have the guts, let's have a big hand. How about a thousand points? Hearing this, Yen Zhuang's expression froze. He didn't expect this freshman to be so bold. You're a freshman. Only ten points a month. Where did you get a thousand points? Yen Zhuang asked. Lin Tian didn't say anything. He directly took out his ring and instantly invested a thousand points into the shooter's name. Now, Yen Zhuang froze again his face embarrassed. After hesitating for a moment, he looked at the surrounding crowd and opened his mouth. Are there any more brothers from my Iron Armor Guild here? Come out with me for this thousand points, and we'll split the proceeds proportionally. Our Iron Armor Guild. We can't let this kid underestimate us. A dozen people in the field immediately raised their hands in response. But more than a dozen people plus Yen Zhuang pulled out his pants pockets, also barely come up with 500 points. Yen Zhuang a burst of embarrassment said, Kid, so much. Let's bet 500 how. Lin Tian saw that they could not pull out the remaining 500 in this manner. So he simply took back half of the points he had invested in bet 500 with them. In reality, Lin Tian was not absolutely sure about the bet. After all, it wasn't him who was on the field. The strength of these two people was similar. The shooter's combat talent was even better. But the situation in the battle was ever-changing. It was hard to say what would happen. It was not a crushing strength. There was no guarantee of who would win and who would lose. However, Lin Tian didn't expect to get rich by gambling, simply interested in playing a game for fun. A mere 500 points, 
winning or losing had no effect on him. The game was made. Yan Zhuang revealed a sinister smile and glanced at Lin Tian with seemingly deep meaning. In the ring, the fight between the two gradually turned white hot. The fight developed as Lin Tian expected. Ice Rain Archer kept his distance and dodged Moon Wind Warlock's skills, without any surprises. It should have been a victory. Suddenly, the unexpected happened. Archer stumbled a step on the flat ring and fell to the ground as if touching the ground, and then was blown off the ring by a gust of wind from Moonwind Warlock. Neither man was even hurt, and the fight ended in dramatic fashion. This scene, Lin Tian even froze for a second. Archer rose from the ground and patted the dust on his body, and Warlock Xiaofan also stepped down from the ring. After splitting the winners and losers, neither of them spewed trash talk at each other, but instead walked towards Yen Zhuang as one, as if nothing had happened. Brother Yen, you caught a fat fish this time, ha 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 ha, originally thought that this place did not have new students over, are ready to go, did not expect a big fish, the crowd of onlookers present also gathered towards Yen Zhuang, it wasn't just the dozen or so people who put together the points, rather, it was everyone present, including those who whispered to dissuade Lin Tian, as well as the person who was beside Lin Tian, who stopped him when he wanted to leave, and who advised him to ignore Yen Zhuang, at this moment, all the people were chatting familiarly, their faces were unable to hide their surprise. Lin Tian looked at the crowd and realized, obviously, this was a fake match, and it was a fake match that was doing all the acting. From start to finish, it was all about tricking him into the betting game. Other than him, they were all actors. Kid, let this be a long lesson. Yen Zhuang looked at Lin Tian with a smug face, full of concern. Remember, we are the Iron Armor Guild. If you also want to earn points, you can hang out with us. However, if you want to join us, you have to bring a few freshmen to gamble a few times. The crowd was elated. This hand was too big for them to rake in. Originally, it was almost enough to cheat a few dozen people at most and rake in a couple hundred points. Now Lin Tian alone made them earn a full 500. Ha 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 ha. Seeing this, Lin Tian suddenly laughed up to the sky. Lin Tian wasn't forcing a smile. He laughed freely as he looked up to the sky. He laughed at the fact that he was actually in the gutter in such a small scam. He also laughed at the fact that this scam, which was only meant to trick the freshman into a little bit of points, was actually done so well. Some people fought, some people provoked, some people discouraged, some people encouraged, even in order not to reveal the cracks. When he recovered half of the points, no one else jumped out to gather a thousand points. He would rather cheat 500 less and make the show real. Lin Tian didn't feel any resentment or self-complaint about being cheated. Two old sayings made it clear that there are times when people lose their hands and horses lose their hooves. How can a man walk along the river without wetting his shoes? He Lin Tian is not an immortal. How cautious. But also inevitably there are a hundred times 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 a hundred times. He only felt that this time he was cheated well. Cheated him in a happy mood. It was better to lose a bet than to lose a fight to the death. On this journey, he was too smooth. There was not a single setback. Not a single obstacle. Not to mention not a single ripple. This was a trick and a reminder. A reminder that he wasn't really all that smart. Nor was he unrivaled. There were more talented people in the world than he had ever imagined. Right here in Langwu. Right here at this tiny intersection. There were people who were able to trick him into falling for it. A very simple maneuver was able to do it. After laughing for a long time. Only then did Lin Genius make himself stop laughing to stop. At this time. The surrounding crowd didn't laugh anymore each staring at Lin Tian, thinking that Lin Tian had been stimulated, something had gone wrong, and that his body was hairy from his laughter. Lin Tian looked at the crowd. He laughed. This is a fake match and a scam for you guys. Hearing his words, the crowd also laughed as Yen Zhuang walked up to Lin Tian, half a head taller than the 1 meter 8 and a half Lin Tian. Yen Zhuang looked down at Lin Tian with a disdainful gaze and said, How do you prove it? Who says that people from a guild can't fight? Not to mention you're a freshman. I'm just telling you plainly that this is a fake match, a scam, and what can you do? The crowd looked at Lin Tian with a face of contempt. And just because you're still a freshman now, you're not out of the one month protection period. Otherwise we'd snatch the points from you right now. Saying that, greed appeared on the faces of the crowd. They had only cheated Lin Tian out of 500 points in order not to show their faces, and he had even taken back 500. Moreover, if Lin Tian could take out a thousand points to bet on the fight, then he definitely had more than a thousand points on him. You're the number one in the country, Lin Tian, right? Yen Zhuang suddenly asked, among the freshmen who can take out a thousand points, other than that young Chi at the opening ceremony, it's Lin Tian who didn't show his face. The principal was praising you at the opening ceremony. Although I don't know how much you're capable of, 
Don't think that just because you're number one in the country, you can go against our Iron Armor Guild. No matter how powerful you are, you're still just a freshman. Recognize your position. Someone in the crowd teased. The principal did some publicity for you. And there are quite a few people who are now thinking about your 20. 000, 000 points. After a month, out of the freshman protection period, if you don't join the guild, your points will be snatched up. I think you might as well join our Iron Armor Guild. We'll only charge you 90% of the points. Ha 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 ha. The crowd tricked Lin Tian. Obviously not intending to really invite him to join. Lin Tian looked at the crowd. His face calm. Being cheated this time, he thought it was a good thing. But it didn't mean that he was so willing to be cheated. If he lost the betting fight, then he would be willing to gamble and give the 500 points. But to cheat him out of his points, it was impossible to do so without paying a price. I'm in a good mood today. So I'll give you guys a chance. A flaming red lance appeared in Lin Tian's hand. And he said to Yen Zhuang and the crowd. With interest. Shell out 1500 points and I'll let you guys off the hook. Lin Tian was telling the truth. The crowd scam had opened his eyes and given him a reminder. So as long as the crowd spent money to get rid of it, he could be lenient. However, the crowd clearly didn't see it that way. Hearing Lin Tian's words, the crowd burst into laughter. As if they had heard the funniest joke under the sky. Yen Zhuang also looked down at Lin Tian and said disdainfully. Don't say I'm bullying you for not knowing the rules. Let me remind you first. Freshmen have a one month protection period. But if you initiate a challenge, then there is no such rule. You are very powerful. You are able to rise to level 21 second turn before the big exam, but ask which one present is below 20. Boom! Yen Zhuang words have not finished. The crowd heard a muffled sound, and then a black shadow flashed in front of the crowd, cutting a bright red in midair. The laughter in the hall came to an abrupt end. The crowd turned their heads to look. Yen Zhuang had already hit the edge of the ring and was collapsing to the ground, unconscious and fainting with a face full of blood gushing from his nostrils. The scene was silent for a moment. Then it erupted. Lin Tian, you took the lead, so we can fight back, and you dared to strike before you even initiated the challenge. This is breaking the rules. Don't blame us for rising up as a group to attack. The crowd rebuked angrily and surrounded Lin Tian. What a bunch of rice bucket pigs. Lin Tian sneered. The crowd angrily said. What do you mean? Challenges. Originally. Are conventions that evolved as a result of the balance between all parties, they are never iron laws. Lin Tian said, there is only one iron law in Dragon Marshal. That is that the strongest is the most respected. If I were to say that in Dragon Marshal, there are any rules for fighting between students. It would be not to kill, not to seriously injure, and not to sneak attack. I didn't violate a single one of them. Lin Tian continued to taunt. I see that you bunch of rice bucket pigs are too well protected by the guild. Even the true purpose of Dragon Marshal has been forgotten. The crowd was dumbfounded by his words. Fighting required a challenge first. This was indeed an evolved convention. Just as challenging others could only challenge opponents of a comparable level. Hmph. So what if it's a convention? There's a price to pay for breaking conventions. Your price is to beat a bunch of us one by one. What a smart ass. You have this kind of strength. Why don't you challenge Yen Zhuang and win him one on one? No one can say anything. Now I'll see what you do. The crowd surrounded Lin Tian, and without further ado, they directly shot at him. Lin Tian didn't push, and swung the long spear in his hand. He transformed the spear into a stick and danced out a cloud of stick blossoms. After Xiao and I came out and Lin Tian's agility attribute went up, he was much faster. In the space of one breath, the dozen or so people who were close by, all fell to the ground, their faces and bodies red and purple, all moaning in pain, not even having the strength to howl. This scene took a sudden turn directly let the back of the crowd froze. A dozen or so people didn't even have time to use their skills and were taken down in a single breath. Lin Tian's strength was still above their imagination. The crowd recognized the reality and did not dare to take another step forward. Lin Tian walked towards the crowd while revealing a smile and said to the crowd, I'll teach you bunch of scum on behalf of the principal what the real dragon marshal is. What is the iron law of dragon marshal? Amidst a sea of students lying on the ground twisting and turning, Lin Tian walked towards the crowd. The smile on his face falling in the eyes of the crowd all seemed to have turned into a ghostly, hypnotic cold smile. The crowd didn't have the courage to make a move anymore and hurriedly turned around to flee individually. Seeing this, Lin Tian transformed into a residual shadow. In a few breaths, he flashed back and forth through the crowd that fled in all directions. When Lin Tian stood still, the original arrogant crowd was now only horizontal, not vertical, only moaning in pain, not opening their mouths to scream. At this time, the students passing by nearby gradually increased. Seeing the Iron Armor Guild members lying in pieces on this ground, a bunch of students gathered around and watched the action. Among the onlookers, 
There was also a member of the Iron Armor Guild, who saw the guild members fall to the ground. The Iron Armor Guild member, who was used to being arrogant, immediately walked out of the crowd of onlookers and angrily rebuked Lin Tian, not even remembering to think about how the people on the ground were lying down. Before he could finish his sentence, he received a stick from Lin Tian. Immediately, he squealed in pain. Lin Tian pointed at him with the tip of his gun, and then pointed at the crowd of people lying on the ground. You, go and scavenge their points, all of them. The man still wanted to refuse, but after receiving another stick, he immediately farted and went to collect them. A few moments of effort later, he then collected 2,000 points, and yours, Lin Tian said, and the man, afraid of getting another stick, only had to hand over his points as well. Lin Tian then said to the crowd of onlookers, all the points on these people belong to me. Whoever searches for more points, the points will be given to him. The words fell. That Iron Armor Guild member then revealed a look of shock and turned around to try and escape. It was obvious that the guild member had left some points behind. However, he didn't manage to escape. Without waiting for Lin Tian to make a move, the crowd of onlookers who had heard that there were points to be taken and they didn't have to take the blame, rushed up to collect them, and the member who had tried to escape was pushed down to the ground by a few people. After the onlookers scavenged the remaining hundreds of points on their bodies, they had time to inquire about the scene. Only then did they have time to inquire about what was going on at the scene. Those who came early to understand the whole situation explained to the onlookers. After the onlookers understood, all of them revealed a shocked look. This person was actually the national number one, Lin Tian, who was highly praised by the principal at the opening ceremony. As a newcomer, Lin Tian had been cheated out of points by a game. Not only did he not hold his tongue, he even broke the custom and struck out at Yen Zhuang without initiating a challenge. And with only one punch, Yen Zhuang fainted. Dozens of other people surrounded him and were also taken down by him alone. Although they knew that Lin Tian was the number one in the country, they weren't sure about the specifics of what happened since the principal didn't say anything. They didn't expect Lin Tian's strength to be this powerful. These people from the Iron Armor Guild were all at least sophomores, and their levels were at least level 20 or above second turn professionals. Now they were being beaten down by Lin Tian alone, and it didn't look like Lin Tian had exerted much effort. This battle performance was just too terrifying. It was beyond their imagination. The crowd of onlookers had all been freshmen before and had all been bullied. They felt a surge of pleasure at Lin Tian's actions. However, they also felt that Lin Tian was a bit reckless. The Iron Armor Guild would definitely not let it go. Lin Tian had firstly not joined a guild. And secondly, he was only a level 21 professional. Facing a guild with a level higher than him, he was bound to suffer a big loss. The besieging crowd looked again trying to find Lin Tian's figure. It was discovered that he had left the area at some point. Many people became curious about Lin Tian and were ready to find a new student to find out more. At this time, the Iron Armor Guild crowd that was lying on the ground also slowed down. Yen Zhuang also awoke and heard his little brother explain what had happened. He looked at the crowd of onlookers and angrily rebuked. You guys are really bold. You even dare to steal the points of my Iron Armor Guild members. Seeing this, the crowd of onlookers did not want to cause trouble and scattered. The people of the Iron Armor Guild, who had just slowed down, couldn't catch up even if they wanted to. Yen Zhuang only felt like he was holding a sulk in his chest, holding a grudge against Lin Tian. Lin Tian, you wait for me. Yen Zhuang cursed as a small light screen suddenly opened on the ring and a message came from it. Yen Zhuang read the message and cursed. Damn, why is it a freshman again? Why are there so many pricks in this year's freshman? He turned his head to the Iron Armor Guild crowd and said, All follow me, hold me up a bit. After saying that, the Iron Armor Guild's group of people, then walked in one direction. Street, Lin Tian was rushing in the direction of the freshman dormitory. He had just received a message from Yang Qi and Ling Qin Ran that there were a few old students, blocking them at the freshman dormitory, trying to force the freshman to join the guild, and asked him to go over and calm down the scene. After a period of time, when Lin Tian arrived at the scene, outside the freshman dormitory, more than a hundred freshmen were gathering, a dozen of them were injured and the auxiliary professionals among the freshmen were treating the injured students. As soon as the crowd of freshmen saw Lin Tian, they immediately welcomed him in. In the crowd, there were a few people collapsed on the ground. Yang Qi was cursing and kicking at them with his upper leg. Obviously, these few people were the old students that Yang Qi was talking about. Seeing this scene, Lin Tian didn't feel strange. Yang Qi wasn't originally a master of letting people bully him, and when he was bullied to the head, he definitely had to fight back. The dozen or so people who were injured should have been injured during the fight with these old students. Brother Tian, you're here. When Yang Qi saw Lin Tian, he explained the cause to him. These guys are too hateful. A moment later, Lin Tian knew the whole story.
These few old students were trying to use their majesty as seniors to force the crowd to join the guild they were in. They hadn't been prepared to do anything about it. After all, for new students, the school still had rules. Within a month of a new student's enrollment, the older students could not take the initiative to challenge the new students. They just thought that the new students were new to the school and would be afraid of them. The older students who were much stronger and would obediently join the guild after a few words of coercion and become the guild's bottom tier labor force. In reality, all the guilds had been doing this for so many years, including the few of them who were now old students. They had once been coerced into joining guilds in this way when they were freshmen. The vast majority of freshmen, out of fear, would be even coerced and cajoled by the older students to choose to join the guild, but they didn't expect it. The bones of this year's freshmen were so hard, and with all their coercion, no one still gave in. It was also very united, and even trying to break them down one by one didn't work. Seeing that the method would not work, they were already ready to leave. Before leaving, several people cursed at the freshmen. This directly enraged a group of freshmen, also including Yang Chi. These few people didn't expect this group of freshmen to be bold enough to dare to make a move against them. The seniors, first, so in total, only these few people came, facing so many united hardcore freshmen, even if they were stronger, it was difficult for them to resist. After injuring a dozen people, they were rounded up and taken down. Then what are we waiting for? Lin Tian finished understanding the matter and spoke, scavenged their points. The ones who participated just now will be equally divided. You guys need points for a lot of places. Yang Chi heard this and commanded a few people to scavenge their points. Although there weren't many people, there were more than 400 points. After dividing them equally, everyone got 4 or 5 points, which was enough for half a month's worth of their points. After doing all this, Lin Tian was ready to let the people leave individually. Kid, don't leave if you're capable. I've already called the people from the guild over. One of the people who had fallen to the ground shouted. Nerve. Lin Tian shook his head and cursed. Who doesn't leave after a fight and still waits here for you to shake people? Come to me if you're capable. I'm not changing my name when I'm traveling. My name is Lin Tian. The man was scolded and gritted his teeth. No wonder these little brats are respectful to you. You're that scholar Lin Tian aren't you? You wait. So what if you're the top scholar? Soon they'll know that you're nothing more than a freshman. We, the Iron Armor Guild, won't let you go. Lin Tian turned around and walked away when he heard this name and his footsteps lurched. This was a bit of a coincidence. The dozens of people that he had raided for points seemed to be from the Iron Armor Guild as well. Lin Tian and the crowd of freshmen were about to leave. Something even more coincidental happened. Zhou Yechang, who beat you up? Was it these freshmen? A voice was the first to come out. And when the crowd of freshmen looked, they felt bad. Only to see dozens of people coming towards them in great numbers. Looking imposing, but appearing a bit embarrassed, walking with a bit of a limp. The one who was shouting at the head was a big man with a tall stature but was being assisted by two people from the side, with blood on his face that hadn't been wiped dry. It was the group of people who had just been beaten by Lin Tian. The man named Zhou Yechang was the one who had just clamored. Zhou Yechang saw the reinforcements arrive, and looking at their appearance, he had some doubts in his heart, but he still hurriedly opened his mouth and said, Brother Yen, it's them, especially those two brats. One of them brought someone to beat us up. That's that Yang Chi from the opening ceremony, and the one who is the most arrogant is the one the principal said was Lin Tian, Zhou Yechang said, pointing at both Yang Qi and Lin Tian, hearing this name, the original vast dozens of people, who were limping along, suddenly froze in place, Yen Zhuang looked around and saw Lin Tian at a glance, his face instantly tensed up, awkwardly in place, in a dilemma, it wasn't that he was afraid of Lin Tian, with the Iron Armor Guild as his backer, he wasn't so afraid of a new student, it was just that the good guys had to do it beforehand, they weren't even Lin Tian's opponent at full strength. Now that their injuries weren't healed, there were still over a hundred more people. If they couldn't fight hard, they would just get one more severe beating. The group of people just froze in place. When Yang Qi saw this, he instantly understood something. You guys are really interesting. Yang Qi looked at the Iron Armor Guild's crowd and mocked with a wanton grin. You want to shake someone after receiving a beating, but in the end, the people who shook them over were all old and weak people who had also received a beating. What's your name again? Iron Bastard Guild, right? Are you guys here to pick a fight? Or are you here to pick a fight? I don't think you guys should make any guilds either. Why don't you just debut together and form a comedy duo? It might even be a bit more promising. The words hadn't even fallen. A burst of laughter erupted from the crowd of freshmen. The Iron Armor Guild crowd, being mocked so much, had a momentary green and red face. Yen Zhuang was so angry that his face went black, but he didn't dare to do anything. He could only send someone to help up the few people lying on the ground. He looked at Lin Tian and put down harsh words, 
All right, Lin Tian, count yourself as ruthless, but don't you think that this is over? You, as well as these new students, dare to make a move without initiating a challenge, breaking the custom and equating it to provoking a guild war. I'll see which guild dares to take you in now. Without the guild's blessing, you and these freshmen will just wait. We can't beat you. Don't think that my iron armor guild has no one. Hearing these words, without waiting for Lin Tian to open his mouth, Yang Chi once again mocked. I poo. I think you guys should really change your name to the Iron Bastard Guild. If you're given the chance and don't dare to make a move, but only dare to spew some trash talk, what's the difference between you guys and a bastard? When things go wrong, you just shrink your heads into your turtle shells and only scream. I'll be waiting for you, to see when you, the Iron Bastard, will dare to stick your head out to bite. Yen Zhuang who had just sent out two harsh words and was mocked again. Can't fight, can't curse. For a while, holding his anger and blood, the bridge of his nose that was broken by Lin Tian once again spewed out blood. Let's go. Yen Zhuang covered his nose, gritted his teeth and shouted, and didn't dare to curse again for fear of being mocked again. After the Iron Armor Guild crowd, limped away. The crowd of new students all looked towards Lin Tian, their gazes dripping with admiration. The crowd thought in their hearts, worthy of being the boss Lin Tian who led them to suppress the allied forces of the academy. Even as a freshly enrolled freshman, he is consistently strong. Dozens of veteran students put together were beaten up by him, even to the point where they didn't dare to fight back when they were taunted like this. Boss Lin, why don't you set up a guild and become its president? We'll all join your guild. Whoever in the crowd shouted loudly. The crowd of freshmen immediately chimed in, chanting for Lin Tian to form a guild and become its president. Yang Chi also suggested from the side, thinking that this was feasible. There was a minimum benefit to forming a guild, which was to be able to obtain the extra resources that the academy had distributed to the major guilds. Lin Tian thought about it and also felt that it was possible. First of all, he definitely needed the resources from the guilds. It wasn't like he wanted to join any guild. For one thing, he wasn't interested in being a little brother to anyone. A great man born between heaven and earth was meant to stand up to the heavens and the earth. Secondly, these guilds were all too unpleasant. The Iron Armor Guild, he heard, was already quite a powerful guild. Yet it was still like this, and the other guilds must not be much better. Thirdly, these freshmen had experienced the academy confrontation with him, and had more or less fought side by side. Moreover, he felt that these people were not bad, and it was no big deal to shelter them for a bit. Besides, if he didn't want to join the guild and still wanted guild resources, he could only create his own guild, which had a number requirement. If he didn't accept these new students, there was no one else to accept. Thinking about this, Lin Tian immediately made a decision. Good, we, the freshmen, will start a guild and these seniors of theirs, fight it out. The crowd of freshmen immediately cheered in a mountainous manner. Lin Tian led the crowd directly to the guild office of the academy. Along the way, the hundred or so freshmen who followed him had been sending the news that he was going to set up a guild to the other freshmen. Upon hearing this news, many of the freshmen heard the news and rushed over. The more people gathered, the more they grew. By the time the group arrived at the guild office, the crowd following Lin Tian had grown from the hundred or so people at the beginning to about two thousand. Almost all of the new students, after hearing the news that Lin Tian was going to set up a guild, were planning to join Lin Tian's guild. There was no other reason. After the battle against the allied forces at the school confrontation, Lin Tian's prestige in their hearts had risen to an unrivaled height. Coupled with the fact that it hadn't even been half a day since the end of the school opening ceremony, many of them had been coerced by their seniors and were eager to join a look-alike guild. Moreover, the freshmen of their class were considered to have done great things together. The cohesion was different from the past, and they all wanted to gather in a guild to fight against these older students who were bullying them. At this time, Lin Tian wanted to set up a union. Naturally, it was a call to action. The employee of the school guild office was startled when she saw so many students gathered together. She thought that something she didn't know about was happening and that a guild war was going to start. She was even more shocked when she heard that it was a freshman who wanted to start a guild. She had been working in Dragon Warrior's guild office for over 20 years. Never before had she seen a guild founding with such a large turnout. This number of people had even surpassed the vast majority of Dragon Marshal's veteran guilds. May I ask, what your guild, please, is going to be called? This will be called the Dragon Guild. The formalities of setting up a guild in Dragon Marshal were not difficult. However, joining 2,000 people at once was the first time that the guild office had encountered. The guild office mobilized directly, and all the employees in the office were busy for an afternoon before and after. Before all the 2,000 new students were registered, Lin Tian gave the guild a simple name. It was called the Dragon Guild. Everything he had gotten was because of the dragon. So he simply called it that. Naturally, 
Lin Tian was the president of the guild and Yang Qi was the vice president. Since the guild had already been established, a group of new students had been formed into a collective. So naturally, there was a rule of fairness. Therefore, Ling Qingran didn't take up any position, and she herself didn't have the interest. A new guild that had only been established for an afternoon. The number of guild members is as high as two, zero zero zero, directly jumping to become one of the top two guilds in Langwu. However, this number one is only in terms of numbers, in terms of the strength of the guild. It's not enough to look at for the time being. After all, the members were mainly freshmen, except for Lin Tian's three, and the six S-ranked professionals among the freshmen. The strength of the other members was not enough to look at in front of the older students. Moreover, the guild had just been established and didn't have any industries yet. The only source of income was the points and resources that the academy issued to the guild. Even this amount of points would have to wait until the end of this month, after the guild war that would determine the distribution of resources, and would not be released until next month. The guild had no points for the time being. Yang Qi, who was the vice president, then took out his own points and invited all the people of the guild to have a celebration banquet to celebrate the founding of the guild in a restaurant within the Dragon Marshal School. This banquet lasted until late at night. The people of the guild all got very drunk and only gave up after having a good time. Lin Tian spent some money and had the employees of these restaurants send the drunken guild members back one by one, accompanied by their sober companions. He also sent Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, each back to their residence. He himself also returned to his room to rest up. In the office building in the center of the academy, a teacher was reporting to Lu Xiaoxiong about today's situation. On the first day of the official opening of the school year, Lin Tian had caused so much trouble that he was naturally being focused on reporting. After listening, ha 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 ha, Lu Xiaoxiong laughed out loud, laughing very freely. Lin Tian this kid did a good job. Lu Xiaoxiong did not spare any praise. Someone should have done this a long time ago. Now these students of my Longbu are becoming more and more inert. One by one, they are all guarding the conventions that have been formed for a long time. They don't dare to strike directly when they encounter strife on the road. And they have to get into the ring first for fear of causing a big war between guilds and letting them draw fire. Not a bit of courage to break the rules, violate the conventions, or have the guts to speak their minds straight. If these words were to be heard by an onlooker, I'm afraid they would be surprised. After all, in anyone's opinion, the martial virtues of Dragon Martial students were already considered very abundant. The rough and direct iron law of Dragon Martial's strongest being honored was even more considered wild when placed in a group of academies. However, when placed in the mouth of this Dragon Martial principle, he still seemed to think that these students were all goons. Lu Zeoxiang recalled the past and continued to laugh. Put in our time, which is as wimpy as they are. Who would still get into the ring with you when there was strife? It's all just a matter of saying fuck it. What day doesn't a student challenge a teacher? From time to time, there are even bold ones who challenge the old principal. Only this kid Lin Tian has the style we had back then. There's also that young Chi and the freshman of this class, who also still have some bloodlust. Even the seniors aren't used to you. They just do what they say they're going to do. This teacher was a bit surprised as he listened to the principal's words. The first half of the complaining plus reminiscing about the past, he had already heard his ears calloused. But the fact that the principal spoke so highly of Lin Tian, Yang Qi in this class of new students was something he hadn't expected. Especially the evaluation of Lin Tian. He had never heard the principal evaluate any student like this before. He opened his mouth and asked, Principal, are you thinking that Lin Tian can be this catfish that stirs up the stagnant water? Right or wrong, Lu Xiaoxiang was ambiguous and added, This Lin Tian kid is more than just some catfish. I think he's a true dragon that can turn the rivers and stir up the seas in my Langwu. In less than a month's time at the most, under Lin Tian's stirring, there will be a burst of big changes in Longwu's student weather. Lu Xiaoxiang couldn't hide the smile on his face. He felt more and more that recruiting Lin Tian as a student was picking up a rare treasure. Every time, he was able to give him new surprises. Little Li, if you don't believe me, why don't we bet on it? Hearing this, the teacher known as Little Lee hurriedly shook his head. Forget it principal, I believe in all of it. Little Lee refused in a loud voice. He hadn't gambled with the principal on such things before, but he had never won. Although the principal's words were exaggerated, his eyesight had never been bad, and since he had said so, he assumed that this was how things would happen. Lu Xiaoxiang looked out the window, and his gaze seemed to drift in the direction of the freshman dormitory. The next day, early morning, Lin Tian woke up as usual. Yang Qi and Ling Qinran had left him a message, and the two had already gone to their respective classes. When he entered the university, the classes were different from being in the third middle school. In the university, there were basically no courses for written exams, except for the mandatory courses that were assigned differently depending on their respective professions. In Longwu, 
The rest of the classes were mainly combat classes, explaining and teaching everything in combat, including various physical techniques and ideas for dealing with the enemy, as well as the characteristics of each profession. Then there were the actual combat classes, which directly allowed students to start fights amongst themselves, which were then reviewed by the teacher, followed by another fight and then another review, cycling over and over again to improve their strength in actual combat, as well as the most basic university course leveling class. The teacher takes the students into the wilderness, against the appropriate beasts to practice leveling. And in Langu, there was one more special point, no matter which student, but whoever is willing, cannot have to attend classes, as long as the semester ends and your strength can pass the examination. This, in Lin Tian's opinion was very humane, after all, people and their growth rates could not be generalized. For some people, sometimes attending classes instead slowed down the growth rate, however, Lin Tian didn't attend classes today like Yang Qi and Ling Qingran, not because he didn't want to, today's classes were mandatory for all professions, so there was no place for him to attend even if he wanted to, regardless of which academy he was in, there was no teacher who could teach him about being a dragon master, he was already the strongest dragon master ever, as well as the one who knew the most about the profession of dragon master, even, if he wanted to, he himself was the most qualified person in the world, to offer a course on the profession of dragon master, there were no classes, Lin Tian didn't plan to be idle either, he had made arrangements today, little Ni had just been born, it was time to upgrade her as soon as possible, and it had been a long time since he himself and little Yen had upgraded, ever since he was in the wilderness outside of Jiang City, practicing leveling for a month and a half, until now, he hadn't practiced leveling again either, in the battlefield of the academy's confrontation, the level of the foreign beasts was too low and there was no value in practicing, this had directly wasted half a month of Lin Tian's time. Now that he had entered Dragon Marshal, his time was completely free. Outside of the Iron City where the Dragon Marshal was located was the boundless wilderness with all kinds of leveled foreign beasts. It was exactly the best place to use for leveling. Just say it and do it. Lin Tian didn't hesitate and found a bicycle to ride out of Longwu school gates. It was at this time that he realized just how big the entire campus of Dragon Marshal was. Longwu's campus covered an area that directly accounted for a third of the entire Iron City. It was even bigger than a small city like his hometown Jiangchang, the entire city. Lin Tian had heard that this was because Iron City, as a border city pioneering the wilderness, wasn't fixed in one place, but rather, as it pioneered, it constantly migrated deeper and deeper into the wilderness. Langwu also migrated with it, but retained its original campus, so it became as huge as it is today. Lin Tian arrived in Iron City and purchased a large black pickup truck. However, this vehicle was much more advanced than his previous large pickup truck. It belonged to a vehicle that was exclusively used by professionals, and it was engraved with formation runes. It even had the ability to float and fly. He drove to the gates of Iron City. Lin Tian realized that as a border city, Iron City's inspection of people entering and leaving the city was much stricter than that of Jiang City. However, this was not the case for Lin Tian. When it was Lin Tian's turn, Lin Tian presented his profession ring. The city guards took the occupation ring, glanced at it, and then directly released it. Students of Langwu were allowed to pass through almost everywhere in Iron City except for the military department area. Out of the city, driving all the way through the wilderness, Lin Tian looked at the surrounding scenery and sighed that the wilderness here could only be called true wilderness. Everywhere one looked, there were giant trees that exceeded a hundred meters, and from time to time, there were also hundreds of meters of giant trees that existed in the sky. The rivers that he passed through had violent currents that could directly crush an ordinary person if they fell into the water. As Lin Tian drove his car and flew through the air, he stretched his head towards the Ink Black River and saw several huge shadows that were even darker hidden under the water. Along the way, there were quite a few foreign beasts prowling everywhere, even in groups. It was very different from the kind of wilderness outside of River City that had been completely developed for professionals to sweep through. This place was a completely natural landscape that could be described as harsh to the extreme. Lin Tian used his profession ring to project a light screen. It displayed maps of the wilderness. These maps were different from the maps that Lin Tian had used in the wilderness of Jiang City. The maps here weren't clear. They only labeled the approximate direction, the approximate distance, the approximate level, and the approximate foreign beast. With this, there was no guarantee of accuracy. In short, it was just a matter of not knowing. This situation, Lin Tian could understand. After all, the reason why this place was the border of the Dragon Kingdom was because it was difficult to explore deeply and develop. The wilderness here wasn't the kind that was separated into separate zones with distinct ecologies. Rather, it was completely connected. In the same place, the foreign beasts might also compete with each other for territory. 
and it was normal for the levels and types of foreign beasts to change. But there were still some things that could be guaranteed. As long as the distance from Iron City wasn't beyond too far, the level of the foreign beasts wouldn't be too high. The target area that Lin Tian was traveling to was at most around level 60. Turn 4. There wasn't too much of a threat to him, and if he really encountered a fierce group of high-level beasts, he would be able to run away. If he really encountered a group of ferocious high-level fey beasts, he would be able to run away even if he couldn't deal with them. After half a day, Lin Tian arrived at the place. The speed of the floating car was extremely fast. Even with such poor road conditions, it couldn't even be called a road. A small half day's time still allowed Lin Tian to arrive at the place. This place was already nearly a thousand kilometers away from Iron City. It was the first time that Lin Tian had gone out to a location that was so far away from the human war city. The distance from the war city was too far. The cell phone had long lost its signal. But Iron City, as a border city, all kinds of formations in the city were much stronger than ordinary war cities. And under the support of the formations, the communication function of the occupational ring could still be used. Lin Tian had to say that Iron City as a border city was different, going out for nearly a thousand kilometers. He could still sporadically see the figures of professionals along the way. Some of them were ordinary professionals in Iron City. There were also people from the military department expanding in the wilderness. And there were even some Longwu students practicing in the wilderness. Lin Tian put these things behind him. He opened the map on his profession ring. On the map. This place showed that it had been explored by the military department and was labeled as a foreign beast area of the Silver Horned Electric Wolves Pack, with a level of 40 to 60. This information, however, was not fidelity. The wilderness here was contiguous, and it was possible that the Silver Horned Electric Wolf Pack could have migrated away a long time ago, or could have been driven away by other more powerful fey beasts. Lin Tian put the floating vehicle into his system backpack. He explored the neighborhood on foot. Soon, he spotted the figure of a group of fey beasts which all had yellowish-black fur and a single horn on top of their heads that shimmered with a silver-white light. It was none other than the group of silver-horned electric wolves. Lin Tian saw the information of this group of silver-horned electric wolves through his appraisal technique. These silver-horned electric wolves were generally around level 45, and the leading wolf king was only level 50. They were considered to be a relatively small wolf pack in this area. The silver-horned electric wolves had also discovered Lin Tian, and as a group of active beasts, they were very tactical and did not rush to the enemy when they saw them. Instead, they grimaced and attracted Lin Tian's attention. At the same time, a group of silver-horned electric wolves quietly circled around to Lin Tian's back and directly surrounded him. Lin Tian had naturally discovered this a long time ago. Little amazing. Little and I. Come out. The words fell. The light in the battlefield suddenly dimmed, changing from bright daylight to a crimson glow. The wolves sensed something strange and looked up, only to see a behemoth in the sky above their heads its wings spreading to cover the sun in the sky, leaving only the magma that seemed to be flowing on its body and the flames draped over its wings, emitting some light and giving the battlefield a reddish coat. A terrifying pressure accompanied by a blazing aura fell from the sky. The electric wolf group instantly had two warring strands, and a few of the silver-horned electric wolves already had channels of liquid running down their hind legs. The behemoth in the sky made them feel crushed on the level of life. Ow oh, dash! In the middle of the battlefield, the leading Silverhorn Electric Wolf King threw back his head and howled. Hearing the Electric Wolf King's howl, the crowd of Electric Wolves, even if they were timid, subconsciously began to attack as if they had received an order. Dozens of Silverhorned Electric Wolves, the silver-white unicorns on top of their heads began to emit dots of flower fire, followed by a current that converged from all over their bodies on top of the silver horns. Z z z z. Only a pleasant sound of electric currents could be heard. Dozens of electric currents converged into a stream of lightning that shot towards the behemoth in the sky as if it was a bolt from the blue. In an instant, the entire battlefield was illuminated by this thunderbolt. Boom! With a thunderous roar that sounded like an explosion, the shocking lightning struck the body of the behemoth. However, the picture the wolves imagined did not happen. The only thing that could be seen was that the chest and abdominal area of the behemoth overhead, which had been struck by the startling thunderbolt, was not damaged in the slightest. It was only on the scaled armor that took the hit that it turned into a blackened mass, even with such a small trauma. With the magma-like light flowing through the behemoth's body, even the blackness on the scale armor disappeared and returned to its original reddish luster. The silver-horned electric wolves group once again became two strands of war. The electric wolf king hadn't anticipated this scene either. It immediately turned its head to look at Lin Tian, as well as the little thing flying around Lin Tian. As the leader of the electric wolf pack, its intelligence was much higher and it could see that Lin Tian was the leader, and that this leader looked much better to deal with than the behemoth. Ow! It howled again. 
The silver-horned electric wolves received the order and once again gathered a burst of electricity that shot towards Lin Tian and the things that were flying beside him. In an instant, Lin Tian and Xiao Anai were struck by lightning. The electric wolf king instantly rejoiced. Even the fastest of speeds couldn't dodge the lightning. In reality, Lin Tian wasn't prepared to dodge either. He raised his hand and moved it around. Although Xiao Ni's ability wasn't as good as Xiao Yan's, who was completely immune to fire attribute damage, her resistance to lightning attribute damage was strong enough. At this moment, she was struck by the lightning that was like falling thunder. Lin Tian did not receive any damage or pain. Only a tingling sensation spread throughout his body. Aang, Xiao and I, who was flying at the side, chirped in dissatisfaction. Surprisingly, there was a guy who dared to attack her with her best skill. Lightning. Xiao and I immediately transformed into a lightning bolt and leaped up all over the field. A current fell from her and hit the electric wolves. It looked like a thunder cloud releasing heavenly power. Xiao Ni's electric currents fell splitting the electric wolves with howls of pain and their bodies twitching slightly. However, Xiao and I was only level 1 after all, and her opponents were the silver-horned electric wolves, which also had lightning attribute resistance. The electric wolf pack looked miserable, but didn't manage to cause much actual damage. A group of electric wolves want to counterattack, but simply cannot touch the speed of the fast Xiao and I, can only once again be split by the convulsive howling, after Xiao and I repeated her attempts to no avail. She flew to Lin Tian's side rubbed her head against Lin Tian's cheek, chirped, and complained to Lin Tian. Lin Tian looked at Little Nay's tattletale, which was quite adorable, and let out a light laugh. If you want to sue, go find your little Yen brother and let him help you get revenge. Hearing this, Little Nai flew into midair, rubbed against Little Amazing's big head and chirped. Roar dash a dragon roar rang out. In a blink of an eye, a gust of wind blew on the battlefield, raising a cloud of smoke and dust. Little Amazing landed down towards the battlefield and a dragon claw stomped down, directly stepping on a few electric wolves, and a few electric wolves were rubbed by his sharp claws, and instantly turned into bits and pieces. The electric wolf king, which was the largest in size, was also targeted by Little Yen. The electric wolf king tried to escape, but Little Amazing opened his huge mouth and swallowed it in one bite. Seeing this scene, the silver-horned electric wolves group scattered and fled in an instant. Xiao and I immediately transformed into a thundercloud and instantly chased after them sending a bolt of lightning towards the fleeing electric wolf pack, causing the electric wolves to twitch and slow down their speed. Lin Tian saw this with a burst of relief, although it didn't do much damage or serve any purpose, and there was no way these wolves would be able to escape under Little Amazing's claws. But Little and I had just been born not too long ago and had this kind of awareness. It still made Lin Tian happy. Roar dash the Little Amazing Dragon roared, causing Little and I to retreat to the side. Then he opened his huge mouth and filled it with a terrifying heat. A pillar of fire wrapped in magma poured out all of a sudden, rushing towards the scattered wolves like a great river breaking its banks, under the breath of the beginning fire dragon. This group of electric wolves, whose level was 30 levels higher than that of Little Amazing, didn't even have time to let out a miserable scream before they turned into dust and drifted away with the wind. Only a floor of fallen items was left behind. Finishing off the electric wolves, Shawnee's level directly crossed three levels and was raised to level 5 in one go. This made Lin Tian feel a little emotional. It was really too difficult for the dragon race to upgrade. Little Ni and Little Yen, as his dragon pets, unlike teaming up with other professionals, they couldn't share much experience if they paddled. He, Little Amazing and Little Ni, were essentially considered to be a professional, and even if they didn't inflict damage, it didn't affect the sharing of experience between the three. And he had come out this time to upgrade Little Amazing and the newly born Little Ni, so he didn't share the experience himself. All the experience was all divided equally between Little Amazing and Little Ni. However even so, the level 1 Xiao Ni, who had equally shared the experience of dozens of fey beasts that exceeded her by more than 40 levels, was still only upgraded to level 5 with such a huge experience bonus. After Little Ni upgraded, her size gradually grew as well. Feeling her growth, Little Ni was so elated that she flew around Little Yen several times, constantly chirping and praising this brother of hers. Then it flew down again and rubbed against Lin Tian's face. However, Little Ni's size had grown a lot, and her scale armor had followed suit, becoming much larger and harder. This reminded Lin Tian of Little Yen from the same period. At that time, Little Yen was also like this, not realizing how much he had grown, and when he was intimate with Lin Tian, he rubbed against Lin Tian's face and hurt, but now it wouldn't be. With Lin Tian's current physique, it would be hard for even a sharp iron to rub through his skin. Lin Tian was about to continue searching for the other silver-horned electric wolf packs, Roar. Suddenly, he heard a low dragon roar from Little Amazing. Little Amazing told him that he had heard the sound of a human in the extreme distance, 
Lin Tian shook his head to indicate that there was no need. Now that the matter of him possessing a giant dragon was no longer a secret, there was no need to hide it anymore. Little Amazing and Little N.I. could appear in front of the world with honor. However, Little Amazing let out another low roar. Roar. Hearing this, Lin Tian froze. Little Amazing had actually said that he heard humans communicating, but the people communicating were not using the language of the Dragon Kingdom. Lin Tian frowned and thought, if the language used wasn't the language of the Dragon Kingdom, it was naturally a foreigner, or at least a foreigner. The only people who would appear in such a place would be professionals. A foreign professional. Why would they appear in the wilderness at the border of the Dragon Kingdom? Although this place was nearly a thousand kilometers away from Iron City, after the time and space rift appeared, the blue star became many times larger, and this place didn't even border any other countries. It completely belonged to the Dragon Kingdom's territory to be developed. Foreign professionals were absolutely forbidden to enter, but now it appeared. Obviously the visitors were not good. Lin Tian did not think any further. Foreign professionals appeared in the wilderness of the Dragon Kingdom's borders. It was impossible for him as a Dragon Kingdom professional to sit back and do nothing. And since the other party had come, it must have come with some sort of purpose, for some sort of benefit. This benefit couldn't possibly be small. Otherwise no one would take such a big risk. Now such a good opportunity to get rich was met by Lin Tian. How could he possibly miss it? 